Why am I hanging on rookie? What's the deal? Welcome to the live. Welcome to the live, man. <clears throat> See what? Emotional damage. <laughs> oh my. Look, test run real quick. Hold on. See something real quick. Man, what the freak? I didn't even click on that. What? I just not play in. I just not see the two. That's weird. What's the deal? What's the deal? Hold up. Did my songs work real quick? Music. Emotional damage. It do work. Okay, all my stuff work. I had to make sure. All right, we go. Let me test this one out, y'all. See, the name is Laugh Alarm Kevin. Let me show y'all something real quick. I'm not here to protect your little feelings because we all need some healing. I'm here to protect you from long-term misery so that can be all left back in history. That's not like a, uh, that's not like a, what's it called? What is, is that the even a bit is? <laughs> what's the deal? What the heck this thing? I'm over here trying to test out the stuff. Yeah, I found out how to get my, my soundboard together. I just got that together, though, uh, last night. So when people come in the building, if they come in the, uh, when they come in the uh, walk, they be like. No, 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 never mind. That ain't that one. It's this one. Hello. <laughs> That's it. They got some cheesy stuff on here. I don't even, some of this stuff I ain't put on here. See, my custom ones I got, I got, uh, let me see. But, uh, not too much, not too much. <laughs> oh, my. Put that one on there. I'll put this on here. That's what she said. She already know. I told you I'm going to be saying that. And I put, uh, emotional damage. Yeah, I put that on there. <laughs> I'm not here to protect your little feelings because we all need some healing. I'm here to protect you from long term misery so that can be all left back in history. Yeah, I'm ready. So, they die. That's just a little. I only had like four songs on that one, then they got the little custom stuff they got in here. <clears throat> I need to, oh, yeah, let me start. Send it to the camera. Started. I think everybody's asleep by now. What the heck is this? I know she on her live. I'm still saying that one. Ha <laughs> ha. Getting this late, but we'll see. We will see. We'll pop up in here. Like that. Like that guy right there. Do that one right there. Okay. So I gotta talk on this then. I gotta talk on this then. I think I'm gonna be able to talk a little.
I went I went live and you weren't there. You said what? I went live you went live and you, live. yes. What time you went? What time you went? Just I just got off. <laughs> What? Yeah. No, I got I was so live. Quick. I was messing with this uh sound board and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> as you should, as you should. But I told you I had I put some new stuff on it. Well, undisclosed was there. Uh, undisclosed, un undisclosed helped me do it, and then um, King Buana was there. Well, he's in Kanaz Live now, and then um, Fairy Tale was in there, and I was like, they were all just like helping. Like, I that's why I said I'm, I I will not go live if I don't have support. I'm like, where's Kev? <laughs> I was sleep all day. As you should, yeah, because I fell asleep on your live. <laughs> Yeah, I was, you already know I was up the whole entire night. I ain't had no chance to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, but no, it was it was cool. It was cool. We had actually great like great conversation. I didn't have topics up like you did, like you do, and I'm I, I'm learning because I had to learn all the like twitches. Yeah, so I have to. I, I broke away from Kana and stuff. I had to learn, you know, the hard way myself. So. Yeah, I know. I I was I just ran over there for a minute, and I was like, no, I didn't even know, I didn't even know you was gonna be live. So, uh, I want to keep it simple. Keep it simple. You broke your live genity, didn't you? Oh, dazzle! Broke your live hey, dazzle! Well, well, actually, you know who was in my live in the beginning? Um, I don't know if it was Sonia's people. Or if it was Dazzle's people, but it was uh, Keith, Keith Lyons. And he, we had a great conversation, too. Keith Lyons, I, I think he's song his people. Yeah, it it was cool, though. It was cool. I Like, I learned. I learned a lot. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a lot to learn and a lot of stuff you got to get used to. It's a little bit more difficult when you're the host, though. Yes, it, yeah, it is. And all that stuff, so you really got to be active and... Mm -hmm. it's, a lot. it's still stuff I'm over here trying to, you know, get used to and all that. Mm -hmm. I was like, I, I, honestly, while I was on my live, I was like, I need a microphone. I'm like, I I'm going to steal Babe, your she, idea. Babe down there, she is. Just, you know, hey, Dazzle. He was up there like petting lions. You should have started off like that. Yeah, no, I know. I, I even said that in my life today. I was like, wait a minute. But we ended up, we were we were talking about just a lot of, it was, it was very good conversation. We ended up having, um because the UFC fight, you know, we were talking yeah, about. I yeah, yeah, I knew yeah we quick. even brought that quick. up. Quick. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, it was that's, crazy. That's another reason why I got on here late because I was watching the fight too a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, they were they were talking about that, and then we got into like talking about the differences between UFC boxing and wrestling. <laughs> I was like, yeah. it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. So let me let me let me see what you got. Big Rock, Big oh, no, Watch. No, you already know how this go. I got. I'm gonna start it in a minute. I gotta start it first, you know. Okay. <laughs> You already know how this goes. I'm not got y'all. I'm just put my input in and let y'all do y'all thing. I'm just trying to get these lights up real quick. Oh, how many do you need? Oh, I'm at, oh, oh thank you. Oh, thank you there. See, Faze and locked it out already for us. You know what I'm saying? So hold on. Mm -hmm. Let me start it up again. Let me show you how I do this real quick. I don't even talk about it no more. I'm probably just going to point at the screen. <laughs> like, hey, laugh. <laughs> Name is Laugh or Laugh Kids. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think it's number four. Hold up. My bad. Let me get this out. The name. <laughs> I'm messing up already. The name. <laughs> I'm not here to protect your little feelings. Because we all need some healing. I'm here to protect you from long term misery. So that can be all left back in history. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gotta talk about it no more. Hold on, that that was po <laughs> that was poetic. That was very poetic. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about it. Ooh, that was that was good. 
And that's about to be my saying, man. I got to keep that up, man. Mm, that was up. powerful. So, so, <laughs> so this is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Yep, man. it's going to be. <laughs> she put a rocket symbol, too. <laughs> Take off like a rocket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been I've been addicted to this page now, man. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of follows over here on this page too. Yeah. This is some real follows. This is some people. That's why I'm probably gonna keep it like that. You know, then mm -hmm. everybody, I'm gonna have everybody follow me on my backup in my main page. I'm gonna be a real skinny on that one. You know, this one I ain't following up. I probably. So are you are are you going harder on this page than you were on your last page? I'm not sure. I feel like I'm probably gonna go back. I gotta go my other page. Let's keep, let's keep, <laughs> I need Fave to use her <laughs> subscription up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put no waste to that. And then I got to, I think you, and you sub subscribe to my page too, I think. I mm -hmm. think you are. Yeah, so I, well, yeah, I got to use our subscriptions I, 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 up and stuff. I got some pictures, I got some stickers and I, stuff we I, all I, use, so. You don't even have the subscribe button on this page. No, but on your last on. page, yeah. Yeah, on your yeah, last page, yeah. It's my, it'll be my little. My don't care page over here, just in case I get banana. I mean, <laughs> even though I still don't talk about nothing, but you just know how that be. These topics like yeah, that to get there. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, all right, let me go ahead and start. Up. <clears throat> so, oh, right. I can't believe you're not asleep. People, people, you, know, you said you ain't been asleep. No, I said I can't believe you're not asleep. Like I'm in Cali. Oh, time, just so got it's up. Different. <laughs> oh you just yeah, got up. Just right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Got to get the stickers going, man. I got actually probably got to find me some more. I got to put some animated pictures on there. Ooh, the anime thing. Ooh, wow. Yeah, trying to put some ones on there. Yeah, I don't, I, uh, anime is underappreciated. <laughs> Very underappreciated. I'm trying to. Everybody sleep though, so I still got to talk about the top up. Get it though. I'm gonna get it though. You know, I, I'm I'm hitting the likes. I don't care. No, there are people that are awake. Kev. Don't, right, don't somebody see. don't come up in. <laughs> you know, but people. And Dazzle's still yeah, awake. Sleep. I'm still awake. You're still awake. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Uh, like we um, Dazzle and I were we were in a live earlier. Well, it was Dazzle's live. But we was talking about music, just talking about music, just regular shit. Yeah. And CG CG was in there, and then we went went over to CG's live after Dazzle dropped down. But Dazzle was eating sushi. Well, not sushi, but food. Sushi. <laughs> you know I'm talking about you, Dazzle. <laughs> the sushi. Yeah, but she was. Maybe like, have fun with this like, fem the female. But, but Dazzle, again. Dazzle hey. had her mom in there. Oh yeah. Her oh okay. yes. Dazzle had her mom. Yeah, I talked, in I her talked to her earlier about that. She said it was going nice. Yes. She's like, not too much, not too. Much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, da Dazzle, yesterday with it. <laughs> no, Dazzle's mom became everybody's mom. <laughs> like, <laughs> the day before yesterday. No, it was. So, all right, let's get this party started, man. So, the top. That's it. Big rocks, big watch, big chain. Got you looking for the wrong thing. <laughs> Sorry, my guy. Sorry, man. You know, you know. Oh, this is weird. I like I like talking in the mic more than I gotta talk like this. <laughs> so, you know, the point of that, man. That, yeah, right. That gets you to looking for the wrong thing. That's why I put the wrong thing in it, cause a lot of things be thinking around here. They be thinking. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. a lot of the times they only uh doing all this stuff for the wrong attentions. You're attracting the wrong type of women. I'm gonna call them girls. Attracting the wrong type of girls, man. They girls. When you, when you get it, it's like no, let me let me not stop. But still, like all that materialistic stuff, man. That's that's no different, man. You got somebody that like you for your your, your jewelry and all that stuff. That ain't you know that ain't it. So you gotta. And then 
Like it'd be like them, especially the guys that be just and them the ones that get away with it on his body shaming, but I don't think guys can we can say that about guys, you know what I'm saying? Usually be the big guys and all that stuff that I gotta get away with wearing them. The big chains and stuff. They gotta get a chain that's about as big as them and all that, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> now, mm-hmm. don't worry about my stomach, worry about my chain, look at that. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So they, you know, they get that it's still them don't even be the girls that stick around because they don't stick around because of that money. Because it look like money to them. You know what I'm saying? The big chain, the mm-hmm. big watch and all that stuff. So they look like money. So that reminds me of the it wasn't your your topic that was talking about makeup. Like when you wear makeup, when when you put on this the, this image yeah, of yourself, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's, it's your image. Mm-hmm. So I'm telling guys now is the opposite because I feel like it'd be. You need more men. Money. You need more men to hear this. <laughs> yeah, that's why hopefully I'm gonna be on this for a good while though, because I don't be on on Sunday, so I gotta. I'm try to. I try to stay. Right, on right, right, right. On Saturday, so. I I don't I don't have no work tomorrow, no nothing tomorrow. I can sleep all day if I want to. <laughs> uh oh, right. That's why I, why I forgot about that. You had you had your nice pillow last night. Yeah. Now I get to talk about you. You fell asleep. Now. You fell asleep. <laughs> you can be like, I ain't fall asleep on my own live yet. Yeah, I'm wait on that too. We gonna see. No, I I was in. I I I did my own live tonight. Thankfully. Yeah. I practiced. I practiced. Right. I, I had King Buana B- there, some stuff, and some I had stuff a, had you to not. You ain't gonna be petting lions for too long. When you do this no, stuff, it I takes know, some I know, stuff. I know, I know, I know. It seemed easy. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. They're, they're gonna bite me. The they're gonna bite me. <laughs> yeah, you gonna see. Bite me. You gonna see. Out of stuff like this, this is what that's, that means. Where you gotta. Where you have to uh, experience. This is where experience do gotta, cause you gotta. <laughs> it's easier to see it until you start experiencing it and all that stuff. Like I, like I'm fully aware with certain stuff you do have to probably experience it, and I'm aware of it. So, but you really do learn through experience and all that stuff. So I did. I, yeah. So yep. You I did. See, like, I, be like, what the, I'm like, what the heck? I've never seen lovely talk like this. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> For real, they're like, what? Oh, I know. I, I was, I was coming with some real you that, shit. You see that fave, that toxic bag queen in here? Well, she trying to act like she nice though. We gotta put keep her eye on us. Okay, let's, let's keep her eye on bag, bag queen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she always gonna bring her little sidekick friend of uh, laugh. So, here. so Kev, with, with your, with your, with, with your topic, do you have a big watch? Do you have a big chain? I, um. Me myself, yeah, I got a. I actually got a small chain. I got a little small chain. Mm-hmm. I got. I wear. I got earrings. Uh, I don't wear watches. I don't wear that. Uh, and that's all I got. But even that, it's a small chain. You know what I'm saying? It's something little. I've never been the type to try to want to stand out and all that stuff. I, I usually wear it like on occasions, just like they say they wear makeup on occasions and stuff like that. But me, myself, because I'm not looking for no attention and stuff, I don't even wear that no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for it unless I just want to maybe one mm-hmm. day uh, what they call it, the um, want to look, uh, what they call it, the boost or the, what they call it, like, what is the word they was using? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just because I, I, how society look it out, I'm only doing it just because I want. Well, if you think about it, though, Ken, because my people, just, huh? Because you you have tattoos, right? Yeah, one tattoo. Is that yeah a tattoo? Or if you have tattoos, I always say tattoos tell stories. Yeah. Well, because isn't a tattoo the same thing as having um like presenting an image? Yeah. Right. Exactly. It, it, yeah, but that's a permanent in image that becomes you. Right. Image, right? So that's something right. you can take off. Yeah, right. So at one point, yeah, it was for attention, but it gets to mm-hmm. the point where you forget about it. So you you forgot about it, and you still get attention. So that it, it's like a two mm-hmm. way thing. So. Yeah, so it's different, it, 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 like you said. A, a watch or a chain you can actually take off. You could take that off. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, makeup you could take off, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff you can mm-hmm. take off. So, um, yeah, that's the whole point of that situation is saying that, you know, mm-hmm. all that stuff, it really get the, the wrong attention. It's more of like a sexual, even, you can, it's crazy because you can even say that women is sexually attracted to them big, big chains and all that stuff. It's just because 
Well, they got that saying, money make me come. You know what I'm saying? That's the, <laughs> <laughs> well, stuff like that. Uh, it's just wild. Exactly. Well, that's the intention for the wrong shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the intention for the wrong, wrong word. Yeah, your intentions. But well, somehow so I feel like see... even this topic still going to go to, and the women going to get better. <laughs> like, right. They ain't gonna... like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you can never win with, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You can never win with women. Not. He's, man, you could be talking about men. They still look at themselves in it. Yes. It's just crazy. Oh, my God. He was doing that with the 90 day rule. So right, man. Okay. Yeah, the ninety day rule that uh, ninety day rule with the men and the women still got mad. Like, what the? F- ain't the men right. supposed to be mad? I don't get it. What right. the world? We always live in, you mad. Know what I'm, I'm like, why are you always angry? Why? I, why I can't you it's just because... be stopped? Because women, women were were supposed to be the mellow, soft, nurturing, caring, compassionate, like Hurt. just mellow, and now they're just angry. They're just mad. Like, what are you mad about? Are you mad at yourself? That's why. Right there. Oh, there. okay. <laughs> That's exactly what it is, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, like, even that, like, the guys, like, even if they, what would they say? They got the definition of they don't look that very best, so they got to put chains on to make them look better and stuff. Like I said, at the end of the day, all this stuff, the fancy shoes and Got to wear the sweetest Jordans. They be having all the sweet Jordans and stuff. And still oh, that's them. why you brought this up. I knew you stole. I knew you. And I was I like, stole, I knew I I, that, that was when I was about ready to fall asleep. I was like, well, what about the Air One or the, the Air Jordans? What about the 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 Nikes? You said I stole something. What did I steal? No, no you, you didn't. No, you didn't steal anything. No. <laughs> No, but we were talking about that when I fell asleep on the live. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah I was getting to that. Remember, I was, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you, were, you yeah. Asleep, yeah. I told you this was, I already gave you an upcoming. <laughs> and I said, it's a materialistic man. Yeah, <laughs> I was listening. I was listening. And, yeah. But you're right. It's like, like we were talking about um, makeup and how women put makeup on, but men might wear different ty- types of shoes or chains or like what you're talking about tonight. Yeah. Like um, men do, it men do it too. Enhance, <laughs> enhance, <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's an enhancement. Is, enhance for the wrong <laughs> things nowadays. That's the whole point of what I'm talking. Man, about. we use that whole word, enhance. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, who are you trying to enhance yourself with? Like, even with that, like, if I was to go out and wear some jewelry with my woman and stuff, it really ain't. It's just the, because it's just to make, and that is just be just to make us look good. But that's. Who really cares about the audience, though? Like, if you got your one, you got your one at the end of the day, right. like, it really don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, it can't get to a point where you don't have, you shouldn't even have to wear no chains or none of that stuff for real. Right. You know, but I understand, like, certain environments, yeah, you probably just, like, if you're around family and stuff, maybe, you know, you throw your little something to that, yeah, that brings out what they, I, which I understand what they're saying, that or you could bring your outfit out or something like that. So I understand that, you know, maybe a little change. Everybody want to look good sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But it's just depending right. on, like, what the attentions is behind it. You just, okay, if you just want to look mm-hmm. good in front of your family, but it ain't just look good to get, like, some type of s- sexual attention or, you know what I'm saying, to, to look for a partner or something like that. But it's just, Well, you, um, you, you said that right word. You said intentions. So what what are your intentions when you wear a big rock or a big watch or a big chain? Yeah, right. What are your you intentions? That's what it is. Yeah. I'm dealing with being seen or something like well, that. Well, so. being seen so that you can seek what? Attention. Yeah. So that you're trying to get something outside of yourself. Yep. That 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 is not even part of you. So you're actually asking for someone to you're actually asking What's for attention. Deal? For attention from somebody else when that other person may not even be attentive to you. They block it out. What they block out of? What they block out of? Yeah, man. Like I said. Hey, like and they, 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 it's, and it's more, like I said, at the end of the day, it's like more of a, uh, wait, is this, yep. yeah, this is my third new page. <laughs> my other page got bananas. It's like you know, the backup of the backup. It's the backup of the backup, right? <laughs> it's backup number three. Even though the other page is good, too. The other one good, too, but I just wanted to make a new one, so it could be this could be naked, so I, ain't, I don't care what they do with this page. Because I'm getting my message out. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, um, 
basically like all that stuff, the big watch, big chains and all that stuff. Like I said, they be having people that's out here got all that stuff and still bagged up on their bills and stuff like the priority. Yeah. Like, how you still? Well, <laughs> that's, you that's, 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 that's very deep. Okay. That's very deep. That's very deep, so, that's uh, very yeah, deep when you go like, into that be, because you're purchasing a chain or a watch or a, a rock and, and you can't even pay your bills. How does that work? I I don't know. And that's why I said it's part of it because they're looking for, um, like, I understand, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? It's different, though. A lot of men just looking to get buns nowadays. I was one of them guys, too. You know what I'm saying? But I had to realize it wasn't doing nothing for me. Anymore. I think we've all been there. I, I think, yeah. and I think, a, I, I wish, yeah, I think, I wish a lot of women would be more um, presentable to say, I fucked up too. Am I allowed to say that on your life? I messed up too. Like I've been <laughs> through that. I've, I've been through that. You've been through that. But you get to a point in your life. It's like, do you need the big chains? Do you need the big rock? Right, do you exactly. need the big watch? And that's what I'm about to say. That's how it would be, though. Like, right. A dude, I don't think they're going to be walking around. They probably do like that. But I need to wake up every morning and put this chain around me. Because, like I said, at the end of the day, with that, when you're relying on your jury, that's the difference. When you're relying on it, that's the, you know, that's the big difference. Like, if you ain't one of those special that, case, that, you're relying on it, that's a, I would that's say a that's good like word. Still rooted in some type of insecurity because it's something that you, feel like you lack mm -hmm. it, in, which probably with that situation is a lack of confidence because you can't, that change is just only boosting your confidence because you know that's what's popular at the moment and that's what's going to look good to a certain eye. And then at the end of the day, like you're getting the wrong attention mm -hmm. because you're getting a girl that uh that just wants you for that because they think you money. They're looking at you like money. <laughs> Why? And I say what? You are not okay. your chain? Let me say that. Right. <laughs> you are not, you're you're, you're, not you're presenting yourself with a big watch, a big chain, but uh, and how many times have I said this? There is substance beyond surface. So now you're presenting yourself yeah, with really. this image of a big watch, a big chain, and a big rock, and all this stuff. But behind that, what do you got? Still a miserable. What are your person? characteristics? <laughs> be yeah, miserable with all that on. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know that little face that be having a man face up and then covered up with a smile in front of it. That's how it be though. They got exactly. all the chains and still feeling bad. Like man, I'm just so lame. And, like, you, no, you know what I call you that? Yeah. On, stop you from being lame. <laughs> and how like, many times have I shared that? Is that the iceberg effect? Is like you got an iceberg and the iceberg is like on top of the water, but there's also an iceberg below the water too. <laughs> It's like, like there are so much, so many things beyond beyond what you see, beyond what you see. So now I'm looking at a man with a big watch, a big chain, a big rock. My intentions matter too. His intentions are what? Why do you think a man is wearing a big rock, a big a a, a big watch, and a big chain? So he can get is it to butt. get a female's <laughs> attention? He wants is a it... big butt. They come <laughs> and that female that that oh okay. So yeah, what what what, what if the female goes goes after him? Is she going after him because of the big watch, the big chain? Exactly. Because she don't mm. have a big brain. Right <laughs> She but money. she has a big butt. <laughs> big, yeah, big butt don't mean big brain. <laughs> right, right. The characteristics you're you there you get lost in the sauce. <laughs> right. Oh, we. Oh yeah. yeah. What was I about to say? Hey. I don't know. I I was just trying to read the comments. I was just like, oh, <laughs> but we were having a good conversation though. So got you looking for the wrong thing. Yeah, right. So why right. is it wrong? Oh, I was about to, oh, that's what it was. I was saying about mm -hmm. they already be uh, 
they just be miserable with, you know, just, it's basically just a cover up. They feel like they act like just because you lame. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's what I was about to mention. Like, that's just like the dudes oh. that be having a, uh, that be weak and then they get a pew pew or something like that. Right. Like, like, you just, you still a weak guy with a pew pew. You know what I'm saying? That don't make you no tougher. You know, you know, you know, right. you know, tough. You just, like, a baby can have that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just mm-hmm. weird. They just, they put put this little thing on it to boost their little confidence. You know what I'm saying? Make them a little tougher and stuff. And they're not really tough. Like I said, if you ain't got that face before putting these chains and these in and these Jordans and stuff on, you still gonna be a lame guy. You're still lame. You know what I'm saying? No matter how you look at it, it's not gonna mm-hmm. it's not gonna change nothing. You just look like money and stuff. Like I said, you're gonna be used for the wrong thing. And that's Ooh. why that stuff never lasts. You know what I'm saying? When you're running with that, it would never you said last. it right, Kev. You said you just look like money. You look like money. And just like, remember, I was telling him in the other live, I said, you are not your makeup. You are not money, my guy. You exactly. You are money. <laughs> You're, You're more than that. Man. You, are not your, you are not your makeup. Mm-hmm. Yep. That goes on both ways. Like I said, it's just, they lead on both things. Damn, that, things. The that's like, that, that, that's poetry in and of itself. Yep. You are not your makeup. Oh, Lord. Well, one one thing that I was talking about on a live earlier was masking, like when you're a mask. So like even with a big rock, a big watch, a big chain, you're actually putting on something of of your. You're adding enhancing. We can use that word. You're adding features to yourself that you don't. That you already don't have. Why? Why are you adding? Why are you enhancing yourself? But then, right. you're, what are you enhancing like, yourself? That's what, right? Right. Yes. Exactly. What is that enhancement for? Like, what yes. You feel like you, you, you slacking that 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 you need to enhance yourself in. Right. I understood that though, but like even you know what I'm saying. But the thing is, you're trying to enhance yourself to look like the the popular uh money man. You know what I'm saying? Look like a so it's a, so it's something that's always compared to because you right. no matter how we look at it, it's something that's in our mind that we feel like we're not matching. So we want to so called call enhance, but we're really trying to copy. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to copy an mm-hmm. image that's that's put in our even if it's in our conscious or our subconscious. That's our you know I'm saying that's what we call beauty or that's what we call you know popular or cool. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. we're trying to match that, get as close as we can to it. So that's where it just turned. What the freak? I clicked the wrong thing. Oops. But yeah, we try to, you know, we try to get as close to what we think our beauty standards or what our uh, uh, popularity or coolness, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Guys be cool. that, like, yeah. like conform, conforming to the norm. Because if you look at it, look at Barbie dolls, look at the way um, dolls were. Why, why do you think we have dolls? Dolls, you actually can put makeup on or. They they taught a different beauty standard to women, and then where did where did chains come from? What necklaces or watches or jewelry? Jewelry alone. Why do you have to wear earrings? Right. Exactly. Why do you pierce your ears? And I, I so could have been like that too because I used to wear. I'd be wearing earrings. I still wear. It. Well, I, I, I wear earrings too. Ever since I, I've been on that celibate junk, I just did not care. I don't care about you know wearing earrings and chains and all that stuff because I'm like at the mm-hmm. end of the day, I know I was looking for some type of attention behind it, no matter what. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? That, I, it, it, that, enhances me. it makes me. Look that's more exactly because that's the. You know that, what I'm that's what me made me close to looking like money. You know what I'm saying? So even though that's a it's good still, point. I ain't spend that much. You know what I'm saying? I never spent mm-hmm. that much on it still. Do you know how much money you probably ears. saved just by being celibate? <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely right. I saved <laughs> me from having a kid. I, I saved myself from stressing. You know what I'm saying? I just saved some money. I ain't got to spend that much money because I ain't going to bars like that. Because usually when I go to the bar, I'm looking for some buns. So, like, I'm not right. doing that no more. So, you know what I'm saying? It's so much you save. Then I, I get time to, to, to clear my mind and focus on me, what I need to work on, work on my insecurities and all that stuff I have. you know what I'm saying it's all everybody got something that they got to work on though so right uh, right man, no got to work on this too. but if you think about it when when you're disciplined that right there some of those when, when you are disciplined and when you are so disciplined in in yourself think about how much you when you're disciplined in yourself you're actually investing in yourself it's an investment 
just by holding yourself back from something. Oh, Mark the Goat is here. Like, come on. Room. What's up, Mark? With the... Hello. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we got music. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to have, I told you I'm about to have fun with your soundboard, man. You know. <laughs> when somebody say something crazy. <laughs> That's you my favorite boy. boy. I swear, every time somebody say something silly, I'll be like, hold on, we're little John and him up. <laughs> you play with that thing way too much. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, hold on, wait, wait, wait. That's what she said. Oh, wrong one. Oops. I meant to say. Mark. <laughs> yeah. I had some time, you know. <laughs> I had some time. Time boy King in the building. Yes, it is. Time boy King. Oh my! <laughs> I'm sorry. That is hilarious. I was like, man, you were playing with that way too much. And if I like... hear anybody getting their feelings, I'm just, I'm going ahead and with this. I'm not here to protect your little feelings because we all need some healing. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Bro. Honestly, you need to you make see, that a sound. Like a bunch of ones on here Honestly, that I didn't record. I got four. Chad, you, you, you probably huh? need to make that a sound. I'm not here What's to that? protect your feelings. <laughs> just make it a sound. That's what it is. <laughs> I did. You talking about just the beginning part or just the whole thing? I'm not here no. to protect your little feelings. Yeah, that part. That part see. right there. I'm, here. Just, I'm not much. here to protect your little feelings. Like, make it a yeah, sound. Right. I, I swear it's gonna go viral. I know it will, and I'll, <laughs> I'll make a video just just to do it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, "Add that we are in the building, <laughs> Mark. We, we in the building. <laughs> we in the building. <laughs> Mark in the." Building. <laughs> Until then, we got to do this. Hello. <laughs> it's me. Well, yeah, let's get back on these guys that materialistic men. You know what I'm saying? Nah, doing this all for nothing. Just to, you know what I'm saying? Even with that situation, when I think about it, it's like, man, that's why I don't even care about that. I stopped. Like, the more I kept, because I was, I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie, I was just, even when I started my journey and stuff, I used to think about, man, man, my friend's about to think I'm lame and talking about I ain't getting no buns and I'm dry. I was like, you know what? I'm done trying to please other dudes, man. This is back in teenage years, we was doing that. I'm not about to keep doing the same exact thing. I'm not worried about no another grown folks thinking about me now. Like, I don't care. Like, my thing is, I know my goal is, you know what I'm saying? I want, I want marriage and all that stuff, so I'm willing to make that risk. I'm like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't playing that who got the most buns game. Like, no, I don't care no more. My thing is, you impress me when you when you finally get married. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that's impressing me now. Like, I'm on my grown man stuff right now. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about, you know. Mm -hmm. Who got the biggest? Who got the most notches? Like, how how long are we going to be doing that? That's some teenager stuff. We've been doing that since we was kids and all that stuff. Who got the most bonds? Who many notches and all that stuff? I'm not worried about all that no more. <laughs> I'm not really. Okay, well, if you think about it. Who, who, who could keep a relationship? What about that? How about, how about flex with that? Let's go and flex with that then, right? You can't right, keep a like, that sound like a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? So like, who, who's about flex that? Who, who's huh? comparing chains nowadays? Who's comparing watches? Who's comparing um Jordans? Like who's comparing like hey, did did you see how big my chain is compared to your right. chain? Oh, yeah. are, are men doing big that? enough, they're gonna wear the most. <laughs> it's always some competition. Are men even comparing chains with other men? Or are they only doing it to seek um, what a woman seek a woman? I would say it ain't it ain't like because I think women compete more when it comes with the uh, like especially if they who wear the makeup the best or something like that. It, it'd be something like that. But I think men the only time that they would get some type of jealousy is if that like they was getting to another woman or something like that, and you know that's when they be like. Uh, no, nah, they go try to, you know, try to shoot the other man down. But I think it's it's more rare that a man does that, you know what I'm saying? Because they know how a man react. You know, a man going to dang near about to fight each other and all that stuff. So I don't, I don't know about that. Though. But I don't think they do the comparison. So that would be kind of uh, – I wish I had a sound for that too. 
Yeah, no, I I, I was wondering that because I'm like, why why are men? Apparently, why why do you think men wear um wear rocks or wear chains or wear watches or have to have the best Jordans or the best Air Force Ones? Why do you think men do that? It's, it's still somehow it always and like I said, most of that time it's just it's still attention, but I, it's most definitely for to get some. Get a chick to get on your head and all that stuff because mm-hmm. they know that's what get the women. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, not the women they looking for. They get the girls to get on it. You know <laughs> I don't care how nobody feels. Kind of. <laughs> no, you said it. Right about the women that's, that's, the, that's when the part come in when the, when the women get mad. Like I'm talking about men, but you still. I like that stuff too. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I even just got on the men yesterday about you get the wrong men that sitting here want you for your makeup. So we ain't hear nothing on that. Right. You know, Right. So either way, it's always gonna be just them. That topic gonna always come up, no matter what. You know, what I'm it's saying they, they just find a way to make it more. It's be. only the world's for the women, men, and women. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I say that too loud. What do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah, what don't us? <laughs> don't get mad. Or, hey, how many accounts do you have? <laughs> right. Uh, right. No, I'll let you borrow mine, but <laughs> and then Man. you'll get manner there too. Yeah, right. Uh, you're, you're speaking truth. But, you're speaking truth. Because yeah. one, one, if you look at it, um, look at the 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 topic that you had about women and wearing makeup in comparison to men wearing big watches, big chains, and all this stuff. So, what are they seeking? What are their intentions? Are you trying to seek somebody else's attention outside of you? Or are you, do you actually even care about the character? Like once you get past, like the fact that yeah, I wore a big chain, I wore a, my makeup, but once you get to that person, now what? Now yeah. what? As I was about to say, no matter what it is for another person, even if people don't want to own up to it, because that's that. Like I said, I always use this. Oh, it makes me feel comfortable, or you know, what I'm saying I just do this for me. So if you do it for you, wear it in the house and then just stay there. You know what I'm saying? Take a picture and do your thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sleep in it. You know what I'm saying? Let that let that chain ch- choke you out in your sleep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but people be coming up with anything. It's that's that's crazy. Ain't no way you doing it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're not about to go out the house having that chain all going like that. No, there's no way. Or that big blingy watch. You're not doing it for yourself at the end of the day. I had a friend I was I had got it, I ain't gonna say got a tool with, but I was talking to him about it. And I'm like, dog, every all this stuff is done for a reason. He's like, man, I wear buffs and all this stuff, I just wear it for, for me. I'm like, dude, no, you don't. No, you don't. You ain't you ain't gonna admit it, but no, you don't. You're not just wearing no buffs in the house. Can't hardly see the TV and stuff. Whatever. Get out of here, man. That's mm-hmm. why you can't even hardly see through the thing, them glasses. So quit it. You yeah. doing it because uh, you know it make you it, that's the new style. That's something that make you look good. That might get you more women and all that. So that's the only reason why you're wearing it. And like I said, you're getting the wrong type of women anyways, because they only like you for your buffs because you look good. You look like money. You know what I'm saying? So right. And you, you want somebody like, to label you as looking like that. money? I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's just one of them. Like I, even with the topic yesterday, that's more of a lust type thing. You know what I'm saying? They looking at your, they going off your looks, how fine you look, and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? This one is like money. That's more. This of a, one is more money. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah because so both of them, you don't want to leave with expensive. either one of those two. How expensive is a chain, a watch, like a, a chain, a watch, jewelry, jewelry, like gut money and gold, Order. like it, it, like it's different than makeup. Makeup, you put makeup on, and it's like nobody knows what the value of that is. But when you see a chain, when you see um, a watch, and you're like, oh dang, okay. Okay, you, 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 you bought this for yourself, but are you bought? Are you? Did you buy it for yourself, or did you buy it, or in order to seek attention? What, what, what was your what, what was your reason for the purchase? What made what 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 made you buy the watch? What made you buy the chain? Can you even afford them? Or are they on? Are are you paying a monthly subscription for those things? Man, they go broke for that. Anything, like I said, I told you what yeah. was the second thing. Number one is the uh, money. That's like the 
the root of most of this stuff happening. And I said the next thing will be what's between a woman's leg. You know what I'm saying? So anything. Oh. That, people, people will get uh unalive for that stuff for both of them. You know what I'm saying? They you yeah. lose friends over it. You just you lose all type of stuff with that stuff. Right. Money, you spend money on it, all that stuff. So right. No, that's 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 a good point. Because not only are you spreading the image that you're presenting with, with a, a big watch or a big chain or a big rock or whatever, you're actually inviting, you're inviting something to you. Right. Are you inviting, a, well, you might be inviting a woman who's actually going to may like the fact that you have a big watch or a big chain, okay. but you might also be inviting a man who who wants your watch or wants your chain? Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly all that. And that's the wrong thing. Then it'd be the funny thing about that with both of them topics I'm talking about. At the end of the day, they be looking for love at the end of that. Like that's that's not real. You know what I'm saying? That's not real. You're mm -hmm. really tricking yourself into a relationship, especially if you get into something that you're not gonna keep up with. You really gotta like even whatever you live with, you gotta keep up with. Like if you sat here and Mm -hmm. came with the chains she that she seen you for the chains and stuff that's what you're going to stick with you know if he's seen you with the makeup and all that stuff you got to stick with that because like once you start the thing is once you change that that person start changing you know what i'm saying because that's not what they seen at the beginning so that person that you with gonna start changing a little bit they're gonna act like they're dealing with you for the moment but they know what their first intentions was when they first looked at you so whatever they looked at you from the beginning you know what i'm saying they got to compromise with themselves like all right Maybe I can deal with this or something like that. That's what happened after y'all done got with each other after that. They didn't right. compromise with each other and try to get to know you. That's what's backwards. They try to get to know you after they done, you know what I'm saying? It'd be, it's so weird. Just like they do with sex nowadays. They leave with sex, then try to get to know the person. Like, what the? That don't make no sense. Who was that I was talking to about? Makes no uh, sense. I was talking to you never makes sense. Talking to somebody about that. I said, who was that? Probably. Oh, that was, that was Ivan. Man, what the freak? I got a fur ball or something. What the heck? But nah, I was saying, oh, we was talking about, oh yeah, I remember that. So I said that was so backwards. I'm like, you said you can't do all this, and like I said, this this one chick had a valid reason. She was like, she was like, how you say you can't do the the wifely duties, but then you get your cootie cat up like that is backwards. Like, how you get a main thing up and then you can do? You, I don't know if I'm wiping material yet. Like, what the freak? Why is it so backwards now? Like, what you gonna say all this after you the gay the main thing? Like, that's that's so that's weird. The way they got this world is so backwards, man. Oh, that that's so like hypocrisy at its finest. That's <laughs> weird, man. But yeah, man. Well, I, I feel even you. Even that you don't want no guy. Even if we talk about that, so say for the women, I don't think if you you do want a guy just for the. For that because they chain and all that stuff. I don't think you ready for a relationship anyway. I'm putting it mm -hmm. that way. You know what I'm saying? If you can't surpass mm -hmm. their jury and stuff, and they <laughs> that's not what you you know what I'm saying. It's it's all about the mindset at the end of the day on both ends, no matter what. Like of course, of course, physical is the first thing that catch our eye, of course. You know what I'm saying? That's right. the first thing. Right, I mean, right, right. We, can't help that. we got eyeballs, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. think about it like blind love or something like that. When you really hearing somebody for what they doing and what they saying and all that stuff, and not mm -hmm. what they no, not what they, uh, how they make you feel in like physical way, and, or you know what I'm saying, what you think you can get out of them. Like actually try to understand a person, and that's what you fall in love with. You're so right because if you, but I like how it, they was trying to twist that stuff yesterday. Well, if you fell in love with the, with the what they call you, why would you work about the makeup? But I'm like, besides <laughs> that, like physical is a part though. Like you know, you still want to know. Like it's still gonna play a part anyways. I'm not. It's, it ain't gonna be no major thing. But I'm saying that you shouldn't if if you were if you more focused on your mental, then why you gotta adjust your physical then? Like why you gotta do all that if you saying that like it can go both ways. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you're saying that you oh I'm worried about my personality, but yet you could still gotta cover your face up though. That don't make sense. You're not that much worried. You're more worried about your physical than your personality then. You know what I'm saying? Really? So if you got That's all that time to put it into some makeup, then you know what I'm saying? Put that That's a, so huh? I, I think that that's a personal problem 
that people don't even they want to hide themselves behind hide themselves. that's the thing it's something that's hidden hide yes. themselves behind look at makeup it. or behind their watch or behind their chain and they don't even know how to be themselves they don't. and you don't even know who they are because yep. you're you you're, you're not even looking past you're not right. even looking past what they're trying to present to you yeah. on a on a physical characteristic. Oh, it's no different from dudes do you, wearing hats like crazy. I used to be a hat wearer too. I, I used to do all that oh. too. Wearing hats all the time, <laughs> never seeing my hair and stuff. Always uh some people wear sunglasses and stuff or whatever, like all that stuff. Like you are not that. Like if you can't go out the house, you gotta always wear that all the time. No, you gotta let somebody see you for you, man. Stop worrying about that. What other right. be really thinking about you for real? That's the thing. We be we be the people that really care about that stuff is not the people that need to be in your life anyway. You know what I'm saying? Nobody yeah. worry about what a person mm -hmm. outside they gotta say. Cause like I say, even when you're wearing the hats or not, you're still gonna get talked about. It's like I was talking about the makeup yesterday. If you wear it or not, you're still not the top of the top. You're not the biggest chain wearer, you're not the biggest none of that. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's the thing. I think that that people are covering themselves up so much with the big watch, the big chain, or the makeup that they are they're hiding themselves so much because they're afraid of themselves. They want somebody else to see them for something that they really aren't. It's so it's like a mask. It's the mask. Nope. Thank you. I'm on charge already. Oh, see, at least I get to charge this at the same time while I'm on my soundboard. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Let me put this a little closer to my face so they can hear me. Yeah, and it goes on the side. What are we? Oh, hold on. Oops. Hey, we gotta get some more people up in here, man. People need to hit us. People need to hit us, man. Y'all need to become y'all, man. It's the whole message of these two days. It's the whole message. Be you. Be mm -hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We know who you is. We are not what we got to add to our body. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. If we, if we become naked, that's not, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> None of that stuff going to be still on us. <laughs> that's nasty if it's still on, like, if it's a makeup. That's nasty. How's <laughs> it still on you? <laughs> I like, I like the way you said that. You said we become naked. <laughs> you're already, exactly. you're, you're born naked. Same thing. It's nothing you're, you're born gonna naked. <laughs> nothing you're going to be able to hide. So you might as well just. Be that ain't like we, I mean not saying we can't ain't like we could be naked outside the, our house and stuff that would be some crazy stuff but I'm just saying like well you're you're born you're, bo top you're top born top. naked you're born naked and and now you want to talk about putting on a big watch a big chain or right. putting on makeup or eyebrows or eyelashes mm -hmm. now you're you're enhancing yourself enhancing and that's why i know the difference oh my goodness I, i'm so glad we had that conversation okay for sure for sure thank you do your thing do your thing i'm being here though i'm just I have to, uh -huh. I have to take me a little break to give me something to eat i'm hungry <laughs> Some wine on the side. I'm gonna take me a little shot real quick. Well, I'm up. I'm yeah. making me something to eat right now. Yeehaw. So what what if what if jewelry what if there was no watches or jewelry or no makeup? Do you think people would think right. differently about themselves if there was nothing of that sort? Oh, they, they would be them. <laughs> They'd be embracing their nature because they have no choice though. But now they added this new stuff into the world and stuff. So they <laughs> and, and that's what the world told them was popular now. So they think that becomes them now. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happened. Mm -hmm. the, world, the world usually make the beauty standard and all that stuff. They're like, oh, this is the new popular thing. You know what I'm saying? You got to right. like this now. Or this is the new look and all that stuff. So everybody try to, they they subconsciously put it in their mind and say that. Even though they don't probably be consciously, it's like it goes to the back, back of the mind where we don't really know why we're doing it. You know what I'm saying? So it, we know what 
the the prettiest if they that they put that as the pretty is the prettiest face look like so it's kind of get try to get closest to that you know what I'm saying the little mm. Mm, that sexy, you know what I'm saying stuff like that and that's you know they've been the thing that's called sexy you now because you squint your eye and bite your lip and all that stuff so you know if you, if you can see it's like kind of clones in a way you can see if people cloning themselves oh right right you know what I'm saying even though they're not trying they'd be like no this is just me I naturally I naturally do this you know what I'm saying that's just you know what I'm saying no that's just some stuff that you made a habit out of all that stuff is really a habit you made a habit out of it yeah it is trying to become it and then you said this this is me you know what I'm saying that's why I be telling people people you you nobody really know you gotta identify that's one thing I like I said I learned in this little book and stuff the little uh, audio book that we choose we can really choose our identity it's just all everything is off habit you know what I'm saying why, the book is called Atomic Habit so everything is that's what like I said that thing changed my life that book most definitely or audio book changed my life it made me open my eyes to a lot of stuff that's what made me start learning to take be accountable for my actions and all that stuff and just all this stuff that, that really did change me you know, you, you, when you said that word habit, you know what it reminded me of is like you 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 are creating a habit. So when every morning when you wake up, do you put that jewelry on? Do you put that right. watch on? Do yep. you put that chain on? It becomes a habit. A habit, yep, yep. You rapidly keep going it, yep. And you, yeah, you essential. It becomes you after that. Like once it becomes a habit, the habit kind of makes you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever your habit is, it becomes you. It's like I yeah, said, be, it yeah, becomes you. it becomes yourself. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I I don't think a lot of people even realize how much money they spend on being something outside of themselves. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. I don't realize it because it's like, like cause it's we talk thing. about money a, and we talk about finances all this time. It's no different from drugs though. Like, like I was mentioning that yesterday. It's no different. Exactly. From drugs. It's an you it's another addiction. I need, it. I need it. How you gonna tell me what I need? That's what people be saying. Like, I can't tell you what you need because you're not gonna pass away if you don't stop doing it. So <laughs> that's exactly mm -hmm. why I tell you. You must don't know the real <laughs> definition of need. You know what I'm saying? Even if you feel like you need it, that don't mean you need it. You know what I'm saying? Your feeling right. got nothing to do with it. Your feeling got nothing to do with it because need going to tell you or based off if you're going to live or not. That's what's going to tell you. That right there. You can feel like you need somebody or something like that, but that don't necessarily mean. I don't, how many times have we did, and I I think I recently just did that on my last relationship where I think I can't live without you. I can't see myself without you. You know what I'm saying? What, we walking zombies now? You know what I'm saying? When you break up with somebody, you're a zombie now or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be one of those, but I guess I, I finally felt some some real love for what I thought. You know what I'm saying? I can't picture myself without that. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this person don't know. <laughs> saying all this stuff like, man, that person, I can't see why, how this person left you, man. I, this ain't no way this happened. Like, who could leave a who could leave a girl like you and all this stuff? <laughs> and life hits. <laughs> and life hits. <laughs> then it left me like... <laughs> I was like that every day, you know what I'm saying? But hey, God makes a way, you know what I'm saying? God make a way. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You just got to focus, man. You always got to focus. Like, I could have been one of the victims. You know, I had my little time and stuff. I had that, though, where I just get mad at, man, I'm about to go. I'm about to go look for the YT women and stuff. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You always want to come with something when you don't get along with something else with your interests. Right. That's where they come from. It's a hurt. You know, I start going on my lot on my pages and like, man, these women always got an attitude, probably. You know what I'm saying? And I just got to a certain point, like, man, whatever. Man. I just mm -hmm. gotta be patient. You know what I'm saying? I can find what I find. And like I said, me myself, I said I find love in any form, whatever it is. That's another thing. Like that's why I don't believe in that. I mean, I meet myself that love language stuff. I'm not into all that stuff. Like I said, love should call me in all forms. You should take love how, how you can get it. If you can know what love is. I don't think a lot of people know what love is. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree with certain that. Type of love. It's a and of appreciation. How, how many times have I ever spoke on love languages, but also knowing the fact that some people, your love is defined differently. Right. Sometimes you you define love based upon what you've experienced love is, but yep. then sometimes you have to tell yourself, "This isn't what I want. Right. This isn't what I desire." 
this isn't what I this isn't what I think love is. <laughs> and then you have to define it within yourself. Like right. people, people don't even realize how much power they have. You're like right. you can actually define your own sense of love. Not to the point <clears throat> to where, um, where you lose sight of not loving other people. You know, you, you can, you can define love in your own way, but the only way that you can define it is probably because you've ever you've been unloved before yeah. you've been unloved <laughs> how do you know what love is if you've never been not loved exactly right about that some people be swearing they know what it is but they're comparing it to something that um, they compare it to what they see from other people and then you know what I'm saying looks can be deceiving you know, mm -hmm. you know, people got inside their mind and what they're, uh, you know, what's inside of them, you know, what they really mm -hmm. feel. Like. You know, that's why they have these pictures that be out on social media having the cutest part about it, but they don't say what's happening behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. they're just looking at, ooh, they, the way they hug each other. Nah, it took a lot for that. It ain't, it ain't no, none of that stuff is no peak, no walk, no walk in the park. Man. Everything, right? Everything in life is like literally a job or something you got to work on, no matter what, how we look at it. We got to always work to be better to even stay stable, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's what our emotions, that's what our attitude we got to work on that every day, you know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> work a job if you have to. If you don't do that, you got to work with your relationship. Everything is a, is a job, no matter how we want to look at it. You can't stay mm -hmm. away from it, and if you be lazy and comfortable with it. It's you it no no never work you know with none of that mm -hmm. got to put in work. Well, I think that's why a lot of people don't even want to want to put it in the way. Well, they always say you know growing up they all we always heard the the concept of oh practice makes perfect no mm -hmm. there is no such thing as perfection practice no. actually makes progress yep. it just moves you forward the more you practice as something it, you, practice makes progress not perfection everybody wants to be perfect but there it, uh, but everybody's idea of perfection is different it is right, perfect, it's like subjective. Go home, lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Oh, man. I got it wrapped up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm running on E. I'm running on E. I'm good on the sleep, but I'm running on E with the <laughs> on my back, back up real quick. Ether. <laughs>
<laughs> You're going to open up like that? <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> May somebody make an accident on themselves, you know? <laughs> that was wild. Yep. <laughs> Skip them. <laughs> <laughs> had to change the vibe up a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you had to, you had to, because I was sharing, I was sharing like Lola. I know Lola's in here, and like, look, I have my dog. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my dog. <laughs> like, I was making food, and she's just here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm like, nope, I just needed to make my food. I made my sausage, but I added pepperoncinis to it. <laughs> What'd you eat, Kev? to protect you against long-term misery. Ooh, that was powerful. <laughs> yeah, that was powerful. Here to protect you from long-term misery. Because if you think about what, why do, why do you think misery is long term? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. You don't get over your, I mean, you don't get over your, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Feelings that turn to a trauma, trauma turns to misery. Take care of all that. Mm hmm. People, okay, so to get this conversation going and going back up again, like think of, think about a, a big watch, a big chain, all your jewelry. I don't know. I, I, I keep wanting to throw it back into the makeup. <laughs> I know they're so close, ain't they? I, I, I really do. Cause it's like, what what image are you trying to present? Like, yep. like I keep wanting to like go back to makeup. Cause women do what men do, they or do exactly vice versa. Both of them feel like they need it. Yeah. Both of them call it an enhancement, or they call it a, you know, what I'm saying enhancement. Oh, <laughs> who who even brought that word up? I don't. I think it's it was something, cold, um, something that. You don't want to uh, admit that you're trying to uh, blend in with the popular, you know what I'm saying, or blend in with the standard of beauty. Mm -hmm. So, I'm learning this as it goes, actually. I'm learning this. So, do you think a, a man is wearing a watch or jewelry or um, a, a chain in order to enhance himself to get someone else? But 
But at the end of the day, how does that make you feel? Does it make you feel validated? It does it make you feel good, good about yourself? What, um, you know what I'm saying? Once your mind is set up to what society said it is. Like you always, your mind, all that stuff work off like your belief. So if you you believe what the society says, what beauty is, that's what you're going to, your feelings and all that stuff goes off that. So they, what they're going to, like I said, once they adjust it to that, or, or even if it's in their subconscious, because they remember how that looked to them because somebody told them that this is what beauty is, then Yes, it will boost their confidence because they feel like they're more a part of what society says. Something like that. Well, and that, and that's the thing, though, is it is is it based off society? Society, so yeah. society is telling you you have to. Hey, Lola, it's society is telling you, lady. How you doing, Lola? Lola. I'm cool. <laughs> So society is telling you, you you need to have certain standards, right? Are you going to believe in society or are you going to believe in yourself? I don't think a human got to, they, they got to, uh, you got to be, need to be come one with yourself anyways, or, you know, understand yourself to even not believe in society too, because that's the first thing they teach you is society and your parents. So you're going to believe in that first. Mm-hmm. Lovely. You are so pretty. I just saw your uh, Oh, I appreciate that. I mean you look you look gorgeous in your picture, but I've seen a lot of people off uh their picture today or yesterday and I was like, Oh wow, you all look all right, cool. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> that. But um the uh I think it has to do with the cars too. You know, like I've heard men say they get certain cars because well, it attracts this and that. Okay. And they'll purposely yeah. buy it. Like why are you purposely that's buying this? Stuff? Point. I had to I had to go baby steps because the people that's wearing these Jordans don't can't even afford a car, but they want to buy Jordans though. That's what I had to get to. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I know somebody like that. He got every shoe out alive that's fly. And there's nothing wrong with catching the bus, but it's just the way that he, you know. The way that he put the, as much money as he put into them shoes, the females around him have said, "Why you don't put that into a car?" Like if right. females around you telling you, "Like cool, the shoes is cool, but you can't even come pick me up with nothing like that." But you mm -hmm. you you flaunting with these shoes like, "Oh yeah, I got this, I got this." Like you can walk, <laughs> you can walk, you can walk. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right, Lola. That's a good point. That's such a good point. Because somebody was on TikTok the other day, and they were like, and I don't know if it was in this room or another one. It was yesterday, and the guy was like, and I I get cars, and I do all these things, so that way I can appeal to the right person. And I'm just like, yeah, you, you're doing that all the way wrong. Well, you just said that too. What the freak? It, saying, it was some guy, and then he was like, and then it was basically like he was paying for everything. And I said, yeah, you, you and wrong. Those not good friendships that you in, or whatever kind of situationships you trying to build. You building it around materialistic stuff. Right. That's where people mess up at. <laughs> That's where people mess up at. They listen to what they say is right. <laughs> right. What's within. Right. Something that you have to buy, you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, when does it transfer? When does it become not materialistic? <laughs> I feel like it increases after that because you got to keep a standard up. Like you can't just be materialistic mm -hmm. and show that to somebody and then be like, "All right, we about to be regular." Right. right. That person has exactly. expectations now. Mm -hmm. Like Pretty you was cool. taking me to Copper Canyon or this restaurant. Now you want to take me to McDonald's? Uh. -uh. That's basically like uh, renting a freaking Ferrari then. You come back home and it's a, a temple. Right. You got a bike or something. You know what I'm saying? So, like, show what you got at the beginning. <laughs> Freak somebody into something. No, that was just a rental, my bad. <laughs> right. Like, that was a rental. So, it all the time. But so like, you used it to enhance you at that moment. <laughs> you, see what right. I'm <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I wish this stuff would just. <laughs> This is funny. We getting somewhere today. We getting somewhere. <laughs> How long y'all been on? Uh, I say an hour and a half, probably. Oh, okay, okay. I thought y'all was going from the night. 
Hey, hey, I, I, minutes, I just got that. Lola, I, I went live today too. Right oh, before I got on, yes, I did. And right before I got on Kev's live, I went live. But I, oh, I had a good support. I had a good support. That's good. I'm about to say, I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I was knocked no, out. No, it's, it's, it's okay. I, I was oh, learning. Mama, I was learning. Late. I was learning how to get certain buttons and all the whole invites and <laughs> cool. Let it me know a... if you need any help or anything. You know. Oh, I'm I appreciate I'm that. New to all this, so man. Yeah, me... But I'll be there <laughs> next time. I promise. No, I appreciate that. Uh, honestly, I need you. <laughs> and honestly, I was telling Kev, I was like, and next time I go live, I was like, I need to make sure Kev's there too. <laughs> nah, he would probably be a crazy ass mod. <laughs> yeah, nah, just just um, you know, inbox me and just let me know, and then that way, you know, I'll know. I will do that. I, will, I, I, will I was kind of just sitting around last night, um, and I didn't know if Kev or Dazzle was gonna go on, and then I started watching Netflix, and then Netflix started watching me. That was a wrap. <laughs> well, apparently, apparently, I fell asleep on Kev's live this morning. <laughs> oh, this morning, yeah. It's all good though. We knew you was working hard overtime. We kind of tra- I came in and transitioned for y'all. Like, I grab it for lovely. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are. I appreciate this, and and that's why we have these conversations. Like, even when I went live tonight, I was like. What do I even talk about? I don't even know how to put a topic up. Like, Kev, like how you put like the yeah. topic and stuff. Like, yeah, I don't even know how to do all that shit. Like <laughs> I tried it one time and I was like, uh, I don't do what everybody else is doing. It was, it's it's too, much work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too much work. Yeah. No, once, once, once I learn it, like, I'm cool, but. Man, I was just like, man, that's why I appreciate you, Kev, <laughs> because you be coming in here with topics every single day. <laughs> and, you know, I think even if you don't have a topic, you know, you have, I think, good support around you to where right. if you just even have an idea in your brain, we can kind of help, you know, stimulate a conversation and all that around it. So, yeah, and I, I was thankful for the the people that were there in the live, undisclosed, and uh, yeah. King Buana. King Buana, I, I know you. Um, he's in Kanaz live all the time. He came in it, to help support my live, and Fairy Tale was there too. That's what's just them three. Yeah, and I was like, okay, cool. So, no, it it was good. It was it was lovely. It was it was necessary. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, it was good. But I, I, I think people need to get their feet wet on these platforms so that when you have a platform like Kev, I don't know, what what drove you to use this as a platform? What, the live part or just the, uh, just the whole just, thing? Just going live and, and, and being able to present oh, topics. Live, I went live after we were coming up. But I had this app for like two years prior to that, or two or three years prior to that. I wasn't going live. I was making content. Oh. Yeah, and I only did content. I started that little at the time because I used to do vines a long time ago. Then I took a break. Then I tried to do streaming, and then I switched that up, and I started doing content. Mm. I was doing funny videos at first, then I started later down the line, started doing motivational videos. <laughs> So what makes you keep moving? <laughs> My other mod is in here. Yep. What what makes you keep moving? Like and you, and you, you present watch a, your a topic tongue, Dree, before you come in here. You better watch your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's gonna be our insider. <laughs> I was about to say that when she came in here, should have did that. Hello. Song. Get, get, hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Why did you make me think of a song right now, Lola? <laughs> I was already broke. Oh no, that was Kev. Kev, you and that damn whatever soundboard you got. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what was that? I was what like, was that wait a minute. Here? That wasn't Lola. Yeah. That was oh, you. you. Music? Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I did that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was Lola. You, you DJ Cam with a low nose, man. Talk to me nice. <laughs> right. 
And you're tricking people now. <laughs> Let me see if I can wake somebody up real quick again. <laughs> you gotta get the you gotta get the Dave Chappelle joint. What? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Add that. Add that, Kev. Mm. The Dave what? Chappelle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that okra, Kaz? Is that what? Okra? Yeah. <laughs> you said it's what? Hopper. Oh, okay. You can have these when I was a little kid. My mom used to be so stingy with me. <laughs> you can have half of one. I'm a hockey player. You can get a whole one. I had to get a half of one. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> So is is that a soundboard like where you can create your own yeah, sounds, or they just it just it just comes with sounds already? It's fifty dollars. Yeah, some of them. Yeah, it came with sounds. Come with sounds. Oh, okay. I, make, I can make three, uh, four custom ones at the bar. Oh, okay. Fifty dollars for this one. Oh. Pew 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 pew. Yeah, right. I need. To, I want that noise. <laughs> That's what like a like night? a a mini um night? what about the neck the the freaky night uh at night uh <laughs> 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 uh I need I need to walk around with one of those. With right, 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 Lola. <laughs> Take one of those walk around with sound effects for everything and everybody. <laughs> Mark is in the building. Hold up, I forgot to tell him he just came back in, so I hit him. Oh Mark's Hello. here too. Oh my! Okay, <laughs> that was not low. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! No, that that soundboard is trickery. <laughs> mm-hmm. Need one of those. I do too. That's like an April Fool's joke at its finest. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> you know how many? <laughs> you know how many people you can trick with the with that soundboard? Oh my goodness. They trick themselves. So, so what? What even made you think of getting one of those? Um, that's random. I tried to think of some stuff that I could en- enhance. <laughs> my- <laughs> to enhance my life. It's the word of the month. Enhance. Ever <laughs> since yesterday, I started remembering that word. Enhance. <laughs> and we got to make sure we watch our tone around here. That's another. <laughs> that was. A- what? <laughs> uh, it ain't, it ain't it tricking guys. if you got it. Oh my goodness, Mark. That's Only Mark would say that. <laughs> he said, it ain't tricking if you got it. What is they shot? Mm-hmm. That's weak. Oh my goodness. Got it. Why, why does that remind me of the um the word uh you know all these lives that we go on, they talk about pimp. And a simp. You know what I said? Somebody asked me the definition of what is a what is a simp? And I said a soft pimp. <laughs> Listen, I've been trying to figure that out because I get confused. They call the people well, simps, and I'm no like, I, I didn't even know what that term was. But I was like, well, I just removed a letter. <laughs> like, I remember no Bun B and uh What's my yeah. thing right now? I remember they say <laughs> like, but I don't really use that word of him. Never really, you know what I'm saying? I don't mm-hmm. can you break that down to me real quick so I could try to figure out if I know some simps. What's that? Exactly. It was supposedly it's a um well, maybe Kev can speak more on this. It's like a soft guy. No, it's a, a guy that do anything to cool name. He would probably he would coddle you for some cool name. Spend a lot of money, and the only matter of fact, some of the times they don't get it. You know what I'm saying? They do it. They spend all this money and all this stuff, but still don't get it. You know anything to mm. get that pool in it. You know, but they never end up like <laughs> clapping. You said my volume low. Is it louder now? It's it, it's louder now. Oh, that's because I put it to my face. I ain't want to hold it to my face all that time. So is is a simp is a simp a bad thing? 
Oh, I should be louder now. Is I'm louder now? Because I just turned my volume up. Yeah, I can hear you. Sweet. I ain't saying I got to put it. I thought I put it to my face. I think. Hold up. I think I hear myself. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Let me say, make sure my female voice went. Not too much. Not too much. Oh, yeah, that's my sound. That's my, uh... Yo! That's my, oh. I put it on the soundboard. Now, nah, watch this, but watch this, watch this. Oop, that's wrong. That's what she said. That's what... That's <laughs> a... This oh, one you, made, you made your own sound. Yeah, okay, sound. that's what she said. <laughs> I like that. Can't buy the Benish on. Like, pum, 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 pum. All right, that's when I get the real. <laughs> I spent a little extra couple hundred dollars. <laughs> I ain't Going mad crazy. at it. Dr. Marco. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Because you always say that. That's okay, what she I said. Know. And I was like, yeah, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> so Let me pretty know. much pay for it, but they don't get it. And pimps is a whole of a different thing. Right. They, 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 they got pimps and they got players. Pimp you know And now we got passport bros. <laughs> and That's a whole so different we, thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we got so He's much out. in the mix, the so much. Be all that and one, <laughs> they can still be a simp over there. Mm-hmm. He just a simp overseas. <laughs> that's simp what overseas, it's getting. Simp overseas. Or... Oh, that's that's a that's a perfect term actually. When you think of simp, it's it's that's simple. Cool. Simple. The Thank word simple. That's what I feel like a simple ass person. Mm-hmm. No, but I'd be so out of the loop because I don't. I know if I'm dealing with a person that's trying to pay for Is something, they okay, ain't getting it. Like, what? Back away, sir. Back up off me. Back up off me. Yeah, back yeah. Back up. Back up off me. Now you miss. So, so can simps buy a big watch, a big chain? Like, do simps yeah. walk around with the same stuff that you're yeah. talking about, or or a or? <laughs> yeah, they come in them type of forms too. <laughs> Take me as I am. Ain't got no game. Just <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe whatever the you want to look at me. You know what I'm saying? You know what the guy like? You know what the woman like? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's simple? Would that be a person that's maybe less than a person that they can't get, but they'll do whatever they can to try to get whatever them? Whatever they can. Mm-hmm. Most of the time they don't. Do right, they, Lola. They panders too. I would call them panders too. I tell any girl, you know, even this bad behavior or not, hey, baby, it's all right. <laughs> you know, that dude ain't know what he was messing with, you know? <laughs> take me. I'll take you as you are. That's a powerful word. A panderer. A panderer is like, it reminds me of somebody like just pandering for money. Like, you're like, I need a handout. <laughs> oh, misconception. Would that be like, a, does that line up with the pick me? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of names I got. I, oh, I need a dictionary. Carry it around with me. Are you a pick me, a panda, a simp, or a pimp? Which yeah, one? let me ask this question before I have a conversation with you. <laughs> now, Cam, exactly. let me ask you, and I, and I wouldn't judge if you did or if you didn't. I have right. had conversations in eons, but do you ask women what their body count is, or do you take it based off of a conversation? Ooh. Whether it means something to you or not, that's a good question. Personally, say, "Hey, what's your body count?" Or how would no. you even like address? That I've problem? always, I've always said that know. too, Lola. No, no man know. has ever asked me how many men I have been with before him. No man has ever done that. So I didn't yeah, know I what body count was because they don't want to picture that in their mind. It the thing is, it do it do matter, but they just don't want to matter. Want it to matter, you know what I'm saying? Because they're not going to ask. <laughs> Like how many you had? Well, ninety three. Oh, you right, baby. I still love you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that thought is something else, though. When they when they thinking about that girl getting to- toe up, you know what I'm saying? I it, it, I think men take it worse. You know what I'm saying? Just because they know that girl's the one that take it. You know what I'm saying? Take it, take it. <laughs> it's like I mean, it, and it goes on both sides. Because if I think. In my relationship, like years and years ago, like I would, I didn't want to know, but I knew like my dude was that dude. Like he was, he was handsome, and you know, a lot of ladies was attracted to him. And I was like, I just don't want to know the people you've done out here because I don't want to see them and run into them. 
but mm -hmm. I was curious, but I just didn't want to know because it took my mind into another place. So yeah. I just can't imagine. I mean, it, it, I guess I'm saying it works both ways. You know what I'm saying? When you a person just don't care for somebody that's out there doing the world. But I just mm -hmm. never had a man or heard a conversation where anybody's ever been like, oh, how many bodies, how many people you been with? I'm like, what? Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of people hold, hold, hold on to it. That's when you know it matters. When the person don't want to say it, that's when you know it don't matter. I mean, it do matter. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot like, of I people that don't. I a while ago, but, you know. That, that, that's, the, that's the past that everybody is trying to carry with them when phase. you don't I even need the past. The phase I've been through, you know what I'm saying? So it don't matter. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to tell you, though. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, but it don't matter. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not, but what if you ask? If you ask, are you actually going to tell the truth? Right. I don't know if you're going to get the truth anyway. They're like, I don't believe. <laughs> Hello. And then once they Is say it, it's going to be like. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> years and years of misery. Years and years of it. Yeah. Years and years of this. <laughs> Wait, is that evolution? Wait a minute. What is that? Oh, that, that's that. That's that clap back. This <laughs> <laughs> is how the body counts rack up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is, this is funny. Be uh, hit I back. see my two favorite ones on here <laughs> for late at night. <laughs> the guy already here or not after he asked about the body count because it means I got to add one more on. <laughs> when are you uh -oh. asking? In a text message? It's just weird to ask. Like, it's not, I get what you're saying too. Like, you know, if it did, I wouldn't, I think it's good to have standards and I think, you know, women right. or men should have their own standards and all that but to to challenge me and ask me about my past you know what i'm saying it's not a role you know, i, I take anyone it, down because it's like that's my past we we here now mm -hmm. i don't think like to women i don't think it matter anyways i think to men it do for some i don't, I don't think it's i don't know if it's gonna be able to explain why it do it's just that thought and that thought and stuff that's what it is Oh, that thought I can women, they, they don't ask that because they want to go for the top guy anyways that already get plenty of cheeks. This this be like you know they want the best of the best. So. But for an average guy, yes, that does matter. You know, <clears throat> they always say that a uh, a man uh, worry about a woman's past and a, a woman worry about a man's future. You know what I'm saying? We always the opposite though. So what's too many bodies? Every man is different. <clears throat> Every man is different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you got mm -hmm. this is a guy that got a super high body count, they're gonna be like, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Of course they say that because they, they got a high So body does count, it does it matter support. about does it matter about how many um men that I get my got back? in between them legs, or does it matter about why the women got them in between them legs? Mm. Somebody said last night that, you know, women like that who have either a high body count or who are promiscuous is going to continue even through your relationships. Like after you get in a relationship, you're still going to be thinking about being promiscuous. And mm. then somebody else, I think it was Alondra, she was just saying <clears throat> you could be in a situation where you could have had, you know, some trauma that happened to you when you were younger. Or, you know, you're going through that phase and things have changed. And I just think, like, some people get stuck in the mentality that this person's going to be this way forever. And that's a person, I think, that hasn't experienced change within their life or understand the meaning of change. And then so, you know, once you kind of, like, understand that everything doesn't have to be and that a person can grow, I think it allows a door to open up to say, all right, you know, this is your past, whatever, yeah. whatever. But if you mm -hmm. don't think a person can grow from where they are, then yeah, you, you you're kind of stuck too in a place, and you don't even realize it. So I think that on part that, on that is like I will put that the reason why because um, it's like an average thing or something. It's like trying to find a needle in a ha a haystack or whatever. Like it, the chances of so say if a man looking for and they find out that girl got a high body count or something like that, that automatically paints a image already. So it will show that. 
what is the chance that she changed from that? You know what I'm saying? That's like you, that's why you would probably want to go for the lower body count and usually be like that, something that's lower than that. Because, you know, usually what come behind that is like it showed uh, the lack of self control or some, some you know, situation like that or whatever. And the, the likely chances of, you know what I'm saying, somebody recover from that is kind of low, especially, you know what I mean? So nobody, it's like a chance. You would have to take a gamble to be like, okay, maybe she's not going to be a 304 or something like that. Maybe she got that under control, but you can't just go off somebody's well, usually, like I say, the ways is what shows, so usually you don't have to ask the body counselors when they got like a the way they you act, need to let Marcus, tell, and the way they look for but, attention and all that stuff, you'll be able to tell. You really need to let Marcus. I'm in the, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Mark might have been toxic gems. I'm with the panda page. She's toxic. What's the goodie? Grand Rising King. Oh, hold up. Mark. Hello. Oh. Hello. I was like, who was that? Field, who was that? I swear, Lola, every time he does that, I think it's you. <laughs> he took my hello from somewhere. That's you? That sounds like you? Hello. Oh, let's see what you got. That's like me. <laughs> I, went, I do. I'm going to let Mark go. <laughs> you say what now? So what was your so, so what's your toxic take, Mark? What's your toxic that, um, take on it? I think a lot of women don't understand what um, status means to a man. And depending on that man's status is going to determine the type of woman that he will he will pursue. Right? It, it's not that men care so much of the body count, but they want to know that when I walk in this building, if I got the girl that everybody had, do I got her now because – because I'm, I'm worth it, like she done chose them, but it comes down to her choice, you know. It makes men feel good to know that they've been chosen out of when, you know, women have options. And you have some men that take that as a competition, and then you have some men who see that as a problem. Because a lot of times we do associate body count with some type of trauma. And a lot of people may say it doesn't matter, but we can all say that's why a lot of times people say, well, you know, I've been through some things in my past. And a lot of times we as men, especially, we contribute a lot of those things to said traumas to where you yeah. might feel like you got to go above and beyond or do something extra in order um, to, to have or to keep this person, especially from the point of view of a man. And I think that when um, you talk about body count, it's not that men are not going after strippers or women that's even prostitutes. You know, they will still choose with them, choose to be with them. But I don't think women understand the shame that comes behind it. A lot of men haven't grew up being shamed about who they lay down with, but women do. Mm. That's that because you you be done open your legs up to point. to somebody that's that's a lame, and people know that, and people we can't act like the streets don't talk. Speaking facts right now, Mark. Thank yeah, you, you know, very I, much. I just had to I just had to come in and give y'all a little bit of the you know, some people will consider it toxic, but I call it the truth. That's the truth, right? Okay. That is the truth. That's that is the truth. You don't hit it with the Thank you very much. Too <laughs> <laughs> so you know, on both sides is definitely yeah, on point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think um, I, I just be want to give it from a man's perspective because a lot of women be like, well, why do men care? Why do men care? And they'll ask yeah. you, but it'll be in subtle ways. You know, it's mm-hmm. not always, oh, who you been sleeping with? But it's like, hey, did you did you mess around on prom night? Or, you know, because these are types of things that you can start seeing when you ask questions. Like, if you don't ask, you won't know, right? And I feel right. like if you're going to be with somebody, I want to know you. I want to know everything about you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now that don't mean I want to know uh, how the dude was packing or or how long did y'all go and all that stuff. <laughs> That's some serious stuff. Like mm-hmm. you gotta get the details. <laughs> so I want to know how is. But at the same time, you want to be like, oh yeah, I had a hot girl summer or something like that. That's an automatic turn off. <laughs> As soon as you hear that, you'll be surprised. And Especially you gotta remember, way, everybody not the same out here. You said oh, okay. Summer. <laughs> <laughs> he said hot girl, the hot girl summer. 
So, so who uh, giving these girls the pass? You know what I'm saying? Like in right. social media, when people are giving likes, it's somebody that's accepting this. And it's either a group of girls that are accepting, you know, this type of movement. Once you get to an age where you can kind of say, okay, should I be moving this way or not? Right. Or is it the people just on social media, guys and girls are like, ooh, I like her. Ooh, I like her. And you liking the pictures, you liking the movements and stuff. And I think it gets a lot of people confused. It gets the people who mm-hmm. get confused because they like, oh, they only want women like that. Or it gets two different ways. The women doing it confused because they like, oh, the men like it. They paying for it. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of them, like I said, one is a, a, a sex zone and one of them is wife. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be wife with your sex zone. That's the thing. There's two different types of women that they look for. Now, if they trying to smash some stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's the one-nighters. If you want to keep mm-hmm. something, you don't want to be known as having a one-nighter. That's the difference. Yeah, I think it comes down to a lot of people don't understand that there's a difference between someone being attractive and you being attracted to someone. Right. Because right? mm-hmm. just because I look at that 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 BBL and them double Ds that you know she just bought last week, that don't mean <laughs> that's what I'm gonna want. You know what I'm saying? To take home. Right. Want to stay with? Want to play with? I just thought about that. Don't steal it. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's but a good I, point. I think women seriously that. get that mixed up. I think, like for me, I, I'm a, I have a lot of conversations with men and through this app, and I've it's just been kind of stamped, you know, through real life and here that men aren't necessarily looking for that, and that that's how they are looking at it. But I think like a lot of women who aren't socializing with men on that level, they don't understand it. So you got a lot right. of women here who are good women who are now trying to change themselves. To yeah. look like some, that's where you get in the makeup and stuff. Why you wearing makeup? I don't know. Why? Right. Because somebody else mm-hmm. were getting the attention and you getting called a plain Jane because you don't have it on. But who calling right. you the plain Jane? It's the other female. It's a it's a weird circle of stuff going on. So you got to kind of like, at that point, pull mm-hmm. out and say, no. Well, <laughs> and if you, if you look at it, Lola, too, like how, how many lives, not even lives, have you ever just scrolled through videos and there's a woman just putting on their makeup while they're talking, yeah. and they're like the contour, uh, like I don't, I don't even know how to do all that. I don't. That, like, uh, that, yeah. that's why like, come from the standard of different uh, reasons why behind it, because some of them be just doing it for like the, um, they like yeah, and stuff. They just do it for fun and stuff. They will wash it off later that night. That's what that be. But some of them mm-hmm. actually doing it because they want some type of attention. They're probably what they don't really need. You know what I'm saying? To, some, to somebody to like me. Because well, that's the thing, though, though, the attention. We can talk about attention all day long. Are you seeking attention because you actually want to end up in, in the bed with that person? That's what it is. That's what See, it is. Mm-hmm. Some people think the bed is what lead them to love. That's why everybody messing up nowadays. Boy, oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Boy, oh, boy. And you, you know what? It's a weird thing that happens. You know, let's say if somebody ends up talking to you. This can go both ways. You have a conversation, <clears throat> and the next thing you know, it's like, oh, that's chill. Okay, cool. You you chilling, Netflixing or whatever. And next thing you know, just because y'all didn't chill, now y'all carry that to I like him. We see mm-hmm. your pattern. Now y'all done laid together real quick. And now mm-hmm. y'all in a situation. And it just be mm-hmm. like the thing that be happening. And I'd be like, y'all. And then next thing you know, somebody pop up pregnant or something like that. I probably yeah, it happened to me with my, my baby father originally. Like, you know, it was like when but I was 23, so I was very young minded at that point of what things meant but i see it happen a lot where people just swiftly move their way into a situation and it don't even need to be that and then you you have them dumb relationships y'all don't even know each other but because the bedroom was that place that it felt like love but it was really a lot of that's a big difference Mm -hmm. lust feel like love i'm telling you yeah lust is less is bad less is bad because lust you're 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 seeking something that is temporary. A desire. Hey, I yeah. Thing. I would like to thank TikTok for helping me not lust as much. Cause <laughs> hey, be people out here tricking <laughs> like crazy. Man. I can fall back. You see how many them belly, oh, belly roll no. videos and stuff with the mm-hmm. and then the little what's that one with the girls be like? They do that. Uh, remember that move they be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Your soundboard could probably could probably commit that. 
It's man, they do any video nowadays. It's so show that behind. Even if they don't get one, they gonna any. If one girl that got a video, she do it to the little apple rock. <laughs> Even if they don't have hair, one, like, background like pat, 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 pat. <laughs> they try to do the little thighs because they ain't got no booty, so they just shut the thighs real quick and slap it. Hey, they like, you not gonna see what's back here. You gotta check out the um, check out what they be doing with the shirt. <laughs> yeah, right, they turn all the way around. They always, when you hear they this. always got a shirt that hang down to the knees in the front, but stop at they back. And, you know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> And then they happen to subtly be like, look at this. Mm-hmm. this like some people getting wild on here, though. And they don't know. They, do. they do. It's not Twitter wild, is it? I ain't never seen nothing like past PG 13 in here. Oh, you would be surprised. What? And there'd be some people that be hating it. They be this shit is rated R. I'd be laughing. <laughs> Studio, what's the deal? studio in the building. It was. Yeah, I, I done studio? came across some stuff that be like, <laughs> they be. I'm talking about like, never mind. I can't even say it because they gonna get me for saying I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's not like what I see on Twitter. I don't know. I ain't never seen. I ain't never come past nothing on my. Uh, I, I don't never be looking at videos that much. I be on lives a lot now, so I don't even know. Mm-hmm. Well, and, 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 that, and that's the thing, the, the different platforms. Oh, yeah, going back to choosing this. I think this is a dope platform to be on right now because you have a group of people who don't know each other. Like, when you're on Instagram, it's very much like you. it's either celebrities or you got your close friends, Facebook too. But here, I found it a different environment in um, just being able to communicate with people that don't know me from a certain place and to start new conversations. Um, Mm -hmm. But, Kev, you said you had started doing so you were on youtube before it hit creating content no nah, no nope, i was on here first okay yeah, i was actually on vine that's and then i took a break and then i was doing other stuff then later i was like you know what let me go back to doing uh funny videos again then later that it turned into motivational videos and then now i started going live when i started messing with my uh what can i i started going live hey, but y'all day. make sure y'all keep networking though man because they're talking about taking uh, taking that good old TikTok away, man. So yeah, make sure if you That's find the- some like mm-hmm. people, make sure y'all network, man. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, and Mark. And it don't always got to be on no trying to get with somebody type stuff because there's different people mm-hmm. that feed you for different things. Right. You know, that, that's one thing I learned too, because a lot of times we get that attraction and you see a pretty face, you be like, oh, hey. But then you actually get to know people and have those conversations, and they be like, oh man, dang. I didn't even see that about you. Two focus on something else. I know well, some I conversations about uh he's talking about some MySpace. He left him some MySpace. It's a lot of no, we talking about MySpace earlier. Oh my goodness. Oh my Studios, goodness. We were right. talking about MySpace earlier. <laughs> Don't let me catch you on uh, m- uh what's that junk called? Moto I- Moto Space uh mo- what is that junk called? Moco <laughs> Moco Space. You better not be on that, bro. <laughs> But it's a lot of people learning a lot of stuff on this app in different kind of ways. Like I was saying, I be seeing Lovely in some um, TikToks. I mean, not TikToks, but lives or whatever. <clears throat> and it'd be like some deep lives that I've, you know, that I'm in that's talking about like life and talking about uh, way deeper right. stuff in relationships. But it's, you know, you put people in the platform where they're learning and we wasn't trying to have y'all learn. We was trying to have y'all battle. Oh, now we got to take it away from y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's t- oh, oh, he followed my other page. I think that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's the time. Yeah. The time, the time. Exactly. And I, I appreciate that, Lola, because honestly, I can go into lives and go in and talk about some deep shit, but I don't, I don't like controversy. Yeah. You know, the, the, the controversy is the, is the hard part. Is like that's when I was like, no, I think I need to step down because yeah, there are some brother. lives that I'm probably not welcomed in. And I have to realize that for myself. It's a lot there of are lives. some I lives. lives I'm not welcome in either. That's why I'm going there. It'd be so, it'd be so <laughs> right. one-sided in there. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I think a little bit totally different from y'all. That's one of the reasons why I got on TikTok. Because whenever I first got on, probably about, um, it's been over a year at this point. That's mm-hmm. when all of the stuff that you hear about now was, going, was just starting. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it'd be a lot of people that I feel like even with the big followers and all that stuff, 
they be spreading misinformation, and a lot of times it, it's for the com- it's for the controversy, like to hear mm-hmm. other people's perspective. But I don't think that some people have the people in their life that needs to tell them about themselves. And a lot of people get on this app and just start espousing anything, not realizing who the audience is and, and who going who going to see this next week, right? Like mm-hmm. you've seen time and time again, people get called out for something they beat up said in this live and and got screen recorded on this live and then it right. get put out there, and it's not something that you can stand ten toes on. Mm-hmm. So you said, hold up, I got a question because I I think I used to do this. So you say you be going into some of the lives that that be so. Uh, one sided and stuff. Yep. I, yeah. I so I, sometimes I used, I, 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 know, I used to do that. Oh, though, yeah. But it's like that was like me first. That's but I ain't gonna lie. They got my stuff together though a little bit. They got my brain together. But I realized that sometimes that it, it like certain stuff. It just no point. It just depends on what you're trying to get out of it. Sometimes it just be no point because they are they be so stuck on what they believe in that they just try to make you look like the the silly person. And then in the in the, in the, and then in the midst of it. They try to tr- trigger you, you know what I'm saying? They try to trigger mm-hmm. you and then turn you to mm-hmm. something that you're not. Then they ready to paint that image on you after Damn that. And like, oh, this, that type of, remember this guy and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But they already mm-hmm. having their mind made up already. And I'll be like, man, you know what? They just won't, it'd be one-sided. It'd be like pointless, though. All you did was just raise your blood pressure. <laughs> it'd be a waste. Mm-hmm. Of, it'd just be a waste. Well, see, not me, Kev. I, I mm-hmm. think that the advice that you give when you be like, man, I don't see how people take the internet so serious. But me, I'm like, I don't know how people don't take themselves more serious. Yeah. Like you can get somebody to get you up here to get you out of character, bro. Yeah. Like all they yeah. gotta do is say your mama got a beard and you ready to flip. And then right. ain't nobody yeah. ever seen your mama. Right. Exactly. You, right. Right, Mark. Is so you can you can go into a live that is only one sided, or you can go into a live that is two sided, uh, or you're having an amazing conversation. But you're there because you decided to be there. Yeah, most that's of that, why well, I never most understand. Time I be getting blocked in those lives, though, because people. Yeah, that. I, ain't, I ain't even saying <laughs> that. You don't have to like I said, every now and then I might do it for myself. But I'm just what I'm saying is, it's like it's like a, a waste of breath sometimes. Because like when you realize some people right. just don't don't want to meet with where you uh how your understanding is. You just be talking and all that stuff, and they just want to just use you as a just just as anything. You know what I'm saying? Just a, a talking thing or something like that. Like it'd be like a waste of breath, and you realize, like, dang, what the heck? I just went in here just for nothing for, the, for them to play with. You, you know what I'm saying? That's all it be sometimes. It, but it just yeah, depends on the uh, line. Try to set you up. Yeah, he said. I yeah. called myself a few times. I like, you know, I need a break because it's just it's, it, it. We can't play it like it don't mess our uh our mental up sometimes and all that stuff because it's just like it, right. all this stuff. Like everything affects you. You can, when you get angry and all that stuff that happens to you. Like we're not robots, so it's like, yeah, you can. We can be like, oh man, you're not hurting me and all this stuff, whatever. You you just said all this stuff, and then I, oh man, I just I be want to say some names and stuff, but it'd be some people that y'all you gotta we gotta watch out for on here. Dog. I, <laughs> it's a few names on here that I just don't like these people, and every yeah, time I better, see them, hey, they in some type of toxic type live, and they would turn on you. <laughs> then the host don't want to say nothing to them, they right. say nothing to them, let them talk how they want to talk, and I'd be like, dog, all right. Hey, <laughs> and, then, the and then you know what they'll do? They'll oh. go and do another live and then talk shit about you. Oh man, and people be they they be walking people like that. I don't like that. It's too too. I don't two like people, it either. I don't two, like. They're not either. even big people for real. But they, it's a girl and it's a dude. It's a girl and this dude that I, every time I see them, it's always problems around them. It's always problems. I'll be having to put my cape on because and I, and I really actually TikTok helped. TikTok has helped me a lot because I always, I don't like bullies. I do not like bullies. So I throw my cape on, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even me that the attack is coming from. Like when they like, why are you defending these women? I'm really not defending them. I just don't like people talking stuff behind somebody's back. I'm a to your face kind of person. So I've talked to all the controversial people to their face ahead, the Black Jesus, the Miss Mets and all them. And I'm okay with them now to the point where we've talked and I've talked to them in a platform where they're, I'm a right. dragon of calmness, but it's I've been in platforms where like, they be wild, and I'd be like, hold on, wait. I'd be like, your presentation be one way here, it'd be another way, but I've said it to them. I'm not the type of person, I'm going to go back and fight back. I think that's the most cowardice thing people can do is be talking about people behind their back on the app. Like, no. Mm-hmm. Why everybody got the nah, this, this app full of I need a friend ass people. That's this, that's what this app is full of. <laughs> Facts. You got a friend in me. So help, or help, and, and I can find myself. I can't wait till uh, I can't wait till like Miss Matt get exposed because a lot of people be on her side because 
Miss Met is one of those I need a friend ass people. I'm I'm telling you the truth. So I've seen her, I've seen her in Jumbo Live a long time ago say one thing. And then next thing you know, she, when she get around the past four bros, is another thing. You was there too, six. You was there. Mm. I seen the whole situation. I no, I ain't even talking about that. I, I, I know, I've seen I've seen Miss like Met for a, a long time. So Miss Met first mm -hmm. started on Jumbo's Live. Okay. She wouldn't go nowhere else. She would all go on Jumbo's Live and she would talk all this about what men doing, men this, men that. I've been on this app for a long time. Oh, wow. I've been on this app for a long, like two and a half, almost three years. Miss Miss Matt started on Jumbo Live talking about men be talking bad about women, and I don't see this and this and that. And then over time, she started moving directly over to talking about women to men. And I'm I'm just sitting there like, what? Miss Matt, you was talking about you ain't got a husband, and your husband, your your ex husband, this to now you you married, you got a what? And she don't like me because she know the truth. And I, 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 I understand this. I understand both sides. But I say, I say you got the middle part where you do got some passport bros that are cool as fuck. And I understand how they feel. And they can actually articulate themselves and they can say what the problem is with some of these women. Then you got the women that, that, that I feel how they feel. But I he's tell each side on the extreme of each side because you got bullshit on each side. Like, look, you got people in the middle that you overlooking because you keep going around the ignorant ones on each side. You got ignorant men doing ignorant stuff that that's hollering. They, I'm a passport, bro, but we know you broke, bro. You always in the, you always in, in in somebody else's house. You all you begging for money every time I turn around. Or oh, you talking about you a passport, bro, but you got fellas. You making passport bros look bad, and that, and that's fun part where I was like. I wish the passport bros that I know cool as shit would check some of these dudes. Mm. Then, you, then, then I go over here and you got some good women and then the next thing you know, it's like, you'll pick me. I, 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 I. Right. And I'm looking at women like, y'all ain't, 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 ain't saying nothing to these women. I understand on the woman part because you, when you get good women, they really don't want to check the horrible women because they then next thing you know, the floodgate comes. And women are naturally like don't want to get aggressive. They just do it when they got to, or when it's towards men. So you, when you push a woman in the corner, it's like I'm gonna go off. But the good women's good, the good women don't want to go off on nobody. They just want to have a conversation, get them a man, get married, have a family, work some things out. But it's like one side on the extreme is like, I need a friend. That's why they holler and pick me is because they really trying to get you to be their friend. Then you, <laughs> then you got the passport bros. I ain't really, not all of them. The ones on the far extreme don't really got no friends in real life. So they tag themselves to the passport bro movement to say, cause they really need a friend. It's like, I got like Gabe. Well, if you Gabe, think about Gabe, it too, Look at like you're needing a friend. Look at how many hours people spend on this app. Like a lot of times I'm just in in lives while I'm at work. While I'm at work, I'm not even in the box. People spend a lot of time on this app because they're trying to find a friend. Right. Or, or they it, like, they what's that dude, space. the dude Gabriel. Ga I when I first came buddy. across oh. Gabriel, oh, oh gosh. Like, oh, Man, all right, I get you. So when I came across uh, one dude, he was chasing behind. Like every time a woman was nice to him, he was chasing her, like chasing mm -hmm. her. And she was. I, I seen her one minute; she was cool as hell. Then I seen her in there with the the argumentative women that don't give a hell, don't want a man, all this extra stuff. And he over there listening, talking, and was chasing them too. Next thing I know, I look up and it's like. I'm a passport, bro. What? <laughs> like, what? Are you serious? I even called it out. Like, bro, you was just chasing one of them. And then I found out one of the ones that he was talking to, she was problematic. Like, why y'all trying to talk to anybody? Wow. Like, it's weird. The conversation going. Type stuff. What the heck?
You say who? And then I got somebody uh, tried to fake I'm call me out talking about some. I heard you talk about passport bros. What? <laughs> if you actually took the time to actually hear me, you'll hear what I say. I understand where they come from because I'm a man first. I'm a black man first. I go through these issues. I see these issues. I block most of the people. I block most of the women that come in there and just trying to argue, start a fight, and I call it out. Mm -hmm. I always do that. Mark can tell you, but when I when I speak, I come from a man's standpoint at every single time, bro. I see the BS that go on this app. My mm -hmm. issue is why is it we why are we keep constantly giving those ignorant ones the attention? Thank you very much. I start following. Well, I still like I follow certain people up here. Hopefully, you know, when I hop on live, you support me. But some of the people that I follow, like I would go into certain rooms because I needed. I felt like I needed that toxic energy. I'm like, all right, cool. What's going on in here today? Ooh, OK. Mm, I don't know. It's a little bit of drama. But now I'm like, bro, it's a certain couple of lives I'm only going in because I'm working on my energy right now. And if you are turning my energy into something that's very toxic like i don't want to be in it this ain't even my crew of people to be around y'all in here crying over how somebody gonna find you or how mm -hmm. gonna pick you or how somebody doing something so bad i damn sure like you said you a man first i'm a woman first and i don't like being in no rooms when no women are bashing other women around men or any of that or even for a man to for women to bash men i don't like sitting around in circles like that jerry i had a thing last night where I think it was a very productive conversation. It was my first time joining a live. might have been like her first live or something like that. But the conversation wasn't around y'all need to fix yourself. It was around how do we as women hold ourselves accountable? And it's like, well, you know, how do we protect each other? And those are the conversations that I feel are safe for me. Because I'm not, I'm not about to be, especially when women be like, yeah, you right. I did do wrong. Like, first of all, you don't need no man or no woman or nobody to tell you did wrong. Be comfortable with yourself and be comfortable with the decision mm -hmm. and just keep moving forward and learn. But they will I be letting people bring them down and then be like, you're so right. I was so wrong. Like, do you think somebody will pick you because you realize you you fucked up in life? Like, that's yourself that needs to get over that that moment and, and move through it. But people just real life learning stuff on TikTok, but it's from the wrong people. The wrong people is coming at people in the wrong way. And then women are sitting up in here or men sitting up in here believing they're like, yeah, man, y'all right. Oh, like no, you got to do your research for yourself. Figure yourself out. TikTok is not going to figure that out for you. You gonna have a lot of rooms in here that's going to manipulate your brain into what should be or what shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. yeah, you're, you're so right when you, when you speak on that, Lola. Um, it, it's like yeah. some women will will come on different lives yeah, yeah, and yeah, tell yeah, men yeah, how they need to be. <laughs> yep, it went up. I seen that. <laughs> I seen that it was it's forty four right now. It, it, it went up. It went up because of me, because because they thought they thought I was fussing. <laughs> they thought I was arguing with somebody. It's, mm -hmm. like, don't, it, it's right. funny as hell. It's like it's like do people? <laughs> yeah. It, 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 okay, so watch this. Hey, Mark. Guess what the narrative is being sprayed about me now? What? I play the fence. How many how many lives have you been in when I'm 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 telling the truth about what what, what me as men go through? You be speaking facts. Ooh, I, I was just and then and that's the, the statement that I was just gonna make that some women will go on these lives and tell men how they need to be. Or some men will go on lives to tell women how they need to be. And then that's the the divide. I think the find. difference with some of them, one of them is telling what they need to be, and some of them is telling what they want. One of them, that's right? Things I've been seeing. I know this stuff. Need or You're want. trying to tell them? No, I'm just telling you what I'm into. I'm not telling you right. what you need to be. You don't need to be nothing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I'm into. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> they mix that up. I think at the end of the day, man, like people got to actually practice discernment. You know what I'm saying? Like get to know yourself better so that you're not just so easily influenced or triggered by this app or or anything for that matter. But I, I mean, me myself, I'm, I feel like I'm a different breed. So I, I can't speak for everyone because I can go in a room. I'm, I'm usually the one that's going to give off that energy. I don't just take on everybody else's right. energy. That's why I don't like being around like, like, um, 
the type of people that always got something bad going on and stuff like that. Like I don't, I don't like hearing about so, um, I bet death I and stuff like that. I like that. That's the case. <laughs> I like having celebrations, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> at home goings. I don't like going to funerals. I go to home goings. So yeah. I just have a totally different mm-hmm. mindset and outlook on, on the way things go. But a lot of people come on here just to trauma dump, and they want to find somebody right. that's going to okay their bad behavior. That part. Exactly. Well, and, the, and that, and that's the word, the, the val- validation. <laughs> they're, they're seeking validation outside of themselves when they're not even giving themselves that same validation. They can't. I need y'all because to they don't tap. Know. Oh yeah, I get to talk right here. I need y'all to tap tap the screen and share, man, for me, man. Let's get it going because I'm about to I'm, I'm about to be on for some hours though. I had me some oh, good yeah. sleep. <laughs> let me get some. Right. Let me try to tap this on soundboard. this live, it's all your fault. Oh, let me tap the soundboard. <laughs> oh, you had some good sleep, but I, I, I know this right here. I'm gonna get ready to go to work. <laughs> I'm okay. so tired of the ones that keep that keep like I'm red pill. I'm so, and I be catching it all the time. It's these real pill men. You don't even know what red pill is. I'm red pill, but you get along with me very well. And it's like, and then I gotta tell them, you gotta realize bad people attach themselves to all good things. Yep. Yes. So, yep. Why, why, so what do, is do you do? Do you hold that? yourself to pill, a blue pill? Red okay, so get give blue me a breakdown pill. studio. R- red pill and blue pill. red pill versus blue pill. So red oh, pill you got black it, pill too. Studio will tell you. Yeah, you got mm-hmm. black pill, uh purple pill, pink pill. So um and that's just mm-hmm. people just attaching themselves to the original is red pill. Red pill is, is is a group of men that that come out of uh lives and start understanding reality. It's also a group of men that will help each other build each other. If you want, if you want to start a business, don't know how, and you tired of how the world is treating you. You tired of how how many lies that you have learned throughout lifetime, and it also teaches you how to build businesses. It teaches you how to deal with work society. It teaches you what women not to go for, what women are to go for. And, and and it teaches you a lot of truth in in this country. Period. So you have some red pill like man, look, I'm tired of women doing me wrong. And we talk and we start to let them know this is the type of woman you don't go for. This is the type of woman you do go for. This is how you build a business. This is how you uh, ask for more money. It's really men teaching other men how to be men and and, and iron shoppers iron. That's mm-hmm. what red pill is really like about. Mm-hmm. Like the the top G, I don't know if I can say his name. And I I think that's necessary oh. to have spaces like that. I just don't think that some things need to come out of those spaces. Like somebody made a good um, analogy as far as I think it might even been UK. Like these are barbershop talks that are happening. You know, probably regularly. Just like women may have their beauty shop talks or whatever kind of talks. They have been brought to a platform to where now. Things are spilling out, but I don't think everything needs to be in every circle to be discussed. If you don't care for black women, we don't need to hear it. Mm-hmm. You either gonna make a lot of us say, say okay, I gotta say something to that, and the numbers might jump up again. But how many times <laughs> have you seen people interject themselves into stuff that people ain't even talking to you, but you don't overheard somebody talking? And, and went into a space where just like the barbershop, right? And you got that single mom that brings her son in. And now she triggered because she heard a group of men having a conversation when it wasn't even pertaining to you. I agree. And I think right. I, I had to even understand that in some places, if I see it's all men, I don't even try to jump into the conversation because uh, me either. I, I, I can't agree, really Lola. have a piece in here. You know what I'm saying? I don't want a piece in here. This is y'all conversation. And I had to relate it to this is the barbershop. Let me step out of this room because it's not even the room I'm supposed to be in. Let me go over mm-hmm. here. Or I'm going to just listen. I, I'm, I follow people from the YTs to the Blacks to the this to the that, because I want to know what everybody's talking about. I fo- I go to Fox News and listen to Fox News. I want to know what everybody's talking about, just so <laughs> I know either who's talking about me, who's not talking about me, or who's talking about what. Not that somebody is talking about me, but I kind of listen around. But that's one of them things I think that as women and men right here on this app, we not understand that we kind of in each other's personal spaces that we normally aren't. So now it's kind of... 
So, right. So do people so even understand what now. information the, uh, is? Because I don't feel like people can give you misinformation. Because mm-hmm. if, if you if you're able to know and you want to find the information, the information is out there. But it's what you're gonna do with it. I always that's why I, always I go on to Mark. a lot of these people lives because you you spread mm-hmm. a lot of stuff that's not true. And I, and I'll be the one to put you on blast. I don't care if you and the other forty other people in your in your live agree with you. I will be that only one that don't agree with you, but I'm gonna let you know about it. Exactly, you Mark. Me if that. you think about it, all knowledge and I'll always say this, all knowledge is good knowledge, even if it's bad knowledge. You can be presented with something bad. How are you going to handle it? Every 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 conversation that that you see on different lives, you you take something from that. Either you're going to respond, you're going to react, you're going to do something with it. But at least you know it now. A lot of us need to watch who watch who we follow. I agree. Can, can you tell me what the I ain't never hear the blue pill part? I oh, the that. blue pill. The blue yeah. pill is, is basically we we coined that as far as like the men that just want to stay in the matrix, the men that think, uh, like delusional. Oh, yeah, delusional. Um, okay. you you want to stay in the mindset that every woman is good, every man is cool. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> like for instance, for you'll have a, is bad and all men. You, <laughs> you'll have you'll have some men that be hollering. That every man like- is. You have a man thinking every man is good, and we know that's that's for the good. Yes, you have some men that think every one every woman is bad, and we know that's BS. We have you right. have men that stuck in a system that they think the system is cool, and it's all right because they thriving a little bit, and that's delusional. So that's what blue pill is. Is is any in, any man that's delusional as hell and don't want to go in life understanding the truth about it. It, it, it fascinates me that we have used now pills, a red pill or a blue pill, to identify somebody. It, it's it's crazy. I don't know. It's crazy <laughs> to you because you not understand. You don't understand it, from a man's standpoint. Uh, exactly. No, I, I don't. I don't. Right. But I, I think that we we look at labels. <laughs> I I don't yeah, understand that. Somebody just up you in here. I see somebody at six seven. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh, that's somebody it, six seven. The Michael. Matrix. <laughs> well, two, ta, ta, no, ta, ta, remember when Neo had ta, to choose ta, to that. He had to choose to stay oh. where he was, or choose to, you know, think out, think outwards. So I mean, I think it's a dope thing that y'all are doing. I just think, right. like I said, that's y'all space, and it shouldn't things shouldn't be taken out of there because then mm-hmm. stuck, then you start adding other things into it that have nothing to do with the learning process. Like no kind of bashing of women should be. You know, within that, it should just be educational on how to choose and pick the right people. You know what I'm saying? And even if it is, it just shouldn't pour out of there. So that way, the whole it don't. Thing, but what but what happens is you got it. you got men and women that come in there, and you got women that come in there that are broken and they want to learn because we don't we don't close the doors to women that want to hear outside. But you got the ones that will play like. Well, I'm just here to listen, and the next, you know, they go out with their little hurt mind, and then they start spewing the negative rhetoric. Really emotional, <laughs> damn it! But but you also <laughs> got you also got some real hurt. You also got some hurt men that will tie themselves to it and say they want to learn, and then take the negative side and not the good side to spew it, and then next, you know, it's like all red pill of bad. Right. So, right. And that's that's my whole message is like realize that there, there are some dudes that's hurting movement and there's some women that's hurting movement. You got ignorance on both sides, but when you when you get when you come across a I need a friend ass person, and they really hurt and they 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 just feel all hurt. It's like bro, realize in this moment man. you you somebody I shouldn't talk to, whether you a man or, or a man or a woman. You you somebody that sh- nobody should be listening to because you need to get yourself together on both sides. But too often I'm saying some get some. I need a friend. A- I need a friend ass man, and I'm hurt, and I don't know how to I don't know how to talk. So I just go around just saying anything to everybody, and I check those dudes because like bro, you're not gonna hurt the good ones so they can turn into the bad ones. I'm like, chill out. 
And then, then the women is like, Girl, you hurt like hell. Get your behind away from everybody because you hurt. Not, hurt. not only are you hurting the men and feeling that hurt hatred towards men, you run around calling the good ones pick me's and trying to get them to come be your friend. Like, chill out. <laughs> hey, I, always, I, I grew up to understand that you, what you saying, some kid? No, no, no. Oh, well, I was going to say, I, I grew up to understand that friends make great for enemies. That's why most of the time when y'all come see me, come on, I call people fam. Because in, in family, now we got relatives, you know what I'm saying, people that we related to, but then you got family, the ones that, that are a part of your life. And I don't I don't use that friend word loosely for, to get go. And a lot of people do that, you know what I'm saying? Just because we get on here and we talk, that, that don't make us friends. Because a friend would be somebody that you tell intimate things to and they try to use it in a way against you whenever they're upset or something like that. So that's why I tell people, especially when they get on this app and they start espousing a lot of the personal and anecdotal stuff that they got going on, understand that some people are going to take it for good and some people are going to take it for bad, but everybody's not going to have your best intentions at heart. I've caught some dudes that be hollering, yeah, I want a submissive woman. I, 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 I pay all the bills, but you, bro, you, it, when you come to find out, they work at Wendy's. Like, how you going to provide for somebody, bro? <laughs> cut, cut, cut it out. It's okay that you work at Wendy's, but if you want to elevate yourself, come over here so we can talk. We can help you build a business, or we can help you find a suitable job. Or start, there are a lot of us red pill dudes that will help you find some grants or or, or give you some money so where you can go through school. At it's a lot of us. Stop that. But on the women's side, it's like. Uh, I'm trying to help them understand some things about themselves, and some of them I realize I can't, and I stop talking to them. Some of these women that we talk to, we got to realize I can't help you, and exposing you ain't doing nothing, but it's getting the ones that don't know the truth, <clears throat> and and they, they lean it over to the ones to say, well... These men, they be, they be bashing us. No, if I tell you the truth about what I experienced and what I'm saying, it's not bashing you. It's realize where you play the fin- where you play at. It's either you the good one that want to understand a man's perspective or you just want to be bad and you're trying to pull the women with you because a lot of women don't want to feel, feel like they by themselves. I've heard I, I agree with that like, studio because um, there are a lot of conversations that I have with um with women on different platforms where I'm like, wait, did did you see it from a man's perspective? And you know what they do? They argue it. They argue it. Some people just want to argue. argue. We call it get oh, well, well, you we want to argue. Well, you call it a get <laughs> finna argue with you. <laughs> Where I'm from, we call them get with. You'll do anything to get you a friend. Anything. Mm. But you're talking about social media and real life, though. And I think a lot of these people that we talking about need a friend. Like, you real life don't even know how to interact in real life. And so you present you present this persona over social media. And you can and see it because you see people in different rooms acting different ways. And they'd be like, uh, who are you? Mm-hmm. Hey, Kev, that goes right back into the topic. What has that? I done drift off my bed. It does. Uh, we, were, we, were, we, we were talking about that topic earlier, and it, it, it's in comparison to the topic he had on what yesterday or the day before with, with um, women who wear makeup compared to now men who wear big watches and big chains. Like, what image are you trying to present to yourself? What image are you giving on TikTok? What what are you what are you trying to say when you're in these lives? What are you right. trying well, to present? What do you want that? What do you what do you want that attention for? Like what's exactly. the reason that you got the big rock? What's the reason that you got exactly. the big chain? What's what's the reason that you try to show off these things? Is it to make you feel better, or is it to pe- have people look at you in a certain exactly light? intentional? Because if, right. if, if you one of the two. E- even if you're doing bad, like. No, no matter what's going on in my life, I'm, my life is an open book. Mm-hmm. So it's been times where there's been wish sandwiches, syrup sandwiches, just ramen noodles. Tell them again. They don't look. The mm-hmm. truth. That's but all you. Same, that is the truth. At the same time, exactly. we thought about something else. We got. We, 
We got people. I just thought about this. I'm about to clip this too. We got people that get on this app to make them feel better instead of people to get on this app to make you be better. Right? Mm. Yeah. I was, a, I was at a thing that said bars. I was like, fine. I'm just Thank you very much. Say, say, say that, say that no wonder bro. you clipped it. No wonder you clipped it. Hey, I said my hey, hey, Kev, how old are you, bro? Uh, 32. Okay, so I don't know. Remember the times where we used to, uh, back in the back in the day, we used to catch the ones that did. As, as men, we used to catch the ones that do anything to try to be a friend. It was you was really a weirdo, and you started to try to dress like somebody else. <laughs> cool, you can sag your pants like that. Okay, <laughs> was that a sound? How do you do it? Is it below the butt, or is it oh, that you, right at the sense. cheek? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> right, and, and women, women realize in that moment, like. Back in the day, women used to be like, man, every time I look up, you trying to wear what I wear, or you trying to act how I act. Mm -hmm. uh, well, a lot of times when they wear the same outfit, is it men or the women? Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and jump these numbers to 500. It's like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, somebody yeah. They gonna be like, uh, you're 47 now. now. <laughs> you know what? And TikTok has become a place where everything is so wrong now, I, and I, I just might make a jump. You can't say hey, yo, W H I T people. You can only say Y T people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you not say white people no more? I'm sorry if that's offensive to none, but you can say black people, but they gotta say Y T people. You gotta use I'm getting used to this pronouns thing. God forgive me. I'm I'm accepting of everybody and everything, but it's a thing now where I didn't even realize <laughs> pronouns are being used. It's and okay to right? not accept everybody it's though. Right. It, it's okay. like oops, I didn't even realize. Like, right, life do all this stuff. So I'm like, COVID shit. I was in co I was in the house. I won't even, you know, paying attention to certain things. But now everything on this app is so like in your face, in your face. Got it. You gotta have it. You gotta get this vibe. It's like forty some of y'all. Y'all can share this, man. Mm -hmm. you know, this yeah. But tolerate share the people that y'all know that got the big watch, the big watch, the big change. You know what I'm saying? They be doing it for the wrong thing. Go ahead. <laughs> it's okay to not accept everything, but to respect everybody, as long as you be mm -hmm. respectful yourself. Right. I, I like it. Right. And, and I, I'm I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. Where we where we're everybody's trying to force us to accept. If I'm not in that, and I I don't involve myself in that, it's okay for me to not, not to accept it. That's not my life. But I can respect you, as long as you don't push that on me. Yeah. Exactly. I like, you know, exactly. I like how you smooth that. that you, part, you, I'm you so glad that up, you, you said it that up, way. I would have just jumped to two thousand. That's how bad the series <laughs> that is. No, <laughs> that was real. <laughs> no, that hey, that was right. This, this, this what well, because we, we, how, yeah. how many times do we talk about ego oh, well, on, on this platform? <laughs> how many times do we talk about ego? If you're uh, Ego is like an emotionally generated opinion. When you're pushing your own preference onto somebody else, you're telling that other person that you don't accept them for who they are. Like, how does that work? Mm -hmm. I, yeah, people like this. My respect. You, I, I'm gonna give you my respect just off being human. But right at the same time, you earn my disrespect. So if you see me on here talking wild mm -hmm. to somebody and all that stuff, you can best believe that they earned it. Mm -hmm. You're more than welcome to double dutch your ass into it too. <laughs> but see, you got a, Let's you jump got a lot of people on here that don't <laughs> understand that I think that there's a difference between accepting something and being tolerant of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Just because everybody got these different ways of life, that don't mean that I got to accept right. it for my life. But that don't mm. mean I'm going to go out my way to stop what they're doing either. Right. There you exactly. Go. That's the oh idea. my I need a That's I'm going to start calling it jump rope. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start calling it double dutch instead of yeah. TikTok. <laughs> double dutch. <laughs> Can I That's that. that I need a friend. Don't don't know how to double dutch. Dutch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Lola like the saute hot pockets. That. That's your lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> we love Lola. Yeah, keep your head to the jokes, though. I've been talking to Yo. She's been in the hot pocket. 
<laughs> Kev, you might have to turn the volume up on your effects because they be low. Oh, the effects lower than my voice. Okay, let me see. It might be. Uh... Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Uh, Kevin no. got a whole soundboard and shit. <laughs> he had a joy saying hello. I was like, who was that? <laughs> yeah. Do oh, it no, again, this, Kev. This wild, right? This wild, <laughs> you didn't have to cut. Hey, 40, 49, uh, Kev. When I try it this way, you should be able to hear me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Little helium will make you delium. <laughs> I don't even know what that word was. <laughs> So somebody um, said, fake a real, wear what makes you feel good. And I took that as in, like, everything from your body to your clothes. So, Mark and Six, what y'all think about um, women doing, getting fake body parts, like, and... I'm good. Nope. Do, do what you want to do. She really trying I, to jump these numbers. Yeah. I lo- I lo- this really is why is. I love Lola. This is why I love Lola. Hey, before the numbers jump over, go ahead like and, and send it to y'all most positive people and share some shares and stuff and tap them likes. Mm-hmm. Really hit some shares, man. There's too many views in here to not be having no shares going, man. It's just do what you want to do with your body, but you can't make everybody accept it. That that That's Ooh, my whole thing. Hold up. Thank you very much. I'm done. Yeah. Don't, Can we make it a thing it, where they stop calling dudes um, oh you a G or you zesty because they don't like you and what everybody right. else like about you? Right. That's not crazy. Mm-hmm. A real man would have talked would. like this. Oh, re- right. A real if, man. If, if you if, if somebody ever called me zesty, please present your father. <laughs> please do. <laughs> oh, right. Hold up. Wait, wait. What? <laughs> 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 I, I I want to put I, I just want to put hands on your most prized to, uh, protector. That, That's all it is. The topic is above my head. The topic is above my head. So whoever oh. wants to hop up in the box and answer this, we are there. yes. Right now we trying to spit some real stuff right now. But hey, whenever you want to get on the topic, we on. trying to feed you. <laughs> Open up your. Well, mouth we were eat. talking about if you think about it, big watch, big, big, big chain, all that stuff, but also shoes and also your bo- your body image. But it, it it's very similar and cars, and cars, and then we talked about women wearing makeup, putting on hair or wigs or um Uh-oh. adding your in the building. breasts. Hello? Enhancing, Ooh, en- enhancement, enhancement. <laughs> You're enhancing your body enhance, image. That's right. That word, enhance. <laughs> just like with makeup, you enhance. <laughs> I just yeah, uh, some people on that. What I'm saying. If, if a man sorry. put, if a, if a man put a sock in his pants, then you wouldn't, you wouldn't accept that. <laughs> enhance. It's enhanced. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not kosher. It's if you don't if you don't like a man to enhance himself, then then don't be arguing <laughs> when a, when a man say he don't accept your enhancement. Right. That, that, boy, what was go, your go, go, they, 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 they really go, go mad when these dudes start coming out with the frontal studio. Go go they find somebody front. that that accept you for who, who you are. Stop trying to force <laughs> somebody. <laughs> what about the men with the Beijing? Thank you very much. Right. Right. You got a whole getting these beards painted on. There's all that need to get talked places. about, man. People go out there. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Do I gotta tell y'all again? Hold up. Let me see. Mm-hmm. I'm not here to protect your little feelings. Thank you very much. <laughs> I told you make that a sound. I told you make that a sound. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to start watching it what I say, but this man making it making it to a sound on his soundboard. <laughs> 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 Not welcome, my enemy. What the heck? Hey, Kev, you can use mine too. The respect doesn't require agreement. You can use that, and make that a sound too. Respect Ooh. doesn't require. Should I do it in the D voice? I don't do it. Talk a voice. Respect <laughs> doesn't require agreement. Yeah, well, you sound like so. What's my? Man? You sound like Jigsaw. Yeah. Grand Rising Queen. Everything trouble. Hello. We just squatted out in here. The Aries. Oh, not nah, Miss Lovely Papa. What the heck? Our stuff was not popping up before. Uh, a whole hey, squad. Wow. Hey, in here. I ain't doing no hey, nine bucks. Gorgeous. 
Can we go sometimes. back to the, Can we go back to the days where we used to actually see if somebody's really about their life instead Ooh. of just accepting that? I'm mm. You mean like go back to running phase with people or nah? Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Realize the truth is some people. And stop just going with it and allowing them in the, mm-hmm. in the circle that they don't belong in. Right. And stop, stop being in denial. Yeah. Oh, I was mm-hmm. talking about that earlier. What it, you got but the dudes that just feel like society, they tough. It's they be hard soft not to dudes be in with... denial because you got people mm-hmm. telling you that everything is okay when it's not. Right. right. It'll be all right. You, 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 you just slapping for no reason. It's cool. No, <laughs> that's silly junk. What the heck? You were mm-hmm. You were absolutely right, girl. You should have emasculated him. That's what he did. <laughs> like what? Right, your feelings are valid over <laughs> there. Like, <laughs> right. that's a trigger word to me. I got triggered off that. <laughs> <laughs> How the heck I get triggered off? That? <laughs> so I'm telling you. Oh, your feelings valid. are valid. Your feelings are valid, but your feelings are disrespectful. Your feelings ain't valid. Take your feelings right. over there. Like, like, that's <laughs> the manipulation, though. And I'd be like, anytime I get in a box or something, and I'd be trying to speak on, like, women and the manipulation and shit, I get called to pick me. Because a lot of women don't want other women to tell everybody about that because we know that's some universal shit that we all do you know we manipulate with emotions and words and shit like that you know to get what we want or to you know misinform our friends and shit like that you know so that's really why we be calling pick me right so when you when you when you expose something and somebody goes against that and call you a pick me. Say, let me ask you one question. Have you ever came across somebody that did that to you? And watched them light up. It's like, oh yeah, I had a friend that did this and did that and did this. Well, realize other women do that too. So how am I a pick me if you feel the same way? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think you will pick me if you say that. Up, right? you know, you women just facts, take terms like that. Women take terms like that, don't know what the hell it means, and it's just no. like if they see you agree with men, then you're automatically a pick me instead of actually knowing what the hell it actually means. Right. Well, and 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 think they, about pick me, simps, and all all these words that keep getting. What is a keep me? How do you? How do, how do I? How, am I a keep me? How how can I maintain? A keep me. Like, like, they be running to the skip me. The skip me. View. Yeah. It's like, it's like well, the but, ones right but in I, the middle. I want to be a keep me. I want to be a keep me, but I got to know how to maintain myself so that right. I can, so that I can maintain the relationship that I'm in. I got to, I got to be on my shit first People so that I can help it, grow but, our shit. The women don't understand that for themselves. So when no, oh, is telling exactly. you, yeah, and some, some, and so when someone may hear something, they feel like an attack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the they feel delivered. like they're they being barged on. Thing. That's because a hit dog on holler. Most of the women exactly. who be in yep. there arguing. But you know what? The, you know what the, the problem is? Thing. Those are the same women that you will actually go to and talk about your relationship that will tell you to leave that man. Nope. Those are not the women you want friends That's why with. I don't seek I don't seek relationship exactly. advice from women. I right. don't I go to a man. I don't either. I don't either. And it's, that's true. How, like, how can a how can a woman tell you <laughs> yeah, yeah. how can a woman give you advice as far as a man goes? It, exactly. It, goes exactly. It, it really goes both ways. Like I'll call Pacific women and talk if I need to say ask a question about a woman. I don't go to a man. A lot of these dudes can't even get a woman. It's like <laughs> I be looking at these dudes like, bro. You first off, first off, you got a lavender shirt with some with with some uh dark some dark green jeans. I don't need to talk to you about getting a woman. You can't even get one. Chill out. I, if anything, I'll go to an older dude that, that I know has been out in these streets for a while getting women left and right and know how to talk to women. And I'll talk to him and then talk to his girl because nine times out of ten, the dudes that can get women know how women think in, in a small in, in a small percentage. None of us understand women wholeheartedly because y'all are some weird creatures. I'm I sorry. don't even understand women. I'm a woman. <laughs> 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 but I get my advice from, from people that have been married. I talk like I, I travel a lot. 
So when people come to me, it's like, okay, cool. I understand. You don't understand how it goes in a certain country. I've been there at least three or four times. We got to start talking to people that really had done some things instead of talking to people that ain't did nothing but, t- but say they did. Yeah, I agree mm-hmm. with you. That's a fact. And I think that's why we got to stay out of certain, like, yeah. certain lives. You have these men, mm-hmm. like, like Studio was saying, that work at Wendy's who will work. host a whole live talking about what high value men are looking for. And can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? No, we can't hear you. Oh, okay. Because I was like, what the <laughs> Yeah, I ain't hearing you. Either. I was trying to chime in. I'm like, wait, what's going on? I'm like, hey, Ari. Um, hey, girl. I- I, I agree with what Studio was saying because it's like I had to block a lot of fake passport bros who, you know, making the real passport travelers or whatever they want to be called um, look bad. And they're sitting here on TikTok just running their mouth about women and giving men, other men advice about women. And these men can't even get in the club. So it's like, how are you going to give men advice about women when you can't even get a woman at all? So... Like I understand with that point, and then what did the you other, say? huh? What did you say? They were like, "Oh, women are toxic," and let me tell you how to get a woman. And you know, y'all probably know them, whatever. But um, it's like <laughs> it's like these people don't have a passport. They're not planning on traveling. They're just trying to make women be like, "Okay, okay, okay, I'll like deal with y'all." Um, but they're really not going anywhere. They keep calling themselves the passport bros, and they're not really passport bros Yo, at most all. Of the men, most of the men don't even get boxed. So it's like for them to really host okay. a live and, and talk about women and all that, like, you know, the the BS. With, and it, then they try to, like, lie it's and say, all like, women, it's not. Including yeah. But they say we, all we women because it went, from, it went from black women to all people. women. We got to watch our verbs. You can't say most because I know a lot of passport bros that actually just left or get, or trying to build a life to where they could leave. <clears throat> but there are, there are some of them. There are a lot of them that did. I, I be realizing, bro, I can see you yeah, on but... that. Talk to a woman. Like, yeah, chill out. Yeah, you yeah, need, but... you, I can tell by the way you, by the way you carry yourself, women don't like you. And, and that's mm-hmm. just in real life. So why am I listening to you? Why are you tying yourself to the passport exactly. bros when 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 a, when they a, a good passport bros are just tired of how how life is treating them and they want to find something different? Exactly. I, I agree with those. It's exactly. the ones, but on the, on the flip side, it's like women realize you emotionally tying yourself to to women that don't even like men, can't even get them mad. They box might be trash. They we might look like a, a, a like an ostrich a, asshole. <laughs> like, oh my god! Oh wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! So, so dude, always so got re- some type of animal to compare. Right, with. right. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the things, <laughs> not the ostrich buns. So, uh, my man runs a thousand miles a minute. Just, nah, nah, <laughs> you're, 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 you're just standing I'm on one by, leg. I'm used to by now. It's crazy. And let me let me tell y'all that where I'm from, we call it Jonah. Like we we, but everybody else call it roasting. We we do that all day every day. It just slip out our mouth. That's just how it is. I was raised in the environment that we joked on each other all day every day. So she did. <laughs> I like that. If I joke I on that people, that's a term a of endearment for me. <laughs> but if like, I joke on you, that means I like you. Those men, like, let me tell you, the people when I actually see that when they be on camera, I be like, "Yo, I see why you sitting up in here bashing these beautiful women." Like, what are you talking about? I've seen men reach for women, and I'm a, I, I don't mean to offend nobody, but the light skin, long hair type image. Even when you going across seas, you getting that image, and you going for an image, and they'll say, "I'm going because this person wants this, this, and that." No, you reaching way too high, sir. Right. And it's, I mean, like, first of all, what man is talking to women like that? That women are accepting that? Like, are you serious? Do you think the way you're talking is attracting somebody here? And if it is, it damn sure ain't half the people you're bashing. So it's like you up here teaching other men and there's young people up here on this app and they're listening and they're getting this idea. And that's the other thing about TikTok. It's such a large platform. People get influenced. You got a lot of follow me's like I'm going to follow this person because they got a lot of people on their platform. Exactly. 
we're all we're feeding into it. You seen in the comments, they'd be like, Yeah, he's right, yeah, she's fat, yeah, this isn't that. Like, all of y'all people are ugly as fuck and probably don't have no chick anyway. You can't get one, and you probably could if your attitude was a lot freaking better because that could take you a long way. It looks not, but that could. And then the crazy thing is, like, when they try to talk to you, you reject them. Then they go around telling people mad stuff about you that you like, damn, I'm not even talking about your ass. And you sitting there, like, trying to drag someone. And but you know what? You like, know, I'm going to name names. Like I, really, I really don't care. But who I'm talking about is Black Maze and Black Heart. Like, these are not passport bros. These are rejects that nobody wants. I watched wants. beautiful women actually yeah, he, come he, after these he men. Correct, like, hold, hold, on, hold on for a second. He corrected me. We not going to say names. Oh, okay. My bad. I don't, yeah. I don't, but but I've seen decent. I, I've seen good-looking women push up on these men, and they still reject the them oh, just off of me. nothing, literally. So it's not even that they can't. Or, or they haven't had opportunities to talk to, you know, good looking women. It's just their mind is so fucked or maybe they're just so traumatized by whatever they went through in their past. And that's what it really seems like. They just was rejected a lot that they don't even know what to do when a when a woman actually is pushing themselves on them. Right. On the flip side, you got a lot of women running around can't can't afford it. They can't afford the real treatment or can't get themselves together or can't get no man. And they sit at home watching Netflix and they only and they, they come on this app crying out trying to put down men and calling women pick knees and it, it's because they like suck itself. Or you got the women that don't make uh, make a lot, certain amount of money and they be lying on this app. I got three degrees just to fit in. Knowing daggone well you been you've been the back the French fry cook at McDonald's for thirty years. No, oh, no. <laughs> Thank, thank you for saying that, so studio, because that, that, that's the same, the same statement that I always say. People will put expectations upon you that they can't even meet themselves. So all these women out here are telling a man what they need to do for them when they don't even know how to do it for themselves. So women, we, we as women, we, we need to love ourselves <laughs> so much so that we we can actually learn how to adapt to a man yeah. how, how can we even come together if we're not even on it we're writing a different novel like right. it's and it's, it's crazy that do that shit. like i can't like we're not gonna say names but there is one um specifically that i literally you know i felt like i had to say something because she's one of these women who will hold a platform with a bunch of hyenas in her box and she will sit here and bash men and then she will, you know, direct young women to just use men for whatever they have. And she's saying all of this mm -hmm. about how men ain't this, men ain't that. But she got CPS cases against her. She's a single mother with a bunch of kids, you know. So it's like she's not even living a lifestyle in which she can advise a woman to do shit. Mm -hmm. You know, and, these, and women, because she's and saying a bunch honestly, of cool us stuff, women, women think that, you know, that's that's cool. Yeah, and, that, uh, and, and us women, us women. When I was on Doc's um live last night, um, so Doc invited me to his live, and we always talking, you know, nonchalant, and about good stuff, about building, you know, black love and black men and women coming together. And this one woman was like, "Well." black men do this and that and they don't want to take accountability and they they're just toxic and coming on here bashing women and um another lady who we quit she checked the woman and she's like don't check me check men and then the other lady was like we can't check men we can only check women men have to check men and she was like i don't think so not on my platform in life i check men all the time and i'm like Okay, that's not how it works. Men are supposed to check men, and we're supposed to check women, check each other when we're wrong. Mm -hmm. But it was like she just wanted to bash black men and just say how bad they are, and they don't make good husbands, and they this and that, and they high population of homeless and all type of stuff. And I'm sitting here like, no, that's not how it works. Um, if you want to talk to men, talk to men. Men want to be heard, and they want to, you know, you got to... Mm -hmm. Be the heard, the day, they, they, these be women yeah. who don't know about men and that's a, that's the problem too you right know, they're speaking in these spaces it's like you really don't know men because if you knew men you, you would shut up and listen exactly. you know that's mm -hmm. the only way you're gonna figure out how men operate or, easy, but, or at least the men right. that you're dealing with 
Right. A lot of them. A lot Thank of them are much. listening to Love men. Aries. A lot of them are listening to men that they can't even under that that they don't even want, and they go in these rooms where it's like I don't like the rhetoric, so let me go ahead and use this rhetoric to to bash other other men. And it makes no sense to me, but at, at the end of the day, a lot of a, a lot of women got athletes for I'm just gonna say. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, what you say? Oh, no, a lot. It's a thin line in between the four and one, and it's a thin line in between bashing. <laughs> so a lot of these rooms I've been in, like with some people, is women, and what they're saying, I feel it. I feel it as a woman. They're talking from a very passionate place. But once you start including rhetoric from other lives in mm-hmm. other situations that have nothing to do with the goal of informing mm-hmm. the woman of how powerful she is. Like, it's some women up here, and they're a little extreme on how they get delivered a message. It's women that deliver in a softer way. It's men and on both sides of that, too. It's just, like, you have to be able to be strong in your own self when you're listening to these different lives to understand who talking real and who just talking just to be heard. Yeah. And then I agree, men and women so, have to sit here and listen. Men are literally saying the same thing right. over, and over and over again. However, you right. said you picked up mm-hmm. it to you, but that y'all saying everybody saying the same thing. We just in the wrong rooms at the wrong times, I think. All right, mm-hmm. kid, we need to hear from you because the last thing I need is for you to be over there dozing off. You know how you get. Oh, that. no, I'm up. <laughs> I'm ready to talk about whatever. I'm trying to leave over with the you, uh, chat, Loki. <laughs> over the chat you, you, got, you got to keep Cave talking because Cave was falling asleep in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'm lying. How many times have you fallen you, asleep you on got, your uh, life, uh, Kev? Oh, hey, lovely, you, hey, lovely, don't get started because you, you fell asleep in his line the other day. <laughs> <I did. laughs> hey, we already talked about that. Right. We already presented you know, that. Yeah, I was ready to talk about that. <laughs> we got a new we already addressed that. Asleep, <laughs> <bro. laughs> we already addressed that. <laughs> if I feel myself getting sleepy, I put myself on mute because y'all don't want to hear me snoring. No, next Damn. time, I, I'm going to let you guys know when I'm ready to go to sleep. It was cute, though. <laughs> we let Slabbing you go. all on a pillow and everything. Mm-mm. So yeah, you was over there sounding like the backside of the zoo the other night. Like, I'm to <laughs> oh, damn, no. damn! I'm like, why didn't nobody yeah. tell me we were screaming your name? <laughs> hey, hey, anybody, you. <laughs> anybody in the chat? Let me introduce y'all to me. I say everything to the left half of the time when I speak, so don't pay me no mind when I go left. Mm-mm. Oh, I'm used to it. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, Kev, this is a topic I have for you, and you can you can write it down. You can use it if you want to. I think it'll be yeah. a good topic. Everybody in the box know me, so they ain't gonna get they ain't gonna get all in their feelings when I say <laughs> no. something. <wild. laughs> no, <I'm gonna> <laughs> right. Good morning, Miss Gail. Good morning, Auntie. But <laughs> Angie, everybody I already know, studio. You know them old men just be sitting back thinking of the next thing they about to say. <laughs> Senile. <laughs> yeah, he, he can't help me go. Me. I'm okay, so yeah. tired of you keep talking about this old man stuff. If you don't go put some ranch dressing on your bed so it can get even, I'm a... <laughs> 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 Hey, you finna have dudes out here trying to put a ranch on their beard to get the grill. <laughs> Studio told me ranch work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Ken, I was gonna I was gonna say, uh, thanks, Studio. Maybe not forget. <laughs> oh yeah. I was gonna tell you to ask people oh, me, do you oh. feel like your your um is your truth based in fact or is your truth based in an opinion? You can try to word it how you want to. Mm. But because uh, you know how people always say, Well, That's this is my question. truth. Well let let them tell their story. But but what is that question. being based out of? No you know opinion. Saying? Right, because a lot You're of people talk is I right. think the whole my truth Statistics thing is, is, is manipulative. There's no right. my truth. It's the truth. That's about exactly. it. Exactly. I feel like, what website do y'all be getting this stuff from? Please lay the facts out here, because they be throwing percentages and all kind of decimal points and all stuff. I'd be right. like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's why I, don't I think people be whatever. capping with the statistics, because yeah. half the time, they don't even know, like, an accredited source to mm-hmm. get that information from. They'll right. Google something, and they'll go to the first site that they see, and that's just that's just set in stone right there. Instead yep, of they go to one and validate their point. I told you that just all in somebody comments. <laughs> right, and they don't even look into the study which you know which that statistic came from. They don't look at like the different variables and stuff like whether these types of people or this group of people were included, or whether the study was just this these you know subgroup of people. Like they just take whatever. Well, 
Because yeah, right. I heard, I heard, I heard a, I heard a oh, group of women oh, say, "Go to the go to the Webster's dictionary before they go to etymology." A lot of I people heard. don't know what etymology is, or I, the etymology. Um, your your definitions are it, it's it's the, the historical, like what Aries was just saying. Sorry, <laughs> I heard a group of women say. Well, according to this statistic, it's, it says single mothers are doing way better than the uh, than a nuclear family. Like what? Yeah, and if you ask them what <laughs> website would they get it from, so you can look it up, they could never tell you. <laughs> Do you know who owns Google? Right, Do you know who owns Google? You, but they never say anything about the the, the over sixty percentile of, of single mothers who are abusive to their children. Like they right. don't want they want to. You know, denounce that, but then they'll say that single mothers are doing better than the nuclear family. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. I'm Thank just you very back much. And some people I don't. I, well, some people, a lot of people, I don't even give my voice to. I just sit back and laugh, and, and that's. What, I feel like that's what we all need to do. Stop entertaining people that just come way from the far <laughs> left and just to, to just to validate themselves. I like, can't. I'm gonna prove that you sound stupid. I can't Ooh, let what? it slide. People, I can't let it slide. <laughs> people that talk, people that talk from stuff that they that they just trying to validate themselves. They always going to find a way to validate themselves and always argue with you. So they don't want to get the point because all it takes is a couple clicks and you can find out the truth. So when you argue with people that don't want to take the time to find out the truth, realizing that moment, they they just looking for somebody to argue with and somebody and you can also validate their hurt. Ooh, but Aries, what it. you what you just said is, is that I think that's an Aries thing. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> I I be feeling the same way. Like, like you're not about to I, let stupid I, shit I, I slide, right? Said on prove it. Yeah, like mm-hmm. who you think you are espousing this stupid stuff to my people? Mm-hmm. You trying to mess up the culture? Let's go ahead and get this straight right here, right now. Right, because I feel like people like that, they'd be running rampant and no people be afraid to say shit. So I'm not afraid to say no. I'm not afraid to tell you that you sound dumb. At all, oh, like somebody, somebody need to do it. I don't let everything slide, man. It's it's the <laughs> ones that go from the extreme left that don't really know nothing about nothing. Why am I talking to you? You two corners from being it re, like I ain't gonna say the words slow a little bit. So I ain't gonna need to talk to you. It's the ones that has some common sense. Then you can see some common sense. Then I'll have a conversation with you. But the ones that just be say, saying some of the most egregious stuff is like, why am I checking you? Because all you're gonna do is argue and then try to kick me out the box, and then you're gonna then you're gonna use me to to validate your hurt and everybody else hurt their folly. Yeah, well, it's certain hey, people yeah, like when they're too far you? gone. When they're too far <laughs> gone, make, make, that a, make that a make that a sound. <laughs> Who raised? I'm you? I'm limited to four. <laughs> oh, and and, oh. and the other, yeah, I ain't this, got the expensive one yet. No, no, this is a good sound. Um, who hurt you? They love saying that on no, this is the closest I get right now is this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna make a switch either this one or who hurt you. Which one y'all want? Who hurt you? I keep the emotional. <laughs> nah, nah, I, mean, I gotta record that one. Hey, hey, put them both together. <laughs> you gotta add the you. This gonna sound weird. Emotional who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> Years of misery. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, you found me, buddy. What's the deal, Roy? Who hurt you? Oh, oh she everybody who hurt, who, you? who hurt you. Okay, I got my. Okay, okay. That's yeah, the man that's in the fold. That's their favorite to me. Every time, in, every time I'm in live, they're like, "Who hurt you?" To a man, I'm like, "Who hurt you?" <laughs> See, I'd be petty. I'd be like right. a single mother like right. you. Oh, I say something petty like that. My, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> you hurt yourself, <laughs> right? <laughs> Nah, because I, I don't agree with those women who come in, like, and that they'll see a man, like, speaking on something, and that's the first thing they say is, who hurt you, or he's zesty, or right. find something, something to try to, like, you know, like, put a man down for speaking his, speaking his you know. Yeah, 
it's it's, it's so friend. dismissive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what happened last night, man. Oh Thank you very much. I don't I think, know what lives you guys are going into. Specifically, black women, we need oh, to I stop doing that shit to our men. Like, stop, stop bringing their sexuality oh, okay. up as, as a Work. way to dig at them. Like, that's not cool. And then the next right. minute you upset. You know what I mean? When it comes to these, you know, arguments or these discussions about trans people mm-hmm. and the LGBTQ, but you're the first one Uh-oh. up here oh, calling a man zesty. <laughs> uh-uh. I really I'm, say I'm names than that. I was about to drop <laughs> off the box for a second. No, I ain't got, nah. I don't want to go too deep into it, but I swear if I see my room jump to a 2000, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, I mean, it's a. I understand. You gotta tell some truth. You know what I'm saying? It's like like Mark got a lace front wig on for real, for real. But we ain't gotta say that. To him all <laughs> we ain't got to say it, bro. We can just yeah, acknowledge that it's true. Yo, you look at young riding right now. Right? <laughs> 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 hey, they can tell about me on camera. They're gonna be like, "It hey, do look like a lace front." It's, it's front a little bit. Hey, guys, he melted that lace. You can't even see it. What is this bingo? He said he can't do this. Yeah, we ain't going to sit up here in front like a lot of these dudes lock. Be looking better than them dried up wigs. But we ain't, ain't going to do that. Oh. Nah, that's true. That's true because that's mm-hmm. triggering for me. I, I'm sorry. If you're going to do the wig, you better do it right because a lot of them fronts be crunchy. And I can't stand <laughs> it. Like, why get on camera? Hold on. Get not too much. together. Hold you know what? Like, I don't think we know. How, people, how you want to know your hair stink? Like, I'm not feeling bad for some men. Like, I can't imagine. What you mean? A yeah. lot of them, a lot of them don't even know they butt thing. <laughs> oh my! That's a fact. Hey, I'm Both never going to stop like doing that. <laughs> keep going if it's thing. They do. People you know they butt through, thing. They just you gotta see it, it through. <laughs> they just be praying that the next through. person <laughs> don't smell it. They know they ass stink. Right. <laughs> Come on, Lola. You and you you, you out you out there in DC. How many times you uh how many times how often do you know people get on a 94 smelling like dust buckets? All the time. That's why oh. I said I don't understand how y'all be around here. I'd be like pew. <laughs> said, pew. <laughs> be on the beach, be on the B two bus and they wig look like you had it about forty five. It is. You, it is passed down from Ireland. It, it looks like it's locked up at the bottom. Just, yeah. just right. You might as well part. get that thing a social security number at this point. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> having to leave out looking like Kunta Kinte and the rest of it looking like a Barbie doll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> half and half. You ain't talking about the <laughs> that, that reminds me trying of what, what we were talking about. Jail. What we were talking about yesterday when we're talking about body image and we're talking about the this um this topic tonight, like big watches, big jewelries, big chains, but you're putting on makeup or wigs or um or or skin to like oh, this the right time for the, perfume the, the, the everything now. that you're trying to give <laughs> to yourself. What are you trying to present? Oh, well, since the number's so high, nobody wanna talk about men. Okay, I got something for y'all then. <laughs> <laughs> Part three. <laughs> I think that's because men don't do it as much as women. Like, right? I see, we really I see couldn't... nobody trying to say anything. Let's just get some. Only thing really can compare is like a here, man here. that wears like watches and stuff like that. Besides that, men don't have the options to hide who they are behind, right. you know, makeup right. and exactly. And stuff. Mm-hmm. Wait, hats are a problem. There hat are people fishing. who wear hats. And they yep. take their hat off and they look completely different and they know it. That's hat it's fishing. Hat. <laughs> a hat make you look totally different. I was about to say, as soon as I put the top of this, yes. like, look, look at Plies. Plies look like a different person with his hat on. Let me take it off. <laughs> hey, Mitch, let me switch you out real quick. Kirk Franklin. It'd be like even a Neo. Or like, <laughs> I and mean, that's probably bad. I ain't trying to talk about nobody. But it's a thing where they cover up like some kind of like. Thing that they know was like a thing, and they wear hats. What, what's the thing? It could even be I seen somebody with like a wrinkly head, or I seen somebody. Um. Like, <laughs> 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 like, 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 certain things. Nah, dudes do be wrinkly like, head. Dang. So you talking about that little hot dog in the back of their neck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the 
a whole little like scrunchy dog thing. I'm like, whoa, what is it? My dad calls it a hard drive. Yeah, hello, not too much, not too much a on the man. Not too much on the man. <laughs> listen, I thought you, I thought you said you wanted to switch me up. And I'm, I'm what I'm I saying is miss, that I women who might have a lot of bumps and stuff when they fix and get covered up with makeup, women look completely different with makeup sometimes. Y'all seen it? Yeah, Wait, exactly. Like, and man, dang, you actually awesome. look better with a wig and makeup on. Like, sheesh. Right, when y'all spray y'all feet with water and knowing it's still going to be ashy. Oh God, him with the ashy feet. <laughs> <laughs> a beard is a man wig. Y'all agree with that? Absolutely not. Nah. So do you think that the you people put... No, out here, this water too hard. Your feet be super dry. So are you, nah, put, are you, are you putting that on for yourself or are you putting it on for somebody else? Whether it's a I hat. get what she's saying because a lot okay. of dudes that... A lot of of dudes when you when they I mean not all I mean let me correct it when a dude grow a beard and when he cut it off he look totally different, different there's yeah. some dudes mm-hmm. that they got a beard and yeah so that's what that's what she's saying like when women put on weeds she look a whole a whole lot different for a man mm-hmm. when we grow our beards we look a whole lot different mm-hmm. but, but the only thing is we grow it out right, one of them is natural one of them not big <laughs> difference yeah that's that's mm-hmm. the difference we, we can we Ooh, grow out that, that, some of some that, of us that's can't a good even grow point, a bit like like Mark. He he go into the store and get the little uh, add pots on in the Beijing. <laughs> that's but, but that's got, a good point you, though, Kev. If you, if you grow your beard out or if you add like hair to yourself, is that an enhancement? If you add hair, yes, that's an enhancement. You know, that's the new word everybody using now. But <laughs> is gross beard adding hair? Isn't that just is natural? It, is what? Yeah, I think a beard is natural. Beard is natural, right? Yeah, a beard is natural. Makeup is not natural. You don't have to cut it's it off. Good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that wig gonna always fall off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> First <laughs> off, can't go to sleep with a <laughs> Who, which All my stuff is with? natural. <laughs> Quit with these misnomers out here on my name. My <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't say nothing. All right, my bad. See, okay, see, I all got right. you. My Lola Grosser. Not too much, not too much. You what you trying? <laughs> Lola grows her mustache natural. Shut up. Oh my! Oh, just up. moved down the line. You hey. just went. Un- <laughs> she can't help it. That's y'all. a whole other topic. We were talking about hair yesterday. We won't get back into that. We were talking about hair yesterday. How would a woman feel if men treat them with their hair pieces? We were talking about like, do women actually shave like their their <laughs> unibrows? Yeah, I said trick a woman with the uh, with the who? Oh, somebody said the sock. I be, I said a banana in your pants and come home with the shmeen. It's like ah, I got it. Got I, it, like, I got you here. <laughs> Might as well make it work, you know. That's how you get ghosted. That's how you get ghosted, Kev. Don't advise <laughs> nobody to do that. <laughs> Surprise! Me. Oh no, they gotta be the little voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just an enhancement. He wanna he wanna feel better so he can put the banana down his pants. <laughs> right. It's just part of him, right? That's what that's that's right. It, it enhanced no, him. That's all. Saying, you know what I'm saying? He was gonna make sure what? you get the protein that you was gonna need. Accept me for who I am. Accept me for who I am. Somebody right. said covering up makeup to like cover up acne, but let me tell you, it does not cover it up. I can still see that bump, man. Oh, All right, and it makes it oh, worse. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yes. You didn't cover it up. Mm-mm. It that still is. sticks out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, I Hold really on now. Now we can't we can't we can't sit up now. Nah, we can't act like that now. Cause I, I don't seen some touch ups like when when whenever, whenever women get their face beat, ain't that what ain't that what y'all call it? When you when you go and get 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 beat up, done up. Beat to the god. <laughs> hey, they be out there listen. I'm Listen. so glad y'all stopped saying fleet. That's what I would. I, I'm so oh, glad. Hated that word. <laughs> <laughs> they use that up too much. Even the eyebrows. No. The eyebrows. Do, is do you out even of know what fleek is? Your eyebrows. Should... Yeah, fleek. <laughs> Isn't that what fleek came from? Was the eyebrows first, right? No. no. Yeah. yeah. Eyebrows on. Fleek. So, yeah. so the real definition mm-hmm. of fleek is, is liquid boo boo. Ew. <laughs> 
It is. Boo boo. It is. <laughs> we not gonna get back to this. <laughs> drinking vanilla milk anymore because y'all done ruined my whole life. So. I used to die laughing when we were saying, "Oh my, my eyes on fleet." Oh man, okay, it's liquid boo boo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And they used to be mad. They ain't gonna look. That ain't what it means. And I say, I just keep saying, look it up. Look it up. Then they, then they start looking and say liquid, liquid boo boo. And they be like, oh, I'm not saying that no more. Oh, my. I got, got me want to look that up now. Now, I'm not saying, I, I'm not saying that's wrong game. I your got face people with that vanilla flavor before. But, oh, yes, last yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with getting a nice little beat here in it, but if you have acne and you're trying to cover it up, you cannot cover it up with makeup. It just won't go away. Unless you put a mask on. It won't go Actually, away. Actually, makeup can create more acne. <laughs> so does. I don't think a lot of people even understand that. <laughs> it actually makes your skin up more. Like, it, it can does. Does. Like, like, create more acne. It's, it's, first of all, it's like loaded with chemicals and then it's going into your pores. Yeah. So it's like it's, it's not helping at all. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. moisture why going not, into your not, pores. Why not use that money to get some skin cleanser or something like that? Well, just drink some that. water. That's that's free. <laughs> oh, I mean, at least I lost. <laughs> Water. <laughs> All that money. No boy cleanse your body. That means you got a poop or something. First of all, uh -oh. fleek. <laughs> you got a right. fleek. Been, you got a fleek. <laughs> Y'all better listen to Lola. She get she dropping knowledge. She, she no, love water. She Lola, even more her meat low fat. No, water, water and green vegetables literally can keep your um skin clear. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. got poop. Lola know all about that water. Look, I Lola know all about that water. She even boiled her meatloaf in it. I oh. never <laughs> it. It's water out here. I don't know. It's a little, little bit too much going on in it. Would that even work? It would be real, like non flavory if you did that. I'm very much sure. <laughs> if that made sense. Certain man. Can cause breakouts, right, right? Right. What's the deal, Miss Matt? How you feeling? <clears throat> How you feeling? Welcome to the live. Hold up, meet you with the hello, um, Grand Rising. It's me. I am done. Grand Rising, everybody. Oh Lord. The answer is capitalism. Grand Rising made me think of orange juice for some reason. I don't know. Do. I don't want orange juice. I'm tasting it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Capitalism. Well, hey, to you too. Where did that come from? from? You, the, you the first one I said hi to, Joker. How you doing? How you doing? Where, where did that come from? Oh, oh, yeah, my bad. I meant to, oh, I forgot you were right. supposed to hit you with it. My bad. What'd you say, studio? There you go. I got you. It's me. I need some advice. I feel like you're about to ask me some dumb shit, but go ahead. Something's right. When he say so, <laughs> okay, something, something comes yeah. Do you need advice it. or do you just need the process? <laughs> no, I need advice. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get my sister Aries to shave her feet. How can I go about saying it the right way? I don't have hair on my feet. I got hair on my hands. <laughs> I got hairy hands. Not too much, not too much. Right, not too much on Aries. <laughs> She oh, said, look. "I braid the hair on your back, sex." Who said that? What's the deal? Oh, hell, you, oh, oh we were you. talking about that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Got, hairy chest, hairy pads. armpits, hairy legs, hairy genitals. I need like, to keep tapping, tap, 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 tapping. Hit some shares, like, man. Y'all know y'all want. Every, Ta Here's some shares to the women that's wearing that makeup, man, or the or the dudes that like wearing jewelry. Right. One of them two. Go ahead, pop them some jewelry. <laughs> we got to talk to them. We got something to talk to them. You know what I'm saying? About seven of us right now that want to talk to him. Oh, yeah, and share the live with the hairy men. <laughs> yeah, talk about the hairy Anyone that's got to have hair on the stomach and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The navel. The navel. Hable, navel. The navel. Chest hair. Like a lot of like, a lot of chest hair, no chest hair. Do y'all care? Mm -hmm. Y'all like groomed or not groomed? I don't care. Mm -hmm. the, hair. the hair shows masculinity to me. That's just me. Mm. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. I like it. So if he, if he on the chest shows masculinity, what what does it do for women? I, I don't uh, like chest hair, so 
when you see, uh, when you that's... see hair on women in weird places, it's usually an underlying <laughs> medical condition. Throw that that's true. Well, that is true. Uh, in weird, weird places, in in places. <laughs> so, if a woman had chest hair, how would you feel as a man? <laughs> like, women don't have chest hair. Deep about shaving Normal. The feet. <laughs> what about <laughs> if you want to talk about pure natural? You ain't supposed to wear no don't de- deodorant then either, huh? Okay. Oh, nah. So you know, nobody about to get that about serious. That we ain't in that type, type of natural. I mean, you <laughs> said y'all want y'all want women to be natural. Well, like, no, we ain't doing uh, it. That's too deep of a natural. We are not talking about that. Natural, natural, natural. Natural. I ain't gonna be smelling no mud. That's natural to come. That's true. Might as well not use that's no soap. That's true. But if Watch a woman doesn't shave her legs, you'd be like, why are why are your legs all no, hairy? I want you to naturally because use that rag and soap. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to do it. Exactly. Which I'm not going. I don't want to be smelling them like for my brother. Y'all not gonna keep coming from my brother Mark. It's okay. He smell like white cashews. Oh my! <laughs> white cashews. <laughs> Leave Mark alone. He muted and minded his business. Body positivity. <laughs> <laughs> he don't wear deodorant, so he smell like white cashews, and it's okay. That's oh his my problem. God. Body positivity. Hey, to, yo, my dog just farted, yo. <laughs> Those be the worst smells. He wait, for, he wait till he gets to a stop oh real quick. So he, um, he... <laughs> he farted in his sleep. <laughs> about to crash his car. Still like, hold on, he's like, I gotta get him. <laughs> Would you be over there feeding that dog? That's the problem. Mm. <laughs> I feed him dog food. I did give him a little yeah, of my grilled chicken can't... yesterday. Yeah, See, that's their part. We, we we know you do not know how to cook, so that's why that dog. You got crazy! Game. I got it in the kitchen. <laughs> One thing I do know how to do is cook. Let's, I that dog you know, is petrified. Let's bow our heads and stay in prayer for that dog. <laughs> Amen. And before He's I leave, I want everybody in this chat to hear this. Hold up. I'm not here to protect your little fix because we all need some. <laughs> I'm here to protect you from long-term misery, so hey. they can be all left back in history. It cut out, Kev. Wow. Play some Huey P. Nah, I heard Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, Aries, Aries dogs are not supposed to eat season, and that's why he got gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he's mad little, no, too. I'm telling you the truth. Like, you're supposed to feed if you if you're gonna cook the chicken for a dog, you're supposed to bake it with no season and then dry it out completely. Yeah, no, I know that. I usually don't give him any type of human food at all, but he was begging, so I gave him a little tiny piece. Now he's mm-hmm. and that's why he only and now you're complaining. Now you're complaining that he's farting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's mad little. He's a miniature pincher, so he's only like three pounds, and his farts be smelling like grown man farts. My, my legs are laying yeah, up on a pit bull right now. <laughs> so, I feel you. Don't be mad. Don't be mad at that dog. Be mad, mad at yourself. <laughs> Sorry, Mason. Now you can call him Thomas the Train. <laughs> Yo, he ain't paying me no mind. He knocked out. And mine too. Little I got a pit bull that's be, 10. Be happy. Be happy it's a little one. Okay. Yeah. Be happy it's a little one because I got a box in this with a blue pit and they oh, is it's horrible. I I have yeah. a blue I have a blue blue nose pit too. And she's like Tell my man, she's old, but man, she's needy as fuck. Needy. Like it's all about how you raise your dog though. But hey, if you're gonna if now you're gonna kid, feed your mini on? pin, like if you're gonna feed it some food, don't complain when it farts. <laughs> Don't complain. Listen, my King Corsos is on a whole nother level. Oh, King Corsos are, oh my goodness, they're beautiful creatures, though. Yeah, it's a, yeah, my King Corsos, I got two, they in DC, um, they horrible. No matter what you feed them, they gonna let it go. How big is your King Corsos? I'm trying to see big as a mother. No, they're like a horse. Um, <laughs> That's why they call them a corso, yeah. a cane corso, like a horse. So <laughs> they're one like great two games. And one, well, <clears throat> the boy is three and the mother is two. And, uh, 
the boy, he's like 190 pounds. I and love the, King Corso. Uh, They're the beautiful. Girl is 180. Damn. That's like a human. <clears throat> it's like a human. <laughs> it yeah. weighs more than you do. <laughs> both of them stand, uh, both of them uh, stand up about my height when they're on their back leg. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's that, 5'7? Uh, I wish. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was shorter. Y'all don't know how it feels to have to put your hand on the sink just to sit down on the toilet. You gotta ease your way down. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> hey, you gotta ease your way down. <laughs> Can't even take a bath. You got. I got to go to, a, I got to rent a hotel room just to have a nice bath. I can't fit in no no tub whatsoever. You can't add nothing cute and delicate. Oh, I can. I just don't yeah, touch it. <laughs> <laughs> and when I drop something on the floor, it stay there for a day. I'm trying to tell you, I'm not trying to hurt my back, keep picking stuff up. Uh, right. Can you use a regular broom to sweep or you have to get an extended... <laughs> Do you like, like a regular book? You try to make it seem like I'm like a nine foot nine foot two. <laughs> we could be best friends because I'm real short and I'd be needing to get up high. And I can pick up yeah. I don't like your kind because every time I go to the grocery store, oh y'all God. always asking me to get stuff. <laughs> but 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 what do you do? Yeah. Do you get it? Do you yeah, get it for get them? Too. <laughs> but, but do you something. get it for them? <laughs> you really <laughs> asking me that question? <laughs> realize yeah, I'm, I I'm asking you. But do you get realize it? Realize who I am. Not all the time. I be sitting there watching them laugh. I be laughing at them watching them get it. They stuff. Messed up. I will step on a shelf to get to another shelf. <laughs> you I can do it myself. Certain people be asking me all the time because I got long arms, so they be just—they don't even ask me. They just look at me like with that. You know face, what like, you do, I did. You do got long arms. I see yeah. you got your knees standing straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with him. <laughs> Wait, now I'm about to see if I could do it. <laughs> nah. Oh man, I got like a half an inch, a half an inch. Y'all should have seen her at Popeye. She was standing at the counter and put her arms behind the counter and started making her own breath. I was like, "What kind of shit?" <laughs> hey, studio, you get on my nerves. <laughs> I got so many inboxes off my videos. It's not even funny. Why are you talking about women's feet? <laughs> yo, that oh, would take me out, yo. Oh, my God. Hey, yo. I bet K- 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 ain't even seen you. You know what? I made a video. You know, <laughs> the, you know the little video where they, I forgot the name of the character, but it got three words. I'll see you the video. Oh, the three? Oh, like, I, I like put, that. <laughs> Yeah, I put up a, a video saying uh, all women that argue on TikTok, your feet stink. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> feet. Not too much ashy. Oh, yeah, I said, your feet, I, I said your feet ashy. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> hey, Pam, my DM's up with that. Yeah, I've been seeing that <laughs> no things like crazy with the, uh, what's that, Dr. Doctor Fate or something like that? Oh, Mr. Fate? I don't know. I forgot who it was. One or two girls. <laughs> Most of my videos make you make you laugh like he. I switched up my content because I remember when I first got on this app, I got on this app to laugh. I used to like the little videos that made you laugh, and I I stopped saying it when I got on TikTok. So now I make I pull up all the videos and I put it on my page when I come across it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it'd be so serious on the live side. Like, I really want a husband or a wife. Sheesh. I can see that's the topic of the year. These lives used to have right. me triggered than a bitch when right. I first got on here. That's why I had to po- apologize to Cosmo yesterday because I went in on him, like, when I first got on these, like, um, live debates and stuff. Because um, I was one of them women who couldn't take my own personal <laughs> shit outside of the conversation and just take it for what it was. Even though it didn't even apply to me, I just felt like, oh, I got to speak for other women 
And then it's like, I had to stop and realize, like, yo, these dudes is absolutely right. Because I see these type of women all the time. I've interacted with these type of women. So they definitely do exist. Like, like Aries. But you shouldn't apologize to Cosmo. Cosmo like being toxic. That's why he did. That's why he wear them age uh, age control headbands all the time. <laughs> Cosmo ain't even here to protect himself. <laughs> nah, Cosmo, my boy. Yeah, Cosmo's, nah, Cosmo's cool. cool as hell. Cosmo's cool. He'll be around. He'll be around. He's not far away. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be uh... probably in a chat somewhere. You know how he do. Co- Cosmo be twerking on Sunday. I think my dog having a bad dream. What you, dancing what you done did to that dog? I'm about to sage this room. What did you do? I he on fleek. <laughs> I hope not. Yo, he about to tear up my carpet. You make you fleek on yourself. <laughs> I just washed his bed too. He better not fleek nowhere in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you what's on fleek real quick. <laughs> right. Spank the shit out of him. You smell? Hold me? up, Tiger. <laughs> come in. Tiger, come in. His name is Tiger. Yeah, he's a Brenda side so name of Tiger. Is, is that your Tiger? your cane? No, uh, Tiger is my um my. Pit her, pit boxer. Polo, oh, pit. I thought he said tight. I was like, what? A yeah, pit name, tight. <laughs> a tiger. <laughs> I have tigers. My cat is named Tight. <laughs> <laughs> His name, my other cat named Lucy. <laughs> <It's like nice. laughs> Tell me, Lucy. Only thing I don't like about boxes, they 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 needy and clingy as hell. Oh my god, they're gorgeous! Oh look at oh, he likes to plop himself next to the heater right here so he can warm his buns. Oh look at the little purse! (laughs) (laughs) Talk about my baby. That's a handbag. Yo, he's like the size of my shoe. Okay, I'm all the way down on the ground. That's how (laughs) I gotta get close. He going back to sleep. Coffee too. Mm-hmm. Leave it alone. I'm in You can cover him up with a pillowcase. He likes what my robe. Doing? He likes my robe. To the I'm wallet. Going right back to sleep. My course my don't want to be bothered, but oh, that's your dog? No. Mm-hmm. He just stand. Why all y'all dogs be staring right in the camera? They be ready for it too. Like what? <laughs> you go again. Well, <laughs> she's, she's probably wondering why the fuck I'm still up. <laughs> like <laughs> you know, she like girl, get that sleep. camera off me. Like right, if you don't turn the lights off, so we can go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna he ain't gonna stop looking until you get that get that camera off me, man. I told you, I talked to you about this before. Yeah. <laughs> She used to be so photogenic, but now she's like, "Do not even face the camera at me." <laughs> I think oh, dogs everybody be like got noticed a dog. Five G. <laughs> my dog outside. <laughs> Why? He said my dog outside. He only. He only. Wait. Sat... <laughs> he only in Michigan, up. in Detroit, is it cold? Yes, it's, it's, no, it's a little bit uh, like. <laughs> like negative twenty-five. <laughs> It ain't freezing though. What kind of dog you got, Kev? <laughs> I don't know names. I don't know. I don't know names. <laughs> you got a Yorkie. A dog. Yorkie. Is, uh, oh, a Yorkie. Like it's like a, he got, a brown dog. He got a Yorkie. I got another dog, but he <laughs> needs a haircut. Mm, put him on camera. He need a haircut. A barn dog? A barn? A, oh, no. A brown. Like a brown dog. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That wasn't much detail. Oh, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> that wasn't brown. helpful was. at all. Oh, I know what you're talking about. That brown dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just showed the brown dog. Right. <laughs> right. 
I got. I, I'm, I'm horrible. I don't know dog names. I don't know car names. Those little lineup joint. They gonna be like, what, what did he look like? Uh, uh brown. <laughs> Bro, yeah, the yeah. cops gonna be like, "What did the car look like?" I just said right. it was a silver. Well, it was a silver black car. guy with dreads. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Where are you? Yeah, eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, views. Y'all out of here now. Nah, we ain't talking about nothing, Tasha. Y'all thought we was talking about passport and all that stuff. Ha ha. Yeah. Oh, they want wanting the drama. This ain't that lot. Right, they do. As soon right. as somebody voice elevate, they pop in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they can't even tell my son. What the heck? They saying accountability. Let's get up out here. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's not what I'm about to do. And then we showed our dogs, and then it, it did it drop. <laughs> Super drop. It's too cuddly in here. <laughs> oh, I, should host I need something that stresses me out. I can cry about stress. Like, I never understood that. Right. Exactly. Show. Yes. I'll, 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 I'll be there. I'll be there. Like, what the fuck? This ain't that type of stress. This ain't what you want. <laughs> I, I need to wait when they come in here and start playing at a little Vert. This ain't what you want. Yeah, I do a little TikTok dance. Uzi, oh. I don't give him respect because I got I was your a body and he did that shit in New York. I don't respect him for that. You know, we can hear a voice. I don't know, but that's in the car. Kim, is that liquor? Why are you sipping it like it's strong? No. <laughs> <laughs> is that libation? Not too much of my water. Not too much of my water. <laughs> that voice. He sounded really like the one dog like off of us. I was, though. I, you made me think about it, too. That's because I don't want to walk back downstairs and get no more water. I'm trying to savor it, do a little, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I swear. That's I funny. swear I'm, 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 I'm that getting cup. that. I swear I'm going to get that sound machine. <laughs> nah, man. If you buy one, you got to own one. <laughs> You can tell Kev elegant as hell over there. Kev an elegant person. He said. Yeah, the pinky. Oh, I this, thing. this is this is funny though. <laughs> Not too much of me. <laughs> well, I'm glad I don't smoke. Oh. It'll be done for. <laughs> I am not smoke free. I mean, I'm smoke free. <laughs> But not too much of my voice, though. Yeah. Not too much. What the heck? I almost sound like a real girl. That kind of scared me a little bit. What the heck? He was like, not too much. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> Who hate no the dog bitch. off okay. of up? The one dog who had the um the collar on. He talked just like that. I don't know if anybody's seen the movie Up. Oh, okay. says somebody what? That movie mm-hmm. Up. What you say, baby girl? <laughs> 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 Do you boo boo? I like try that one out. That's my favorite one. I like the quiet storm voice he be throwing on the Barry White. Yeah. You know you're laughing at yourself now, yeah. I know, I know. So I talk to a girl and be like, "Do you boo boo?" Period poo. Period poo. Period poo. I ain't gonna say that other one. I don't like the other one. The P U R R. I don't like that. I'm still not gonna even do that one. No. You just barked me. I wanted, I wanted to even say that. That was weird. Why did I say that? That don't, yeah, it's like right a now. trigger word, I guess. I should have been left <laughs> back in 2022. <laughs> Let me go back. I forgot. My bad. Here we go. Beer okay. fight back. You, so you, you forgot who you were for okay. a moment. <laughs> my, what I identify myself as, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let me not say that. I just thought about that. Oh, let me look at them. Look, look. I, know, <laughs> numbers, I identify. Uh, I identify as a male's being. <laughs> oh, what? I think that's a word. <laughs> a I don't know if I keep saying it all of a sudden. 2000. <laughs> you identify as what? What does that mean? I'm a, I'm a man that's attracted to, uh, to, to lesbian and heterosexual women. To mm-hmm. lesbian and heterosexual women. Hell Did you say and or lesbian and heterosexual women? A, a man's being, right? A man's being. A male's 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 being.
Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That don't sound right. Mills be. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes sense though. <laughs> about the move to. Think think of it think of it like a lesbian but in the in the male's body. I'm attracted to lesbians and, and they had a sexual one. <laughs> Cause some of these lesbians be yeah, they 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 be looking good. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, "This ain't what you want." That's now, what they start saying. Now, you see, like the no, more masculine. When you see a more masculine lesbian, do you do you not see the masculinity? Do you still see her as like? No, no. I, she see, start I, I just see a feminine woman that had a rough life. Mm-hmm. I don't. Most like, of them women don't even be having rough lives. They be coming from the suburb, two parent households. They just be doing shit because they bored. Like right. play, yes, no, she, 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 she is. At, at, I swear, at, I was at, born this time. Stop. <laughs> Y'all know who she she is. Uh-uh. It, okay, so it's this TikTok creator called She She. She's gorgeous as hell. She, she is. that the super thick one? No. Oh. Pretty All you gotta do is type she in the uh in your uh in your search bar and you will see her. Where my other phone at? I'm gonna show y'all. Everybody got two phones on this app. I got one. I got two phones. I got two. I got five. Yeah, we out here uh dedicating <clears throat> it up out here. I got you. Yeah, I'm about to buy a third phone. See, you? Paul, Paulie said, Paulie know what I'm talking about. I'm going to mm-hmm. show y'all in a second. It's Sunday, so I'll turn my other phones off. I ain't productive no business on Sunday. One of them just made for, like, internet. The other one is actually on. Where's my... That's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, he's sleepy. He don't even know what he's looking for. Or any... <laughs> right. <laughs> What am I looking for? What the freak? Hey, I'm getting old. What you had on your brain put you in that chokehold? Like, who was I looking for? Sleep deprivation. I'm old for a reason. Oh, oh that's what I'm looking for. There we go. Click this light off. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, plug in my charger. <laughs> Oh, they didn't fall for the bait, man. I got to put my old topic back up or something. They're not falling for it. Nah. Oh, did you change it? A man that wants you to... Yeah, the old... yeah. They didn't fall for that one. I didn't even see it change. A man that wants you to win my record. <laughs> I became a professional changer. Wait. <laughs> a professional changer. All right, I'm thinking what the heck that... <laughs> Fairy tale is in the building. What's the deal? I, I, I got something for you, Fairy tale. Hello. 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 That's when some of the friends come in. There. Hey, fair, oh, fair, fair, the, uh, fairy tale. Paul, that you talking about? Hey, right fairy tale. No, she needs. She was problems. quiet on that other topic. Now she's like, "Oh, I, I believe that the man part. You're right about." It. Um, I'm still up, but <laughs> when I went, when time. I went live. When I went live tonight, she was here for me. <laughs> I've only been live twice, but she was there for me. So, yo, I was like, "Who was in Six's thing?" Right. She, 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 that she, hat is terrible. That almost like a, you could treat somebody. Those are one of those them. tricky hats. I hate them hats. She might have a cone <laughs> head. <laughs> the cone head. That's the one that had the cone. I hate them. Tell hats. me, Shane, cute as hell. Have a cone head. <laughs> Is that the one that had the cold? She looks like she got light eyes. She has some big hands, though. Working. Is that the one that had the cold? She looks like she got light eyes. Oh, who got it? Okay, Yeah, I do hear that. But yeah, that's what she I don't know. I don't be going for the typical light skin, light eyes females. I don't know. Mm. Mm. 
it's a, it's a, I'm like, you gotta attract me to your your mental, regardless, male or female. Like, I have to be attracted mentally to you. Right. Yeah, it's a fun topic. I was laughing mm-hmm. because I had the other topic of this. <laughs> I put this topic. Up. Okay, I agree with that. <laughs> it's literally the same thing in reverse. <laughs> I don't know about the makeup thing, but with the jury and the, the big chain, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. What, the what was the ever one asking, though? It was saying if men support you putting on makeup, does that make them what? Uh, oh, you talking about the topic? Yeah. No, I said, uh, I didn't say support. I said, uh, uh what the freak did I put on it? Now you got me on the thing. Oh, you put stuff down on me. I'm becoming old. Oh. <laughs> a man that wants you to wear makeup is more offensive than a man that wants you to be natural. Does I got a question for Lula. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got a question for Lula. Hey, hey kid, if I got something for you. Um, men's forearms attractive? Do I find what men's forearms? You remember that video? Mm. Like, like big forearms. Yeah. Yep, I do. Mhm. I don't like the shoulder thing. Nah, because I I read something one time. It was saying like Aries women are attracted to like tell me some of these certain things in men, and I was like, damn, that kind of hit a little bit. So I had yeah. to ask that Aries woman. Yeah, no, I am. I don't like the big shoulders, but I definitely like a nice forearm. I, I like I like a nice strong arm. Popeye's oh, forearm. forearm. I am. Mm-hmm. Not the forearm. Oh, he got a sexy elbow. The way that connect his forearm and his back. <laughs> it's something about a nice little muscular looking arm. I don't know. You know, like nothing too intense. Ooh, girl, nice look over his elbow. It's sexy. <laughs> it connects well to you. Yes. Yes. You said sexy elbow. <laughs> as long as it ain't ashy. Right. I'm done. I need to go, this up. I need to, go to the oh. gym and work on my elbows now. <laughs> I elbow. How do you enhance those? Right. More. Fairy tale saying fake no hands. little hands. Put some fake ones on. You gotta paint it. Little hands paint is creepy bank. though for a dude. I'm sorry. Especially if you're tall. Can you get your baby hands off of me, sir? Mm-hmm. Somebody was just talking about that yesterday. That she ain't paid to do because he has some baby hands. <laughs> I feel like hands are more important than we would like to give credit for because it's certain hands I just can't deal with. Like I was just about to say. Like the, the nails that be like it just be more <laughs> nails than necessary. <laughs> Like, I can't even explain it. Like, like your nails be mad wide and they t- take up, like, the whole tip of your finger. Like, it's just... Ooh, like, every me a when men have long nails, I be like, bruh, why? And they be just extra, like, sharp and pointy? No. Hey. So, I found me a new friend. Right, I'm about to ask her, do y'all like men with long nails? No. I prefer <laughs> pointy you know what like, all the lesbians. <laughs> Wait, long hands or big? Let me see. She kind of looked too tough for me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she looked tough like she look tough like for you. I'm six six, six and I look. Uh uh. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> Don't oh yeah, what about fake toenails? Why do women get fake toenails? <laughs> I never got that. It might be a thing somewhere. I don't get it. Because they toenails dead. Eric? Oh yeah, true that. True. Yeah. That. yeah. I'm dead. But isn't yeah, that hurting them even more if you're covering it with all that stuff? Yeah. yeah. They ain't bringing it back, so I don't know. Hey King. Uh, what you don't know is Aries used to be a stud 46 years ago. Uh oh. Oh what? Oh. Nah, let's say roughly, let's say, fifteen years ago. Fifteen. Oh god. Ago. I was joking. You ain't even forty six years old. But she said since she found out, <laughs> don't even let you know something that about my me. Nah, I'm shame. Nah, I'm shame. What about that life at one point? Yeah, I'm. 
I'm going to identify as a student. (laughs) 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 Respectfully, we got you. Just change your pronouns. I was just born in the right back. I was just born in the right back. (laughs) (laughs) Born in the right body. (laughs) That's a sensitive topic. That is a sensitive, What's a sensitive topic. I'm talking about myself. <laughs> no, I just, I'm sorry. That was a thought I was thinking because I was getting ready to say something, but I had to. Let's do I feel you on I hit my brakes. Yeah, I, I hit my brakes. <laughs> 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 right. He said, Good morning. Good morning. That sounds like I just got some credit. Good morning. Right. You gotta walk the family. Good. Like, Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's me. Lola. <laughs> it's okay to be who you are. Like Lola, I told Lola. I called Lola getting her net her uh dude at um DuPont Circle the uh, last year. So can you elaborate? <laughs> so you get out of here. So with the topic, um this is for fairy tales request, you know. So basically I said big watch, big no big rock, big watch, and big chain. Got you looking for the wrong thing. <laughs> Because a lot of these girls thing be thinking and stuff. That's why I have to say thing like that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the thing is, the thing is, okay. you know, they they looking for the wrong thing at the end of the day. They they getting some. They be looking for love and uh, in all the wrong places. Or they would get with a woman the and want them for their money, not realizing that. It, I be I see that a lot though. Like the dude be like, why are they playing me and all that stuff or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But then you live with your wallet, so that's just. You know what I'm saying? That, it makes sense. You don't even need a cell machine anymore. <laughs> you said what? You don't even need a cell machine anymore. You just I proved know. it. You see me, you feel me, you feel me. But yeah, yeah. It'd be really, like I said, it's from the, the, from the hey. Now I gotta be caught stuttering in this thing on close mic too now. <laughs> You give I it ASMR. It off, at least when I was far back from it. <laughs> oh, so is you it? You do ASMR, from, from this perspective, yeah, it's the opposite from what happened yesterday. Yeah, right. Basically, so I'm telling the man that love your love yourself, <gasps> love your body. Uh, I, I don't know oh, God, that came no. out right, but oh, I'm just so saying. Does, does man this topic equate to love your natural for the other topic? Huh? So does this to- does this equate to the other topic like men wearing? Because I feel like it wouldn't equate to makeup, but like a woman getting her body done, like the type of attention that you're seeking. Like when a woman gets her body done, she's seeking attention, but it sexualizes her. And when men wear these things, you know they attract gold diggers. Like you know you're right. seeking attention that you really not seeking. Yeah, don't makeup do the same thing. See for attention. I sounded like Nicki Minaj just now. I yeah, thought... Don't say that. I, 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 don't, please don't say that. <laughs> please. please, I hear it enough. Who that? Somebody? Simply sounded like uh, Nicki Minaj just now. Don't, you going to say it again? <laughs> so if <laughs> men dress up like that, they will attract the right woman. What did what? you get? What the? You got selective hearing or something? What the heck? I just literally said the opposite. <laughs> no, I said the opposite. I said it's literally the same. This is literally the same thing I was talking about yesterday. Basically attracting people for the wrong reasons and stuff. So I, I tell men, just like I told women, you are not your makeup. I tell men, you are not your money. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's basically what that is. Because, you know, you don't want to be looked at as a walking bank. Because that's all you're gonna ever be in her eyes or whoever. However, you, but I always tell people, however you got them is how you gotta keep them. So, that's the thing. So, I don't I mean, know if you me personally, when I see a man with like 
a whole bunch of jewelry, like obnoxious amounts of jewelry. Right. I just, it doesn't tell me that that person has money because number one, those things, the value of those things depreciate the minute that you buy them. And then that goes to show you too, like where this person's priorities are. Because if you look deeper into it, this dude, you seeing this dude on, let's say TikTok, all his videos, he got all this jewelry and stuff like that. He'll get on live and he's sleeping on an air mattress in his mother house or, in, you know, somebody basement. So it, it's, it's, that's kind of like the hey, that, that sounds just like the makeup situation. <laughs> Get caught, Same you gotta come back home to you know treat them to think you was rich. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's wake that's up in the morning. Thing. I don't think about wake up in the morning tomorrow. next to Dennis Rodman. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend who would literally go put her makeup on if she was like with her little boo, or whatever. She would put her makeup on before he woke up, and she would wake up with makeup on. Um, I'm, not wow. doing all that. I'm not doing all that. You want to see this that's face crazy. with no makeup oh, on? No, yeah, that's like that. That's kind of like what Kev's question is saying. It's like, do you see a man go to bed with his shoes on? His chain on it. Like, right. yeah, his chains and all that. Chain like, pull his, 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 like, <laughs> his hat on. If he sleeps with his hat, it's a problem. But I look fly. His hat with socks, it's a problem. <laughs> What's the deal? Well, you know, the men having the jewelry is not as bad as women wearing the makeup in that sense, like because honestly, right. the ju- the jewelry it could when things get rough, it could be pawned. You know, it could be sold. Free. You know, right. the jewelry can actually right. be an invest, especially when you buy real jewelry, like because well, if you want to the price makeup of can gold can go down, money. but it can also go way up from what you what you pay for it. So the jewelry part is not as bad. It's just the fact that. When no, men buy, never goes up in, the reason in value, of them, the reason of them doing it is wrong. Like they're trying to seek an attention that they really don't want. Yeah, like me. they don't want women to use them for their money, but they lead with the money. Right. Well, my thing is, exactly. if you are honestly showing me that you're responsible with bills and you are actually a little frugal with your money, that's what attracts me. Because somebody who's trying mm-hmm. to show off and you can't keep it up, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm saying being frugal. Right. Let's just say you drive a nice car and all that stuff, but you're not overdoing it. You got a place over your head, you know what I'm saying? You're paying your bills. Mm-hmm. You in a good mm-hmm. standing for all that. Like, that to me is attractive when you're talking okay. about how to make money. Like, I like that type of stuff. Like, all okay, right, we cool. We, we both talking about business. Let's do this. But mm-hmm. if you up here just, like, talking about it, uh, that don't attract me. I'm not listening to you. I hear mm-hmm. you over there, Mr. Big Bucks, Mr. Big Stepper, but you really ain't doing nothing. You talk. Mm-hmm. It's right. no different it's from, like, more. even with the spinners and stuff. I mean, you know, they might have the money with it, but I'm just saying, you just go... My point out of that is you're going to get the wrong attention. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you, you right. Somebody that's like, oh, my goodness, this thing looks good. You know what I'm saying? Let's, the wrong attention. It's, no, it's not nothing you really want, unless you're just, just looking for buttons or something like that. But ain't nothing out of that really got the situation anyway. It's a temporary thing that come with problems or whatever, you know? Got you What's one of the next day them rings is off. We go after these dudes, and they both end up disappointed. Like you got your body done because you wanted to attract mm-hmm. the guy who had money and and jewelry and stuff, and the dude got the jewelry on because he wanted to attract the girl with the buns. And they both go their separate ways after. It's called a fair trade. Like, what's the point? It's temporary. It is. Yeah, I'm okay with them finding each other. Right. <laughs> yeah, let them have it. Because um, it's just something financially unresponsible, you know irresponsible with a dude that's going to pay $300 for a bottle in the club for a night and again right. going to going yeah, back to sleep phone. on the air mattress at the end of the day. I'd rather, I'd rather a man say something like you know we can't maybe I can't take you out this weekend because you know I got my car note and my car note is expensive so maybe we can eat inside you know we can eat in the house and make something together like that makes more sense to me than a man who's just going to blow all his money and then be broke for the whole week until he get paid again like Financial literacy is where it's at right now. I'm sorry. But yeah. You just think about something now. What about the strip club? Let's talk about that now. Let's go. Hey. Let's about to really no, they the take man. all your money. They don't even go home really with you. The what is the one that you sitting there throwing a stack of? Let me show you. I got three hundred dollars, baby. They don't. They don't, they don't take all your money. No, you give them their money. You give yes. it to them. Yes. <laughs> I meant to say that. You give them all your money, and I'm saying they take it, you give it to them, and they yeah. don't like going home with you because you didn't pay right. them all this money. Right. That's what I thought when I went to the mail club. I was like, if I give him enough ones, he is going to pick me out of all these right. people. No. Mm-hmm. They are going no. home. This is a show. 
So, yeah. right. I, mean, I love going to I love going to the strip club and seeing them, but you will not get my savings account. Yeah. No. Damn. Right. Yeah, you know, I don't want to see no banana. That's like there. gambling. <laughs> are there a man? What are there? I prefer the women over the I men, hope the men are but listening. it just happened to be a night. Uh-huh. I really hope to. I hope the men are listening. Hey, if y'all want Lola, go get your 1991 Pinto and sell FUBU clothing. That's what she likes. I retired from them kind of men 20 years ago. Okay. okay. Give them a high and a buy. I do some cheap shit. Like, I get $60 worth of singles. It look like a lot, but it's not. Uh, and I'm going to buy my drink. Hey, 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 for me. I just be in there to drink. <laughs> I'm super frugal. I'm making it rain with coins. I'm very frugal. But <laughs> if I see somebody that I like, I'll spend, I'll spend some money on somebody else. Yeah, I, like. I got away with that. I'm in Jersey. Coins. My strip clubs are he trash. Said here, so. <laughs> he said coins. He said coins. Lola. Yes, now if I go down to the A, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm prepared that's like, to what, what, what are you going to do? Throw pennies? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to throw quarters. <laughs> Break it down <laughs> to the <laughs> Listen, there's, terrible, there's some terrible ass strip clubs out here. I went to one in Staten Island. This chick was wearing fucking boxer briefs. Like, oh, are you kidding me? What? Dead serious. She was wearing boxer briefs, a cut up beater, and a, and, a, and a baseball hat. Mark, you up, man? You said you went to Wake one up, man. Staten Island. Yeah, Staten Island. Trust me, it wasn't my it wasn't my idea. About the same. And I went period. So. Girl, but that was literally the worst. Barrel. That was literally the worst. Because I'm from Jersey, so Staten Island is closer than any other um, borough to me. Yeah. And um, that shit was just, it was traumatizing. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that's why I was asking you, were you at Walmart? That's I'm what like, it seemed like. You know, you know only, only Jersey people really go to Staten Island. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, because. Other people in New York City don't go to Staten Island, and that and it's because of that right there. Like it's disgusting in Staten Island, and they're they're more racist to me. Really? Part. Yes. Yes. Wow. Uh, more so like uh like racist um Italians. Which Let is me crazy. Say, yeah, I know a lot, of, has, a lot of Italians in Jersey. A lot there of Italians. Is, but in Jersey. Italians in Jersey, they're used to being around black people and doing business with black people. So they'll they but may Staten be racist, Island but it's is behind different. closed doors. Staten Island um, compared to Staten, Staten Island, Island is Island. more in your face. Staten Island is um, an island of trash. It's literally an island of trash. They just people built don't concrete people, like, over like it. if you live in New York, you have to take a boat to get to Staten Island. There's no like Yeah, yeah, yeah. To- so the only thing I know good that came to Staten Island is Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Oh, oh Wu Tang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it was a lot of Jersey influence on that too. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know about all that now, but. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. Man, and you have to. So what? Why do you? When when you guys go to Staten Island, do you go there? Is there is it is there stuff that's there? Like, I don't go to Staten but, Island ever. That literally is uh, like the second time I ever went out there. I have zero. You know what? I, Jersey um has um a part is a part of Jersey called Perth Amboy, and it has like water mm-hmm. and stuff like that, nice pier and everything like that. And it's like even mm-hmm. the water there is dirty because the water from Staten Island kind of you know it, it comes over there so it's just like <laughs> it floats over but That's, it's like um wow. per damn boy is probably like maybe 15 minutes from me so staten island may be like 35 40 minutes mm. as opposed to going to like manhattan which would be like an hour yeah it's manhattan beach like manhattan beach is looked look better upon than staten island yes no because you have uh, Staten, Island, Staten Island is trash. No, no water in New York is 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 good. Like no beach, no water, no no nothing. Like it's all it's all dirty. No water on the East Coast is good till you get down to Florida. No, nah, yeah, till you get down to Florida. Right. I was just gonna say that because I'm in Cali and our water is so different than Florida. Y'all, Florida, so Florida, Florida beaches from, have beautiful, beautiful water. What's that supposed to mean, fairy tale? You gonna give me a chicken? No, Florida beaches are nice. When I went to Miami, <laughs> the, I was surprised that the water was like actually blue. Yeah. But up here, the you water is brown. Yeah. Uh, you can pay me to get oh, New Jersey. See, our and water Jersey is water dark over here, and it's mm-hmm. cold. 
are you, the water in are Florida you is warm compared to Southern Cali. Southern Cali, yeah. the, the water, the ocean it's water is it's cold and the and the sand is hard. It, and but Florida is soft and then the water is blue and warm. <laughs> it's so weird. Most of East Coast, West Coast, that's like, what she said. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, Kevin. <laughs> it's with the Kevin. Mm-hmm. You gotta get that joint next. The what? That was bad. The little Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, make that a sound. <laughs> That's a good one. Kevin. Uh, one oh, of my the uh, uh, morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're close to it. Pets and kids are yeah, very similar. I'm, not, I'm a queen. You are a queen. Pets and kids are similar. They both don't let you go to the bathroom alone. Yeah, I don't know agree. Anybody else is dope. I follow me in the bathroom all the time. Both of them. <laughs> they don't just follow you. They just they want to have a conversation. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and the older they get, it'd be like, all right, what is happening? <laughs> I, I read somewhere though that they do that for like protection because when when you like sit yeah. down and you're pooping or something you're at your most vulnerable state so they do that to protect you. Yeah. Yeah. How you gonna fight when you're in the middle of a poop? Like you're very vulnerable. <laughs> Caught you slipping. You have Literally. To do what you gotta do. <laughs> yes, Virginia everywhere. Beach water is so dirty. Oh my goodness, Virginia Beach is crazy. But it's cool. Yeah, like it. that's crazy because I was supposed to go to Virginia Beach with my brother this summer, and I was hoping the water would be nicer down there. Uh-uh. That's why I said it's, it's all the same up until you get to Florida, in Southern Florida, at that. Mm. Yeah, I forgot about. Me. You said, "Oh, Maine." Yeah, that probably is. Maine. <clears throat> Maine. That's like a state that who oh, lives boy, in Maine? Who lives in Maine? <laughs> I don't know. I be watching a little fresh catch joint though, and they be catching all them uh, crabs and stuff. Or the what is it? The fish, the salmon. They be catching salmon up there. Mm. Salmon. Who has the best crab? They got the best seafood from Maine. Uh-huh. Maine got the best seafood, period, because that's where most of the seafood, the fresh seafood is going at. Because I'm trying to have some seafood for my birthday, but I also want to travel. And I want to go somewhere where I can get some good crab legs. It's going to be really cold in Maine this time of year. Yeah, doesn't it? It's like yeah, very cold. Yeah. It's going to be somewhere warm. I'm going to be eating crabs and it's going to be cold. It's going to be freezing like this. <laughs> Shoot, if, if if it's snowing in Cali where I live right now, it's never snowed in all the years that I've ever lived here or grown up here. It's never snowed in my city. If it's cold here, it's cold everywhere. <laughs> like it's it the weather, the weather climate and everything has just shifted. So mm-hmm. um, that's a whole another conversation too. What? Mm-hmm. Somebody say another just, conversation? Huh? Just climate control, weather change. Oh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. I don't want to ruin nobody Sunday. But... They were like, oh, 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 like that. Let me go ahead and uh, block some stuff real quick. So they said that, that you uh you be making salt baskets with your ankles. <laughs> your knees and your ankles. I seen you strip off your ankles. Damn. They went after studio. We thought it was shit. <laughs> studio Ashy needs be rubbing the seas of all of its water. 
Ooh, can't I heard, you? Miami I heard is once one, he take his prosthetic legs so on, he's 5'8". He's 5'2". Yeah, Miami is lit. It's the whole vibe. I thought I took six. So he's oh. six. And she's going to Florida. <laughs> yes, the weather is beautiful down there. Yeah, it is. I want to go back because I went. I ain't have a good experience when I went. I need to go back. Keep tapping, y'all. Y'all see what Paulie's doing down there? Go ahead and tap. Florida. I to go to New Orleans too. Yeah, any anything in the south. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. Studio, why you always messing with me? Hey, studio in the middle of putting. Oh, trust me. <clears throat> when I get the chance, I'm gonna go. I'm over here playing GTA. I'm gonna drop down. I'm, 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 I'm gonna drop down because I don't want to fall asleep on your live tonight. Hey, love thank you, everybody, for the box. Ooh, great conversation tonight. Love you all. I'm not. I'm not falling asleep on your live note, but I'm going to bed. All right, for sure. Y'all been up all night? Um, I've been up since four. Three, Studio, you playing on PS4 or 5? Because if you're playing on the 5, I'm about to find you, and I'm going to come and analyze you. Oh, I'm about to. Oh, my God. Yes, I'm about to get on it. I don't play. So I can get you. I don't play peace and shit. So you can keep it here. Oh, ew. You on what? Xbox? Yeah, I got the Xbox. Oh, my. We got one of these guys. I'm about to unfollow him right now. Yeah, I'm about to. Appreciate it. I'm right now. For a minute. <laughs> I ain't want to do That's it. That was cool with him until he just said that. That nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Right. Even though I have this I got a day My friends want to be uh not straight. <laughs> so I had to pick the Xbox. That's some bull. But I still got a PlayStation 5. Man. You can't play PlayStation 5 um, and Xbox all day. together? All these fake people over here want to get on Xbox. We had a PlayStation first. Everybody had a PlayStation first. I think you can right. play first platform. That's what I thought. Not on GTA. Oh, no. I'm on online. Uh, I don't have a uh, regular. Okay. We talk about I'd be on Fortnite. I don't like that. Oh, God. Because no. my son got a, he got an Xbox and a PS4. So regardless of whichever one, we could play on Fortnite. But it's, just, it's weird because it's like certain games... We can't play together if you got a different, you know, PS4 or 5. That's the only part about it I don't like. Yeah, I still got my original Sega and my PlayStation. I got a Sega too. I'm so out of the loop, like, who? I've been to that. Oh, shush. (laughs) You You losing anyways. He always talking shit. I said good morning. I should have came in here. Oh, I forgot to give you that. Hello. Oh. It's me. Oh. Right. Yeah. A nice greeting. Yeah. Not this one. Yeah. Talk about oh, it's Kenchi. <laughs> <laughs> <That's not laughs> what I ever do to you, studio. Everything. You gotta play that uh music. I know. I just be talking trash, but I don't be talking trash to you. You do. You try. You was talking. I heard you were talking about me on Black Planet yesterday. Anyways, what well, I'm gonna keep going for a I don't even know what Black Planet is. <laughs> What's Black Planet? I'll get up there and talk about what? you. What? You want to tag first spot? Yo, oh, who knows what Black Planet is? It'll, it'll tell you each real quick. Like crush button. <laughs> Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't Black Planet like, like like Tinder? No, what? Black Planet was like MySpace. Yeah. It was like MySpace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I've never heard of that. MySpace then Facebook I remember people used to, used, to sell, used to sell the booty on Black Planet, right? Wait, what? What? I don't know. We just make like pages. You like you on Black Planet. Hey, don't worry about it. She, she grew up I think you just made a yeah, I think you just made a layout and you added like stickers and little gifts, gifts. and all that. That's stuff. when we first started using gifts on Black mm. Planet. Yeah, you had to like actually code. Is I was that a still little alive? Yeah. techie. Yeah. 
You had to copy the HTML code and put it in your oh. profile. Oh, you girl, you just took me back to 1999. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't you know. Me back don't to know back don't let me know that. None. Don't tell me. Now, if y'all went on Mofo Space, I got a lot of. I don't want. I got a lot to hold in. I'm gonna put it that way. I don't want to say too much. My space so messed up. You can't even go to the site no more. It's all. I'm about to say who owns my space. And yo, we didn't appreciate Tom the way we should have because Tom didn't pull none of this shit that Mark Zuckerberg is pulling. <laughs> right? Can we get all. Tom back? There was no Tom jail. Was no nothing. Just as long as you was friends with him, he would he would let you do whatever you want to do. It was cool. Didn't Justin Timberlake buy MySpace? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> He said, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Why would you yeah, even invest that. in my space? Yeah, back when I saw that he bought that for some reason. I saw wow. it. Like, it, it's been a while, though. It was like maybe a decade ago I saw something about him buying my space. You know what? I think my space is now used for like streaming music, like how artists might put up like songs, uh, independent artists or something like that. I think that yeah. was what it was transitioning into, like an independent artist space. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Right. Last time I was on there. I haven't been on there in a minute. Yeah. I feel like Tom probably sold sold that shit and I know what it had like would become because literally what he, he was trying to do is what we already have plus a million other features. Like I know he kicking himself in the ass. Zuckerberg is a I guess I can't say so many things, but right. that movie really depicted him as he is. He's like, a crook. He's just like you're one of them people. You one of the people that we talk about where you have hurt. You're you something wrong with you. You he don't see hurt. Ethics. You don't see emotion. That all comes down to ethics. He, he never makes ethically correct decisions. Like he does right. things based off of self. Like regardless right. of what it's going to do to a mass of people. Like he has an issue with ethics. Facts. That's why he ended up in front of Congress trying to explain himself. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> Body right, I be watching him all the time. <laughs> Yo, they be getting him. He be he trying his hardest. He couldn't He had like representatives and stuff trying to talk for him. They were like, "No, we want to hear from him." I was like, right. "They were slaying him." And he's so weird. He couldn't even really talk. <laughs> like he couldn't really defend himself. He was trying so hard not to incriminate himself, so he had to be extremely careful with what he said and how he worded things. Right, 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 right. Yep. On top of him being socially awkward. Right. Right. And owning social media. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> we're talking about the same people that we're talk we were talking about earlier. That's and they own crazy. a whole entire two platforms. Yeah, he owns Instagram too, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean he's paid, but he ain't paid like TikTok paid because TikTok is rock. But TikTok got a lot of issues too. Oh, of course. They ain't getting no more of my coins. I'm not buying it. I think China. Not as much as I get disrespected on this app all all banned and took down. I'm like, no, y'all ain't getting no more money from me. I don't know what be going on in this app. Like, it's certain things you can't say, like, and and again, not to be offensive, but you got to say YT people, and it's like, why are we having to say certain things in such a window-ish kind of way, like, People be speaking some real facts up here. Next thing you know, live is shut down. It be like, yo. I'm but you can say black though. You can say black. That's that's the funny part. Right. You can't say the YT, you know, but you can say black. That my sister was asking me about that. She was like, yo, what you mean YT versus you you can say black though? I was like, Yup. They will not shut you down for that. You might not be be able to say like ninja or nothing, but you can definitely say black. And they will not shut you down. Y'all, y'all uh, do a search on yoga. Let me tell you something. All that crap needs to be like banana blocked. They be naked on it. Man, you can see the whole uterus of someone, some of them women. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, splits and and I mean, it, it's ridiculous. But they rocking. No shutdown, no nothing, no ban, no nothing. They they shut you down based off the topics too, or not even the topics, but your standpoint on a certain topic. Because you can't post about certain groups of people. But if you post about black people, they don't shut those down. Like that dude nope. made that video with his with his um his YT girlfriend on his back and he's like, I'm done with y'all colors. They wouldn't let me repost that. 
Yeah. The original video stud. Oh yeah, I saw that one. That was ridiculous too. He looked like a straight clown. I was like, why? How you gonna make a video like that? You look dumb as hell. And not- I did some petty shit though. I put that video next to uh, that one dude um, whose uh, girlfriend unalived him, and he was talking all that shit about black girls. Facts. I guess I was too sensitive. Hey, well, call it, you gotta call a spade a spade, man. Like you know, right? I mean, you get shut down for it. Like I get banana all the time. I don't be hardly saying nothing. Yo, they stopped me from sending messages. I had to send an email this morning. It's been three months. I haven't been able to send or receive messages from anybody. Say what? Yeah, I cursed somebody out in the DM and <laughs> they demanded me. They ain't even give me like a, a date in which they would reinstate the shit. It's just been going on for three months now. And I'm just like, all right, this is whack. Like, they got to do something. Right. That's you know what? The last few times I got banana, they didn't even give me an opportunity to appeal. They didn't even give me an option. Both times, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be able to appeal this, right? No, nope. they were like, Nope, they blocked me because I was in the box and two girls was having an argument. Like, I literally was in between them in the box and I was muted the entire time. And they stood, they, they bananaed all three of us. So, you may be okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I was in between them and they bananaed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine, man. Guilty by oh, a Yo, matter of fact, Kenshi, it was you. You was one of them. It was you in Miami. Oh, yeah. Yo, I yeah. got banana with y'all. Oh, when I was cussing her out? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. That shit was funny. I was muted the whole time. I was like, I don't got nothing to do with this. Why y'all blocked me, too? Yeah, see, they didn't banana me. Um, like TikTok didn't banana me. She, they blocked me, and then they let me back on. <laughs> Yo, nah, I had like three days for that one. Oh God, yes, my bad, nice. my bad. You got in the middle. You know, you was in the, you was in the wrong line. Because, I got uh, hit in the crossfire. Yes, because I was going in, but they, they kicked me off. Like they, um, blocked me. That's what happened. I didn't get banana. They just blocked me for, you know. Cursing her out because she's a mod, <laughs> and I was going in. I, was, I look. I wasn't even listening to her. I was like, I don't hear you. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. <laughs> and she was still going. I was like, anyways, anyways, anyways. And it was like her <laughs> voice makes me want to just unalive myself. I'm not gonna lie. I can't. She one of them women that. Yeah, I don't even beef with her anymore. Like because you know, I go on that one. Uh, morning show or whatever, but I don't even beef with her anymore. I don't even say nothing to her anymore because I'm like it's not worth it. Like she's just in the comments, like starting shit constantly, and so I'm like, all right, so that's the person that I'm just going to ignore because I will get banana. So I'm picking my battles, y'all. I'm trying not to get shut down. I just got my access back on the third. Yeah, please don't get shut down. You stop making fun of my exit, boy. <laughs> or, you leave me alone. St- Studio always picking with me, bro. Every time I come into a live, he'd be like, oh, here she goes. He does that to everybody. Like, that's his like, He's been going all morning. <laughs> all morning. Yo, he said some shit about me in the comments. I remember one time when he first started coming around, and he was speaking some facts. So I think I may have followed him, right? So I'm in the box, and we talk about some deep shit. He in the comments talking shit like Aries. He said some wild shit. And I'm like, what? But then I see him do this. So ever since then, it was just, it was just up. Like, every time I I'm gonna do the same shit. I'm just gonna go back and forth. He'd be like, Kenji, be quiet. I'm like, damn. I didn't even say nothing. What you talking about? <laughs> he was like, go. Oh, here comes trouble. I'm like, bro, I didn't even say nothing yet. I just got in the box. I just got into the live, the, the room. He'd be like, ah, here she go. I'm like, wow. Your girl loves me, though. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta give show some love, bro. Stop stop it. Who told you I gotta do that? I'm gonna tell your girl you're not very nice to me. What that supposed to do? Maybe she'll encourage you to be nice. Maybe she'll encourage you to be nice. She's very sweet. Right. And opposites attract. I know that's right. You said it. (laughs) 
Oh my God. Y'all going to bed any time? Look, I would just sleep. My daughter's here. I can't be up all night when she's here, but y'all been rocking home. Yo, Kev for like 25 minutes. <laughs> he sleep. I know how he get there. I man to go to sleep and then blink of an eye. CG started up alive at like 7.30 in the morning and fell asleep at like 8. And was gone. <laughs> I was like, hello? What happened? Like the, the boxes were empty. Everybody got out except like two people. And it was like, CG! <laughs> <laughs> he was gone. Gone. He was gone. I was like, and then he came back on like, you know, later on. I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> he was all laughing. He was like, yeah, man, I didn't sleep well. So I was like, how you gonna start up alive? And pass out like 30 minutes into it. <laughs> That's wild. He had like 80 people in the room. <laughs> I remember the first time I seen that happen. This dude had like millions of people in his live. And he was, I mean, he was on camera dead sleep, like knocked out. And everybody was just sending um, gifts and stuff, putting hats and sunglasses and shit on him while he was <laughs> That shit was so funny, yo. And then everybody just... And he was a DJ. So everybody in the comments was just calling him DJ, like, anything funny. Like, I called him, like, DJ Sleep Apnea or something. Because he was a heavy set dude. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, that was wild. But I said it. it was, I said it. At the time, it fit. Right. Oh, my God. But I swear, that was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Well, there's this lady that was hosting a live where she was actually sleeping. And then she had... um like the different um, gifts you could send, like a rose, and it would say, wake up. And she kept rolling around every time it was like, and then somebody sent like 10 roses at once, and it was like, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I was like, what the hell is this? Oh, the little lies where it be like the little people in the bed. Yes. It be so weird, like what? That's OD weird. Right, they be getting like uh, coins while they're sleeping. They'd be like, wake up, wake up. And the lady was all turning and tossing. That shit was funny as hell. And I was like, the, it was like a thousand people up in there. I'm like, how did I get here? What part right. of TikTok is this? But Why yo, is this people fart when they sleep? Like, I couldn't do that. Like, what if you fart while you're sleeping? Right. Well, somebody said, I think that was one of her bojis. It said fart. And it was like, <laughs> um, one of the gifts was like fart. I'm like, what, what's she going to fart if you send the, that gift? <laughs> I think it would just make the noise, but yeah. have y'all ever seen the one that peels the eggs? Yes, and it'd be like the little thing. I'd be like, just get it off already. Oh my god! Right, <laughs> and he does that all day, and it'd be like 3,000 people in the room. He never says anything. He just sits there and peels these weird-looking ostrich eggs, like, the whole time. Y'all know that's that's it. is weird as hell. Crazy. I'm telling you, clearly we got the same FYP page. What about the people that be eating cornstarch? Have y'all seen, seen that? that. Uh -uh. Bruh. What? Search cornstarch. There's this thing that's going around where people are taking cornstarch and just eating it and the noise. It sounds like, like I don't know what the fuck, <laughs> like paper being balled up or something. Like, And they're just eating it. Straight idiot. I'm My like, kid gonna bro. leave me in the lab with all funky feet people. Like, what the kind of <laughs> shit? Oh, no. That's your upper lip you smelling. That's your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> upper lip. Yeah, you, go, and, you go trying to lie on me just because I told everybody your backside stink. <laughs> Whatever, finish dusting off your shoulders and distributing that salt. Ain't nobody say nothing about when you uh when you shit it on yourself last week. Oh, you mean when you was on fleek last week? On fleek. Do you know what it is? You used to say your eyebrows was on fleek. I never said it. I ain't got no eyebrows. I'm eyebrowless. Yeah, we know why. <laughs> you got some mind. How you got all that? How you got all that hair on your back but none on your face? Oh. Like that don't make no sense. Studio. You gotta get your life together. You are not. How you got all that cheese on your teeth and not on your plate? <laughs> Last you tell how you got bunions on your feet, but you ain't you can't afford them. Your underarm smell like the back of your neck. <laughs> Under the wild, wild. y'all are wild on the, on the, on the Lord's day. Come on, y'all. Uh, 
Are you really <laughs> mad because I, I I didn't get you that monster that you needed? Ah! <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Hey. Bruh. Dog. You need another dude in here to attack to you. Bruh. See, I ain't even going to do it. I'll roast. I, I ain't going to roast. Hey. I'm not going to do it. I don't have an answer. Because that monster that shit hit wrong. Like, you hit me. Did you ever find you a kneecap six? You really five three. <laughs> <laughs> I screw on and off ankles. <laughs> Bro, I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh my god. So who's been to Miami? Uh Lola, you been to Miami, you say? Hell yes. No. Miami is a whole yeah, situation. Are you going to North Miami or South Miami? I don't even care. Oh, it's, it's like oh, we're on the ocean yeah. part, Miami Beach. Cause like, well, South Beach, I'm sorry, South Beach is like one area, and then you got like North Beach in Miami, and it's a little bit more chilly. So, you know, just depend on the vibe you're looking for, but definitely hit up South Beach, just check it out. But it's, yeah, it's the whole situation. Yeah, we're going out there from our you in that door, I know that much. God. Yeah. <laughs> WD-40. WD-40. Nope. <laughs> I'll get me. I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> It's a that brand new door too. Nice. They just installed, reinstalled these French doors like three they, months ago, and that shit already creeping. The hinges from their grandma house. <laughs> Look, the door brand new. Yeah, <laughs> they, they just installed it. It's all ragged. They, 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 they just they just coated the hinges they took from their grandmother's house. I'm trying to that. I guess it is very mm-hmm. squeaky. My dog like jumps back when I open the door <laughs> before he goes outside. He'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Ain't no sneaking out of that house. That's the house I need with kids. Oh, facts. No, my daughter hears all everything anyway. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm like, damn, I'm going in the backyard. You can't walk soft enough for kids. They be hearing everything. Facts, but they be quiet as shit, though. She was upstairs talking to her homeboy on um, FaceTime yesterday, and I was like, what the hell is she up there doing? Because she was up there for like an hour. And I'm like, child, what are you doing? I'm on the phone with Jalen. I'm like, you better go ahead, man. But, you too little. You nine. How about you on FaceTime with your little homie? But, I'm glad you said homie, because if you just said homeboy one more time. Homeboy. <laughs> Her little homeboy. <laughs> homeboy, homeboy, homeboy. Oh, no. I don't know how some of these kids and these phones. I be all up in my daughter's business. What's that? Who text me? Facts. And I told her, I was like, I can hear you. <laughs> right. I was like, what you talking about? Like, I can hear everything you're saying. She was like, I know. <laughs> See, I got a boy, so I gotta I gotta be like real strict on YouTube. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. He into gaming and stuff and cartoons and they be having real sus stuff mixed in there. So <laughs> I gotta oh my gosh, gosh. Yes. Definitely. Man, I saw something. Before I discovered like YouTube kids, because even that you gotta watch, but she was watching YouTube one time and she was on the computer. And um, there was a Dora the Explorer, she was tied to, she was like pinned to like <laughs> a dart board, and they was throwing darts and blood was squirting out. I said, What the yo, they be having some wild stuff. I said, What the hell? This child doesn't try to watch Dora. And they got some abused or <laughs> get her ass destroyed on a dark board. I said, what the hell? God, get off of that shit. And she was I just sat, sitting there looking at it like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, no, I had to kind of like tailor the, once I found the YouTube kids, I had to tailor it directly to my, like their age because it was just stuff that they was talking about. I'm like, when we having them conversations here? Hold on. And then school is a whole other thing because them kids be talking about stuff. And I just be like, like my daughter should come and talk to me. And I'd be like, okay, yeah, what y'all talking about right now? Mm-hmm. She's talking about something. What's smash your pass? What? What? Why would y'all oh, hear no. those conversations? I can't even explain that to you what it means. Right. Just don't use it. Don't say it around the way. Yeah, there's my door again. Anyways, um, yeah, no, I got it um, set to that too, and she can't download any apps without my um approval on her phone. So 
she is pretty good. She'll be on Minecraft. It's Roblox that I don't really fuck with like that. Like because oh they, like, she I put it so she can't get no messages. Mm-hmm. But but then I caught that she had accepted because I told her she could only have like her cousins and a couple of her school friends as friends, but that's it, no strangers or whatever. Um, and then I check it every once in a while to make sure that she hasn't accepted anybody because I caught her the one time and she did. And I was like, I told your little ass, you cannot accept real people that you don't know. Right. You also mm-hmm. got to be careful yeah. and watch them play the game because at one point they was lynching the black kids in that game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro. So you have to like watch, even with the YouTube and when you tell her the, um, the kids show, you still have to watch some of the episodes because at one point they had this thing called Mumu and Mumu would pop up in the middle of a kid's show and tell them like, oh, go turn on the stove. Go get a knife. Oh, like, yeah, you know, I remember that. So you have yeah. to, even when you tell her in like, you know, to the age group and stuff like that, you still have to like kind of peek in on the shows and see like, like see them watch you through sometimes because there's a lot of hidden and subliminal messages in them. Well, some of it ain't even subliminal though. Look, I, one time, um, my niece and my daughter were playing Roblox, and they were on their two different devices. And I walked up, and they was rocket launching each other from, like, what? I said, what the? They had rocket launchers blasting off on other, you know, characters. And that was a Roblox room. I said, how the hell? I mean, they were destroying each other. And they, they were all laughing. Where they was lynching the black kids in there, like, just straight lynching them that's, that's crazy. crazy that is freaking nuts yeah, yeah, I, I, had, I had to tailor my um the on my phone i had to tailor the apps and stuff because you know when a little commercial coming up it's like you were saying the little sus commercials and they just be like yeah because that's i mean they used to do that to us back in the day with our music like they would put in subliminal messages and be like kill your parents and then people like continue the music, and that was mostly like that um, headbang music that I didn't listen to. But yeah, they they used to have that shit in there for YT people to off their parents. They definitely did because I used to listen to that shit too. Yeah, I I dated a dude that listened to that crap, but I was like, what the hell did that dude just say? He was like, oh yeah, they throw that in there every once in a while to be funny. I'm like, that, that shit ain't funny. The hell you mean? Mm, my, I don't know. My son, my son is different, so I really, I rarely have to worry about shit like that. Like he's into roller coasters and fucking outer space and shit. So those are the things that he go into. Yeah, he doesn't really. And I think he he's got like a, a good sense of like knowing what he's supposed to be watching and what he's not supposed to be watching. Um, it's just like I said. Um, he 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 starts to like certain things like. Um, but it's like the way that the men are, are talking, you know, on these channels and stuff like that, it'd be a little too feminine for me. So, you know, uh, yeah, I'm having to kind of, and it just sucks because that, some of that stuff is like really, really cool, but it's just like, I don't want him copying those mannerisms. So I'll be having to cut it. Yeah. And so let me ask you with that, like, how do y'all even like talk to y'all kids about, and not to be like mean against it or anything, but how do y'all talk to them about these new social topics that are happening? Because they push it into certain things or not push it, but they get put into certain situations like a game or a TV show where you're seeing roles that you typically wouldn't talk to a child about until they're at an age where they can understand maybe sexuality and relationships. Like how, how do y'all have those conversations with y'all kids? I don't want to say certain words, but you know, with people's choices and what they decide to do with their lives. How do y'all talk to y'all kids about that? I give my son, honestly, the cold hard truth about what it really is. Um, and it's, and I, I don't care, you know, this is my son. So ultimately I feel like if he turns out to be a part of, you know, a certain group, you know, there's nothing that I feel like I did to contribute to that. And that's just his choice. And I'm gonna honor that choice, but <laughs> I'm not going to raise him in, in, kind of groom him into that lifestyle just because it's trendy you know right. he's gonna know from and he knows from a very young age you know what i mean boys do certain things girls do certain things which is true you know we that's the reason for testosterone and estrogen and stuff like that but i tell him you know what i mean you are who you are you are you are who you were born to be so you can try to medically make things happen but ultimately you know you're going to be destroying your body because it's not true there's things in the world that are real and things in the world that are fake 
and you have to be able to distinguish the two. You know, like so I'm I'm not I, I like just based off of how my son is, he doesn't give into a lot of um different social things anyway. Like he's his own kid and you know, he likes what he likes. Like he doesn't I don't think he's um really pressured too much by society, you know. So I yeah. got I got a good kid, so yeah, 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 absolutely. I think the same thing. I, I have, um, I, I guess I have age appropriate conversations and then I revisit them as my kids get older. So when, when my son was like, you know, real young, like maybe eight, you know, that I talked to him about it. Like, you know, sometimes same sex might like same sex, but I didn't get too deep into the details of it. Like, and, you know, I explained that that's okay. That's their choice. And you don't have to judge them for their choice. You don't have to take on their choices. And, you know, as the years go on, I'm going to just keep revisiting the conversation with him, but I can add more details that are more age appropriate to him. Like, Well, and that's the thing. My, my daughter came to me. Um, she has said things that let me know that she's learning things in school that I don't necessarily agree with. Um, she said something one day. She was like, but boys can be with boys and girls can be with girls. And I turned around. I was like, what? I said, where do you hear that from? She was like, skew I was like, from a teacher or from a student? Where you hear that from? I don't remember. I was like, bro, I didn't reprimand her or tell her it was wrong because she had already had it in her head. And I was like, well, I guess that's true. I mean, boys, I guess, go with boys sometimes and girls go with girls. And she was like, oh, yeah, that's what I heard. I was like, oh. Then she says something about <clears throat> non-binary. And I went off. Not to her, but to her father. I said, what the... I know they ain't teaching that shit in that school. He was like, I never heard her say anything about that. I was like, bro, she whipped that shit out like it was normal. And I asked her where she heard it from, and she did say she heard that from a teacher. And I wanted to know which teacher. She couldn't remember. And I was like, bro. And then I talked to the principal, and he was like, no, we don't have anything in the curriculum like that. He said, but I will check with her teachers and see if any of them have mentioned anything like that. He said, because it's not, he said, it's not something that they have told them they can't say, but it's not in the curriculum. And I'm like, okay. That's so. Roman, though. Right. But Can I, that's how I'm just trying to... The fact that, you know, <clears throat> different children are being raised in different households and they bring they bring to school their, you know, what they learn in their households. Because I remember, like, you know, me having my first, you know, set of friends that were part of those community as far back as, you know, being in the sixth grade and stuff. So... And I didn't, I learned it at school, but I didn't learn it in school. Like, you know, I, I had friends that were identifying, you know, what they I was identi identifying with. And we were young. In the sixth grade, I was only 12. No, I wasn't 12. Yeah, I was 12. 12 or something like that. So they're going to hear about it. That's why it's important to have the conversations with them as early as possible. Because you just never know when it's going to be brought to them. And I think they're going to hear about it, right. but I also think, like, you know, it shouldn't be a lesson in school, and it definitely shouldn't be a lesson if it's not age-appropriate. Like, that's something that is, to me, there's certain things that you could talk about that are real life. Like, I have a real-life family member who, I'm going to say the wrong name because I'm tired right now, but was born not a male, not a female. I can't think of the proper name for it, but has that condition. And so it was like, it's, yes, intersex. And it's real things that happen biologically. You know what I'm saying? That if you want to teach that, okay, but I'm not into teaching things that should be of age appropriate situations and that I feel are at home type conversations. This isn't something exactly. that is a lesson that needs to be learned that will have anything to do with my life. We're talking about a, uh, just a different thing that I don't think should be included in school because if I don't choose to have this conversation with my kid, you don't, you can't determine when my child needs to know about something that I don't think will help in their day-to-day -day life. I, I think though you have to be able to or be prepared to counteract that because it's like if they're going to push it, you have to have your stance on it already, whether it's age appropriate or not, because they're starting very, very young with this. So absolutely, that's why I said what I said. Like, I have a son. I don't know if anybody has sons on here, but I take his development and his growth and what he thinks about these issues very seriously. And I meant to say when I was speaking about it before, the um, the key factor in this is that his father is always there. 
you know, and I feel like the fathers are detrimental in these situations because if not us as mothers and single mothers and stuff like that, we cannot do it all on our own. And they need their fathers, even if it's just to teach how to be a man or what to do in certain situations. Like there was a situation where his father had to speak to him about SA, not that he. She cut out. I thought oh, it was my phone for a second. I went nah, because my battery's my dying and that message came up. But he had no, to have that conversation with... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say this and then I'm going to respond to you, studio. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, he had to have that conversation with him because he had to explain that as a man, there's a fine line between admiring a woman and, you know, SA, pretty much. Or SH, I, I should say. And um, I just think that it's important for, you know, the growth of boys, for their fathers to be present, even if, you know, regardless of what he do financially and stuff like that, even if he's there present just to speak with him and just to teach him certain things, I think that's very important. Well, I had to reprimand my um, ex-husband because uh, my daughter told me that um, his girlfriend's son, who is a little bit younger than her, was like, when they, she stayed the night, they put an air mattress in her room, and the little boy was in the room. And I was like, nah, bro, you can't do that. And he was like, what do you mean? I'm like, no. That's, like, not even legal. Like, if you had two kids with um, opposite sex, you can't put them in the room. So even if it's your girlfriend and she's spending the night, it's the same concept. Put that kid on the couch or something. Y'all ain't supposed to do that. Or get a bigger house. I said that. That's not good. That, no, you can't do He was like, well, the door was open. Y'all are asleep. You don't know what the hell they do. I can't entertain this conversation. My kid's still swimming. Ah. Oh well, you're going to have it one day. You're going to have to have it one day. Listen. I say, as long as they still swimming, that's cool. Yeah. I think it's just important to have the conversations as early as possible because you just never know when society's going going to school your children. So they have to be prepared to, you know, face face these realities out in the in the real world. Well, like Dre, you were saying earlier, like when you go to school, you'll possibly hear more things that you may hear in your own household, and that's very much true. But think about it. I think some of us are of the same age except for six because he like one hundred and eighty. But um, we kind of all grew up in the same situation where I think we didn't learn from the internet. You know, like we had to pick things up by wherever you were within your proximity or, you know, just depending on if your parents was or maybe not having them conversations or you had older brothers and sisters to pick up off of or you was watching a little TV. But you didn't have the internet. You didn't have Google. You didn't have social media to even introduce you to these things. So you're absolutely right. You got to start having these conversations because they coming from like 20 different angles. And it's like, if you don't have a conversation, they're going to pick up whatever angle comes at them. So when my daughter's at school, she be coming home with certain stuff. And I'm glad that we are able to talk about it. Like she'll talk to me about stuff. Like they in fourth grade talking about kissing and dating. Like what? But I think I yeah, thought back to hard. even me being no fourth grade. I'm like fourth grade. I had some crushes. You know what I'm saying? So I remember, and I'm like, in between now and middle school, y'all all stupid. Like, I'm going to let you know that much. And I said, don't get caught up in the stupidity of what's happening just because other people doing stuff. But now they texting, FaceTime. It's a lot more interaction in different ways that it's we It's more did. intense. Yeah. Exactly. Just like I didn't know my daughter was FaceTiming her friend yesterday. And I was like, who the hell are you talking to? Jaylen, I'm like, okay, you better go ahead. And, and I also have to be helpful and when having these conversations, not to, like, for example, like, you know, when a little girl is dressed a certain kind of way, we tend to sexualize it sometimes and put it. And even though it's not a sexual thing, but us as an, an adult, we, we sexualize certain things. Like, so we have to be careful with a lot of things and how we deliver it. And that's why I try to, you know, have the conversations as soon as possible, but try to make it age appropriate and just keep revisiting. So as they get older and their brain starts to develop and they can, you know, understand more, I add more details to it. Like, you know, so that they, they know what they're looking for when they go out into the world to come back and ask me, but I'm not opening their minds too much. Yeah. No, I agree. My daughter asked me, she said, Mommy, why do people tell their parents or tell their kids that kids come from storks? She said, lie. She said, why do they lie? I'm like, what the? So I had to have the whole talk with her about that already. Um, 
And I was very age appropriate, but I it broke it down. Okay, she asked questions, and I was like, mm hmm, yep. Well, you know what got me was the movie um, Little Red, Big Red. What's the one about the, the panda bear? Uh, oh, going turning red or something? Yeah. That's about having that. a period. And it's like, whoa, I didn't plan to have a conversation like this, but now I want to make sure you're not thinking you really turn into a panda. <laughs> <laughs> like, I trust that oh, you are that. smart. <laughs> <laughs> but let me be real with what's happening here in this movie. It right. don't happen like that. You believe me, and you might be a little mad, and that's probably what they try to give you here. But okay, all right, Disney. You know, I, 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 Disney, Disney does it for me. Like there's certain um movies that I watch back as an adult, and I'm like, oh my god, like I do not like this. Like The Little Mermaid, I cannot stand The Little Mermaid because I felt like, why is this girl who was the youngest out of all the sisters, 16 years old, out in the world looking for a man, and then you got Ursula telling her. You know, you don't need your voice. You got your looks. You got body language. Men don't like women who blabber. Like, the message in that movie was just not giving it for me. Like, you know, they set in moods for, for, you know, kissing scenes and stuff like that. And this girl was only 16. Wow. Yeah. You really broke that down. Yeah. Yeah, that movie does. It, it touched my soul when I rewatched it as an adult. I was like, wow, I don't like this. Like, I can't watch Pocahontas in the same way. Pocahontas is very much, I would be like, mm, wait a minute. That's not right. So, you know, it, like you said, you have to monitor yeah, whoever said it. You have to monitor what your kids are looking at. Me, I look at stuff. What in the world? What kind of echo is that? Somebody you know, got TV. Is that the back Studio watching uh, the TV with the big back. Oh, I'm talking about him. He nah. won. Sorry. <laughs> I, I looked at Nicki Minaj. I know damn well. <laughs> yo, no, she sounds just like Nick. It's hard, yo. It's don't, hard to unsee it me. now or unhear it. Don't do me. <laughs> Please don't do me. It's such a cute accent when y'all say it, I hear it, but I don't connect it to it when I hear it. <laughs> wow. Turn that TV down. Man. You My know grandma be so had enjoyed it for like 80. What movie does have a good message was Frozen because Frozen told the told yeah. the girls like you don't need men yeah. to give true love. You can find that in your family. You can find that in your sister. You can. It doesn't have to be a man to show you true love. You know, it took me a long time to watch that movie, and when I did, that's exactly why I fell in love with it. I was like, I love that. It's a finally a movie that's not so extra. Gotta fall in love. Like, yeah. And it showed that when you just trying to fall in love, it can go real left. Absolutely. I like the movies where they I just don't have love as a part life. of it at all. Like, I like Monsters, Inc. I like Up. Like, the okay, Up had, like, a love backstory. I thought that was really beautiful. But um, I, I agree. The one thing that I definitely had to stop with my son um, when he was younger, he liked Peppa Pig. And I saw some She's things petting. about Peppa Pig. And... You know, I had to try it out for myself. And when I tell you I stopped him from watching that, his attitude, his his demeanor, his behavior completely changed. Because they say to Peppa Pig, there's no moral to the story. She just acts She's like a bitch. Me. And then, you know, that's just the end of the show. And I I just, I think that there's shows like that. Like certain Disney um shows like that, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, that shit will have your kid in a trance, yo. Like, I just, I don't agree with some of these shows. I think have y'all ever watched there. Fairly Odd Parents? That was my shit back then. Yeah, the day. my daughter was on the other day. Barely our parents. They have been wow. on for like an hour now. Yep. Well, they had a marathon on, and I was watching it, and it was, I could watch it because it had so many adult innuendos, and I was rolling, and my daughter wasn't even laughing. And she was like, What does that mean? There, there was a, um, where the dad went to, um, <laughs> he went out to outer space, and he was like, I'm going to Uranus. And somebody was like, that's a planet? I said, oh my God. Yeah. It's, I feel like that's a spinoff. Do y'all remember on Cartoon Network when they had this show with the devil thing and it was cow and chicken? Oh, yeah. That's what that show reminds me of is cow and chicken. That reminds me of Rocco's Modern Life. And that too. They all kind of... Yo, that show was wild. A lot of them shows was wild. Ren and Stimpy, like they had to take Ren that off of Nickelodeon and put it on that was MTV. Crazy. Ren and Stimpy was disrespectful. Oh my god, yes. 
they it had was to so put that gross. shit on MTV. It was so bad. <laughs> it was so gross. Like <laughs> some of the crap. It was so nasty. They had so many bodily food, like bodily uh, actions on it. I'm like, it, it, stop. Dang. Yo, it was one episode where I think Ren got bit in the ass by a dog, <laughs> and then right, it was just so fucking weird. They just they show his booty meat, right, and it had like a <laughs> it had like a paper clip, a piece of corn, a nickel. It was just weird shit in there. And I'm just like, yo, who thinks it is like? Oh my god! Nine years so old. Weird, like he so set up a dazzle blanket background. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I just noticed that it is bedazzled. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh but yeah, SpongeBob. Watch SpongeBob too, because he be wilding. I mean, SpongeBob the, the, has uh, never been a child show. <laughs> no, they have. That shit is- so ignorant. Watch that. It'd be he always hit thrusting. That's what I know. <laughs> he always what? Hip He's always thrusting. bringing it around town. <laughs> he was always throwing like an extra little bit of sauciness up in there, but it was yeah. never really brought to that attention. But yeah, yeah, he be. It was wild. a lot of secret little things in there. Yeah, and they and the amount of times that they used to say stupid, and like I don't let my daughter say that, like um, even that because my niece. Um, her and her sister. I need your address. I'm about to send some WD. No, I'm, I'm, I'm keep going outside because I don't want my daughter to hear me talking dog. about her. Um, no, she. They um. What the hell is? What the hell was I about to say? For oh, studio God. started talking shit. <laughs> yeah. So um. No, I mean the, yeah. So the amount of times that I heard stupid when they were. You know, in one episode, I was like, "Turn that off!" Like, no, we don't, we don't even call people stupid, bro. And um, I took, I went over to my my sister's house, and I didn't realize her, how her kids talk to each other because they, have, she's got two, so they got a sibling. My daughter is the only child. Man, the amount of times they were like, "You are so stupid and ugly." I'm like, "Damn!" I said, "What the hell, girl? Why these kids? They basically cussing each other out." PG style. She was like, I know, they just, you know, they fight. I'm like, but no, nah, I don't want my kid learning all that bullshit. She's learning to be a nice kid. These mugs are laying each other out. I was like, she's like, you are ugly. Get out of my room, stupid. I'm like, damn. You know, years ago, a kid had died, like, a, like when SpongeBob first came Ooh, out, a kid had that died D-word. trying to find bikini Oops, bottle. Stop that, stop that D word. Oops. Unalive. Yeah, unalive. Oh, unalive. Yeah. <laughs> a kid, a kid unalive to himself trying to find Bikini Bottom. What? Yep. Wow. That's crazy. I was on a boat one time in um, New Rochelle in New York, and my homie dropped her cell phone in the ocean. Her boyfriend was like, oh, it's SpongeBob's now. <laughs> <laughs> Because it was gone. <laughs> Don't get that shit back. That shit went straight into the ocean. <laughs> Has anybody ever been to the Grand Canyon? Nah. Yeah. That no. joint is crazy. They be Are you talking about the real one or no yeah. The no real one when they be on the edge of the rocks. Like, y'all ain't supposed to be out that far. Man, people be dumb as hell getting lost up in that shit and starving to death. That shit's crazy. That's what he said. That's crazy. I remember that there was a, a lady. There was there was a lady that was trying to take a picture, um, and I can't remember what what ocean she was in. You know, whatever. And she was on these rocks, and the, the water, the 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 what is it? The tide was coming in hard as shit. Man, that lady got unalived. And they they showed the picture right before. It was a beautiful picture. <laughs> <laughs> but that that crap smacked her against the rocks and took her, and her husband took the picture. I said, "Why are you risking your life for a photo op? That's crazy." I mean, I photoshopped myself into it. That sounds about right. I feel like at this point, this is our live. 
<laughs> right. He didn't want to see you. Cap who? Cap and he didn't take his banky with him. <laughs> he still got his banky back there. Oh my he probably God. sleeping under his desk. <laughs> he didn't make it to the bed. At least I would close my eyes for two seconds. That two seconds don't never work. Pharaoh, what's up? What's good, Pharaoh? With addiction. Oh. I think that's how Freddy Krueger could be getting people because you fall asleep for like two seconds and you in the dream. That's my that's my ish right there. That mm-hmm. that nightmare on Elm Street that'd be rocking. Yeah, I seen all of those. Yep, they ignorant as hell. That <laughs> Halloween and um, you gonna take my sleep? Like what? I'm not a Friday Jason fan though. No. I ain't gonna hold it. I ain't a Jason fan. And Jason from Jersey. That's what's crazy. Jason funny as hell too. I mean, listen, bro. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Y'all got to watch some of the older ones again. They're from like the 70s, right? But they are so ignorant. They're, I think it's um, Friday the 13th Part 3. And this dude done unalived a dude in a wheelchair. And when I say like machete, I'm like, bro, how you going to do that? <laughs> that is wrong. Like how did you, how would it, I mean, he was little, wheeling him, his little self. And all of a sudden, the machete came across, and then he rolled down like a flight of freaking stairs backwards. That shit was funny as hell. Did y'all but see it was... it <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Studio y'all seen it? Texas Chainsaw? I seen all of them, the old and the new. I ain't like the new one. I was like, what was the purpose of this? I mean, yeah, I know the one with Trey Songz, That one sucked. I like the first two remakes. I'll say that. What was I, have y'all seen the original Texas uh, Massacre? Yeah. I like the one with, um, what's the dude name from um, Wolf of Wall Street? Matthew McConaughey? Yes. You got to watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with him in it. It was one scene when they were sitting at the table. He literally picked this chick up by her neck and like threw her. Like it was just so unnecessary. Like he did her dirty. Like That was Renee Zellweger too, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, she was like, and they had some heavy hit. You know what? A lot of these um, actors got their start in these horror movies, right? I think that was Mike, M- Matthew McConaughey's first movie. And then Johnny Depp was in the first um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. I remember. Huh? He was the uh, the boy across the he street. He was the boyfriend, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then um, Kevin Bacon, he was in... The first, the second Friday the Thirteenth, yeah, that was his first movie too. When you look back, they all young. I'm like, damn, <laughs> and they get you know disrespected, unalived. Like Johnny Depp, man, he ended up being soup. <laughs> <laughs> she was crazy. It was like, damn, Freddie got his ass worse than anybody. <laughs> And all the rebates and all the one, two, three. Man, he was done. like they nah. <laughs> they they just straight souped him. You know what I say? I think the scariest ones to me, because when I look at like horror movies and thrillers and stuff like that, I put myself in the situation to determine whether it's scary or not. So I feel like Leprechaun is the scariest to me because yes. it's the hardest to kill him or unalive him. Freddy. But I mean yeah, people Freddy have done alive. it. But like, how how you know how are you gonna find a four leaf clover to get rid of Leprechaun? Like that's damn near impossible. Yeah, he's creepy. I, I never watched the, the Leprechaun for real. I mean, I watched it once and I don't remember it. Um, but y'all ever seen Pumpkinhead? Yeah, I seen yeah. Pumpkinhead. Yeah. That was wild. Yeah, I was like, yo, I can't. Um, but no, all the Halloweens, I'll be rolling. I like, love. I mean, uh, Michael Myers. Yes, that. Crap, be funny as heck because that dude will be walking, and then How all of a sudden he just be on them, and they just running for their life. Did his thing with those remakes, though. Yeah, after a while, I was like, all right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, unalive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think the um, original Halloween Part Two was probably the best one they had. Um, just because he was offing way more people, he didn't off a lot of people in Halloween. But it was crazy. I mean, that dude is like unstoppable. <laughs> like he's been blown up, both his eyes shot out. I'm like, damn, how he still like conceives? He, 
walk? I mean, how is he not like gone? Let me tell y'all a true story. So I'm gonna try and make this long story short. So one year, Halloween down in FAMU, my friend, uh, he decided he was going, people was dressing up for Halloween. So he like, I'm gonna meet you around campus, da da da. da. So we smoking or whatever, so we was smack. We out there like, all right, we chilling, we cooling, the sun is out, all, all that. My friend, I call him, I'm like, bro, you're not answering the phone or nothing. So next thing you know, we seen this dude walk up and he dressed in him like my costume. So I called my friend again, like, let me see if this him. He ain't answer, I ain't hear no phone ring. So again, mind you, we are smart. We have. So I'm like, okay, this is somebody we don't even know. We start balling up the street. We start running, running, running. We hit the corner. We turn around. He's behind us. We start freaking out. We start running through houses, running through the campus. We ended up meeting up at like an apartment down on campus. So I call my friend and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like somebody chasing us around in the Michael Myers costume. He answered. He like, yeah, I'm looking for y'all. I ain't seen y'all. Where you at? So next thing you know, we standing there. We see this nigga pop up again. He's staring at us. I'm like, what the fuck? So eventually it ended up being my man's, but can you imagine that shit? Like somebody chasing you around in the fucking Michael Myers Bruh. costume? He would have caught a hot one of the fucking round. You how scared? Oh my god, man! I would have busted. I, I've been Michael Myers twice for Halloween, um, and the first time I was in Atlanta, and we went to like a costume party. But I was like a slutty Michael Myers because I had like I just had the um the little he you know he wears the whole mechanic outfit. I just had like a a Dickies gray shirt on, and then I had some um fishnets and some knee boots. And I had the freaking mask on, and I had a big ass fake knife, bro. That shit was so funny. People were like, "Damn, I'm, I don't know, if I'm, I'm scared or turned on." <laughs> it was freaking it's hilarious. Sexy. Are you sexy? Yeah, somebody was like, "That's the sexiest Michael Myers I ever seen." We were getting out the car. I was like, "Thank you." <laughs> oh yeah, I want to see the new scream. I thought it had came out already, but it looked y'all nice. Scream is another one that I like. Like, even though at the end of the movie, it'd be like, aha, it was somebody watching it throughout. It's, it'd be messing me up in my head. It's just yeah. a person. It's not a person. It's like a whole weird creature. Yeah, the first one rocked for real. That was the best one, in my opinion. But two was pretty good, too. I mean, especially since they took Jada Pinkett and Omar Epps out in the freaking first five minutes of the movie. They did that on purpose. <laughs> Now, Dre, do you not watch right, scary you know, like them, or do you think like some people say like they don't watch it because it brings like bad energy and bad vibes into their space? I don't watch them because I have nightmares after I watch them. Yeah, I always watch horror movies. That's I mean, I watch The Walking Dead right now. We're watching that whole series. Um, and that's the ain't done but a bunch of zombies. But it's but Walking Dead is not really scary to me because that's really more about people showing their true colors when shit goes down and you know in the world. The zombies is just like add-ons, really. They Absolutely. don't really do too much anymore. No, they don't. They yeah, it's mostly villains and people. You know, yeah, show like you said, showing their true colors. Their demons come out real quick um, when the world went to crap. You know, you see who people really are. <laughs> yeah. The zombies help. They fight cause... more of each other than the zombies. Well, absolutely. And, the, you know, that's what they were saying. They were like, people, that's what they, like, the whole gist of the show is, is that is the zombies aren't more of a threat than actual people are. Because zombies are just dumb. And, you know, if you get caught by one, then you screw you. But for the most part, you could just off them and they just go stand there dumb. But the people are the ones, you know. Facts. I don't know if I could really survive. Are you watching it for the first time? No, this is about my third time watching the whole series. I love that show. Okay. I went to the zombie um, Walker Stalker in Atlanta. Actually, <laughs> and I, was, I, I went to that joint and I met like all the actors and stuff. It was awesome. I got pictures mm -hmm. and they had a big ass party. That shit was wild. All right. So, whose unaliving uh, affected you the most? Oh my god! Oh my god, Glenn, bro. Glenn, Glenn was yeah. Glenn, oh, that took Glenn. me out. I mean, there were so many though. Like Sophia, that hit me too because you know the fact that they have been looking for her for so long and she was in the barn the whole time. 
That was wild. Mm-hmm. And you know they kid, they they unalive everybody on that show. They don't give a shit which one of them is <laughs> most favorite. They all everybody. I'm like, damn, everybody. kids, everything. I'm like, <laughs> Old people. I was I was yes. hurt when Herschel died too. Oh yes, Herschel. Yo, the governor, bro. Man, that dude Yo, was nuts. He was a beast. He Yo, was yes. Beast. I think he was probably, aside from Negan, probably the best um villain they've had. Um I, and I it, I'm right in the middle with Negan and um the governor. But the governor was absolutely nuts. Yes. And Negan is just kind of more evil. Um he still has his senses about him. For the most part, but that governor, bro, man, when he when he uh bit Merle's fingers off, I said, "Damn!" <laughs> He's the one a... who had the daughter, the daughter, um, chained up in the room, right? Yep, His own exactly, daughter. feeding her guts, <laughs> right? And brushing yo. her hair. <laughs> yo, when Michonne sliced that little girl, yo, he went. Yes, yes, threw her to the fish. <laughs> Bruh, Michonne is a beast, though. That's my girl right there. Her and Carol. Carol, bro. Who knew? Carol started out all DV, (laughs) beat, you know, quiet. Man, her ass turned into a straight renegade. I'm like, bro, I know that's right. Probably the most transitioned character they have. Which character did you hate? Did you dislike the most? Oh, my God. Lori. When Lord, <laughs> yes, yeah, that's when right. she went out, I was like, "Thank God, man, goodbye." Like, go, I'm, 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 don't you? She was just trifling, and it wasn't even the fact that she was messing around with Shane. It was the fact that if y'all watched enough, she was playing them against each other at the end. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You're right, Lori. Definitely one of them. She was. She was going back and forth. Like, I don't like Shane. Now I like him. I want him to stay. Oh, Shane. No, Rick. Shane is dangerous. Shane, you're not dangerous. Like, bruh. And then, you know, when when uh, Rick offed him and she went off and didn't, like, threw him off of her and walked away all angry, I'm like, whoa. So you mad, huh? Like, you big bad. <laughs> your side piece done got ended by your husband. And that's a problem for you. You know who used to annoy me too? Um, Dale. Remember Dale? In the, yes, in the I liked. Years? I kind of liked him, but yeah, he was. He needed he was, them on his business though. Like, yeah, <laughs> what's her name? Andrea. She kept cussing him out because he kept getting in her business, and she's like, "Yo, if she want to unalive herself, let her do that." Like, exactly. <laughs> who is you? Like, Andrea kind of got on my nerves too at the end. And she picked. She she don't. She like to me. She not loyal because like right. her going over to the governor, governor, and all that shit like that. That was that was phony too. Like she got what she got. Yeah, Nicholas was another one. I was so glad when he was done. I was like, and then he almost got Glenn unalived. I was like, I actually met Nicholas in a um in a party down there, and I took a picture with him too. He was walking through the party. I was like, hey, aren't you Nicholas? <laughs> Y'all remember Nicholas? He wasn't there very long. Um, pro- it depends on which season. I don't, I don't, um, I don't remember. I don't think I remember. It was when they got in Alexandria and um, Deanna's sons, the one son and and Nicholas were going out on, and they actually got um, Noah offed. The little black dude from um, Everybody Hates Chris. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. That. Nicholas was the punk that left him and got, you know, mm-hmm. him unalived. And then he he ended up almost getting Glenn unalived because they got caught in a trap and he offed himself and they both fell down into the zombie pile. <laughs> so I just knew Glenn was done at that moment and I was just Man. freaking out. Y'all was freaking out. I was. I was all about to cry. <laughs> at this point, I would have rather him go that way than the way that he did. Cause, yo, Let me say that for dirty. real. Because, oh my, yo, when he got his ass hit and he started trying to talk, I was like, no, nah, brother, just just be gone. That, yo, that hurt. eyeball popped out. Yeah, and, and, and nigga was all ignorant. He was like, it's nasty, it's gross as shit. I'm like, bro. Right. <laughs> he, he, oh he came the wrong way, though. That, I, I don't know that I like the way they changed his character because the thing that he did, I don't know if you could come back to that. Right. Once you're that far gone, I don't think you coming back. Nah, he was he was out of his mind with that the way he off Abraham and um Glenn and then 
you know, Glenn didn't have to go. I mean, that was kind of a Daryl thing, you know. He he tried to knock Negan out, <laughs> but everything is strategic, so <laughs> he ended up hitting Glenn instead. And I'm like, bro, Glenn? Because I knew already for the comics that Glenn was going to go. But because they hit Abraham first, I was kind of relieved. I was like, okay, he, he he's good. But I knew it was from the comics that Negan was the one who took Glenn out. But they did it a little bit of a spin where they took Abraham out first and like, fooled you, pow. Nope, Glenn gone too. Yeah, that hurt my heart. I mean, he went, that dude, I counted how many times he hit both of them, bro. He hit both of them like 10 times. I mean, that, they were unrecognizable. Mm-hmm. I said, what the hell? Mm-hmm. How you, why you got to do it like that, though? It was tragic. That shit was crazy. But yeah, I'm watching it right now. It's already, it's already on the skins. Um, And Alpha, I that one right there, I can't stand that fool. I'm like, when she went, I was like, thank, here we go, goodbye. Like, the worst villain they could have ever had. She's so whack. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you got to that point. Wait, who? Alpha. Um. Oh, yeah, the, the chick who had, yeah, the bald chick. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know who they, really they got, got on my nerves was the um people, the ones that, um the, the garbage people. <laughs> you look all nasty. Those what people were stupid as hell, too. They were always running away from a fight. That shit was funny as hell. Rick was like, dig in. Man, them fools was running away. He was like, what the hell? <laughs> they were out, bro. They were such punks. Well, I just watched the last 10 minutes of this thing. Now, this man on here acting like he really gangster just saying anything. He called Jada and Will a B. Who? Chris Rock. Oh wow! Talk so about her ready? sucking, sucking D, and and he a B, and now he watch movies that uh, to for Will to watch Will get whooped, and this dude really went off as if nobody's supposed to touch her. Well, how he just now going off though? That crap happened like a year ago, didn't it? He said it. Yeah. So he just said this just now. Yeah, it just came out today on Netflix. Wow. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, he nah, he delayed. He should have been because when he came out afterwards, he didn't he say there was no harm, you know, no no beef? Yeah, you, you hear what I just heard. Smacked. He still got beef. Of course, because he stopped talking about it. He got his ass smacked in the face. And I'm proud of him because he did not retaliate at all. He, you know, knew his station right there where he was at, but... I'm surprised he didn't hit him with the microphone or something. Because he smacked the shit out of him. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this is You right there, bro. Like, he went off. Like, if I was with, I'd put hands on him for real this time. Facts. He ain't gonna do you that. know, even if Chris, even if he would have fought back, it wouldn't have mattered. The way he got smacked will always be the highlight of the fight. Like, so he might as well just hang it up. Yeah, because yeah, it was like he did. He was smiling when he walked up to him, like, "Hey, man, what's up, man?" He he did not see that smack coming. The smack heard around the world. Wow, I was like, "Damn!" Wait till y'all dude. see this. Y'all gonna be like, "Really, dude? Really?" Like, well, but a dude, lot of man. people say it was also staged in a way where it's just creating controversy, just to create something to talk about. Like they, he probably taped this last year. But did you need to release it with this in it necessarily? Mm, right. We're not staging you somebody smacking me like that. That's crazy. Like there's certain things we could stage, but not me getting smacked like that on such a huge award show. Like that I gotta live I gotta live my life like this for the rest of my life, knowing that I got smacked by Will Smith, the man who the bubblegum rapper, like I got smacked by <laughs> Will Smith. I just feel oh, like how they that. even allowed it to happen. Like, how y'all let somebody even come up on stage? Didn't y'all have control after Lil Mama came up on stage? Like, don't everybody know you guys had somebody like, whoa. Because Will, Will Smith, nobody's like expecting that. this from Will Smith. Like, right. nobody's thinking that Will Smith is about to get out of character. He's never got out of character before. So they wasn't thinking, oh, Will Smith is about to smack him. 
Exactly. Nobody in the that. chunk, in the in the crowd, bro. You know that shit was real because they were like, "What the?" And the thing is, if y'all notice, when he first told the joke, Will was rolling, but then he looked at his wife and she was scowling and shit, and then he turned into a punk. And he was like, "Keep out of that wife's name out your butt." But I'm like, "Bro, hold up, you was just laughing, bro." You know, I think it's because he's used to just laughing to save face. And Jada was sick of the laughing. We're not saving face today. We're going to go handle our business. Go do you. Yeah, because she was mad. Right. Hey, for, what's her up, Michael? Around, for her to turn around and be like, I didn't ask him to do that was whack. Like, that's corny as hell. Yeah, he didn't have to. All he had to do was say, keep her name out your mouth. He had to go up there and, you know. But from that what I heard, that's the first thing. time he said, keep my, keep yeah, my he wife said it, he up. said it several names and Chris Rock was talking about, what did I do? And he, 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 he would, but this is not the first time he talked about that man white on that World War show. He's that's done true. it several other times. And this is the final straw. And now he's trying to play as if, like, <clears throat> he ain't do nothing wrong. And he said it on, he said it on here where it, he tried to Paint Will Smith is having selective rage. No, bro, you like you kept violating that man's wife. Yes, I feel like she problematic, but that's still that man's wife. And when you talk about somebody else's wife, what do you expect? To be smacked. He smacked the Yeah, he's lucky it wasn't an I don't think it should have been done in the place it was done, like definitely behind closed doors, like no, having your business. But you think he would have did that shit to Adam Sandler? If you, you disrespect me publicly, I'm gonna handle it publicly. We not yeah, right. He would not have done that to Adam publicly. We gonna go behind doors and I'm gonna handle you. No, oh, you just put a show on. We gonna put the show on. But I don't think he like somebody said. I don't think he would have done it to. It just to me when I say a setup, it's like. It, the fact that it just was a lie, I don't know, it was just a few things, thoughts in my brain, just all of this. Because well, at the if, end of the if day, the rock, if the rock was up there, the rock about six five, about three hundred pounds of muscle. Imagine if the rock was up there telling that joke, man. Let me tell you if something. Kevin Hart was up there. I don't think he would have did it. But it also comes from the history of their relationship. Like so, if we don't have good history, don't make those kind of jokes about my wife. If we're cool and we kicking and we kicking and we're friends like that, where I know that it's not coming from a malicious place, then we can joke. But if we have a negative history, why are you making these kind of jokes? Like, so you think I play with you? Do y'all know where it started from? Because uh, it, it started from Jada um, telling the truth that we all have seen where the Oscars didn't yeah. give black people the awards that they had and she was calling for a protest. Right, and Chris Rock had started making jokes about like, who are you to tell us we should go right. to protest? And he didn't start being disrespectful talking about her. So, and then it, he did it two other times on public on, on public uh, platforms. And it's like at this point now we're at the Oscars, and you're doing it again. Yeah, he he was popping off. He was like, "What you gonna get um, award for set it off? What what you complaining about?" <laughs> no, oh no, but like six, would you do it? Like, like would you go Tommy? up and slap him if he said something about your girl? Would you go up and slap him on stage if it meant that you was going to jeopardize your career or something like that? I ain't gonna lie. I was I was Will Smith. I wasn't canceling Will Smith. There was nothing that nobody... I wasn't going to boycott Bad Boys, Fresh Prince. I wasn't going to do none of that. I understood where that man was coming from. I just think it was, it was embarrassing because then he had to get up there and give a speech that sounded like he was a decent person. Like, not even 20 minutes later. That was embarrassing. Like, you just smacked the hell out of somebody in front of the whole world and then you had to get up and give a speech about being, you know, humble and, and happy that you received this award. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I went. It would have been like when Monica punched Brandy before we got on that stage. I'd have been smiling. Brandy was mad. Monica was smiling. It would have been just like that. I'd have been Monica in a situation. But you did it behind stage, though. You feel me? Like but nonetheless, what I'm saying is, when I would have went back up to, to get that award, I'd have been smiling because. What, what what am I mad for? You 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 was you was talking crazy. I told you to stop talking crazy. You didn't want to talk crazy, and now we're dealing with how I reacted to it. You cannot be mad about how I reacted to something when I told you your action is gonna cause a reaction. 
I think oh cave is you up now? Did you see movement? Proof Proof of of are you? <laughs> Blink twice. Yeah, there you go. Finally woke up and then he's gonna come in. Uh, he's gonna come on his other page in the comments, but this man been asleep for about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> he's How you in your early thirties? How you in your early thirties but act like you in your uh, late eight late eighties? <laughs> he went to the grocery store and forgot. Cab doing number two. <laughs> them poppers. That's a long number two. His legs gonna tingle when he get up. Oh my god! <laughs> but no, nah, I think like Dre. I feel like where you coming from? I think for me, like just you know, what I'm saying, I would wish he would have handled business elsewhere because other people start talking. They already see black people on TV being this and being that, and it just gives mm. them another thing to talk about. It's just like you know, what I'm saying, they I talk handle about your us business regardless, though. No matter what we do, they talk about us regardless. This is a man who's never got out of character, like, never got... When was they... Why didn't nobody check Chris Rock knowing that this is a man who don't say nothing back? Why nobody Ben came to the defense like, yo, why don't you just chill on him? You know he don't really... You know, he not like that. He don't get like that. Like, you know, he's asking you to stop. He not really about that life. You don't force this man into a life that he's really not about. Yeah, immaturity. So to the Ben's side. Immaturity. Yeah, that, that, that's the whole truth. That you 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 say well, he said on his on the uh, on his stand up. Out of all people that talked about his wife, he came for you. He came for me. But out of all people that that don't start anything or don't cause any problems in the community, you talked about him. So at this point, are we saying that the B smacked the B because it was warranted? Granted, I wish he would have handled it a different way. But at the same token, I can't fault that man for like, all right, I'm tired of you talking about my wife. My wife is feeling a certain type of way and I want to protect her. Yeah, I didn't cancel him or anything, but I definitely, any situation, oh, I just wasn't gonna hand, I'd be like, I don't cancel no black people. Like, what? We, we in a tight ship as it is. No, some I do cancel. Mm -mm. Some they see on the back of the boat, they in the boy. back, they gonna fall off the damn catch on. But I don't cancel him completely. Look at this man. Freshen up. Good morning. Start talking spicy. We can like see you just woke up looking your eyes, Cave. It's cool. Right. <laughs> but that's a blanket. I don't understand. Those are stars. I went to the store. They went to the yeah, you went to the store all right. in La La Lane. We done labeled you as the co-host after this, like. <laughs> we done have 20 conversations here. <laughs> it's all right, we man. We got our own stories uh, about what you was doing. It's okay to, uh, to need your sleep. <laughs> we was holding it down. We had like 108 <laughs> people in here. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Dazzle was in the chats holding it down. We was on the panel holding it down. Stay pretty steady in here. No drama. Miss Hepper hey. Studio saying that your blanket back there was bedazzled. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he still he, that's that wake up energy right there. See that. Like, what y'all talking about? I ain't hear you. What'd you say? His voice so raspy. My man literally just got up. I'm I hope you enjoyed your rest though, bro. All jokes aside. That. That's one of the skin fresh now. Hey, come on now. We know you'll fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You've been up all day, all night. Y'all okay. better get y'all sleeping. Not, not sleeping is, is, is dangerous. It's always the people that be like, nah, I ain't even tired. Don't be the ones. Every time. Oh, That's going to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> sleep, I sleep later. 
Oldest in the bed. I begin delusional if I don't sleep. I be having to get some sleep. See, I work oh, tonight. Okay. I work overnight today, so I gotta um, I gotta be up and then take a nap at a certain time. So I can't even go to sleep. You've been gone for a while, my boy. I don't. I don't made breakfast, washed the whole stand up, and heard them had like five or six conversations. Dang. Oh no! Green shot that name so I can block it. What's good, Mike? Mm-hmm. I ain't even know yourself to make sure you're up. I ain't even know nothing about this thing. That this is crazy. Hey, if you got Netflix, yep. They just let out Chris Rock uh, stand up. Go to the, like the last ten minutes, and then that he was talking about Will Smith. Oh. I don't know. That's about to be funny. That's I don't funny. know about that's funny. Mm, yeah, that wasn't funny. He was being real disrespectful. Yeah, he can have more people in the box, Mark. Mike trying to get up. Oh, I hope I get feeling. Nah. Wait, let's see something. Wait, wait. I don't know if it's messed up my when people be like sending it and be having nothing in there. I don't know what you're talking about, but that's why I be scanning who I follow because I'd be like, mm mm, who are you? Where you from? I be feeling like people just be trying to stalk sometimes. Or be like bots or something. That man got real disrespectful. Oh, my bad. I don't know. I feel like when I first saw it, I just I didn't un- I just thought that I didn't know about the the backstory behind him, like constantly making jokes about Jada. I probably seen it and overlooked it, but I just felt like the GI Jane joke. That's an old ass joke. You got to be at least thirty something to even get that reference. So I I feel like it was an outdated joke, and it wasn't enough for me to be like, oh, I'm about to get up here and slap this dude. Like that's how I felt. But given the backstory and stuff like that. I can understand why he did it. I just feel like he shouldn't have because Jada didn't even give a fuck. She she kind of stood for herself on that. She didn't have his back the way that he had her back at all. She was on some shit like, well, no, I can tell him to do it. You know, and she toxic as hell too. Like, that's that's the, the perfect example of a female narcissist right there. But, um, yeah, I think the reference was enough to, to do that. Yeah, I wish he did handle it differently, but at the same token, it's like, bro, one, you got a problematic wife. Two, he keep talking about it. it's a whole big mind, mind fuck. She, she, she just like, <laughs> he, he need to find a way to leave her alone completely, but he can't for some odd reason. He, I guess he ain't trying to lose out on his money. Rumor has it that Will Smith is not that innocent. It just seems to never get boring to the light. Like, but that Will Smith has a lot of things that he's doing. They have some kind of understanding that we just don't understand. I don't know. I feel like he probably did shit in the beginning of the relationship. And she holds, she's probably continuously holding it against him. But I, I, feel, I do agree. I feel like they're both doing shit. What you mean he don't believe in divorce? The man, he, the man got divorced. He was married before Jada. I don't know that. Definitely was. Yeah, to the light skinned um, lady. Uh, the other side. Was... Right. Mm-hmm. 
so is Will Smith a sin? Definitely. He, he married to that and he won't let that go? Oh, no. That would have been out of my house. I, I, feel like, I feel like he's not because I really believe they have an understanding. Like, I think that he has his own thing that he is doing that we really just don't know about. Nah, I I watched a lot of the videos where she do things and it irritate her and he try to talk to her and she still constantly keep disrespecting him when he asked her to stop doing certain things. You know what I think it is? I <laughs> think that Will is um a part of that that group and she despises it about him because as much as she's fluent with sexuality and stuff, I think she resents him for being the way that he is. Because I just, I always thought that Will was, you know, like that. I'm just going to say like that. Like you can't see him? <laughs> I don't know what that, yeah, I guess, yeah. And um, yeah. I think that's the understanding that they have because he's like that and he has those type of needs and she can also go out and do whatever she want to do. But at the same time, I think she disrespects him because of it. There's something going on, going on with that situation. <clears throat> My family members nosy. They sent me a bunch of videos where he like, can you stop doing this? Can you stop doing that? And she like, well, why does it bother you? Why do you, why do you care? And he like, because you're just you're crossing my boundaries, and I told you about that. Especially like one of the videos I seen where he 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 tried to ask her to stop just throwing him on the camera. Right. <clears throat> she like. <laughs> And, and in a condescending way, she was like, I guess we got to go talk to it. I guess it's a therapist or something. It's like, I'm going to do what I want. I don't care what you say. Right, but then I seen a video where Will, there was at like a basketball court or something. Will was like getting a whole massage from a grown-ass man. And she was just sitting on the bleachers right behind him just looking mad disgusted. Like, and he was saying stuff like, yeah, if you want a good massage, you got to get it from a man, like type of thing. Like, and she just was looking disgusted by like what he was saying. Like she knows that he's like that, but it can't come out to the world. I guess maybe that's something that he's hiding. She gotta hide that secret, and she resent him for it. That industry is real shaky in that area, though. Know, when it comes to all that and how all that is, and how, how they get down. One of his first roles, he was um he was like that. One of his first ever movie roles. And then, you know, some of the stuff, stuff he would do on Fresh Prince and stuff like that. Like, he just do, there's certain men that just do it too well for me to where it's, it, it can't be fake. I Only feel like they're groomed that. to do that. Like, I feel like they're groomed within the industry to have to portray certain roles. It's a whole thing. Like, it's weird. Yeah, no, definitely. Um but again, I just I feel like he's just been he's been like that. Even if he wasn't like that coming in, I feel like he's been like that for a long time. I feel like the rapper Will Smith that we saw is different from the actor Will Smith that we started to see. Like that behavior was totally different to me. Hello guys, how y'all doing? What's the deal? Great writing. Okay, great. I just want to add my little two cents in it. Good morning. Uh, good morning. He's not gay. <laughs> I'm talking about oh, Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith. He's not gay. He's not gay. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't question if he is. I think I just, he's bisexual. I just they have an understanding. I think he's bisexual. I don't think that there's no way in hell that he wouldn't. I don't think he's bisexual. I think he. I think, like y'all mentioned, I agree with you all that he's with a toxic woman. I put in the comment, you know, that he he likes an ankle biter. He likes somebody that barks at him a little bit. She's from Baltimore, you know. He feel like a, it's like trauma bond. They trauma bond together. Makes sense. But sometimes it happens opposite way. Sometimes too, like you know. It could be like a nice woman and be with a toxic man and just love that type of stuff or whatever. So. Yeah, there's there's I mean there's there's a lot of guys that love women who are nasty to them. I ain't wonder. She nasty Ew. to them, all right. <laughs> 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 uh, they they can have what they have. I don't like that. 
I don't tolerate that. Hell no. Yeah, that junk is crazy. Wow. This I'm, I'm from, from Philly. There's a lot of women out there that's like, they will bark at you. Like, and guys, I mean, like, give me this, give me that. And some guys really enjoy it. Right. And that's why I moved the heck out of Philly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I moved out of D.C. Like, nah, I'm from D.C. Hell that's nah. an up north thing. I think the women are just a little bit more... Aggressive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because, to be honest with you, a lot of them, they wasn't taught no other way. Because they've been holding their family down. And they usually move these men in. So the man doesn't have much of a say anyway. Oh yeah, right. Cause you already know. I'm trying to. Well, Except for what he does in the bedroom, that's about it. Right. I think I think the men up here be liking it too. That's why sometimes, like when I join these uh these conversations or I listen to these conversations, and they're like, men don't like aggressive women or men. And and then you hear like some men like, yes, some I like an aggressive or, or an assertive woman. Like, I, yeah. I think ultimately, it's based off of preference, but where you are geographically, I think that definitely has something to do with it as well. But do you notice? Know I mean, but it's kind of weird. Like these city guys, they really don't like feminine women. I don't know whether I don't know whether that's even like I, it feels like a chicken and an egg type of uh, situation. Like, do they like aggressive women or women aggressive? And you know, I don't. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, do they really like it, or that's just what they have to deal with? Some dudes do like it. I come across it. Far too often with dudes is like it, 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 it's it's a woman and it's okay. I, I just see a woman that she she was raised like that. Like I was raised a certain type of way too. Mm-hmm. And just because I was raised in that don't mean that's who I gotta be. Right, right. I, I was raised in the rough side of DC. Like that don't mean I gotta be that way when I move here. I they- moved away because of that, so I so I don't end up in jail. <laughs> that's not making excuses that's but. part of the reason I want to leave from where I'm at I, I need to be like in the south or something because people up here are just mean and aggressive and it's very individualized up here not that it's not everywhere else but it's just let me tell you the truth about some of these places down south this little fake uh, waving and speaking They'll irritate you because a lot of them are nosy and they're friendly so they can get in your business. Damn. Uh huh. But it's definitely different from being up here. Like, even to say good morning to some people, when you up north, it's like you walk straight, you don't look at nobody, <laughs> no interaction. Like, don't even come close to me. What are you right. doing? On the right, you walk to the left. Right. That's why yeah, COVID was wasn't a problem up here. Too long. Yeah, like, but the, again, you move me. down south, and these people will make you put your hands on them because they all in your business and they can <laughs> your business to everybody else. Mm-mm. I don't share and my business. A lot business of them are passive aggressive. Let me say that. A lot of them are passive aggressive. They a select amount of few that want to act like they from this hardcore city, like I'm down here in Charlie. Ain't nothing thuggish about down here. Uh huh. But they want to portray an image as if they they like that. When you're really not like, bro, your houses don't touch. <laughs> Chill out, <laughs> <laughs> right? You have acres of land. Chill out. You you over there in that nice house, and you it's, it's like the dudes and the women are new down here. You from a good area, but want to portray like you you from the hood. Chill out. That's sad. It got to the point where I say to myself because. I realized when I first moved down here, it was like, why are everybody in my face? And then they started saying, well, you mean? And it was like, all right, let me try something. Then I started realizing a lot of them want to be close to you and act like they friendly to tell your business or they see that you hold yourself to a certain caliber and they want to attach yourself to them and they cause issues and they're running your phone. A lot of this image that you see down south and that you hear about down south ain't really that. Uh-huh. That's crazy, but I think. Thank you, Grandpa. I think, um, in regards to Jada and Will's situation, he was a safe choice. 
He really was the safe choice. Tupac wasn't. She really wanted Tupac. She wanted a man that didn't care. But Will Smith, he's like the all-American. People love him. White people love him, particularly. He was safe. And he know he was safe. Hey, chill out in the comments before I start getting on y'all. Especially you with the fake beard. <laughs> we ain't scared. Share with your flip phone. Better do. Yeah, he right. He, yeah, that's he's a better example, do. Example, like, with the, the sometimes like, the opposite of track, man. It shows that he must be more like, he, he got to be more. We like, can't hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Hey, speaker, no, I was saying, yeah, it shows he more like on the, the feminine side. That's why she more on the, like the, the tough side and all that stuff. Uh -huh. And he, she seemed like she more in control of the relationship and all that. And so she, mm -hmm. she she wouldn't have probably worked with a, I don't know, with Tupac. I'm trying to think because she just too like she got to run things. That's what it looked like it's inside of her. It got to be her way or the highway. And that's just on the outside looking in. We don't even really know, but she show enough. And I can just imagine how it is inside the house. But sometimes you got to have a little, and that's where some of these guys don't understand what it means to be aggressive in a way. And not, not mean, but to carry a voice in a way where it demands respect. Mm -hmm. And be assertive. You yeah. talk assertive. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Or assertive. And I think Tupac had that assertive voice. And that yeah. helps a person with that kind of like you know, attitude or whatever, kind of calm down because you don't want to battle another person that's going to out battle you. It's yeah. like, I get I oh. I literally was thinking that. Yeah, he, he will bark right back at her. That's like, the difference between But he's Tupac. a smart man, too, say, for the stuff that huh? he would have hey, implemented on her would have made sense and it really would have <laughs> made her kind of submit to him because Tupac was not a dumb person at all. It wasn't. And that was the attractive part about him. Mm -hmm. that's what so, so that's the about question, him. then. You think, do you think that she would have she would have submit be more submissive with Tupac or, or uh, would they argue more? Nah, I be more submitted to him. Eventually, he would have mm -hmm. wore her down. Y'all know who hmm. Tupac was before he became before he, before he, Do y'all know who Tupac was before he became a star? He was knew, a yeah, he was <laughs> Tupac was not this this person that, that people seen. He was an actor. he went to he, they they met in acting class. So yeah, but his that. stories is coming out by yeah. his by people that knew him that one he couldn't even fight. Right. He was a nut. You know, but he had his he has a brilliant mind. And I think most people are attracted to intelligence. Aside from being physical, it's that it's that mind. And I know that mind got her because it got the world on how brilliant this man was. And I don't think Will Smith got it like that. I don't think Will is all that, you know. He did, he wasn't thinking he not that deep. Doc was thinking. I'm sorry. Yeah, so somebody with a mindset like Tupac, I definitely would have gravitated to. Even yeah. being a more assertive woman, that's what I would have gravitated to because, again, that's somebody who's going to kind of bring your walls down because he himself is aggressive or assertive and stuff like that. But at the same time, he's intelligent. Like yes. for me, that's the perfect, the perfect type of guy. Yeah, yeah, you know that's what women want. Nipsey Hussle. Same way. Yep, same thing. And I think, like, even Dad was saying, like, I think whether submissive or more aggressive woman or modern woman or whatever you want to tangle it up into, I think when a person approaches you with intelligence, you can't, unless you're an ignorant person, you're drawn to that. And I think, you know, you can learn from each other. Ultimately, it's something that that person may need to learn whether it, it, it may be to chill out a little bit, have fun or whatever. And so going back to what Kev just said, opposites do attract is just making sure you guys balance each other well situation happen and yes i love nipsey and lauren i just i just love any kind of relationship that shows growth that shows you know yeah. what i see is true love is is deeper than just the sexuality that comes with it when a person can teach you and feed your soul like that's true love to me yes yes you know amen on that and also someone that can challenge Thank you very much that can challenge <laughs> that wants you to grow that see you that's attractive.
but man, I, I think I disagree with that. Right, a man that, that can I see you, you know what I'm saying? Because one okay, thing, we I can't hear you, bro. Uh, I'm not into that where somebody got to make me say submit what and all this stuff. For. Huh? Say what you chest. <laughs> okay, oh, you all oh, couldn't hear me. I'll be forgetting about this thing. Bro. We but no, nah, I, I, like I was saying, uh, I believe that, uh, no, nah, I think the opposite. I think she would have been getting to it with a uh, two part just because her character or not. But I guess it depends on where it started at. I guess she, uh, maybe Will Smith done babied her all her life and was always being Mr. Nice Guy. So it just made her more, uh, what they call it, uh, masculine, I guess. You know but, what I'm saying? But, the one that got to be in control or something like that. So, but I don't, I, I guess I can't say that. But the way she is now, nah, I don't think she would get with if Tupac was alive. I don't well, think that. Uh, I'm gonna say going this. Flash him <laughs> if if she if she if she was with Tupac, if she respected him, she would have submitted. She don't respect Will Smith, so of course she's not going to. She not she not going to do it. Yeah. So I wonder what she would, would have to respect. I, respect I will respect, I respect you. Cause, yeah, because Will Smith like real smart and you know all that. It just seemed like he just getting ran over. And I think I wonder what her definition of respect would be because it, I mean if it take a gangster to or whatever he's supposed to be portrayed as to be to, put you in to check. be respected that's already like the wrong uh, attentions already anyway so that take that that'd how be, do we that'd know that like that would huh how do we know that's what been, we saying like you know Tupac was originally a punk like how mm. how are we really gonna base this off of his persona that he sh he gave us in you know his career mm. like. Because in all reality, yeah. he was really a punk. He was just smart. Yeah, we right. Smith is smart. The real before he became famous. So then would she have known that he was really a punk? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Then she, she, she would have figured it out. Him? She would have got out of him. <laughs> the way she is. Mm -hmm. She would have tried, but by the, the people that surrounded Tupac that, that created that, the uh, person who he became to be, um, they they would have pushed him into checking to her. To whoop her ass? Nah, I ain't saying all that. But. I mean, because he was around <clears throat> um, Mr. Sh Mr. Suge Knight, and Suge Knight was hands-on. Mm-hmm. Nah, Miss Mad Baltimore is... I don't know if you were saying it is. It's, it's real kind of, like, dirty there. I shouldn't say that. I don't want to offend nobody. I ain't mean dirty like that. It's a little, like... I'm with you. I've, I've been the ball. Not, not really it's not really having a way to Up like really throw a person a, a good life there in a lot of places in Baltimore. So you see a lot of stuff out there. Yeah, I bet. But Baltimore is a rugged place, but there are some areas where it's just laid back and cool. But for the most part, Baltimore is rugged. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she really, right? Huh? Okay, Miss Ma, I was just checking. I was making sure I about to say, I don't know if somebody showed you a picture of somewhere else in Maryland. Um, Is Will Smith, he's from Philly, right? Yeah. From West Philly. Mm -hmm. From West Philly. Oh, so he really from that show? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He's he from West Philly. Will Smith is from like the, the cool laid back area of Philly. He had clean socks. I'm the done. clean socks. <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't that dirty. <laughs> Plus his family kept him inside. He wasn't he wasn't no off the porch type of dude, just like Kevin Hart. He wasn't the off the porch type dude. You go to Philly and you you play around it <laughs> if you want. To. <laughs> you play but around if you want to. Him and Chris Rock both jive like was wearing the clean socks because they had a pretty good life too growing up. So I mean, he kind of mm -hmm. battling the same person. I know he was talking about mm -hmm. Tupac, but <clears throat> yeah, that's a good point too. Yeah, yeah, Chris okay. Rock had like a similar type of twenty six thousand, you know, environment. Well, y'all tap that screen. It's like 38 people up in here, man. Share to some people real quick. I, I still got a, some hours, a couple hours for y'all. I'm about to drop and make myself some breakfast. It's Sunday. I'm going to make some grits. 
That sounds good. You gonna play some jazz in the background? Yeah, sure. You gotta, so you nah, gotta make somebody story bubble lo-fi. before you leave, huh? Hey, I will be playing the lo-fi too. Oh my I God. love lo-fi. My favorite I... is the one on YouTube, the Bart Simpson one. Yes, yes. Those be a vibe. Oh God, I be playing that same one. I be playing mm-hmm. the one with the raccoon too. Yeah, the raccoon. My son loves those too. He go to bed to those. Hey, like what you say? <laughs> Peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> we got no jelly. <laughs> in the comments, though. Right, they got talking shit. Man, studio. Real good. I'm about to order something. Man. <laughs> this Sunday. Hold on. Who who remembers syrup sandwiches? We were talking about them earlier. Um, I had a the the closest I had to that was peanut butter and syrup. That's I used to pair them things up. Yeah, that sounds good. I still eat that to this day. Peanut butter and syrup. I had to say y'all greedy without saying y'all greedy. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. CG in the building wants to be hard up hard up. I gotta do these little intros. Hello. I'm out of Pachano and me. It's me. My man love his soundboard. <laughs> yes, sir. I <laughs> 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 hey, man. I couldn't deal with no woman like that. You lost your love, ever loving mind. I would have never put a ring on it, let alone spent a month with that. You just had one time to show me you out of line. Out of- <laughs> right. I feel you on that. I'm at the, I'm at the point like, shoot, if you ain't you ain't matching what I want, because I ain't scared to uh you know, I ain't scared to be alone. <laughs> I ain't about to sit here and just try to wait on somebody and be like, man, maybe they just, it was just that moment or something. Like, I'm not about to do that. Right. I just really ain't got that time no more. <laughs> I mean, That's how you be stuck in misery and trauma and stuff because you want to stick around and wait for some change. That No, I'm not doing it. I'm good out here. I got my girl. I'm good. But I... My girl. He knew, he knew what he got. Yeah, he know. Especially with her. Like, sometimes. I'm- People talk about like they want to be in relationships, you know, like eventually, yeah, may, maybe one day it'll happen. But sometimes you got to look at where you are and like think about it. Kev, could you be in a relationship right now and do this and then commit time to like both, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not personally you, but, you know, sometimes we got to think about like, all right, where am I? And not even to get to a goal to be a husband or a wife, but just to reach mm-hmm. your goal for where you trying to get to without any other distractions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so. Yeah, so you would have to make a um, you would have to make like a, some a certain sacrifices, and you have to get a partner. That's one thing I asked for. Uh, if we can have understanding and peace, once you got them two together, you can make things happen. You know what I'm saying? Your partner got to be on the same board with you. Mm-hmm. Like they got to see what your goal is. So I, it probably it will be able to work if you get a per- partner that uh that's willing to make that work. And then you know they got to do their thing. So we to make the family work together. I believe Jada was that for Will. Will had the bigger career. Yeah. She might have resented that. You know what I mean? She probably thought that she could make it just as big as hell. I'm pretty sure she would have divorced him if she was a bigger superstar. I see. Ooh, right, the way she is. No, nah, I can see that. That's the only thing that kept that around. But now nah, I think it got to a point to where it's like... She got that where you need me type attitude now. Nah. Right. It show, and that was a, that's a prime example right there. I don't want to try to make it a man and woman thing, but it shows that if a, if a uh, man need a woman or coming a man need a woman type thing, it'd be like they get disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? It's a disrespectful thing. So it would have to be like the opposite way. Mm-hmm. When she would, you know, that's when she would be more submissive and all that. Because she feel like she she feared that she's going to leave him type something. I mean, he's going to leave him on my bed. Mm-hmm. But that's, that's a prime example of what would happen. You know, if it's the opposite way, because it's obvious that he like, man, baby, I don't want you. You know what I'm saying? So it's putting right. up with all her stuff. So, yeah, she's definitely in a position of power. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> show. And she, uh, she probably only divorce, you know, in front of him all the time when she get mad. She yeah. only in power because he allowed her to be in power. Yeah. Other than that, when you compare the careers and and the level of who got oh. more. Uh, foothold in the game to call the shots. He got that. But he's giving it to her freely and willy by allowing her to act the way she acts, and he's more accepting of it. (laughs) And it's sprinkled down to the kids. Like, when I look at the the children, even though they're adults now, it's like, uh, what what the world? 
<laughs> but that's why I said that industry is really crazy because first of all, the kids was, I don't know if they still are, was like tied up in Scientology. So you're talking about a different way of thinking. Then right. you're talking about their sexuality and how they get down. Like mm-hmm. I think, you know, with that industry, there's a lot of open doors that I feel like people try out and it just can get kind of crazy with we as normal people don't even have the knowledge of what is really happening like so he may not be a certain kind of way but he's definitely they definitely have dibbled and dabbled in some stuff like and it's not unnormal to do that in that industry well i think it's more so they have their kids especially have more access so they grew up different from like a kid from the hood moving out to the suburbs their kids, you know what I mean? They Hollywood kids, so they're around like these. Let's just call it like we say, white kids. What the predominant? Mm-hmm. predominant I was speaking white on thing, it. You know what I mean? And so they're gonna be introduced to all types of stuff. Damn, I was right. speaking more on the fact that they just allow them kids to roam any kind of way, whatever way, because they they still trying to figure some things out. They don't know what's the truth anymore as far as society or how anything right. goes. Every Every, all of them are just super free and don't know the world as, as it is. Well, because they probably blame their parents for how they was raised, and they didn't want to make the same mistakes, so that's why they're trying to do something different with them. They're like, okay, we got the money, you know? But they also, they also let them kids roam with guidance, though. That I can say, like, you know, they're letting their kids roam, but they're they're going down the path with them. You know, they're, they're having these open conversations these open dialogues, they're talking about these things that their kids experience. So I feel like in that manner, I guess it's okay for them if that's how they see fit because they're not just letting their kids run wild and these kids have no guidance to how they're running. They letting the money and the, they letting the money hmm. and the kids raise themselves. The money is raising right. them more than anything. Like we got the money, so you can do whatever you want, but don't 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 give them an honest an honest truth about how the world is, how the world reacts, how the world thinks. It's just like do whatever you want, and don't and, and eventually it's gonna come with a big backlash. With it. Like like it do with a lot of uh, superstar children, it's a big backlash. They can't take it, and then they gotta resort to doing something that they they aren't supposed to be doing. What with the elevator music? I don't know who is somebody over there being a ballerina or something. And I definitely don't see them beating their kids. I doubt them kids was getting beaten. They don't even yell at them kids. <laughs> you don't do that. Right. <laughs> I forget whatever you it wasn't that bad. No, I'm say that. Right. Well, well you walking into the trees, express yourself. <laughs> right, hug the tray. They not, they not saying it's animals out there. It's this okay is a teachable moment do. right here. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's a line right there. Just embrace your inner yeah, inner it, animal. Right. Quick, man. It's on. okay. <laughs> it's a whole bear right there. there. Express yourself. This is what you got to do. The bear, the bear is just enjoying his environment. Just go be loving to the bear. Don't right. bear, don't tell don't tell that kid that bear would tear you up if you get but too you, close. But this is the part that I take issue with. You know what I mean? That's their business, but he he allowed another man to sleep with his wife. I mm-hmm. mean, it wasn't even like she was just like cheating. It was like go for it. It wasn't. It was an entanglement. I don't even think that's it. If that's the thing, cool. But the simple fact that you had to put it out there in the public was unnecessary. He she was wrong. No, they were forced to put it out because Augustina said something about it. They were forced uh, to have to have that conversation because somebody, the third party, brought it to light. Uh, but I thought they had a conversation I mean, I after that. It's like a conversation. They did. They never did. They and had the conversation more, after that. that dude he said talk. what he said. <laughs> I'm not about to sit back and put it out. From Even real side, it like, seemed like he was just mad that, that she didn't that have so his to me. Wow. Keep everybody From... hurt behind the door. Like, it just be so unnecessary to me. Like, that'd be the sloppiest thing to me. I mean, the way she kind of like, I mean, demasculated him. Like, she didn't care. Nope. She do it every time. Anytime <laughs> something hit this, 
anytime anything hits the world is, she just like, okay, I, ain't, I don't care. Right. <laughs> It's it's rough. It got to be rough to be with somebody like that. Like it sounds like he's constantly seeking approval from her. Not even mm-hmm. like the world loves him. It's her. Prove everything to her. It's her that's talking crazy to him, talking down at right. him in that house. You I ain't think this. that conversation could be like differently in a different place. Like right. I think some things can be. It's TV. So just decorate it for TV and like literally keep your business your business. Even if you got to put on the front. Do your best to just, you know what I'm saying? Just cause right. like... She couldn't do that because any other time she has those red table talks with other people, you digging into these people's business. Like, you are getting down to the nitty gritty. So, no, you cannot just, when it's your turn, want to sugarcoat it and cover it up now. now oh, you, we got to get down to the nitty gritty, too, in your business. You can't, you can't dish it, you know? You got to be able to take it, too. The way she, it was the way she, like, in the certain Thank things with our sexuality with each other like certain conversations i just don't feel like is it should go outside the bedroom and i had to You're realize right, that in, in the means of being in a relationship and realizing certain conversations don't leave certain places mm-hmm. and even if it is whatever's going on nah this conversation still don't go nowhere else right but, that's why i don't tell everybody that you got to calm your feet but that's when you have you keep that door closed. They have being that she talks, she has these conversations the way she do. You open the door to not have to put yourself out there like that. Now, if you're yeah. just the kind of person who don't bring that kind of talk and you don't expect others to bring that kind of talk, then right. you can say that. But when you out here expecting everybody to give their tea, thank you. Then we have to you have to expect us to want your tea too. Thank mm. you. So just imagine she's pillow talking to that little rapper boy. He knows all Will Smith business. And that's why he can rap about it. Talk about it. I just think she was wrong yeah, that's so weird. for messing with somebody so young. Someone that, you know what I mean, wasn't right in the head. Or getting so attached and making that a comfortable, an uncomfortable, but comfortable for you situation. Yeah, um, that's so yeah. There's not one single man, maybe a couple that would be like, yeah, this is my dream. Of course. What? Let me tell you how my life is going to go. Right. So yeah, that's- she, told, how she, told it, she told it that she liked it. She, she, she finds a sense of comfort in broken men. Yeah. She they both were broken. Be. You're right. Because she really broke it herself. And she thinks that she's a fixer. Right. But she not. I think even if you affix her, your emotions don't get attached enough and you let some peeny weeny or something get you, you know what I'm saying, in this lockdown situation, that's in relationships in general, not just with them, but it's like you gotta think. You gotta think with your brain the means to just situations. And but literally I've said this before, to each his own. Some people are down with it. But isn't that kind of confusing? Like, okay, I'm supposed to look at you as like a mom, but you're touching on me inappropriately. Yeah. Like, how am I supposed to, like, how is this helping me? This it's is like more so same, confusing me. It's like the same way when women have daddy issues. Like, you know, they go looking for their father in the street with men that they're sleeping with. Yeah. It's the same exact thing. Mm. Ouch. Don't make the room jump up to 500. Come on. <laughs> you said what? I'm going to watch my tone, though, when I say it, though. Don't worry. What? <laughs> Watch your tone. Yeah, she, she she's toxic. Not too much on tone. Not too much. <laughs> and these guys pretty much didn't know no better. Yeah, but we that's, gotta stop that blaming her. A lot though, man. That, yeah, so at what just, point? At just some the fact point, that she didn't got know no better, but at some point you learn better. Like now, we can't just keep saying they don't know no better. Like maybe in right. the beginning when it first started happening, it was a shock. You know, they they was in a shock and they didn't really understand what was happening. But too much time has gone on to just make her the only blame out the two of them. Right. He is okay yeah. with this. They have an understanding. I think I think they know, but it's just they're not fully aware of what's really affecting them or something like that. Because a lot of people just live life. And that's why I, I had made a video about that too. Because some people be known, but they don't know how deep it is. Like it's like okay, it's like no different from when somebody, yeah, they know cigarettes it hurts you and all that and all that stuff. They smoke it and all that stuff. They do all that. But then once 
you know, once they like, oh, you diagnosed with that, then that's when they want to stop now. You know what I'm saying? But we already knew right. it, but that's when you're fully aware. That's when you really want to take it serious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's when the thing, that's why they getting away with it because it's not hurting them right now or it's not, or they're they not focused on how it's really hurting them at the moment and stuff. So, but they, I think it's different. They don't see how it's damaging or it's like not hurting her, thing. especially not hurting her that bad because she's used to doing it. She's already got a habit of just being that type of way. Mm-hmm. As to what I was just talking about with the, the fact that she even get away with just sitting here spilling tea and off these mm-hmm. toxic stuff like but Wendy I think Williams always got When you can rewatch it back, like they can literally rewind, like really see it back. Like you can literally step out your situation and rewatch it because it's like, with the when he smacked her and you know they I mean when he's when when he smacked uh Chris Rock and they were saying you know Jada had this look or she was whatever he was able to go back and watch that and see what everybody was talking about like you know even in those red table talks he's able to go back watch it and see it yeah he he, he get kind of set up a little bit so yeah. it's not like us who where we kind of live through these situations and we can't see the playback yeah we can't see the playback, so we kind of, you know, going off our own memory, hearing yeah. the words. Like, he has the yeah. ability to have the combination of seeing the playback, hearing our commentation about it, our uh-huh. opinions and everything, and you still don't get it? No, you don't want to get it because y'all have an understanding. Don't want to. Thank you, but also, you no, know, it's... they all they <clears throat> signed up for all that. Not even just signed up for What makes you so better that you can't get roasted? Everybody else here is getting mm-hmm. roasted. Exactly. This is what everyone, uh, this is what a lot of them don't. It a lot of what stars he don't go back now. and He has something stuff. to prove that day. You know what I'm saying? So it's something that he's hiding, and he got fed and up that people day. people are getting so smashed it's... in real life, too, for roasting. So, uh, I mean... Right, but also, but you know what? I mean, come on, like this... I don't know. I don't know. A lot of superstars just... don't go back and look at this stuff that they already done. They they just let it go and move on to the next. Well, well, he knew that they was clowning on because his wife That's was kind of like... about it in their circle. Yeah, they, they people talk about it in their circles, but when it comes to what what when they record and stuff, they let producers just go go on and deal with that, and they move on to something else. But they hear about certain things because of the people they got surrounded them, whether it's assistants, friends, uh, people that they work with. That's how they hear about stuff. When you when you a star, as a star, you got to constantly keep moving. And constantly keep doing new things and generating money because a lot of them spend so much of it. Uh huh. So you think he didn't watch that smack on the? He didn't. He didn't go back and watch that. If, if, yeah, I think he did because somebody had pen, had uh, brought it to him and said, "Hey, this is what they're yeah. saying about this. This is what they're saying about that." But on his own, he didn't go back and watch that. He really wanted to he move don't on. Eventually, remember yeah. that. Back, like you know, you he that shit replayed in his mind a thousand times exactly what happened. How he didn't happened. care, he didn't care. Yeah. Did you see he went to the after party? He didn't care. He matter of fact, he felt like <laughs> he felt like he was being tough. Right. He didn't care. Matter of fact, that might have turned him on too. Turn both of them on. And it uh, takes maybe. a lot, obviously, it takes a lot to impress Jada. Because Jada's not really impressed with his money. None of that. None of it. So when him do, when him when he did that, okay, she's like, all right. I can get this kind of like he was I trying like to it. do something to get her love. Yeah, because she, <laughs> she's not worrying about the other stuff that he brings to the table. She's used really to it. That divorce, though. I wonder did they did they go through the second divorce like that shit like they said they was going to do. Mm. That's crazy. A second divorce. Yeah, well, yeah. He, yeah, he well, he said that he never wanted to um get divorced again after that. So Yeah, but um they, brought it, they both brought it they both brought it to the table after the Chris Rock situation. I don't believe that also. That was probably PR stuff. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Even this stand up is PR. The fact that Netflix put it out there, like it's going to cause some kind of uproar. Okay, it just came out this morning. So clearly, people about to start talking about it the next couple of days. Yeah. Some must talk about. Yeah. I'm going to probably watch it in a month or two because I'll be out to of me, it. <clears throat> to me, I watch stuff once and then I move on because once I, I already realized a long time ago, a lot of this stuff is just a deflection. Mm hmm. And I do believe that um, 
Will Smith should, and I'm from Philly should be canceled. He don't he don't get no street cred with me. He shouldn't get. It's not he. Sh- he shouldn't have done that to get street cred. That has nothing to. What we think about that has nothing to do with us. That was between him and his wife and how she was feeling and what he was willing to do to make her feel better. Right. She was. She was expecting everything. But again, like if, if he did that, I think like you know we know like somebody was saying that might have turned both of them on for that whole situation that happened, and I think we have to understand what's toxic in our lives, and sometimes yeah. that's people, sometimes that's actions or certain words that can make us react, and it doesn't make us. And that situation didn't make him any better. I'm sure it didn't make him feel any better because I'm sure that wasn't an intention of his. Period. Even if somebody is hurt you that way, you always say like sticks and stones can break your bones, but words will never hurt you. And when you conquer that, like. I get it. Somebody talking about you and everything, but we don't know their little thing as far as what their toxicity is. And that's just what it looked like. A toxic. Yeah. I just don't feel like but, he did enough to be canceled. Like I, I think I so. No, no. That's part, I think so. I think I don't so. Think I mean, he wasn't, that wasn't grateful. He wasn't grateful. Right. Not, if, right. if, if we're doing that, then we're canceling our own friends. We're canceling, like, because it's been plenty of times that we've been put in situations and because we did not... We like, don't get a black we, pass. That's not right. Ain't nobody That's not right, me, man. Chris Brown is still out here thriving. Thank you, and he don't deserve a, a black pass, <laughs> but, especially but, when, when, in regards to colorism. With him, his color if, himself. Come on. If you if you want to cancel somebody, then that's your opportunity, and that's your that's what you choose. But as far as as a whole, ain't nobody canceling no Will Smith. Ain't nobody canceling none of these dudes because we the. As I heard, the elitism is so strong. Right. See, in that situation, I was on both sides. Bro. And you think about it, even, they didn't want to cancel, uh, what's his name, R. Kelly, until it became enough. Enough as They enough. still ain't canceling R. Kelly. Like, <laughs> how many times I heard his music play? He's not canceled, but he is on pause. Yeah, <laughs> he, he on pause with he certain on pause. people. But, but think about it. How, well, after he got convicted and all that, how many people was playing his music on their on their uh, videos on TikTok? It's the truth. It's the truth. Like, yeah. <laughs> we gotta realize the truth and stuff. People, we can say we can cast with somebody on your own, and you can stop listening to them, but that don't mean the world won't cancel. Right. The world is still rocking so it with all of these to... people that's that's damaged in, uh, in in the world. Well, that's that's that says a lot about us as a people. Right. So why why would you be well, people gotta understand what people make mistakes? All of everybody him? human. <laughs> no, some some are calculated, some are just calculated decisions. Like he basically was let and you know Do you believe Hollywood you know that don't don't test me. Don't test me, Hollywood. That's what he was doing. Or maybe it would stop testing me, Hollywood, because this is a man once again who, despite right. anything that was said about him, he has never gotten out of character. Like, when is enough enough? Why had nobody ever came to his defense and said, "Leave that man I, alone. I He's not built him. like that." Like, nobody's mm-hmm. ever come and been like, "Nah, don't don't do will like that," because you know he's not gonna do nothing about it. You can't. It, it doesn't. But he grown. He a grown man. Yeah, so both get, sides. The thing go is, ahead, you get real on both grown. sides because, like, we could have been on either side of the shoe, and both of his human reaction. You know what I'm saying? We could have been the one that I could have been wrong for. Going too overboard with a joke, and I can expect that to happen. Or I could have been. Uh, he based both, them like he and need, got he up. do need like he emotional control, but then up. again, like people humans make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So we can't sit there and then some just because somebody make a mistake, we're gonna just you know keep that on them for the rest of their life. That's just like me. Okay, I, like I every now and then maybe okay I do motivation to start type speaking on this stuff. So one day maybe I might slip up and and lose control or something like that. But I'm not trying to be marked as that for the rest of my life. When I know I'm a human, you know what I'm saying? I mess up. It's just all about addressing it, you know, just like he did. He apologized and all that stuff, whatever. Like, how long somebody going to linger on it? Because nobody wouldn't like that done to them. That's the thing. It, it, People don't be thinking felt, about, like, dang, I'm making a mistake. You know what I'm saying? I want forgiveness. We need, People need to start learning forgiveness, man. The man was partying. Like, it was, he was living his best life right after. Well, what was he supposed no. to do? Stop his money? Well, well, no, I'm just saying, are we acting? I'm okay. Are we still acting? Yeah, he, he he was going to parties because people were paying him to come. 
So I can't no, no, fault him for still so going out. So you trying to tell me? So he processed his emotion, his, his emotion, and said, "Okay, I, I'm I'm still going to party, even though I'm supposed to be in pain. I'm supposed to be Why apologetic. Why supposed to be in pain? Well, I, I well not pain, but I'm supposed to be apologetic. I su- I'm supposed to be sorry for what I did to this man. I think you did. So it. what does one have to do with the other? I just think it's just wrong. He sh- he shouldn't have been out. He shouldn't have been out. Well, that, that's your opinion. You can stop listening to him and cancel him yourself. But it's probably I'm watching Bad else. Boys. I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm watch. I'm never gonna stop watching Bad Boys. But you will always associate whatever he do, his that slap and whatever he he do outside his career. With what? his movies so why we can't look at the positive he did? Why we always got to uh, focus on the negative? I never his understood that. Because is too, like... Because he did a lot to help the not community. Trumping his, his, he did. The smack is not trumping that. It's never going to just trump that. Yes, it's going to be embedded into my memory forever, but Thank it's not going to be the first yeah. thought that I'm always going to have when I think of Will I, Smith. I, I think it depends on the person... Okay, with the, dealing with that situation... And how too everybody true. handled it, it tell a lot about that character. I'm gonna put it that way. And just because, Thank like, you. I know I'm more of a forgivable type character. Some people are just still hurt and stuff, so they going to be like, "Man, no, you deserve this. Why you do that? You not, you not supposed to be a human. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Like people, humans don't be humans. That that's weird. So that dude, I think, depending on how everybody feel about that situation, it tell a lot about your character. Just flat out, yep. like real talk, it do tell a lot. Because if you feel like he don't deserve forgiveness, then you are not a forgivable type of person. Not, you know what I'm saying? Or deserve huh? forgiveness, I think it's a little bit too soon. When it's too soon and when it's too late. I'm saying you went from slapping to some slapping somebody to partying it up, popping bottles. What are you supposed to freeze life and look at a wall for the room? For, so, so, I mean, so right. And not, and not make the money that he's supposed genuine. to make to provide for himself and his family. That man got, extra, that man uh, got enough uh, money. He he can sit down for a minute. Okay. So, you know, so, like, come on, we, so you make a certain amount help. of money. And you, right. make, you make a certain amount of money and then just take off for a whole couple months just because you did wrong. And tell me how your bills feel once they start to catch up. Okay, but what about Chris Rock? Anybody worrying about how Chris Rock pay his bills? And he still went out and party. That's what they not show him. He had a show a couple of him. days later. He did not sit home like, oh my God, <laughs> right. I'm so sad that I got smacked that I can't even go back outside. And right. the, the thing is, right, you said you from Philly, right? From Philly. You from Philly. So I know that North you Philly, see, you uptown. See on, on plenty of occasions where words have got hands put on them. So this man didn't do something that was like out of the norm. It's not everybody's norm, but it's not out of the but norm. But this ain't no he, street beef. He what the what is and, and I wouldn't bring way, that to you, uh, and I wouldn't bring that I bet to you the world. That was 50 cent that did that everybody wouldn't be on his head. Beef is beef on site and on site. If I got beef with you and, and it's on site, I'm not waiting because it's beef. I'm not letting you catch you're not gonna catch me. I'm gonna catch you. I'm I don't still care trying to understand why street is even added to they, this conversation. They would have been on Fifty Cent. They would have been uh, probably praising Fifty Cent if he would have did that. Like, that type of character, even, though. You know what I'm saying? Will because even because, about because we know how Will Smith is, so we gonna just hold a grudge on him. All That'd right. be crazy. Like, the man never acted street a day in anybody. his life, so I'm still trying to understand why it's street being brought in the conversation. He and ain't I wasn't even saying it to say street. I'm just saying in general, this man had a reaction that. Enough I'm people talking about the street had, like, enough uh, people. He didn't have a reaction that none of us would have had. Then maybe we can have the discussion. But he had was considered a normal reaction because too many people would have had that reaction. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I think the man was calculated, and I think he was acting. Even if he was calculated, it doesn't he don't know matter. how to turn the acting it off. If he thought about it, like if he was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait until ah uh, ah uh, this. Something was done, and he decided how he was going to handle it. Yeah. Whether he decided, I'm going to wait a week, and I'm going to catch this man slipping, or I'm going to do it right on site. He did what he felt like he needed to do. He did not have an unnormal reaction to what was happening. Uh, uh, he did those moments, that- like, those are those moments that you have to understand the place and position in which you're in. Like, we don't see Beyonce really slip out of place. Not that I'm a beehive. Thank you. I think she's very smart and educated. Thank you. 
You know, but then you saying? got her sister. You got her and it's sister. not even about money. You it's not even about why. Whipping a nigga ass in the elevator though, and they come from the same cloth. And I'm saying, listen, I'm not. I'm on. I'm, I'm feel feeling like a sister inside, but outside I have to be the Beyonce. Inside I'm feeling it. And so some people show that. But some people also understand like Which, I'm in a position and I can just that's, I do a lot of damage. Thank Which you. Is, and that's that's, that's, that's real emotional. That's that's, that's like a woman a trait. So he couldn't handle he couldn't he couldn't. Like you're gonna cancel him for I, a normal I, reaction? No, I agree with Kev when he said that it should be a situation where, you know, you you learn a lot about it. forgiveness has to start within yourself, first of all. Like, you can't right. look for forgiveness from somebody else. So even if he was at them parties, I'm sure he was thinking hard about it because Will seems like a pretty um, logical person when it comes to thinking. Just because he put on a smile doesn't mean he probably wasn't feeling it, but he still got to make money. He still got to do what he got to do. Yeah, but sure. at the end of the day, like, you know, how you deal with situations, you know, it's just like you don't know what kind of impact you made at all on anybody. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be that you're trying to handle something, you have you are a person that's in this public eye. Like every choice you make makes a it, it could change many a lives in a good or bad way. Yeah, and, and he knows vice, this. He's been character. out there long enough to know. And I think be honest with you, I don't think he cared. That's like Kurt Franklin too. Like they gonna is they gonna hold that against him because he slipped up. Like it show people that it's really human. They're not, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's gonna make mistakes. Both ends is legitimately possible to happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I said, I wonder- nobody don't know what forgiveness is now. That's all it is. They they just look at it like, oh, you know better. You're not supposed to do that. But then again, you will do the same exact thing. You know what I'm saying? You could say that I'm gonna do you would you would be either or. Like either or is a human reaction. Mm-hmm. So like holding something against anybody, that's just sad because we wouldn't want us that to happen to us. That's why I'll be telling people nobody don't never want to put themselves in other people's shoes. Like, right. either way could have happened. He could have not slapped the word. He could have. You know what I'm saying? But either way, it's a, okay, a human but, reaction. But what is toxic masculinity? Oh, God. Wow, that escalated. That's what it was. Some stuff they made up recently. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Stuff they made up recently. <laughs> you don't think that it's was like toxic? saying toxic femininity or something. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. It's toxic people and it's just... <laughs> In the moment. Right. Just we we call it data that. toxic, but what about <laughs> Jill? I meant Will. What about her? We already said that. That's what I'm saying, you know? But at the same token, you don't count. Everybody has a level of growing and a level of You just still, you want him to uh, still uh, make his money. I got it. It's okay. Let no, him make his money. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's Are you, are you guessing what great. I'm getting ready to say? Nah. nah. <clears throat> right. So um, everybody have a, has a level of, of where they are in their life, right? And we can't go around and, and putting out feelings on a person and, and say we should cancel a person because they made one mistake. Will is that person. Yes, he has toxic ways, and that's why he's attracted to Jada. But at the same token, he has done a lot of great things, and he don't come off as this street person. I want to be tough. I'll put hands on everybody. So just because he made a mistake in your head, it's, it's like, at, at this moment, are we realizing who he was and who he was in that moment, or are we placing that moment on who he was? I think he's, I agree with you, but I think he's very aware of his, um, his perception, the world's perception of him. Mm. And I think that's the reason why he did it. He was calculated about it. So, okay, I'm going to bark at him, base at him for a little bit. And, and then go up there and I'm going to, because he, he got close enough. And ain't no I mean, telling what was mind, in his He could have said, no, I ain't going to do this. That's okay to do. It's okay to say, you know, it's okay to draw boundaries. He got up. Whenever you decide to draw boundaries. So if I sat there and let you talk about me crazy for 10 years and I woke up today and said, you know what? Enough is enough today. I set a new boundary and you're not going to do this. I have the right to do that. Okay, but you didn't catch me no other time. But that's what I'm saying. I have the right to set a boundary whenever I decide to set a boundary. Okay, a public platform. If I feel like I'm, was it? I don't I, think he was thinking about that though. He was just hold, he, hold, he, hold, he hold felt like it, because he Please. felt like he was getting embarrassed in public. You know what I'm saying? He felt like he was getting embarrassed in public platform. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he just took it took it at a public platform. You know what I'm saying? So he's been getting like, the thing is, and I could I can understand more and more even though it's wrong. But he's been literally not doing nothing all his life. Everybody been <laughs> bashing him, getting on him by him and his wife That's and all that stuff. Yeah. And it's the one time he just really cracked now. And I guess, like I said, he's a human. He and he ended up doing it. But he, even so though he Chris was wrong, didn't know but, he was going to catch it. Chris yeah, was, was so, I was Chris was like, he, he was so surprised. Oh, so, man, I didn't know this dude had problems with me. 
So let me ask a question real quick because I keep hearing that it, it was in the public eye. So nobody in this life has ever fought in the public eye. I have. <laughs> yeah, no. but we're not, we're not public citizens. We private citizens. But but okay, even still, just because we don't got he that made many eyes on us. But that's the same as like you it's fighting public, in front of though. your family, you fighting in front still of your public. Family, fighting Something in front of an audience you know that saying? matters. <laughs> Fights. And you never ever disrespected somebody in, in thoughts of where it's like, okay, I may have taken something wrong and you went off and you went off on the person or you put hands on the person and realized at that moment I should have never did it. Yeah. Right, right. I want you. But I'm just saying this. This man is paid to be funny. He's a comedian. Yeah, he's out. He's doing his job. He more than a Will I already did his you. job. That's why he about to receive an award. You we know? get where you're going, but it's the I want to cancel somebody based off of one incident. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. That yeah, is. He got issue. up. He got up. He got up. And then holding him because he had to continue making money instead of taking a pause just to realize some things. Like just because you don't take a pause in life, don't mean you don't sit back and realize what you may have done and take that opportunity to move better. I understand what you're saying, but yeah, then I'm he wanted sure he to get he wanted to get black favor by doing a, a black movie. So he's like, okay, I gotta get a back. black movie. First off, do you want to cancel him because he's a bad person or because he did a bad thing? No, I, I look, look. Be honest with you, I'm all right with the dude. I don't care, you know. But I'm just saying, right is right, wrong is wrong. That's yeah, how everybody has right and wrong in them, so that's, yeah. we can't act like that. We can't. That's the thing. And yes, he. I'm pretty sure he's paying for that. And you know, what I'm saying it is what it is. He, you know? But he but was confident like enough saying, to do a movie uh, where black folks will support. So he's not what supposed movie to do didn't anything. Black folks support that he did though before the smack. What movie didn't we support? Because I, I be honest with you, I didn't watch his movie. I don't watch his movie. Okay, what? I'm not that invested in the man. Like you know what I mean? Like he don't do nothing for me. Like I said, I'm from Philly. He said, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't came back and fed us. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I ain't see him scooping nothing. And he ain't give me a meat and two sides. Okay? <laughs> oh, right. I was about to say, so oh, how... So here goes somebody <laughs> starts how, how the most. Bill Cosby, you no. know, like, how wrong does it get when you cancel somebody? So Bill Cosby, R. Kelly... Yeah, like, that was wrong. That was wrong. Those are like way different from this situation. I don't feel like right. Will Smith should be canceled because of this situation. But when you get into like people doing stuff, like yeah, not even them, because what they did was kind of wild. But like Chris Brown, and I went hard for him. By the way, just so you know, um, Bill Cosby, I went hard for Bill Cosby because, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm from man. Philly, and I didn't want to believe. Really those allegations and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? When Beverly Johnson and all them was coming out, I'm still telling myself, nah, 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 I don't believe it. I'm not Why? trying to hear it. Why would you, you know tell I mean? yourself not to believe it? Because he was, you know, he's a, he's a black man that made it. You know what I mean? He's America's dad. You so know? Why don't you I respected him. You know what I mean? We all respect this man. So why don't you have that energy for Will Smith? He is a black man who made it and made one mistake. You had people, several people coming out throughout the years saying that these men have done something outrageous and not for nothing, R. Kelly, there was proof that people chose to ignore. There was a whole video, a whole entire video that we just said, you know what? Nope, still, we still gonna believe it. We're still gonna give him the benefit of the doubt that they are good men. Why isn't Will getting the benefit of doubt? That well, because, because Will because took it, made a choice and took it upon himself to be villainized. He wanted the truth is Bill Cosby gave away turkeys, turkeys in Philly because it's more Bill Cosby gave away turkeys in Philly and Will Smith didn't get two meats in the side. That's, <laughs> that's that's what it all started. That's, that's what I'm right. pretty sure. I didn't get my meats in the side. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hitting. It's like because 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 Bill Cosby gave and you know that he gave and Will Smith didn't. Because that's all I'm hearing. Because Bill, uh, according Bill, was associated with doing multiple people harm, and he did it over many a years, according to uh, what people what the women have said. But here it is: we have Will Smith that committed one issue, and it's canceled him. 
So is it really just because? Okay, I'm gonna say you know what I'm, I love Will Smith. Now you him, love man. Will Smith. You just ain't care about that man. <laughs> I know, right? Y'all, y'all, y'all made me, y'all y'all made crack, me see you know, the light. Huh? I'm being nice. I'm going to be nice to Will Smith. Will Smith, you get grace from me. Now, I apologize, Dre. You you was trying to make a um a comment about uh, Chris Brown. So what, what was you going to say about him? Oh, I wasn't making a oh, comment no. about Chris Brown. Honestly, I ain't never look at that man the same. But that goes to each his own and canceling. Like, as a woman, I just did it. I just, I couldn't get with it, but I didn't go too hard with it because Rihanna didn't go too hard. She wasn't acting like a bad woman too much. Like, she kind of forgave. You know, I'm not going to say... Ain't no kind of. She went back to that man. I'm not going to be more angrier than that. the victim. Like, that wow. I'm not going to do. Wow. I am not going to be angrier. But that's the typical, though, of, of someone who is in that type of relationship. It's typical you if you don't, it, it's so typical if you don't like date this. somebody else that you claim that you love. But you don't date several men after somebody and then go back. And then fight for him, and then leave again, and then date several people after that, and then go back. No, that's not common. So, do you believe that uh, Rihanna should have took some blame in that? Well, if he, if he just says accountable recently, for, for for what happened, in that held, for me, I held the whole thing accountable on both sides because one, if you in a car with me, and just because you you uh, you seen something you don't like, you don't grab my wheel. You kill your side of the car, not the whole car. Like <laughs> that's, that's one thing. So <clears throat> I hold both of them accountable. One, she shouldn't have been trying to jerk the wheel just be, just because he was doing what he was doing and she ain't like it. And two, I hold him accountable because for me, it's like I would have hit the brakes and put you out the car instead of putting my hands on you. So both of them were wrong in that instant. Wait, so what story have y'all heard? Because like I said, I just heard a recent story they just I came out with. This one too. lady was telling the whole thing. Her stuff sound, sound, but it kind of sound believable too. You're saying that? That? Well, it got a lot to deal with. No, I heard yeah, you know, you know that the reason why that had transpired is because he had learned that he just freshly got an uh, STD from her, like, and yeah, that's that too, when, ooh, you know, and he had his first outbreak that's while, like, at that party. That's not fair. That's not fair. So I don't, don't know do that, that to Rihanna so like that. I don't even this. like her like that. But that's not fair. Come the on. The only the that only hurts. fact the only fact is that that I do know is that he did beat her like he beat yeah. her that is the only fact that i know and i can only speak on that part alone so despite whatever she did it felt like his response was extreme i don't i'm be. not saying he shouldn't have had a response to whatever happened i feel like his response was extreme i put it this way i know she's not innocent it's no way a man gonna do that and she not she didn't do nothing it's something to that That's be just so, so women are really did. essentially the provokers no, the I'm pretty sure it was more than that. And they like they said, they had that little saying about the the the, uh, the H bomb. You know what I'm saying? So that could be possible too. That's the only way to explain Ooh. something about somebody getting messed up like that. But you don't think Chris Brown is a bit of a hothead? Yeah, an arrogant hothead. Probably. Probably. Yeah. I heard. I know he was young. He was about 17, and she was. But about, that, that yeah. means what? Somebody's supposed to tread lightly around him or something? I, I mean, what? Who knows? So they just, don't know the full. There's just so much stuff going innocent. on. That's why I don't really want to put deep in I'll say he's not innocent. Yeah, neither, neither one, one innocent. Neither one of them was innocent. It's just All the right. fact, the only fact that we do know is that he beat her, which means that his actions just might have been a little and, too extreme. And think yeah. about it. And he's smart, and they're both smart people. He knew that this young lady had a beauty contract. You trying to play with my money. You know how I make my money. She played with him. You, you was trying to destroy me in that moment. And she had to really sit with that. While he's doing bubblegum bubble gum commercials. I know he I don't know about the bubblegum commercials, but that man was making hella money. He was doing okay, but not like her. You sure about that? I'm sure about it. Women make good money in the business. They yeah, I ain't saying they don't. That, but that time, I, they both was kind of like leveled out. Like they right. both was, like, <laughs> both was on it. They both was making buku money. So I, I don't know about he wasn't even doing bubblegum commercials. <laughs> he was on the chitlin circuit. 
if, if that's the case, then I need to go do bubblegum <laughs> commercials. If if that if that's the type of money you can make off a of bubblegum commercial, I need to step in that day. What you talking about? Spearman. What you talking Big red. I need to step in that day. Yeah, but we are, we are, if you know what, it, for me, it seems like we're just a, we are truly a forgiving people. We are. We forgive we're not anybody. that forgiving. <laughs> yeah, we really not. You know, we we are forgiven. We are forgiving no, people. Nah, quit. Ain't we no, ain't no, we, 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 we just like, don't act like it's not. You ain't just dipping no holy water out of you nowhere. Quit it. You don't got to play it all. We can see you switching the middle We are forgiving. We Together, we still hate Every, if I if I can say uh, most of us in here hate still hate a cousin to this day. So, <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Until they bring their meat in two sides, okay? Yeah. Like I ain't trying to slip that in. Nah, we we don't need to get that. We ain't trusting that food. Like, <laughs> You know, damn way well, you going to slide that thing off in the trash can. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't that's know why if your we house came, is clean. That's why we came up with you don't eat at everybody's house. That's right. Because <laughs> if I got to wash my cup because it had roaches in it, and I, I don't want it. Right. I don't want we, it. We ain't forgiving it. Hell no, we ain't forgiving We, we do overlook some things, but we ain't forgiving <laughs> Yeah, that's our problem nowadays. That's what I preach on. Like we we are not as forgiven as we want to be forgiven. That's the problem. We want to right. be forgiven, but we don't be forgiven. That's just so weird. Uh, maybe we do hold like our you hold Greg. celebrities. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Maybe I hold. Yeah, but you, I'm just saying in general. I think that he we like, hold our <laughs> celebrities at a certain standard, and I think we idolize them. I don't idolize these folks. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know they're human. Beautifully human. I do know we make mistakes. Nah, you were just making Will a robot like two seconds ago. Like, well, you were switching it up. <laughs> I, mean, like, on. I wasn't doing them like that. I'm just you saying, was like, you doing know. my man like that. I had to stand strong for my man. Like, you certainly that was my did. brother just now. Like, you <laughs> <laughs> <had to go. laughs> well, you was okay, so we, gonna forgive, we gonna forgive. We gonna forgive. <laughs> we gonna we gonna forgive Will. And Chris Brown, we're gonna forgive you, R- <laughs> and forgive me, <laughs> and forgive R. Kelly, Let's just Bill be Cosby. You know what I'm saying? That's you know what I mean? We forgive them. Like, nah, I don't you know, know about saying. the R. Kelly. I'm, I'm, not, I'm definitely not forgiving R. Kelly. Y'all can have that. Oh, any actions towards kids, I don't forget that at all. Mm-hmm. I feel you on that. Oh, I don't like him. I don't like them children's parents. Y'all can right. have that. And then he married Aaliyah. Aaliyah parents knew about that situation too. Mm-hmm. You know, they signed um, the consent. I, I, you know, I feel like because Aaliyah is unalive, pe- people hold Aaliyah to a certain standard that I just don't believe is really true. Like, because I don't think she was innocent. And not to say, like, wow. R. Kelly should have been because she was a child nonetheless. But I don't think, I think she was a fast child. Treya, when are you are taking up for the fellas? No, I'm not. You gotta take up, up for the, the sisters. The I'm, women, I'm come on. I'm really on it because when you look I at it, she not only for both not, sides, both she, she, wasn't, yeah. she was dressing alike with R. Kelly. They was dressing as twins. They was being cute at the interviews. Okay, they was. She was being grown. It wasn't. It wasn't getting uh, like. Uh, nah. And then not mm-hmm. only that though, she was she. she Dame Dash, how old is Dame Dash? Right, right. How so you trying to tell me Aaliyah was no different old, from the other girls that R. Kelly was messing with? Other men that they said At she this dated. point, I can agree with with somebody say y'all might be victim blaming if she was still a child. I'm not. I'm not saying that she wasn't a victim because she was a child. The way the story be is being told was that she she just didn't want it at all, and she was being forced. I don't know. I think she was attracted to um, a talented man that so had access. Man? You know? So, and Roman is a thing. 
I talked about this yesterday about accountability. You know what I'm saying? So I get that. You know, they got the saying with the victim blaming and shaming or whatever. So say if I'm going to use the same thing I used yesterday, because no matter what age or not, or you say you ain't got the brain or you wasn't smart enough, I was young and all that stuff. You're going to get held accountable no matter what. So I said, say if they, if, if she was, you no know, mess with him at a young age, 16, whatever, and he, you no, know, or whatever that. And, man, interrupting cock blocking phone? Uh, uh, so say if they did it and then he, she got, uh, end up getting AIDS or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no turning back from that ain't no like i was young i didn't know enough you're going to still get it you're going to get held accountable because you made that action you know what i'm saying so you, it, it's no way we could be like uh we could just be like uh no nah, man i was just a kid i ain't you know what i'm saying i don't, I don't deserve this enough you still took that action you know what i'm saying no matter what like even if somebody crossed the street at the wrong time like you <laughs> you still accountable for whatever happened to you no matter how you look at it yeah you said so, young or not you should still like, held accountable you know I what i'm saying I think a lot differently with certain things because little, little, little story. So I was telling my daughter to fold up her dollar bills and she folded them literally in these tiny little flaps. And I'm like, girl, in, in my brain, I had to realize you did not understand what I meant by to right. fold your money in half. And so literally there's a lot of situations where we expect kids to know things based off of what they see, based off of what we knew as kids. Oh. Or based off of where you came from in the environment you in, but it's a lot of times it's men out here grooming women, grooming girls, and they're doing it by telling them they're pretty, doing it by you know what I'm saying just doing weird stuff, and so that whole thing they don't even teach you about, about you know not sitting on the man's lap and doing different right. things. It's like yeah. certain things. So I get where Dre may be coming from, where we don't know how Aaliyah really was, we don't know how right. her was prior to R. Kelly where she may have already had experiences with older men this might have mm -hmm. been comfortable for her or it could have been a situation wow. where he literally groomed her into the right. situation and you don't yeah, even realize sure. that it's happening you're like oh and the guy's like you're so pretty and he talking to you and you just being real gullible and innocent in this yeah. situation and you should know that you shouldn't be laying down with somebody so right. in that point that's that thin line of, I guess, where you talking about Kevin of being accountable for. I know I ain't supposed to be doing this, or literally, has this person made me feel like to the point of I'm giving you my body? Like I don't even understand that, and I'm giving this man my body. Like, what does that even mean? Right. And we're How making many, good music together. Hey, you know that. Happens <laughs> How many people? Older, they don't the have to be a teenager. Industry. They could still be like twenty something, uh, maybe even thirty. You could still be gullible. That's why I said that age ain't like people is. We, we can use that, but then again, it's like some people that still got a teenager mind and at 30 something years old, and they still could be like, Well, you ain't know no better. Like, what age do you start being, you know, accountable of knowing better? You know what I'm saying? If you can, you got the guts. I'm just saying, but we don't know how that went. You know what I'm saying? It could have been the you know, obvious way that it got charmed or whatever, and that's something my like point. that. Like, I feel like the, the type of way they try to present it is it be given, like, I don't know if. Aaliyah is just what they say in Aaliyah was like I don't I don't know. I see what you're saying, but I don't know. I think that's kind of name odd. one person they talk bad about. Somebody put down eighteen though. in the comment. Eighteen don't mean that you're gonna have a grown I mind. Feel like, that's what I'm I saying. Feel, eighteen I is what the like law told us. Oh, okay. I feel like when certain celebrities become unalive, they get put on a higher pedestal. They were talking good about I'll her before she okay, before right she was, <laughs> They was talking good about her before she got on a live. Thank you. Yeah. They were talking good, but who's to say what was going on behind closed doors? Who's to say by the time if she was still alive today, would would there be secrets that would be popping out the woodworks? Would there be things mm. that would be happening? Ooh, we honestly don't know. They definitely would have been popped out the by now. What they wanted to portray for her was that she was an innocent girl. They put out there, especially back then. They did control the narrative of how the persona of these artists were. Which is which yeah. is after somebody the pop okay. okay. so, so, you know, uh, so that's how you feel. Uh, yeah, that's how she feels. Okay. She and it's cool, okay. but uh, people talk about people actually pull up bad things about people even after they underlie. Okay, I get you. On yeah, that too, right. I see. Yeah, because they could still look up stuff to this day. So. <laughs> right. I know, but there is a certain level of respect we're supposed to have for the dead. Uh, uh, I don't think so. Like dealing with Hollywood, it ain't gonna no be <laughs> they, 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 they gonna still try to send you to jail in your grave. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's that's crazy, right? right. Yeah, that's awful. He's still got Nigga, yeah, look at how so. <laughs> look at what they did with uh, Martin Luther King, and he's been gone how long? <laughs> oh yeah, right, right, right. 
So I mean, it's still, it's, it still does not negate the work that he's done. <laughs> Nope. Like oh, you I'm said, he's about, still I'm a, not a saying flaw. nothing about the work that she's done. I, I, no, I'm talking about if 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 she did have some some bad situations, people would bring it up even after her after I she. Get you. Uh, yeah, I get you. That's all I'm saying. But, that's what I'm yeah. saying. They talked about Billy Holiday being a drug addict, and now whole yes. movie we see how they, you know, how she was portrayed. I think, you know, we do. And per us, regular people, we didn't know that was happening. We and not us, but you know, the older oh, crowd was entertained. They had no idea what was totally happening. So we don't know what was going on. She could kill Aaliyah could have been a little crackhead or something or doing a little something on the side. Oh, you, know? you really put that out there. You really I hope put that, that out there. You know, I love it. Them. The audience yeah. is gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not say crack? Oh my god. Sorry, see yeah, hey. Black, black. Poor Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm done now. Right? Hold on, hold on. What did Whitney Houston oh, no. say? Okay, no, that's a whack. Okay, so Aaliyah's saying the same thing. That's a oh, whack. My. <laughs> I hope she ain't taking that far, but we don't know what she had going on. <laughs> that's awful. It portrayed her as Not a princess. the glass pipe. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what she said. Yeah, 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 that's Oh, yeah, we the you went in order. You went in order. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just oh, so. talking from Aaliyah, though. You're from your area, Kev, so what would they be like up there? Just say it again. What's up? Is she from She from where you at? Oh, uh, Aaliyah? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I believe no, so. I can, I can see it. She's not innocent if you talk about my area. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know what I'm saying? We don't know. There's not anything possible, man. You no, she grew up in the industry, so you know she's but she's been around adults, you know, most definitely helping even, her with her career. That's even worse. I just saw something about P Diddy and Usher the other day, and I was like, hmm, they just all mingling and mixing. I don't believe it. Whoa, well, man. he didn't do nothing with him, but pre he presented him to like you know just some grown stuff at a young age, which is very much believable in that industry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, like they be having parties and all kind of stuff. And the only reason I can like for sure stamp this is because I got friends like on the cusp of the industry. That's like I can't go that far into it, but I'm here with it, and this is what they presenting. Yeah. Networking events. Yes. Yeah. You ain't doing certain things. You were invited. Don't come very much. Wow. That's right. Back in those days it was a lot of a lot of that stuff going on. It's not to say everybody indulged in it, but there was a lot of some stuff going on. <clears throat> right. Right. A lot of people didn't make it to a certain level. They they still was able to make their money, but they wouldn't make it to a certain level if they didn't entertain those those type of situations. Uh huh. Not entertain. Uh. Yeah, like it's clubs and stuff that they mentioned, and I know uh -huh. I, was talking, but different uh so called religious groups out there like cult yeah. stuff, and they. That's how you kind of get pushed to a certain position, and but but our people though, like black people, yes. Like and we they, got we got enough. We got more sense than that. Like you know, all. even like Lapita, when she was involved with the whole what's his yeah. name, yeah, yeah, was involved with him. You know what I'm right. saying? The thing that they was able to get out of that situation, but it's a plenty of people, producers and directors, that's involved in some weird stuff. You hear Raz B right now. Raz B, you know, he trying to tell his life story right now. Yeah, it's crazy. That's crazy. Ain't that the one that you talking about, Martha Houston? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you, I don't know. I'm surprised. Folks is talking more nowadays. I'm really surprised at that. Like, when did we start doing that? Like, when did we start talking? When technology start coming out and stuff. When a when a lot of us was raised by mothers. <laughs> I'm just being honest. It, right, it, it, right. I think also when we started realizing when you when because I know I was raised by the generation that kept telling me 
what goes on at home stays, you know, stays at yeah, home, yeah. which allows you to keep a lot of stuff in that you honestly shouldn't have kept in, but you've been told your whole life, you better not tell the business that goes on outside these doors and stuff like yeah. that. Now we finally get a chance to, you know, speak on what we've been through, speak on what we're feeling, speak on what we want to go through. We're right. speaking it now. Right. Who's, tell who's telling that? And then I wasn't saying it as a shot. But a lot of our mothers have experienced their mothers, their mothers and fathers doing some stuff and stuff happened to them. And then a lot of mothers tell their children, like, look, it's okay to talk. Say it. Speak up. Uh-huh. You're going to do more than just uh. Yeah, it's a different time. I mean, kids are called, called the cops on their moms and dads. Man, that's so scary now, right? <laughs> you talking about some cops? You want me? Yeah. The, 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 you little, the little boy, the the little boy, boy that underlived his mother over a game, sister. Oh, the game. <laughs> oh, my. Go past like, that, man. They they on him, and he was like, are my games still okay? Like, the connection uh. is wild. The disconnection is wild. Mm -mm. We going past calling the cops, man. It's virtual world. Uh. And you know the thing is, even about with that, like most of the time it'd be the parents' fault why that kid ended up being that way anyway. You Wanting know, to be so unbothered all the time. You gotta be scared of your kid now because uh -huh. you know, so they're scared of them. Entertaining yeah. raising the children. That's when stuff like and that happens. With them. But it's also, come on, like keep that. in mind, I mean, some of these parents was really abusing their kids. I mean, those yeah. whoopings, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was one of them. You know what I mean? They, just be, they, they too rough like, on you don't their have kids. To really whoop your kids. You just got to be on their head with everything, you know? You ain't got to really whoop pop them. is all right here and there? One good little slip pop. Let me know <laughs> what's happening. A little too often. Yeah, they, I mean, they was having, like, come on, like the Jacksons. You know what I mean? They was getting belts and, you know what I mean, like sticks and all types of stuff. Like, they was rough on the kids. Yeah, a lot of children were up, up being abused. I mean, th that's been going on for a long time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Lola Mother, Lola Mother used to comb her head. That was abuse itself. Woo, Lord. Uh. Kitchen was pow pow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is your bed. That's something. Especially when she started to comb her back. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> so, I mean, what is it? Was it to groom us, to raise us rough? Yeah. It's because that's what we've been taught for generations. You know, the people who took us from our place, they taught us that you have to beat them to keep them in place. So we 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 stuck with that. How uh. do you keep them in place? You beat them. Because that's what we were taught from the beginning of our time being over here. Uh. Yeah. My little brother needed but, that. Like, where is, like, the thin line, though? Because, like, it's, it seems like it's getting worse because they're not, it don't even seem like they're getting chest tires as hard and the kids get even worse and they mm -hmm. more than exposed to know and exposed to most. Like, that junk is Because wild. the exposure is different now? Yeah, it is. It is. Some of these kids need And the parents are getting more lazier. They letting yeah. technology raise their kids. But more. also, I think the parents be labeling their kids too early. Like, they'll label the girls fresh. Don't be surprised. And you label the boys bad. Don't be surprised. <laughs> You're right about that, yeah, and that put that in their mind, then that's what they try to use that to, um, you know, justify why they're, they're that way, and then they're going to be coming that way because you're justifying yeah. it and not doing nothing to correct it. Thank you, and then you throw in parties when they come out, Oops. recording it. I was talking about that earlier, they recording the kids and stuff. I'm like, nah, that is nothing cute about that. Oh, he cuss, <laughs> you see my little kids talking about what the no, I'm like, no, nah, come on, that is not funny. That's not funny That's at so all. so backwards, you know? And I mean, we got white white teeth folks laughing at us. Like, this is the wild stuff. <laughs> look, how they, look how they raise their little bad. Thank you. They so ignorant. Ignorant. That junk, that junk is crazy. And then want to be like, why they... That junk, man. Mm -mm -mm. Um, friend, what's your name? Because I don't really want to call you by your TikTok. Oh, oh Anson. It's Anson. Say it again. Anson. Anson. Yes, you got okay. it. You got it. Because you know TikTok be 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 sensitive about the things we say, and I was surprised about it. I didn't know that, but see, I have a blog. That's my blog on Instagram. I'm a nightlife blogger. Okay. Yeah. So that's the reason why I'm on TikTok to kind of like. Oh no, Alec Wayne okay. here. I'm triggered. Mm -mm. Don't do don't do my sis like that. Just watch it when you talk to her. Hey, Nick, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, I'm going to tell you this one Just time and one time only. Oh, right. Don't do don't my come sis. Here. Nicki Minaj, I'm going to tell you. Don't, don't do don't me don't neither. This way. Don't do me neither. Let's put, hold up. 
that's what you she can said. Take that pink, take, take that pink reloaded a couple albums down. Ooh. Chill out. Ooh. Yo, did y'all catch that um Shaka Khan interview? She was yeah. really coming at them all. I ain't mad at her. She's an Aries. I get it. Oh, Ooh, gang gang. I'm telling you, we're a little rough. Oh, you are we're, so deep in I'm an Aries time. too. April 2nd, we're rough. What do Aries do? Willow. Oh, yeah, Aries. we're a little bit. Forward, our mouth you know? is, yeah. Uh, where our tongue is kind of like, <clears throat> our, our, our tongue is treacherous. Yeah. But we Aries hate them. us though. They the man they got the they got the worst tongue or something out of this stuff. I no. think so. It's, it's fine. No, no, they no don't. I think Capricorns are the worst. Well, Aries got the Scorpio. Aries got Scorpio a slick Scorpio. mouth as far as everybody else goes, except for one sign they can't stand. Who Aries? Yeah, which one is that? Pisces. I have not dealt with a no, Pisces. No, I, I like Pisces. No, I'm talking it about when it comes to your to be over. Oh, okay. When it comes to, like, okay, so this is the thing about Pisces and Aries. Aries can talk anybody in the corner, but Pisces is super <laughs> petty. Pisces is super petty, so we match energy. And then it's like, hold up. I'm not going to take you going to another level. <laughs> See, Aries, you don't solo no so we don't even be caring about what's around. Just be like, look, I'm all the... Put right. this fire on you real quick, and I'm done. Yeah, that's true. That is so true. We cool off real quick. We hit you, then we're you done. Be like, oh, you were still mad about that? Right, you right. Were, Come on, let's go eat. Was... <laughs> no, I finished that joint like last you week. My sorry, feelings. my bad. What's up? I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Yeah, that's us. That's that's us. I'm the thirteenth sign. You know what, Sagittarius? I can say Sagittarius. Their tongue. They yes, hit I'm too. a Sagittarius. They they hit too, but theirs is kind of like because they have fire sign also. It's kind of like short with it, like like that. Y'all think Pisces are emotional? Pisces, you you when you come across a Pisces, we take in so much. We allow you to do a lot, and then when we start to show emotion, it's because we're trying to stop from saying talking to you and talking to your soul. So that's why you think most of Pisces are emotional. We can get super petty, and before <laughs> we get petty. We get into our emotions because we don't want to treat you as petty as we want to. Oh, well, and, okay. and then respect. and I then do. when we get petty, it's like double the petty that you can ever do. I don't really know many Pisces. Uh, the Pisces I know are very much choosy, like on who they want to be around. So mm. I, the couple of Pisces I know, they're very like clingy, but in a good way, clingy. But they're very like they attach to me pretty much. Like I like I picked you to be my friend. I like you. I don't know about everybody around you, but I like you. And oh. so that's for me yeah, what I, I get with Pisces. Like so it's like a pick and choose kind of thing. I don't know. I, I, I don't really It's, it's like that because like my my girl, my girl's like, she she has this open heart and she loves people, but I'll I be like, that's your friend. That's my man. So I'll try to be cordial with her, but at the end of the day, I'm really trying to see if you're really a good person. I don't care what nobody else say. I have to have a feel for you myself. So I'm yeah. picky as hell. I stay to myself most of, mm-hmm. most, most of the time anyway. I'm going to have to get into Pisces. I don't know not, not enough about them like that. Now, I'm going to say right. this. A, a, a Pisces that has been through too much can be toxic as hell. Uh-huh. Super toxic. Uh. Uh. And so you got to get on with their spirit is clean. Pisces. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Pisces. Man. They will tear your whole world down if, if they if they ain't did no type of healing whatsoever. Uh. Can't she name like a thousand times? I was gonna say something about Scorpio. Scorpio, those like my like that, those my ride down. <laughs> like I do bad stuff with Scorpio. No, nope. so. they yeah. do for me. Easy, but you can get in. You can get in with a um a Scorpio. You can get in, but then you got to find a way to get into something else and to find a way to get into something else. And they too secretive for me. It's like they'll they, hit they, they, towards they, something and then you'll ask them a question and then they'll act like they never say nothing to you. <laughs> because cause in their mind, they think that they can outsmart you. They're trying to, they're trying to work <laughs> right. you. Know? Right. 
<laughs> so, man, and it's hard to do with it. One thing about us Pisces is we, we feed off of everybody else's energy. Uh huh. Oh. <clears throat> so, I got to buy the microphone. I, don't like this I could tell something wrong with you or something going on in your head, and it's like, hold up, what's going on? Because I'm feeling some type of way. Oh, nothing. I'm good. And then try to act as if everything is good, but like, no, I'm not stupid. Stop being stupid. Yeah. Well, but be, 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 no, but be quick to be in everybody else's business. Well, because they already summed you up. And that's what I kind of do like about Scorpios. They really get into you. They're somewhat quiet, but that's they Jesus. really get into you. Somewhat it's quiet. scary how much they I'm can a, get into I'm you. a big people reader. Yeah. It doesn't take me long. Yeah, I, I know exactly who somebody is within like 10 minutes of talking to them. That's why I was naming all these signs because I used what to study them. What sign Scorpio. Yeah, Virgos do that? Virgos are a different breed. Oh, I think you I got to talk to a Virgo directly because they, 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 they're different. Virgos hate us too. Oh. Virgos and um, Virgos think they the smartest thing to ever walk this planet Earth, and they never cancers, bro. Cancers, y'all. <laughs> Say it again. I don't think origin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they be like, let me pull up this fact in the dictionary real quick. I oh, hate wow. when you pull them wrong. <laughs> yeah, Virgos hmm? are wild. Like you never know what you gonna get with them mugs. That's that's. Now, the when it comes to cancers, I know it's a couple of like Daisu and Island. Cancers. I got a friend that's a cancer. They're not up here. So I don't know if y'all can answer in the comments. What is it about y'all that makes y'all go to that crazy age where they say like cancers is just them last people that you definitely don't want to mess with? Because like oh. my friend is so loving and I, I don't see that evil side when it comes to that relationship with her. I just can't imagine it. I'm like, you just so like Cancers nice. are either I overly emotional or emotional manipulated. Listen, oh. my daughter is a cancer, bro, and I'm telling you, we go to head. Oh. But she is the most emotional person I have. <laughs> her tongue hits. Not with me, because I'm her mom. Right. But she, look, she told the little kid at school, he was like, you're ugly. Well, she's not. She's gorgeous. And she was like, that's why you ain't got no daddy. <gasps> that's the emotional like, manipulated wow. part. They, they Sweet wanted... as she is. <laughs> she done cut this little kid <laughs> up. Nine years I old. Mean, I mom, that's why that. you ain't got no Gosh. daddy. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's crazy. But no, Pisces, when I say they're emotional, my homie is a Pisces and she's my bestie. Like, we've been friends for like 25 years. She is so like tree hugging. Uh, she loves animals. She will let. I gotta meet stuff. some Pisces. Yes, I they some Pisces in my life. I'm at. Yeah, yeah they That's... they. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you right now though, since I've known her, you know, don't don't mess with her though. Like she, <laughs> two two chick two chick jumped her. She whooped both of them, and you would have <laughs> never known it that she was like that. But she whooped right. both of them chicks and came up with like a little bit of a um. You know, fat lip, but them chicks was limping away. I mean, she whooped them. I was like, damn, girl. I didn't even know you had that in you because as a Scorpio, she seen me wild. Like, it don't take right. much for me to be like, what you say? But right. she literally, if somebody pops off, she'll be like, Y'all yeah, good anyways. Back is good. She'll be like, whatever. she was be like, you ain't nobody. Shut up. No, if they I'm, hit her. I'm going to tell the truth. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell the truth about us Pisces, right? So we, we are. We are fickle sometimes because in, in the area of we'll be your biggest peacekeeper. We'll try to keep the peace in your life. Yep. But let a problem come our way and we'll go full fledged. Oh, facts. We don't we don't want no peace when it come our way, but we want peace for everybody else. Because, <laughs> your defenders. Wow. Your defenders. That, are I, I like okay. that. Your protector. Yeah. Because my but whole... can I say this? Y'all Scorpios, oh my gosh, the sex is amazing. <laughs> I see why they like y'all. Until you get a pipe. Oh, until you get a pipe. No, oh, okay. but see, Mr. Aries, you know how we are. We are like magical, like yes. unicorns. So that, I can imagine the dynamic being like yes. how y'all are turn on versus us. Yes. Yeah, Aries are sexy as hell. I can say yes, that. Yes, we they, are turn Thank they, you. They're sexy as hell, but, but they are complicated. They're very complicated. It's like, um, they'd be intrigued by us a bit. Like, gosh, like, what can I? Now a lot of dudes will be like, "You a Scorpio?" Oh hell no! I'm like, "What the? What do I do? I ain't do nothing." 
Scorpio. Y'all Scorpio. Yeah. Very mysterious. I have yet to like, meet we, one yet. You have to really, like, you have to really fuel our brains, like, because we know how to fuel our bodies. You know what I'm yes. saying? We don't <laughs> know what that is. But if you not yes. get our brains and causing, a, like, some kind of urge of a chase or, like, yes. a, to be there. Yes. Mm, you all up on me calling me all day long? Mm-mm, stay uh, away. Uh, Believe me. Right. Not. We don't like that. I have yet to no, come across a super freaky uh, <laughs> uh, Scorpio, though. I, I've gotten... My, my last relationship was with a Scorpio, and I... She like, oh, you got to turn down a little bit for me. Oh, wow. One... <clears throat> so it's, it's like... Okay, so as a Pisces, we use our imagination to the T. Oh. So when it, it, we won't say it. Some of us will, but for the most part, we won't say what we are capable of until you get us into that mood. And next thing you know, it's just like, oh, my imagination goes everywhere, and I want to do a whole lot of stuff that you thought I wasn't capable of. Wow. And also, we pay attention to a lot of details. My homie oh. had a house in her house, and she picked... she. Caught it and let and set it free. I was like, bro, I would have smashed that shit into three thousand pieces. She was like, see, oh. you ignorant. Uh, but oh. no. <laughs> oh. yeah, and we get along though because she um evens me out. Anytime we go anywhere or do anything, if something happens, she'd be like, don't do it. Can she don't do it? Be right. quiet. Don't do it. <laughs> wow. I'm like, what? I ain't do nothing. That's why studio be on me. That makes sense now. That's why you no, be best saying, like I think they flourish to people that resonate with them. Like uh-huh. if they don't rock with you or something, I just yeah, feel like I they know. don't really gravitate towards you. Like they don't show any hate towards you. They just don't really show you them. And so then, like he's saying, like you end up seeing that them when you finally rock with a person that you feel like yeah. serves you kind of sort of whatever. Y'all are very particular on who y'all in y'all space with. I I right. agree with that. I oh, that's, that. why y'all don't, that's why y'all don't see me on certain lives shot. that y'all be on. I'm like, oh. I don't watch it. She gives people one shot. It's like a um, first impression. Uh-huh. And after that, she will treat you like you ain't even a... If you they cool with it. <laughs> yep, and they be mad as hell. I got a friend that met my... um A, a newer friend of mine, an acquaintance. And she met my homie. And my homie, you know, they, did, they didn't um mesh. Because the homie was trying to be like territorial and see my girl knows like we've been together kicking it for like 25 years. So she was like, I don't give a fuck about that girl. And uh, now look, my homie was in tears one day talking about, uh-huh. I don't know why she doesn't like me. Uh-huh. <laughs> and she acted as if it, it ain't even bothered her. She doesn't give a damn. She said it. I told her, <laughs> and I told my, my, my acquaintance, I was like, bro, that's just how she is, for real. She no, nah, she's doing that to be petty. She doing that she to be is, petty. She is. She is. I know she yeah. is. I know she is. <laughs> she's trying to hurt her feelings, and she and it works every time. She ignores the shit. Look, I was on the phone with her, and my homie, was my, my um acquaintance was over here, and she was like, hey, girl. And my homie didn't say shit. She like, why the fuck she's speaking to me? I don't fuck with her. Oh. And she was hurt. I was like, <laughs> she oh. was like, well, why is she? I'm like, she don't fuck with you, bro. Ain't nothing mm-hmm. wrong with that. She don't mess with you. I want to say, Aries, we are sensitive. Like, people don't think we're sensitive, but we are sensitive. We are so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so in our Super heart. Super duper. But be trying yes, to act like you know? y'all not. Trying to act like it, but don't. But let we them, don't cry behind. Close. We cry behind closed doors. We don't do we it don't. out in front. You know, what we I'm don't. Saying? We not gonna right. be out in public. Like, oh my god, no. We right. gonna, we gonna compose ourselves with the utmost. Yeah, we do. So we behind don't. closed doors, we gonna break you would down. Never know. Baby, I'm telling you, be depressed for like three days. You know what I'm saying? Right. My, be my with home for a little bit. man. <laughs> I have a dude friend. He's an Aries, bro. He talks so much, and you would never know that he talks a lot. Because, mm-hmm. you know, when you don't know him, he don't really say much. But me and him be on the phone for like three hours, bro. And he be oh. like, yo, this, that, and the third. And he's just always talking about something that's very emotional. And it's cool with me, but I, I you know, because I'm a listener. I listen. But, but I be like, yo. <laughs> you be getting on your nerves a little bit. Is he too passionate for you? He, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> See, I couldn't be in a relationship with him. No. Nah, because he, yeah, he, he, he's, he's very, uh, you know, he, he, voices his emotions very often and that's cool i'm cool with that but i could be no i couldn't be in a relationship with that that's too much 
And see, what that's why my cancer friend works so well with me mm-hmm. because at a time, a crucial time yeah, where I needed to communicate with my Virgo partner, which definitely wasn't working because Virgos are very much like closed on talking, especially when it's something that they don't care to talk about. So mm-hmm. I was like, I could sit and tell my cancer friend my story 10 times, it's the same damn story. And she listening to it as if it's the first time she heard it. And that made me feel so that's good. Sweet. It was yeah. like, I needed that though, you know? i'm saying so you got to find your people Mm -hmm. and your type sometimes for yourself so that way you can help yourself balance Mm -hmm. because we all we can be very emotion much emotional but it comes from our heart it comes from a deep place oh Oh, i'm about to upset everybody world gemini i was just about to say (laughs) (laughs) they can keep themselves (laughs) gemini is wild as hell Next topic. <laughs> everybody, where I'm tired of this piece, of Gemini. <laughs> Gemini. Okay. You know, you know, I like them, but you I are not a Gemini. I care them. They too. They, it's a gang. Like Gemini. Like, like I was like, gosh. And then of course, you know, Aries. I get hot. I'm getting tired of being around a bunch of Gemini's. I tell them. You know what I mean? I told all. I'm like, I'm Gemini's. You know I mean? Some of my best <laughs> friends are Gemini's. I ain't gonna hold you. Right, my best too. girlfriends are Gemini's, think, yeah. but the men. They, if you crying with me and more than me, no, thank you. Thank you. And I don't mean crying. I mean like if you're if you're whining and complaining yes. about things, why you it. ain't call me back? I can't mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, then, but then they be on to the next chick. Maybe. But then they be on to the next chick. See, Gemini's unfortunately, and not to say anything because I see no coffee. Says she's a Gemini. Is that a <laughs> is that a dude? I can't see. Oh, he's a Gemini. They can't be loyal. They can't be loyal. They, they got a hard time with that. They they might cry to you and be like, "Why you ain't call me?" And they'll hop off the phone and get on the phone with another chick. Why Somebody you ain't call me? Yeah, <laughs> that's Gemini. That's Gemini. My personality. Them Gemini's are wild, yo. Know? Like yes. stay away from them, mugs. especially if you are a water sign. Don't do it. You asking for trouble. I bet. Oh, but they say Gemini's and Aries go well together, but I don't see it because I tried it. I was like, I don't like this one. This one's getting on my nerves. Gemini's don't really go good with anybody, just like they say Scorpios don't, unfortunately. My ex-husband was a Capricorn. That was a rough life. Oh. That was like rough life. I mean, Very serious. He is, let me tell you something, that that Pisces part that um ignore you, act like oh. he don't give a rat's <laughs> behind when he yeah. mad. I'd be like, what the hell? How you say that? He'd be like, Psh. anyway. They are the they are the the top of ignoring a situation. Yes, they are. Facts. They Nothing are. really rubs them wrong until you really offend them personally. Yes. Facts. Yes. And it takes yes. a lot. And but then they annoying. explode. Then yes. they explode though, because they hold it all in. Yeah. And they go on. Yes. <laughs> they know how to wild like a bug. Yes. Yeah, they don't like being ignored by a Capricorn. Those Capricorns are rough. Oh my god! I, I don't know who, I would ever, I would, who I would be compatible with, I could not tell you. Like maybe, maybe Scorpio, maybe Aquarius. Again? I'm an Aries. Yeah, Scorpios and Aries get along to the extent to which there are no arguments. So if there's an yeah. argument, that's when it becomes a problem because the Scorpio is very like soulless when it comes to arguing with somebody who is emotional. It, it, yeah. it, if they don't argue back with you or they're more emotional to you, it's it's rough. It's like, you know, it's not gonna work. It, you you. It's, it's something about I think a it's an open it's communicator. Like they, take your, they take your body. It's like if you make love to a Scorpio, <laughs> it's just like it's like a weird spiritual experience. It's like it's like you want them all for you. That's how it feels. Like uh, uh-uh, this is too much for me. I've never had any complaints. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, hey. it's crazy. Said, never. <laughs> she said never had any complaints. Never. <laughs> nah. And 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 I don't talk about it either. It's not like I'll go out and be like, yeah, not braggers. I'm the it's best just... on the planet. Nope. But not I don't braggers. have no complaints. It's an energy. It's an it's energy, energy that you guys carry. Like that's why I say like some of my good girlfriends, like I resonate with them very well. And if you resonate with me, like in the means of I need excitement. Like right. fire signs can't really have dull moments. No, we can't. And if you can't. aren't creating new things and I have to do it on my own, I'm like, okay, this is boring. But I tell think, you, like, it's boring me. But with the Scorpio, and I'm still stuck on Scorpio, but 
with the Scorpio, they they like they read you, like they get to they take the time to get to know you. So when they got you in the bed, it's like I already figured you out. Oh, listen, listen. I told I told my ex husband when we first split up, I was like, I know I ruined you, girl. Yeah. Good luck, Good luck out there. And he, I listen, know. the way That's he true. acts, still, we've been we've been divorced for six years. He's still, you know, he he's still mad. Like, oh yeah, I know. I don't care who come up there and try to get in, you know, next. I told him, I said, I know you're ruined, sir. It's the I truth. Know. It's the truth. Scorpios, and, for me, it's Scorpio and a Leo. They got me. I was like, oh, you got oh, me. Oh, Leos. Leos. Yeah. Leos. Leos and Scorpios Leo together. Awesome. Bruh. Bruh. And, and I'm just talking about, you know, the, the intimacy. Yeah. Jesus Christ. But Whew. anything else, forget it. Anything else, communication, the attitudes, trying to mesh well, nope. But in the room, bruh, yeah. wow. Now, yeah. see, that's one of those situations where I felt if you had the right leader, it would be easy to submit. Because the Leos are strong leaders. Aries are also yes. very strong leaders. Leos so is when not you no have those leaders, leaders they, they are. They are. No, they, they are. Le are. Leos have a big bubble around them, and they show this big, hard exterior, but at the, on the yep. inside, they're really strong. Bubble as gum. Hell. Well, Bubble I would say that's why I said with the right person that doesn't have <clears throat> such an aggressive mentality of being a leader, but you know, you have the aggressiveness within you still, even though right. you might be that soft little cat, you still have that aggressiveness, which turns somebody on that needs that excitement. It's like, okay, you still have that sensitivity, but you still have that edge to you. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just got to be there. Let me tell you yeah. what Leos are. Leos are really, uh, they have a Virgo exterior with a cancer interior. Mm. Facts. And they fight or flight, they flight. They, they don't, <laughs> they will walk off. That's a ghoster. A Leo huh. will ghost the hell out of you. Yeah, they don't give a shit. Me. If, yeah. You could be with them One for like three years and they just stop talking to you. And I'm yeah, not saying it happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> One try one tried that with me until she realized it didn't bother me. And then next thing you know, she started crying. I'm like, I want him back. No, leave me alone. Bye. Absolutely. You know I, mean? I don't know. Leos are kind of cold. They kind of cold blooded. I'm sorry. They I mean, they are. They the, cold blooded. The with, with the way that they handle relationships, they yeah. are. Yeah. They the don't deal signs with in general, like it's very much weird. Like with Aries, y'all talking about. I don't know if it's all the fire signs because I don't know about Sag's Jerry. You can let me know this for you. But you talking about ghosting. I don't know if you want to call it ghosting, but I will completely forget you ever existed if I just don't yeah, have any. That's an Aries. That's we can, a be, yeah, in, yeah, we can be in mid-conversation and next thing you know, I'm like, yeah. And I don't really have no ills towards you. I would still say, hey, but my same feelings as it was when I was texting it the same. So yeah, don't that's approach true. me in that way. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And Scorpios do that too. Yeah, Scorpios do that too. Ghosting. When we're done, it's, it's a parent game serious. Yeah, I, I've had so look. Can I y'all tell me what an asparagus do? That's, what, oh, what? Aquarius? I'm done. Asparagus. An asparagus. Aquarius. What does asparagus. it do? Asparagus. <laughs> what is it? Asparagus. Oh. <laughs> he said asparagus. Bro, asparagus gets sauteed. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, they're yummy. When you saute them. Look, hold on. Wait, Daz will say that her. Oh, so you trying to say we saute? Taste. You come <laughs> out. Wish your mom, uh, Daz, your mama Aries? Or wish your mom a uh, sage? Yeah, her mom's a sag. I uh, listen. I will go to my family sometimes, and my brother. My brother. Me too. Said, I ain't oh, I've done it. Three weeks. I was like, "Hello." He was like, "I'm good. I'm just, you know, I'm like, I got you. We we cool. Long as yeah. I hear from." Absolutely. What you mean? Come from Aquarius, damn over thinking ass creatures. What you mean, Aquarius? Man, yeah. Aquarius ain't messing with an asparagus. We the true A's around here. Um, I don't know, they, they are very oh, wow. emotional. They emotional and sensitive and somewhat kind of whiny and a little bit like it's like I mean I like them. I think they all right. They cool. They cool. overthinkers. They, they think overthinkers. It's moment. like, gosh, are you, why are you still thinking about this? Like I'm it's totally past. I'm like, why they they question Aquarius, every, Aquarius they question every day. Why why is yes, the cool like, it, like that? Like, chill out. Aquarius were wild. Y'all know what else my sign like say too kids. about asparagus? Y'all gotta tap that screen and, and to give me the forty k. You know and to say shit a lot. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's your whole <laughs> day. Part of my sign. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, uh, um, Aquarius, they cool. They they cool. Well, they're very agreeable. What, yeah, what they I are. Mean, they're very agreeable. They they're chill. Uh, but if they don't, oh, if they don't boy, mess with you. Here. 
They don't will, mess with their babies. You, you can't mess with nobody they love, like at all. Right. Don't right. you say a thing wrong because they will literally tear you down beneath the ground. But they mm-hmm. also are shit starters. Let me say that. <laughs> they will and, and then walk off afterwards after they just started the shit. That's crazy. They get the party I, The ones I know be be the ones that be be rocking. But right. mm. I don't know about that. But I know they yeah, be dead. Is, they be ready. My wife is I mean, women and men are different when you talk about Aquarius, but my homegirl, like, my other bestie for 25 years, she's an Aquarius, and we rock. She's very, like, chill, agreeable. She don't do a lot of arguing and things, but uh-huh. if she starts some shit, she will leave me to it. She has <laughs> done that to me, like, five times. Like, shut up, bitch, and then walk home. I'll be like, bruh! Wow. And they just to rush her, and right. I gotta get in the middle, because she, like, <laughs> five pounds soaking wet. And I'm like, stop doing that! That's funny. That's and she still does it. I promise you. She still. We are in our forties. We're forty-two. Right. All of us are the same age. She still does that. She will start some shit and walk off and be done. And be like, "Oops." Anyway, you got that? All right. Oh. Let's go. What they do? The Aquarius, I know, be overthinking a lot of situations too. I'd be like, it wasn't that deep, but all right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, my wife Which, that. She overthinks a lot and it, it gets annoying sometimes. Uh, well, all right. Well, what about Taurus? We ain't discussed that. Uh, oh, here today is preaching. Taurus, <laughs> I met, are kind of cool, I think. Men, as far yeah. as men, like, I feel them to be defenders in a way. Um, I've never really dealt with one. Women, too, like, I think they're a step under Aquarius where they're not going to present. They about to punch your lights out until <laughs> and then until it has to happen, and then oh, it just happened. It ain't no words. <laughs> ain't no <laughs> words. <laughs> ain't no words. You just about to catch it quick. You caught it. Thought about you it. You caught it because you had to. Shout out to Kev being out of jail. I think I'm out of jail on my real page. I just thought about that. That's crazy. I just about that. Ooh, that's that's crazy. Crazy. We have a party now. That's, that's wrong. With so hold on, you saying as Aries, so so we busy fussing and they ready to fight you. Quick. They gonna shut you up somewhere. Who a Taurus? Yeah. No, see, cause even with me, I'm cool with like, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm that one that's cool. I think like what you said earlier, for me to sign that sometimes I don't get along with and it depends. It depends on what the conversation is. It just be with Sagittarius sometimes, like Sometimes we be on the same page and sometimes we don't. And it's the back and forth for me that I'd be like, all right. Most other signs just be like, I heard you and they keep it moving. But uh-huh. other than that, like, I don't, I'm I'm pretty much that cool sign. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how you are, but I just be trying to make everybody laugh. Yeah, me too. Be cool and me be too. chilling. But okay. when you mess with me in a certain kind of way, I have a whole other side to me that would literally have my friend saying, yo, I didn't even know that was you. And I was like, I didn't either. Right. So I got a quick interruption real quick before y'all start real quick. So if y'all could take the time because we'll be shifting real soon. I need y'all to follow Dazzle Diva that's commenting down there. You know. Uh-huh. It's my uh, co yeah. co host, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be either be in here or they be, you know, or you know, vice versa. So we're gonna probably shift over soon because she's going to her uh her um her bouquet, you know what I'm saying? Black Jesus, what's the deal, man? Oh, you yeah, find me on my other uh, page. What's the deal, basically. man? What up, though? You know, I got to hit you with that lingo, man. What's the deal, man? <clears throat> now, we just having fun with it, basically. But, yeah, everybody uh-huh. follow Dazzle Diva right now because we're uh, we going to be shifting over there real soon and stuff. So, what's yeah, the deal, man? Was... How you feeling, uh, uh, Black Jesus? What's what? funny Martin. is, um, <laughs> like, my rising sign is Scorpio. So... Once you start, like, digging into that stuff outside of knowing who you are as your own self and how you were raised, like, it responded a lot. I mean, it resonated to me on how I kind of, like, respond to certain things with my emotions. So my rising sign is a Scorpio and my moon is a Virgo. So I'm all kind of emotions and stuff mixed up in one. I I don't know. But. I can hear that. That's what's up. That's probably why you get along with. I just, I'm be cool and like long June piss me off. Yeah, yeah, I get along with most people. It's um, yeah. it's typically strangers that come for me that I have a problem with. Um, you know, my friends and family and things like that. I'm usually pretty cool, but um, it's and I and, and for some reason strangers always come for me, and I have had witnesses 
And I'd be like, it's not me, y'all. <laughs> and they'd be sitting there and they'd be like, uh-huh. yo, you ain't lying, bro. People be coming for you for real. I mean, what? look at how they do me on this app, bro. That's right. Oh. Let me drop out this box because I'm about to start uh, marinating some, my food for the night. I'm about to start marinating them ankles uh-huh. to make some sea salt later. Ooh, somebody <laughs> ready. They get ready. <laughs> You've been uh, hanging uh, around just... the studio a little too long. <laughs> yeah, but ain't nobody saying nothing ankles. about you. That's my <laughs> neighbor. He used to babysit my dog back in the day. Yeah, and I used to watch her try to marinate her box with that summer Z, but you got it. Ooh. Oh, come on. Ooh. Studio. Stop. <laughs> Don't be talking about <laughs> <in my> business. <laughs> Come on, you wild. <laughs> Marinate them. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, I'm be nice so you can stop getting on my back. I'm gonna go ahead and get you that monster right now. Oh. Oh my god. That's yeah, funny. Make sure you pick up that box of toothpaste while you're heading out. I'm about to head out, y'all, too. So it was nice chit chat with y'all this morning. I gotta go make yeah. some money. Yeah. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Thanks it for was nice meeting you. Leave. Follow y'all me. I'll follow you back so I can check out your blog and everything. Likewise. Likewise. Nice. Yeah, Lola, we already friends. Here. Box, All right. Yeah, I'm going to hop All in right, there buddy. later, though. Thanks so I got to help me about some money, bro. Marty, come up. Hey, come up in the box. Now, I want to see how you feel about the men. Because yesterday I had. Is he still here? You still here, Marty? I love the job on the morning. <laughs> I don't even know if he left or not. I know he's a busy man. I know he's running place by place. I want to see his uh his intake on on this topic. Um, Mark is in Doctor's No Jobs Live because I saw him in there. I saw him in there, but I could send him a message. Yeah. Yeah, he just came back in here. I just saw him join. Oh. No, Dr. Nozov kicked Mark me out of his live. I was done. He was like, you get off. Get the F off my box. I was like, oh, hey, Mark. He's there. Everybody, uh... Yeah, because um, Dr. No Job live ended. Sorry, I'm late. Okay. <laughs> right, give me a second. I'm a oh, mom. Okay. cheating on my life. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm a oh. mod for him. My bad. We cool now. We cool now. But he did throw me off he, his live. Don't go Do you remember Miss Lovely? And, and when have he, some of that, that smell of toxicness on you. Oh, when somebody threw said me my name. Sorry. Oh, somebody said my name. He cussed me out. <laughs> he cussed me out. I was like, oh my God, why? And then he made a post about me. I was like, Dr. No Jobs, I love you. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> we made up though. We made up. We cool. <laughs> we cool now. He's cool. He's cool. All right, Kev, I'm out. Oh, yeah, was, my boy. He said, "Stop snitching." <laughs> I can't. Wait, you still in here? <laughs> she leaves. I don't know. If she That's what her. I do. That's why I'm a Scorpio. No, I'm kidding. I'll holler at y'all later then. What's Who the topic? Who that leaving again? What's the topic? Oh, that, you said what's the topic? The same, same topic, but then it was going, you know, everywhere. It hasn't been on the topic yet. Anybody Mark, is topic. Mark is everybody. Mark is everybody's mod, Lord. Yeah, Mark is there, but it's just like um. <laughs> Tony be everybody mine. I'm probably seeing him. Right. Tony too. <laughs> Kev so positive. It, Nick told, it is Nick told all for cheating. Oh my. You got me reading. I heard him now. I don't know what the nit part that nit part got me. Kev is so positive. It is told all for cheating. Uh, I have a topic. Why do men hate natural women? They hate them. <laughs> yes. What the freak? Gotta keep order. Yep. Do they hate it? I doubt that. Why would somebody just hate something they don't know? You mean they hate the makeup? <laughs> no. Well, nat- you said natural woman. Hold up. Natural women. Natural. What the? Who the heck do that? That's crazy. <laughs> so many men. That's not the man you want. That's already you already messing up already. Don't you don't yeah. want the man that hate natural. I don't even wear makeup, so. <laughs> Yeah, I be seeing, I be, I be in people's like, like talking about why do, why do dealers drug, do, deal drugs? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm good. I ain't like, worry about that. I be in Kevin, there what's the and... idea of natural woman? Because I know what she, I, I know what Miss Love, uh, Lovely is talking about. 
Right? I, know. I, I was talking about what she was talking about. I'm saying a dude that hate a natural woman, that's not cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was agreeing with her. Because I, I was be actually like. I, okay. I said, I, I believe they don't deserve the time of the day. Who don't right. like a natural woman? <laughs> but, but you know, everybody's definition of natural is different, right? I don't know. Whatever their definition is, that don't sound cool. You know what I'm saying? To hate a natural woman. <laughs> you know what I'm like, talking about. Go ahead. Go ahead, Island Mom. Oh, I was going to say, for like instance, right? It's, it's this girl for TikTok, and we're just going to use her as an example, right? Mm-hmm. She doesn't shave her underarms, right? She let them grow out and be natural, right? That's still considered natural. As long as she yeah. wash her under armpits, she's natural, right? Yeah. So men would be at her comments like, oh my God, you need to shave that because you'll never get a man. Yeah. Like, Yeah, so why do that matter if she got a man? She does not have a man, but but she doesn't well, want one. So one that defeats the purpose. But what I'm saying is, what's your definition of natural? Because natural looks different for everyone. Like, just because you, you ask me personally. <laughs> but she's still natural, though. They want you naturally me personally, grown. you asking? Yeah, she want they want natural, oh, but that's what I'm saying. That's the uh, difference, though. Naturally groomed and natural. Yeah, I guess well, you can still. Be that's what I'm saying. I, I agree with both sides, but I'm saying yeah. natural will look different for everyone, though. Still, yeah, natural is different that's for everybody. Saying, yeah. yeah, that's true. I'm but they, they they have a thing against naturally women with hair everywhere and naturally grown women, but groom because I be in every different people's lives and the women be talking about how they don't like to wear weave and makeup and they still try to pursue a man and you know he doesn't consider them beautiful and it's like that's not the one they want either. that's the thing that's the problem with this world they pursue or they, they complain about the ones that don't want them what's the point of doing it because you're not going to make a person change so right, right. That's, that but that's why I you. said being natural is also a preference and wearing makeup is a preference because you have some men that don't mind dating women that wear makeup. That that makeup thing is a preference. Yeah, it's a preference to some people, and it's a preference. Yeah, that's what I'm people. saying. It's, it's still a preference, though. Thing to other people, you know, what I'm saying depend on. I don't who, disagree, who, but who I, you, definitely still a preference. <laughs> and of course, it's gonna be a preference to a person that's looking for sex or something like you're not looking sexy enough. I want you. You know what I'm saying? So, but for a, a man that's like looking for something real, um, or just everybody, everybody different. Like, some people just saying I want you to I just hope a man doesn't want me to be completely naturally hairy and all of that like if I don't that's a whole I don't want you to like that's kind of trifling I don't want you to stop I don't want to be like that (laughs) yeah I don't know if it's gonna be like that though because everybody I think everybody Mm -hmm. should still be growing themselves because that's more healthier you know what I'm saying that like clip your nails and all that stuff that that contains dirt that holds dirt and all that stuff and you know clip your hair down all that stuff you gotta you know, just keep up with it for real. No. You can do it. I mean, people can do it. It's just going to be a little harder to keep up with it. But uh, it's nothing wrong with grooming. At least it's still natural. Nah, I like to use my nair. But I do be seeing a lot of women in the summertime with hair everywhere. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Power it is them. what it is. Somebody want to set the power for to them. But, Drea, are you, are you in a relationship at the moment? No. And What's you still, you still, I, I, I try to understand grooming for, to me, is just, you know, cutting it up to a neat thing. It's not shaving it completely. So, I mean, you groom yourself however you see fit. Yeah, but grooming doesn't mean that you shave everything away, no? Mm, no, because, no. no? Grooming would mean, for example, uh, you when you wear a bikini up. that you I don't mean, see anything. You, you, you can shave everything away. It doesn't mean, I don't think it means either or. Like, you, you're yeah. grooming yourself to just be neat however you feel like neat is. Yeah, so that can be somebody who wants a strip landing or somebody who wants to be completely bald. Yeah. Okay, so that is personal. Yeah. yeah. Like me. I just, okay. You know, I clip the yeah, side. Groom- the top is still just. You know. Yeah, grooming is like a little, like you shave it a little, like you trim it. That's what bit. I thought. That, yeah, I, I thought that grooming was just make it neat, make but not shave it off completely. Yeah, I like. Don't come I in like here and do ball. one word and then leave yeah. another. It's like, no, I'm talking. What? <laughs> make this go Mark, the Mark was like, we're gonna make it easy. It's just like maintenance. Oh <laughs> <Right. laughs> well, yeah, we well, can use the word maintenance if if it's you know confusing some. But, just that, but that's why I said certain <laughs> words mean or uh, taken to other people differently. That it's, yeah. it's a word. You, you can interpret it differently, exactly. Yeah. 
because I think that's the whole thing, you know, that the natural mm. woman that, you know, might just um, do the maintenance so that nobody else outside sees that there is any hair, but there might still be, but she's not showing it, you know, that. So when you wear a bikini, that you just do the bikini cool. line. Maybe and... I can't put up with it. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? I probably might can put up with the hairy, but it takes some getting used to, though, just because, I don't know. I, I, I think it don't matter to me. Like, if I'm so in love and stuff, or if we really love each other for us, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to just sit there and break up with her because she's hairy everywhere. It's just I think it takes me some getting used to, though. But I, I, think I, think it's prefer, a, like, I think it's a fashion cool. thing, too, because... Um, there, there was a time where women weren't shaving and at that's all. That's when you call that a preference. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, there was a, an, an era in which we didn't shave at all. I wasn't a part of that era. Uh, me neither, but <laughs> I, I know that there was an era yeah, in which uh, women didn't stanky. shave. That was a stanky era. Yeah. So it, it, might, it might just change with time. I think that will always be always be a perfect thing. They don't wear deodorant. They just you know wash up. Oh, eel. (laughs) Yeah, natural. That's some real natural. You know what I'm saying? That is really natural. (laughs) About natural, (laughs) right? That that is that is diehard natural. (laughs) Vintage, yeah. Well, maybe that's vintage women. Everybody just walk out naked. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) I I kind of like. But there there are nudist communities though. Yeah, I, I, I think there are natural. groups of women that don't shave. But they're out there, though. They're not a lot, but there there are mad nudist community groups in the United yeah. States, though. Exactly. Yeah, I think throughout the world. I, and we have them here in the Netherlands, too. People that right. you know, really stick to the, 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 the really why, natural. <laughs> that's why the word preference is used so that, common, that, because that, everyone that, is... That, is what your with your ideal of natural or what what you expect out of your woman it if it, it it goes into what you prefer into your type of person you want to date marry or whatever like yeah. because yeah, if you want because people that are so called nudists to us it's unnatural right but technically we're born naked so that is technically a natural thing but yeah. your mindset tells you oh that's not normal right, so then right. you see what i'm saying then it goes back to preference yeah, that's absolutely. where preferences was created. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you prefer to put clothes on, but we need clothes. I, I mean, I hate clothes. <laughs> no, 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 I hate. You know, I, we were, I, I would definitely not leave the <laughs> hospital. Just gotta naked. Adapt. We were born naked, but we ain't leave the hospital naked. We put on clothes. You're right. I, that's but, what I'm saying. There's too much stuff going on. Like, I'm not about to walk out shoes with no shoes on. Short lived experience. The world not even natural no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like all types of stuff. You step on something, that's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying huh? the word. That's why the word preference started being created because it's it's what you prefer. What it's you prefer, I prefer, you prefer to, to be on the line. I would, I, I would prefer to leave the hospital naked. Like I, I, I so well, you gonna walk saying. on this this unnatural earth? <laughs> and step okay, but let's make, let's make it for? like let's make it closer to home. If you had a choice inside your own house, would you walk around naked or with clothes? I, I, I like, wear I like clothes more, because I, it's true. Sometimes it's cold. <laughs> Are we not naturally okay. adapted okay, to this world? When it's, so I do when it's not cold. <laughs> oh, okay. Naked. I, I, I like less clothes in the house, but I like clothes. Some clothes do feel good, though. I guess. I don't know. It just depends, I guess. Naked is depends on how hot it is. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> let's say, right. let's say it's, it's, a, it's a good temperature. Just bucket naked. <laughs> Right, but naked. Naked. Back and naked. I'm, I'm fucking naked. <laughs> right, come yeah. on, Aries. I, I think I fucked you. Shit, you cheating on my lie. That's why you're not in the box. Don't do her like that. Don't do her like that. Right. Like I, right. I, knew so I knew I, I had to watch y'all. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Hold up. Right, right, right. Aries, where you go? We was in here talking about signs and what signs were supposed to go together and the whole shit. Yeah, we was in your field. I was talking about Bucky. Nicky I was supposed now. to add her yesterday. <laughs> I forgot to follow Aries yesterday. We was in your field. That was your topic. I went to make. Oh, yeah, you I did. You did you know that you was making breakfast. I'm, I'm, I'm ordering breakfast right now. So you're Not making, you're making so breakfast, bucket naked? <laughs> oh, who doing that? <laughs> Bucky naked. Me, I be cooking, but in the kit. She ain't there like the dude from Baby Boy. 
Usually oh, we do. But you, <laughs> I, you see, we don't go outside without clothes because that's not common. You know, it's yeah, right. It's, it's, it's common to, to be outside. Yo. What's up with everybody? Hey, hey, I, I hey personally, forever. I personally... I personally see every with me. She, she was cooking breakfast. Or I should be good. I think I just got the I, mic away from me. I should no. be louder, right? I personally <laughs> I just, like when when like when my kids go to school and stuff. I walk around naked. I cook naked. Watch TV naked. I like. I enjoy it. Oh, I thought I was the only one that do that. Can y'all chill? I thought I was the only one that do that. I'm like, yo, once they hit the door and hit the bus, with naked women walking around, you ain't like, what is going on? Yeah. That's what I'm they saying. They got all eyeballs. Some people, and be, some people be like, that's weird. <laughs> but like, it's comfortable to me. I don't think right. it's weird. I think it's comfortable. Right. But I'm it saying, but you have some people that be like, Both oh, that is naked. so weird. Like, you really walk around your house naked? Yes. Yes. No, so, so, so say if you want to be so natural, would you have it, everybody it, in your I house walking naked with you? Yes. Yeah. No, well, 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 no, well, no, well, no, no, pause on that. No, no I'm, I'm, that. I'm not seeing my mama naked. I'm not seeing my dad naked. No, forget all that. No. <laughs> Y'all be on your own with that one. <laughs> Y'all pushing it. God nah. gave me 2020 vision. Y'all if I was pushing. to ever cross something like that, I would be blind for the rest of my life. I'm not going to see how I was made. <laughs> Did you see what Harry said? Right. You tripping now, y'all to push the line but, on that. But one. see, then, then that goes into you you going into over like sexualizing your parents. So cause why would you I ain't got nothing to do with that? That's just the gross. Why? That's but gross. This, but but see what I'm saying? But <laughs> ain't nothing sexual you, about it. <laughs> your mother is a woman and whoever you marry, I'm, I'm you know good. your mama I'm not got looking at my mama and naked. your woman got a vagina and your mama got TVs and a woman got TVs. Why are you over sexualizing cool. your mother if she's a woman? That's that, cool. that goes into that mindset thing. I I'm good. I, I will stick so with that I mean, mindset. I'm not looking at my father and my mother in my, in my house. <laughs> Eri, so Eri said, right, my son came You comfortable home, with that? So That's kind of... I had to put a robe on. See, women like being naked. That's all. You like being naked, too? <laughs> I think it has to do with age, too, because I remember when my daughter was little, she had no problem with it at all. But then when she became a teen, all of a sudden... It was not done, so I had to put a robe on because otherwise she was embarrassed. You know, so what? I think so at, be at a certain age they they prefer not to see their <coughs> parents naked no more. Oh uh, yeah. I, I so we about to go down the list though. So, so forever, yeah. would you walk around? Would you like a whole family of nakedness in your house? Hell, <laughs> including everybody. Right. right. Uh, it's not even sexual. I, I, like I feel as though that's my child. I, I don't really want to see my child or. My mom like that? No. Thank you. That's why Thank I say you. when once they hit the door, they hit the bus and they go to school and the house is quiet, quiet to the so, T. Right. Hey, mm-hmm. guess what? It's all out. Exactly. Fairy tale. You next now. Family full of nakedness. Would you be cool with that? Uh, yeah. I okay, cool. I mm-hmm. I would not feel uncomfortable um uh, by it. But then yeah. again, maybe maybe it's different. I, I, I don't know, but maybe there's a difference in that with women and men seeing their children naked. I, I think for me, it's not at all. We talking about the whole see. entire family, like your mama, your grandma, all of them naked in your junk. Uh, if we would yeah, live, right, I, I have bit. to imagine that we're all living <laughs> together then. That's, um, I, I don't know, actually. I No, maybe, yeah. maybe I, I, think. I, I definitely don't want to see my dad naked. That's for sure. <laughs> right, right, I thought something was going to hit home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought yeah. something was going to hit home. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna skip over Isla. She already, I already know she already yeah, was about to say yeah. she, 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 she that, that's see the whole naked family over reunion. Me, like, it's the like, naked like, reunion. Like, 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 hit her with an Uno yeah. skip. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear Isla Queen? <laughs> right. I mean, I've walked around my mama's house naked. Like I said, I've been walking around naked since I was a little girl. She hates it, but she gets it. My son, I walk around the house with him naked. He walks around my house naked. Like, it's a thing in my house, so hmm. it, it's a thing. That's wild. Wow. I, know. I can't. I can't be naked around my son. I'd be having a son. Right. I mean, I've been naked around him since he, he was small. So See, it's the only re- the reason I do house. it is because, like, as much as we want to say, like, Oh, you just shouldn't sexualize. Men don't think that way, especially little boys. They're just coming into, you know, learning their sexuality and learning that they have different right. needs and things like that. So I don't. And then too, the mom is always like, not in that way, but like the first love. So I don't, I don't want to confuse the two. So I just. I mean, I we've had conversations. Right. Some stuff is not close to things. 
And I want to get forever. Boy, you don't open up that package, man. I have that Brooklyn in the in the though. We all it's here. Boy, Look, I'm making them noodles right now. We getting it in with her. I'm about to make the we hear it. <laughs> right. It's I'm making them noodles. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, mute. <laughs> right. I'm good. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Oh my. Go Don't ahead. be the next family. Ahead. What you talking about, lovely? I'm sorry. It's Miss. It's your turn, lovely. Oh, I thought you were still talking. Um, I do not want a family of nakedness, even though my son... No, I don't know. No, no, no. Like, hell no. <laughs> hell no. But once they leave, hell yeah, I walk around naked, freely. Okay, I will be you And, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't mind. And now, last and finally, least. Wait, no, I didn't get the Aries. I'm going to do Aries last because she just came up here. Too, so. Oh, no, Aries did say it. All day long. You said it, right, Aries? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. Simply, Drea, Nikki family or not? Not. <laughs> I think I'm saying the same way. I like that. I like that. I like that. Right. Thank you, Fairy. So we got one Nikki family and the rest of them is nah. And one of them had to hit home with the daddy. Not my daddy. <laughs> and the realization after that. <laughs> no, I can't do I can't do my daddy. You don't want to see where you came from? No. no Show me what you came from. You. No. Shake it. Ew. 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 <laughs> Attention, all that family. Mm, good. Shake good, the Peter. Good, good. Watch yourself. <laughs> Stop it. I made a mistake. I, I, my, 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 my mistake was I went to my grandma. I walked to my grandmother's house. I heard the Marvin Gaye outside the house, but I still oh, went no. inside the house. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Who you me? Who you me? Who I, I walked in the house. My my brain was like, well, she must she must be cleaning. My brain was saying cleaning. My brain didn't think other things. I walked in the house and I just walked back out and said, I'm never, right. <laughs> I'm never going back. I'm never going back. Oh no. Oh no. She called she gonna call, call me later. She said, trauma. see, I told you about now you should have knocked on the door first. I said, mm-hmm. Talk to you I'm not knocking on your thing. door no more. <laughs> I can so hey, I can so imagine. Right here. Hold up, let me. I got you right now. Hold up, what we got it? Uh... I can so imagine forever on a date, and then this girl in a romantic mood puts on Marvin Gaye. I can so see that happening. <laughs> that would be so funny. Scar for life. Wait, no, that <laughs> happened. So funny. No, that happened. That's no. the worst part. <laughs> I said, yeah, put some music on. She threw the she threw the Marvin Gaye on. I was like, turn it off. I'm going home. Oh, no. That had been scarred. I'll cover it up too. Oh, to cover the noise up. <laughs> that poor <laughs> girl. <laughs> it was cool though. My grandmother called me and said, see, I told you, you should have knocked on the door at first. I said, I'm not knocking on your door no more. I'm not, not I'm not coming to the house no Ooh, more. <laughs> Well, it was freaking Marvin Gaye. You should have known. <laughs> I'm like, she, this... had a, she had her little boyfriend over. That's what scared me. Like, I'm like, bro. Like, oh, my goodness. High five for grandma. Again. No. I, I hope it was way younger than she was. <laughs> is, is if this I'm a not mistaken. Debate? Oh, you looking, you feeling debatish in here or something? <laughs> is it a debate? Oh, it's not as lame in here. Let me get up out of here. It's too lame. <laughs> You're not debating. I want y'all to yell about nakedness. <laughs> How do you yell about nakedness? <laughs> well, we have to. They're trying to find anything nowadays to debate about. You know, people gotta. Look, people got They be want to let their steam off. They they be hurt. A lot of people be hurt and stuff. That's why they look for that stuff. Mm-hmm. All of us is hurt. Hey Kev, I started my live yesterday too. I started preference. at nine o'clock. Yeah, I know. I was sleep on all your stuff. Uh, Lovely said she oh, yeah. had started hers too. Yeah, we was all out and her. about. We was we had a bowl. Yeah. Jazz First was in there. All, Lovely, Miss Lovely was in there. You know, yeah. guys, I never That's went to sleep until do, man. 3 a.m. We all a. family, man. We, we all. That was out on his own, his, his own live. He's, he slept in on his own home. live again. Yeah, Kev took a whole... He, what y'all he, talking about? He, he left and took Who a telling on me, man? Somebody about to get kicked. Who telling <laughs> on me? He went to bed and left the live on. <laughs> so, but we, that was the other day he did that to me. Um, you know what I'm saying? 
She did, did that to me and love me. Love me and love me up on the block. I did. Forty five minutes, y'all. Y'all can't take my little forty five minute. You know what I'm saying? Grandpa gotta take a nap. You know what I'm saying? That was. I'll be wonderful. You see how I'm fully energized now. You know what I'm saying? I'll be forty five minutes. I'm up now. I'm you have to recharge his battery. But Kevin, recharge my battery. You know what I'm saying? I never went to sleep though. I didn't go to sleep until this morning. One thirty. because you a vampire or something. Yo, we gonna figure that out. We yeah. gonna figure it out. We wanna see your house, Mila. <laughs> we wanna see if you got mirrors and I wouldn't you know, go to sleep either if I got a whole house full of nakedness. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely wouldn't want to come in my house. <laughs> Yo, they would it. You <laughs> shouting. Oh gosh. That's what I call it. So did you sleep a little bit, Mila? Or did you not sleep at all? I mean, um, I woke up around 10 o'clock this morning, so I slept a little bit, 3.30 to 10. Oh, you? Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. You went in his live, Fave? Huh? You're so good. Right. Kev got his sleep right here on the live. Yeah, no. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? I got to cheat on my live every now and then because other people cheating on my live. You know what First I'm saying? First of all, I ain't oh, looking at live. Man. I look at the inside of my eyelids, so I wasn't looking at nobody's live. Well. Well. <laughs> Join the party, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nobody's live. A little cheating, well, man. I still love. I still love my live. A little cheating. They don't know you still love when you cheat. You gotta be. You gotta. You gotta be somebody else's live. You can't cheat on the inside of your eyes. It's my sign because I'm asparagus. Right. That's part of that. That's asparagus, though. No, it's my. Yo, what are you guys doing? Asparagus. How do you put that on your tongue? How you put that on the tongue? In the yeah, I will give all the Marsha if you will provide them. I know what I'm saying. Oh. Mm -hmm. so, 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 I have not so, used it. Say, say something. I'm building up on you. When I make something, I make it. Oh my god! And it feels like it's nice, isn't it? Say something. You said what? Hold up. Hold up. Say what? Oh, what? Thank you very much. <laughs> what was that? Not too much. Oh, y'all hear my? Y'all don't know my uh, new quote I got. Let's oh, go. That, that's that's his new time. steel. I get all kinds of air. I don't want this. You know what I'm saying? I like that phrase. I'm not here to protect your little feelings. Because we all need some ill. I'm here to protect you from long term misery. Hello. I don't understand it. I need y'all to understand that, you know what I'm saying? Forever are you breaking down the house? Nope, that Ooh, one, that's not me. Having a lot going on. Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm mute. <laughs> that's not me. It is I, the noodle guy. <laughs> Bruh, really? You put the voice on my guy? <laughs> so I'm the noodle guy. Can we Forever, was that your first wife? Hey, that's what it sounds like. Nah, only the host. With the oh, nakedness over there. What you doing over there? Kevin, I did my job yesterday. Joe. Why your booty all up? Who quit his job? I'm with everybody. <laughs> no, I'm talking to Kevin though. He playing so much. Kevin, what? What? I did my job yesterday though. I went on Dazzle Loud. I informed her. No, don't play with me, sir. You said you did what? I got on Dazzle Live yesterday. After you got off and told her that what time you'll be on, but you probably got on late because I checked on you on that. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got you as the. Oh, yeah, you right. You know, I hired you for that job. Yeah, you were hired as an assistant. You didn't inform your assistant that you changed the time that you're going live, though. See? You said what? I'm about to fire you. Dazzle, you want to rehire me? Because we, we about, because he, 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 he a bad boss. What I do? <laughs> what I do? Tell, me, tell Dazzle I'm going back live at 11, around 11. I check, I get a whole lot of Oh, you Dazzle right. I did mess up. I got you. Around 11. Oh, it, 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 even it was, it was, you know, I have clothes on, so I'll be forgetting. I know your nakedness be showing. You know what I'm saying? They got good memories. But, but I would never have so, my camera on. I could be naked right now, and you would never know. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, I can hear the nakedness though. We not, wait, hold on, Paul. When we do start doing OS, it's not naked. cool. And then you get sound naked. Right. Right. We could what never have, have her in our lives no more, not thinking that she's naked. 
Right, every time she got there, and I'm like, she probably got all booties. The, vi the yeah, visual is the booty. I'm just saying, you would never know. She's short with a booty. But I'm just saying, you would never know. Short with a booty. <laughs> what really I'm says like the dude who be on the ludicrous album. <laughs> oh, back to uh, forever's noodle talking to him. Eat me. I just made a little, made a little thing of noodles. I'm like, oh, I didn't feel like just cooking, cooking, so I said, oh. to <laughs> uh, you know how to throw that together real quick. Right? Did you put some hot sauce in it? Nah, I don't know. I put te teriyaki sauce with a little bit of um, chicken bites and all that stuff. Shoot, no. Nah, when I cook some, like, I oh, you some. make it. Oh, you make it like a real deal. You make it a full course deal. That's mad that's sodium. Crazy. Oh god, that voice. That is a lot of sodium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with y'all. You know, a pack of noodles is two servings. What? Mm -hmm. I, that, that's go not up, my problem. Solution. Up, All I know is I need to eat. <laughs> I swear, somebody go take out the batteries of that toy. Hey, Woo. chill out. Too much on me. Too wait, much wait, on really, me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me like. Huh? <laughs> Don't talk to me that my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can be help, bro? You know, we don't take no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Women don't take nothing. So you don't talk to me like that, boo boo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh god, no. Whoever invented uh, that thing. Wow. You already know how it is when I get my new toys, you know? Did y'all know? On the <laughs> Where's my sexy auntie? Can I ain't see auntie all day. Where's she at? Where's your sexy auntie? What uh, you where about? are they? Yeah. One pack of noodles oh. is two servings. Are we a lie? But... Yeah, that's a lie. Yeah, they, they really do say on the pack, it just says one cup of noodles, one pack of noodles is a, two servings. But I'm like, I don't know who the heck they serving. It ain't no no big person like me. <laughs> Not the big <laughs> Alright, man, it's time to grub and dub. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. yes, so you Lord. all don't know those, I got my pants. You know what I'm saying? That'd be happy I didn't get no sub from the spot, the, um, the stove. Shoot. That's why I, I really gotta want take it, this off. hoodie off. Let's get it, uh, it, it, it seemed weird you said that because we was just talking about nakedness and now you're taking a hoodie off. Let, 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 let that stay there. I'm gonna end up looking like an island at the end of the day. So I'm a... <laughs> not, not you stripping out a leg. Not you stripping out a leg as a clothing and then talk about and then try to tell her. Oh, I'm done. being a beater. I'm in my I'm in my feminine energy. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's the feminine energy? Oh my yeah. God. How many coins cool, cool, we gotta drop so you can take that shirt off, sir? I, I see. Hey, I, hey whoa, I whoa, do. pause, yo, like. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> <Chill out. laughs> you will not be sexualizing oh. me. <laughs> oh, but that can sexualize us, so. <laughs> um, it's a joke, Kevin. I, I got it. It's a joke. It's a joke. That's, that's that toxic femininity right there. There you go again. Oh, not that. to a girl, people don't know how to act. She said she, he tried, she tried to say, you toxic, toxic. <laughs> Uh oh, now I'm toxic now. You ain't seen toxic. Oh, God. I can show you toxic. <laughs> you say it with two T's, you really mean it. Let me take my drink. But what? Yo, if you come back with a white beetle on, I'm done. Anybody say, I'll show you <laughs> toxic. You better that. believe them. Yo, what? Hey, yo, who, who, yo, who, who fuck with this hot sauce? Yo, that's my shit. Me, who? Mm. This junk got flavor and everything in it. Yeah, it just sucks because they come in them little ass bottles. I'll finish that in two servings. This, this big as hell. Wasn't oh, that man, the um, me, huh? You found me on my third back up. Yeah, I'm here around the street. So I got the pocket. Oh, let me go ahead. Too. I forgot I got a great fam in here. Hello. Oh. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I came here acting different on my third account, did not they? <laughs> Wait, hold on. For the ladies that actually keep the own. Um... Oh, shit. What the hell? Hello? Can we hear you? We hear you? Oh, I'm bugging. I turn my, my stuff on mute. They hear Oh. 
It, it just lie. tripped me out. That's why. <laughs> Today, everybody paused at the same exact time. That's what it was. Exact I'm about to smack. Time. I don't want to hear all that smack and stuff. Y'all gonna be hearing this right here. Oh my god! Go to bed. Sir. Be a whole, Go this is to a whole bed. Day. Go to That's bed. a whole different life, my guy. That's a whole different life. <laughs> oh my god! And you right. I that on the <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> But it's it's clapping. He just Ooh. tapping it real fast to make it sound like that. <laughs> Wait, Kat, that's what she have said. Like a separate like keyboard for that. That's yeah, he bought a sound said. keyboard. Okay, because I got a mini one. Because I I used to make beats and stuff. I might have to hook that up. I gotta figure out how yeah, to what? Do that. Who that? Yeah, I got the little. Um, I got the little fifty dollars. I bought it for fifty dollars off of Amazon. That's right here. Mm. Okay. All right, all right. We Call get in the there, bro. We get in there. Got the soundboard. Do you have a little to something a certain before program I upgrade? For that? I'm gonna upgrade some more though, but I'm just gotta pay baby steps. You have to install a program for that to work. You said, "Do I better what?" Do you have to like install a program? Nah, you just plug it up. Okay, plug. It. Mm. Uh, what's the? Oh yeah. Wait. Thank you. This chicken or something? It is. Gotta get a couple. <laughs> oh, these boys hot too. Oh my gosh. He got he got he got home service over there. What the heck? <laughs> no, that's my dad. I was about to say DoorDash brought it straight to his room. <laughs> straight to the room. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that was. That's some true DoorDash. Who was there? That's my father. Crazy, though, I'll like, take my job serious, bro. Been, like yeah, he upstairs. And then he <laughs> oh, that's your, that's your Paul. Say hey, Paul. We all say hey. Hey, Paul. Yeah, we don't do that nakedness over here, so. <laughs> that's fine. No. That's fine. Yeah. 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 Your daddy. You like that? Him? It ain't cool like that. You know what I'm saying? What she did. It's just, some stuff is just <laughs> off. Can't even catch the joke, but that's okay. We'll keep it moving. <laughs> Forever caught it. Forever caught it. He paused that hard. Like, <laughs> I didn't want to be the only one laughing. Yo. Yo. But that's why I said it in a long tone like that. Forever caught it, though. He caught it. Forever. Stay out my head. Uh-huh. <laughs> why you you gotta have to put me on blast, though. <laughs> hey, I'm about to turn my camera off. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. I need you, okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, that man. was a good inside joke, though. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yes, sir. But it did get quiet, though. Everybody quiet. Don't be there. <laughs> <laughs> catch you, bro. Uh, don't be getting quiet when I start eating. I caught huh? it. No, I better talk. Oh, okay. But... Uh, so remind me to 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 put the thing in my car. I'm serious. To put the what in the what? I said remind me to put the pocketbook in the car. You got me a pocketbook? No, oh, I got your daughter a pocketbook. You got who? I got your daughter <laughs> a pocketbook. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do all that, if it's gonna get there, watch your tongue before you do all that. I'm sorry. What? Um. You want me to remind you hi, hi, fairy. to do what? Uh, to remind me to put your daughter's pocketbook in my car. That's uh, you want me to remind you? Oh, girl, girl, we both gonna be absent-minded. I, okay, I'm okay. my. You know, I'm going. No, to it's ba- she's basically trying to say that you better hope it gets to the daughter. <laughs> no, D- it's, don't. It's gonna get to her, but she gonna make sure it get to her. <laughs> hey. I, I gotta make sure you know what it could just stay here until she we get know here. that I'm the forgetful one like so you you asking a little too much of me like I'm not finna to go to sleep soon you know what you right I'm gonna just leave it here and then when she get here she could take it with her that sound about right this her second house anyway mm. sheesh I, I, I remind you don't worry, I remember. It's going it's down. Her, don't worry. She, her daughter will be here soon. It's her second house. Hmm. I'm, glad, ooh, I'm glad I cleaned up this morning. Sure, I don't got to worry about cleaning later. Wait, where did Fairy Tale go? 
I know she did. She had to do. Going to cheat right now. I caught her already, but hey, you know, little cheat. I know you still love my life. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know cheating don't don't. It's not the same thing. You know, people won't. Don't do that, Cap. Don't do that. I'm going. Damn. Damn, I just made myself mad just now. I want me a chicken parmesan sandwich. Oh, I just made myself mad. What time you getting on, babe? Hmm. You talking to me, Kev? I think we was all confused on who he was talking to. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it sounded like he was down the street for a second. That's why I couldn't really hear him. I, I said, Fave. I said, what time she was getting on? I was asking what time she was getting on. Oh. Okay. But yeah, if y'all not following, I need y'all to follow that. Where it say headed to the bouquet now, go ahead and follow. Because that's our next movement. You know what I'm saying? We make it movements around here. So, hello. What up? Hello. Oh. It's me. That's not fair at all. Everybody get quiet as long as I want to eat. That's not fair. Y'all was eating in my live and talking and all that and not. <laughs> so we let you sleep in your live. Now we gotta let you eat in your live. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Touche. 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 <laughs> nah, he always. No, no. He always used to eat in his live. That was nothing. Now <laughs> we gotta do both. I, like, I take it back. I'm right sorry. I, I thought about that. <laughs> it, it, it's lunchtime now, so we all out here eating. Oh, I, I, know I, I wouldn't one. have been surprised he eating in his live. We though. held he, it down once already. Now we gotta. We gotta take it again, huh? Hey, we, we got to do. We got, got you. On that one. That's what she said. Mm. Nice. At this point, Kevin don't run his live. The live run him. Yeah, no, he he just turn it on and just say fuck it. Right. <clears throat> You know, it's like a public park. You know how you, you open up a public park, you let the kids do whatever? Mm -hmm. <laughs> at this point. Yep. Just leave them at the playground. They'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all, I'm not ready for my daughter to be in high school next year. Yep, I ain't ready for my daughter to be in high school yet. Well, clearly, it doesn't matter if you're ready or not. Well, thank you for the sympathy. So, right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wasn't my, oh, you got put it in my tone? Wasn't my tone? <laughs> oh, my daughter. She's going to be in high school. <laughs> That's my you know. <laughs> I can't wait until my son go to college. You worried about high school. I'm ready to oh, get wow. him and his cat out. Bye. Dang, shove him out. <laughs> right. I told him when he leave his cat, gotta go with him. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'll take two. Oh, yeah. I ain't never asked you. Okay. Hey, y'all got sushi. Let's go. Hmm. Silence is real. Well, I'm kind of well, cleaning we... my kitchen. I ain't want y'all to hear all the stuff rattling in the background. The silence is... You said you was cooking? I said I'm cleaning, girl. You always hear it cooking. 
You hungry, what, hungry? What you want me to cook? You coming here? No, I'm not coming in. Okay. Don't only open one invitation for one person. I'm sorry. When you when I hear cooking, I'm coming through too. That's how it is. I'll bring up chicken I, and everything. Hey, I got a question for y'all. Oh, hold up. I, 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 say, I, I don't want to get beat up by the wife. <laughs> it was giving it was giving she was gonna beat me up. So which one y'all prefer? Pancakes, waffle, or French toast? Pancakes, waffles, or French toast. Mm-hmm. What's better than that shit? I'll cook all three. Let's go. Waffles. Oh, you will go that route. Come on, man. <laughs> I could cook. Y'all want me French to cook? Toast. I like What's French the... toast. French toast over uh or okay. French toast. I like waffles. Okay, waffles. Okay. That's both the island girls. Wait, uh why you choose French toast? Um, they're going syrup. I chose French toast because there's, there's, I like the cinnamon taste in it. I like the fact that it's not as stiff as a waffle. Mm. I just like French toast overall. <laughs> and then pancake would be second. Okay, okay. I'm a pancake person. Um, French toast okay. to me be too soggy. And then waffles sometimes be too hard. So I like the in between. So you in between. Pancakes would be last for me. I don't uh-uh. What part? Waffles. Oh, waffles. It's the weirdness for me. Why well, I gotta be weird? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dazzle. She said waffles. The waffles. Y'all too fancy for me. Cancer sisters. See, y'all want pancakes? My, my, my other cancer got my back. I, I'll be right back, y'all. Nah, we about to see you get slapped on camera. It look like I see something going down over there. Quit it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cam, every time, oh, bro. <laughs> I, I let's just say I just live a good life. That's all. A good life. Okay. Waking back. That's What's all. the deal, Pharaoh? Come on, pop up in the box, man. Go ahead and talk to us real quick. Cosmo, what you doing, man? What's the deal, man? I'm in smash mode right now. Walk smash mode. Ah, Sawadi so Cop, everybody. Peace and love to you all. What's the deal, man? What's the deal, man? Ah, uh, so what's the topic about? Uh, pancakes Robin versus... <laughs> Do you like waffles, <laughs> pancakes, or French toast better? All right, so... Look, see, I'm from South Carolina, so I know how to make all three. Um... I would personally say the the I would say that I would prefer the French toast because you know it's easier to make. You know, um, it is not just batter. You just you're just putting egg on bread. You can season. You can you can make it however you want it to taste. Whether you're using extra cinnamon or not, stuff like that. So I kind of I'm more of the French toast type of guy. You know, je pense que c'est beaucoup. So yeah. Do you use coffee creamer when you make your um waffle? I mean, your French toast. Mm, no, I. I, oh I, God, I, I that's a thing. See, you see, I'm diabetic, so I can't do the heavy sugars. Oh, I don't. It's so, a thing now. I've been seeing it on TikTok. That's why I asked. Yo, I've been I'm about seeing to try it, that. Substituting your milk for you know your coffee creamer of choice. You want to see this wild thing I saw and I tried? Yeah, it turned out to be really good. Okay. You make a bur you make a burger and make two hash brown patties, right? You know the two big hash browns you get from Burger King. You make those. You can buy from the store. You can make your hash browns and use that as bread for a cheeseburger. So you do a burger with cheese and then you put it between two hash brown patties. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, what the hell? I tried it. Oh my god! It's well, really what good. else? What else goes with this? No, it was just a sandwich. But just the burger and the two the two hash browns? Burger, cheese, um, um whatever you, whatever you want to put on it, you know, you don't have to do lettuce and mayonnaise and all that. It's just burger cheese, hash brown on the top, hash brown on the bottom. Make the hash browns, make the burger, put melt the put the cheese on there, let the cheese melt. Then after it's properly drained from all the grease, you just put it on top of the hash brown. And then put the other hash brown on top of it. It was so good. See, I'm not a fan of potato on a burger because I feel like it makes me too full and I 
can't really enjoy the actual burger. Because, like, I'm from Jersey, so they, we have something called, like, fat sandwiches, where they add, like, french fries and stuff to, like, any type of sandwich. And I just feel like it's uh, too it's too filling for me. I seen that mm. while I was out here, and I think that is weird. Well, when I was living in Des Moines, Iowa, they had crazy stuff, like deep-fried butter. They had um, corn dogs where they put the batter. They mixed the batter with um, bacon and crumbled up sausage in the batter and with a hot dog in the middle and make corn dogs like that. I saw them make one with, with um, bacon and crushed up Oreos in the batter. And when they deep fried the Snickers with it, it was, I was just, it was just wild out there. I feel like people deep fry everything out here. Like, mm. but I do like the, the fried Oreos. That's my favorite. Oh, I got a recipe for y'all that I think you should try. This actually won me the award at the Iowa State Fair. So get angel hair spaghetti, angel hair pasta, right? You get that, make it normal, and you you get the, you get the sauce going. You melt uh, a quarter of a block of Velveeta cheese in the sauce and about three tablespoons of chili powder and stir it up till it turns to like, like an orange type of color. And you make taco meat out the ground beef. And when you do that, you blow it together. You know, add, you you can put peppers and whatnot into in the sauce as much as you like to make it spicy as you want. But throw it all together, crumple up some um, corn chips and sprinkle it on top, and then do a layer of sriracha on the top, like a like like just like spread a tiny bit of um, sriracha on the top. I won awards for that. It is really good, but you only eat a bowl that you're going to sleep. <laughs> toxic? Who's toxic? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know I was toxic. No, I'm talking about Cosmo and I'm Tony. Glad you know. <laughs> I'm talking about Cosmo and Tony. <laughs> so, so what do you guys think of what Chris Rock said? Bro, Chris Rock went in. <laughs> he said all his homeboys called him a B word, but he come to me. He, he the one he know he could beat. That's some B stuff. No, my my favorite part. My favorite part. He was like, she had sex with your son's best friend, and then interviewed you about it. Like, hey, I just sucked another. Mm, what do you? How do you feel about this? <laughs> <laughs> that had me dead. He was going, and he went. He went all the way. And he, uh, I, I said earlier, he mopped him up without a ringer. <laughs> he just he he went all the way, and it was so hilarious. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's just aired today on Netflix. Watch the last nine minutes. That's the point you want to start at. Nine minutes. Nine minutes remaining. I'm gonna watch it, but I'm gonna say this too. He would have never did that shit to Adam Sandler. He would have gave him way more grace. He would have accepted that apology. I just, I think that's corny to come way after the fact and say something after you already forgave, bro. Like, that's kind of. Who? Yeah, Chris Rock never said he forgave him. No, he never said he forgave him. Mm. Not once. I feel, I feel like I feel like Will Smith said that he had like apologized though, like to him Chris multiple Rock. times. Will Smith did an apology video and Chris Rock said fuck you to that video. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Pretty much. Kevin, how you letting all these toxic people take over your life, man? I thought I, I know thought you love was talking. Not too much. Not, not not too much, Cosmo. Woo. Not too much. I just came up. <laughs> Ain't no taking over because I'm eating. <laughs> I can already tell Cosmo on his bullshit. His hair is up today too. Oh yeah, it's nah. over. Right. Hold up, I forgot to do his intro. Wait, it's your it's your it's your uh filter on? I gotta do your intro. I forgot you got your own intro. Hold up. Go his intro. Wait, oh, I gotta put my effect on. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> right, you put your effect on. You can't do it without the filter. Damn, what a pretty lady at the show. <laughs> oh good gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Word. The hell. The hair goes with the whole setup. Word. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's done too long. I'm I had to cure it. Wow. I'm done. Yeah, wait to sit back. Wait, this is right. Yeah, I can't wait. My back, oh boy. <laughs> I want to get the eyes in this boy. 
My man's up here, got the who's that in the back? Oh, no water, okay, the water man oh my bad, my bad. Boy up here, okay. Like Mine's in a ponytail, it's in the back though. I'm saying why the ladies ain't got their cameras on. Oh, she's so pretty. Yeah. But what you look like though? Oh, Ooh. don't worry about that. Yeah, I look at her alone. She be naked. And she might be naked, so we can't have her turn her camera on. She got clothes Ooh. on right now, yeah. so don't come and she to me. I can take the garbage out. Watch. We phone to be serious. Gotta watch her thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to my sister nice. Talk to her nice. Talk to her nice. I'm talking about some she might be naked. Oh, boy, I do feel like sitting back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh. Ooh, mm -hmm. Fifteen minutes. His ass is out of here. I just gonna kick right, in again. Give me, you be knocked out. Sleep oh, again, bro. <laughs> you heard about that? Sheesh. Uh, so what'd you eat, though? What'd you just eat? French. Oh no, I had some pancakes, I had some hash browns, and all this other stuff I didn't want to eat, but I'm eating. I'm eating ham, bacon, oh. chicken. Boy. Oh yeah, yeah. She's definitely a beautiful woman. Who that? Who that? Oh, yeah. yeah, she's Siamese. We are Siamese. Where her twin is? Ah, uh, she's all her sisters are already married, bro. <laughs> Damn. The fact no, that we was the sisters that is together like a mosquito. Well, you know, Siamese, Siamese are our, our, our sisters, if you, you don't know. Um, the Eastern Asians call the Siamese, a.k.a. the Thais, and um, the Filipinas, it's derogatory terms like jungle Asians and stuff like that. They're considered because they're, they're of their strong African heritage that they embrace and, and don't deny. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm a jungle American. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll take. I'll take. I'll take. I'll take it even further. When I was a kid, I used to drink jungle juice. Tom, Yo. Tony, you're not younger than me. You know, quit trying to take my title away, bro. Why are you trying to take his title? title? Who will take your title from you? Tesla, how old are you? Yeah. 23. 23. Why he, every time you, somebody asks him, this voice gets deep. 23. 23. <laughs> <laughs> he, went from, he went from beaver mode talking yeah, like this. Yeah. I'm about to be, a, I'm about, in a couple <laughs> months, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to be 11 <laughs> years older than you in a couple <laughs> months. Damn. Damn. Tony, you said 20, 20, 23. Like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, 20. I'm, I'm, young, so bad. Damn, I'm 21 years older than this dude. Oh, my. I'm, I'm 30. I'm about to be 34. I'm 43, about to be 44. I'm about to be 33. I'm, 30, what the, I'm about to be 34. <laughs> In a couple of nah, years. So, all right, everybody. I'm going to host a big live. What's the real age since Tony said you cap it? Oh. Tony, no, I'm 23. He looked 50 with that damn beard on his profile. <laughs> <laughs> it's a filter. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's so weird seeing the younger generation of like men now because y'all be having full beards and mustaches and goatees and stuff. And I just feel like when we was like 21, 22, dudes had the baby faces. Like they, they wasn't growing right like a whole beard. Like. No. The baby Back when Michael the Jordan, game. like when Michael Jordan used to play basketball, teenagers. No, matter of fact, the nineties, teenagers, high schoolers used to look like grown men. I seen a picture. I'm gonna be fifty-two, April nineteenth, seventeen, mm. looking twenty-five. My boy, but they Martin. have full like, beards. This is one boy out here right now. Like he look like, like he's forty years old. He only fifteen. I was done. The younger generation Damn. having the seventies pork chops and everything. The side mm -hmm. like. Hey, what's wrong with the seventies? I was born in seventy nine, Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ooh, nobody different. rocked the pork chops since then. The bang. Oh, it's all about the bang. Oh, yeah, you gotta have this dude is spelling his own birthday like four days before mine. Well, I'm just <laughs> noticing this dude's eyes. What the that's hell? That's that, to <laughs> that toxic femininity right there. <laughs> Hold on, y'all gotta see why I like the filter. Uh, makeup one, it's time for the makeup one. 
Nope, I can't do it. That toxic femininity. Uh oh, let me put this music back on again. I'm a Barbie girl. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know why everybody just don't get locks. Like you can do whatever you want to her. No, I think because I'm because uh, because a very honest young kid about seven years old looked, pointed at the ball spot in my hair and said, "Hello, kitty." Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I have a ball spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ball spot in my head is in the shape alive. of Hello Kitty. The Wrong kid's like, oh, it's Hello Kitty. And kids don't feel alive. I'm, I'm not going to lie. If, if my ball spot reminded my kid of Hello Kitty, I would cut my hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I can't. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I, got, I got the Shaq dude now. I'm, I'm going around here looking like Shaq. <laughs> I'll be right back, y'all. Hold on. Bring me back some. Now, what you shoving that food in your face like that on camera? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, Kev, that's all, you know, to go to the side a little bit, you know. Yeah, go to the side a little bit. Kev, did you receive the message as well? How time too much for you? Because you are shoving that food in your mouth like real crazy. Right, I thought it wasn't just, I thought something like, why would you do that like that? I'm hungry, bro. You make me hungry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what kind of food is that? How about say, only me and Kev up here eating right now? I might order something. <laughs> it is past. It's almost. It's one a.m. out here though. So, well, twelve forty-eight a.m. over here. It's Monday morning out here. Oh, morning for you. I'm gonna say it's twelve forty-seven right now for us. Before I yeah. All right, East Coast. East Coast, no doubt. It's Sunday mm -hmm. today. East Coast, the best coast. Yes, sir. Hey, right, I'm from. I'm from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That's my hometown. Hmm. Well, I'm a Jersey boy, so I'm all good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's from Jersey? Oh, Beach is nice. Jersey boy is here. Mm -hmm. Jersey. Yeah, I'm from Myrtle Beach, the place where most... Right. I'm from the city where most women come and most wives and girlfriends come and cheat on their boyfriends at. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, where that at? <laughs> Black Bike Weekend. Memorial Weekend. Mm -hmm. looking crazy. Wait, no, no. Let me know nice. about it so I know not to get a yeah. girl who ever been a... Yeah, Memorial Weekend women. It's it's called the Black Bike Week, but essentially it's just the last remnants of Freaknik from the '90s that's still around. And pretty much it's just women just coming around. You know, it's supposed to be bike shows and all that, but it's always about the ladies coming out there just getting their freak on. I mean, literally, you see married women walking around and just getting rammed through. Um, back in my teenage years, I literally sat, walked down the street down um, Ocean Boulevard and seen a police officer getting getting. Um, you know, getting 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 the guac guac three thousand from a girl while he's sitting in his squad car. Did he sound lit? I, I went, back in then we said, "Damn, that's a freak." <laughs> shit, today ain't shit changed. <laughs> yeah, but that, that that went down every. It goes. It still goes down. I was doing Uber and Lyft rise. Um, Earlier this well last year before I left the states, Memorial Week, two weeks after my birthday, is always always lit. I say yeah, I'm wait, I'm celebrating my birthday then, and it never fails. Every year I go to Myrtle Beach is a different woman. And these women be married and in relationships. I found out. Look how the women ain't saying nothing. No account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, I've never been before, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't start nothing in here. It's peaceful in here, bro. It's peaceful in here. Don't start nothing. But, see, but you, you see how I told Cosmo, see how I told you at the conference earlier? How y'all mean and utterly disrespectful. See? See? That's see? no boundary. Why I got to be honest? Because you is. Why did you just start to try to start a whole gender fight against each other? Like, what I'm talking about. So I'm just talking about this group I play with y'all Scorpios. Now you're going to get Oh my God. Pisces squad, let's go. Pisces. Uh, Taurus in the building. Yeah, my daddy and my mama messed it up for both y'all. I don't like Big these one y'all. Pisces in the building. 
I, I, oh man, but it, it's, you know, this actually, this place out here kind of reminds me of, um, like every, every day's like every night's like a bike week out here in Thailand. Every night's like a Saturday night. Every day's like a holiday. That's just always lit out here, twenty four seven. Let me show you my scenery. Go- we, we, hey, OG, we get it. We we need to move out this. But shoot, <laughs> bring your ass out here. <laughs> you, I'll be like, yo, you ain't gotta show nothing, bro. Yo, it'd be bro. like when you had Make when you said good. you were sitting next, you were sitting by poolside on the balcony. I'm like, bro, that's, yeah, that's like where I'm at right now. Hotel. That's yeah, where I'm at right now. Hotel. It's a resort. <laughs> the pool is eight buildings in this resort. And in between all eight buildings, we're normally like in an apartment area that with, with a collection of apartments. There's like a, a courthouse area where everybody just goes and chills and grills and whatnot. There's none of that here. It's all pool in between all eight buildings, all interconnected, about a quarter of a mile long. Different areas, a cabana area, a pirate ship slide area, a, a volcano slide area, a, a Easter Island <laughs> monuments with fountain area, and a waterfall cave. A waterfall cave. I'm going in. Yep. The pool is about four feet deep. And like I tell everybody, my total expenses, living expenses, minus food and entertainment, rent, utilities, Wi-Fi, cell phone service, motorbike rental, gas for motorbike, and my medication um, combined each month is $516.38. What? No, dude, no, no, just keep rubbing it in our faces. We, we, we got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot U.S. dollar is the most expensive... It's 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 just under thirty five of their currency per dollar. So thirty thousand dollars American makes you a millionaire out here. But the point is, trying to try to earn that type of money while living out here is going to be the issue, unless you do remote work, or do IT work, or have some type of um, pension or disability check. Like me, I'm a hundred percent disabled vet. So I live off my disability so check. If I, if I go down there with a three figures, and I I can I can live like forever the rest of my life. Oh, wow. how, how much? How much? You, how much you spending rent right now? Sixteen. Sixteen hundred a month would get you. I think I told you before. Get you a pool villa, a pool villa with yeah. a basement, a basement with an aquarium view window, and that means the basement has a window in the middle of it that is a aquarium view into the actual pool so you can see people swimming around in there or to see this or things like that i live in the wrong place <laughs> my mind is blown right now because i already knew that yeah, look at see see, see look, look he he ate he already caught the itis look at him <laughs> yeah, must yeah, this dipped right. off in it. where he left he left behind dry mm-hmm uh, no, he had all that breakfast. He probably had to. He probably had to go. You know, he had to go utilize the latrine for, for the ex-military folks out there. But yeah, I stayed less than a mile from the beach. That's the shot from the beach um, from a sunset live stream I did. Mm. I implore everybody to, to, to come out here. It, they they don't care about how tall you are, how much you weigh, or any of that, your looks, none of that. They only care about if you're a good person, have respect in your spirit. If you could show that, then you'll, you'll be treated like royalty out here. No. But I guess we I'll address the big rock, big watch, big chain got you looking for the wrong thing, huh? Yo, I didn't okay. even realize Harry's life. Yeah. Did he hold a lot of men accountable last night? I was asleep, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I can't I can't with the eyes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a look like a muppet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to stuff this almond milk. Who gonna be a good shit? Well, 
All right, I'm going to mute myself because I'm going to start coughing because I'm <clears throat> medicating. Y'all know I smoke more than Snoop. That's the Mary Jane. It's legal out here. 100% legal out here. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's legal in all things. They gave away 150 million seeds to people all around to start growing and selling. Where they, they mess up the economy over there. Here, here in Thailand, <laughs> they just gave y'all seeds to grow. They gave y'all like male this. and female seeds. I was yeah, yeah, feminized seeds and male seeds. I actually was good. Actually, before I, when I got my passport, I was going to go to Panama and go over there and and just chill there. Then I was already Spanish and everything. And the next thing I do on June ninth, I got the notification that they legalized weed here. I said, oh, let's go to Thailand. So and now here I am. Be here since July. Don't, don't plan on leaving. Unless they kick me out. Why would oh, they kick you they... out if you didn't do nothing wrong? Oh, well, they... they... uh, Cosmo, let me see your hat, Cosmo. My who? Your hat. Oh. All right. I'm going to show you all the Hello Kitty spot because I ain't gone to the barbershop yet. It's a blues hat. He said, he, is he, did he just say he's going to show us the Hello Kitty? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, he did. Yeah, yes, he did. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kids can be assholes, y'all. <laughs> no, I think it's worse. It's a, it's a guy at my job. <laughs> Andre know him. His name Tony, and we call it. He got the uh, what is it called? The uh, y'all saw Ed, Ed and Eddie, right? Oh Favorite God, shows. yes. The the court the sack I got the big U turn and that's what he did. He bold like so you could drive. <laughs> Dang, since you had to all that. I was like, oh, this is horrible. That was oh. the <laughs> He had the yeah, cold I, I don't I don't know that man. Um I don't know that man. You do know Tony. Tony Morrison, <clears throat> sis? The black guy? You just don't know his name. The one walking around in the tight pants and the, the MDL? Yes, yeah, the MDL. Look like that? You you had, you ain't look at his head, girl. Look at his head. He got his all around the side, just in the front, and in the middle it's gone. Oh, uh, he got the Hulk Hogan he brother. No, we said his hairline well, was like a cul de sac. No, not Eddie. Yeah, well, well, you didn't have to go I'm that like, far. <laughs> That's why it threw me off. Like, I'm yeah. like, what? You disrespected <laughs> his whole steed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't come up with that. Somebody at the job did. I was like, yo, y'all grown ass people is horrible. You got a reverse mohawk. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. No. Oh, wow. I gotta use that on somebody. I definitely gotta use. Oh, you got the COVID sack off of Ed and Nettie. <laughs> not Kevin in the chat, but not in the box. Because he on his other page. Fair. Yo. Sir, bring your behind back to the screen. You, we ain't tapping nothing until you get back. Kev, uh, Kev back you, here. Kev back get, here. Hey, 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 Kev, get out the bed, come back to the he chair, the and start. No, no, nah, nah, he, on, he on the toilet, bro. He on the toilet. Come on, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh hell no. Especially if we, ate, especially we had eggs with that, you know. Oh, yeah, y'all. 30 jumbo eggs out here. 30 jumbo eggs. $3.75. I'm going to start selling eggs like I used to sell in my um, <laughs> but I'm going to start selling eggs out here. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> well, actually, where I live at is, like I said, majority like Spanish and stuff. All you're going to see is like roosters and chickens running around my, my area. And I live in Jersey. Damn. They just run around. You look, you you look sound like you live in an iron bounce like that. He's a, yeah, he a, like, Jer he a, he a Jersey farmer. <laughs> I'm, I'm in like, North Jersey. Like I literally like live, I live 30 minutes away from North. Like the area I live at is majority Spanish, Dominican, oh, Puerto I, Rican, I, I know that, yeah. mm. 
and it's like when I say <laughs> I was walking down the street one day and all I know one of them mugs just popped out of the bush and just looked at me. I'm like, I will deep fry your ass. Keep playing with me. I know how to pluck a chicken. Make sure you use hot boiling water and oil you to so I can slip all the fur off. I mean hair off that. Yes, sir. <laughs> See, my, Kevin, my see, I called it. I called it. Look at Kevin, look what Kevin put in the chat. I called it. I really, bro? Always. If he ain't on the toilet, he sleep. Well, he could be doing both. Huh. Oh, damn! That that means that that's that good lo that good release. That means you want a toilet. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I'm mad. It's hot outside right now. You mad about the weather every day? <laughs> yes, no. Literally, this morning it was freezing. It had to be like 30 degrees. Right now, it says it's about 50 almost, <laughs> and rising. You were just saying yesterday that it's not supposed to be cold. I guess, but I don't want it to be hot. Wow. You, you ain't had to rub that in, bro. <laughs> Hey, I'm not rubbing it in. I'm just stating the facts. 50 degrees is not hot. It's no, not it's still hot. rising. 50 degrees is like lukewarm. But it's not. the still rising part. <laughs> it ain't gonna rise that high. I'll be freezing my ass off at some 50 degrees now. But shit. Next, you know, later on, it'll be snowing. Nah, I'm good. That's why people be sick. That's why you're not supposed to be stripping out your layers either. How you know what I do? I ain't say you, so I said in general. <laughs> Cause he be doing Shoot it. That's that. why he took it that. That's why he took it like that. <laughs> nah, I swear to God, if I get hot, I'm gonna take my hoodie off. I don't care. I'm leaving it by my side. If I get a little hot, I'm out take my stuff off. I don't care. Oh my god. Now I'm getting. Now I'm getting sleepy. Man, I'm high like white people waving at you from across the street. <laughs> Bro, you're not going to say this every day, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, dude, so high, he forgot he said that yesterday. <laughs> I'm trying to get that. <laughs> no, this shit. This shit. I'm going to give me some almond milk, man. Cosmos, why are you making us dizzy by watching us watch you walk? Because I'm trying to find out what type of milk y'all been drinking. Hello. I don't drink none of that. If I do, I drink uh, I drink one cup every so many months. And I drink I drink oats milk. Oats milk. Mm -hmm. I thought she said goat milk for a second. Goat milk or oat milk? Oat. Oh, oat. Well, I, need to, I need to research okay. that. Me too. I mean, I had goat's milk. It's good too, but oat milk is better. Nah, last time I drank right back, y'all. My, my wife and my girlfriend tried to kick me out the house. I'm good. Uh, goat's milk, oat's milk. Bro said he, he, he drank one cup of milk a day. He ain't tell me what, what time. What kind? Re regular. Cow. Moo. You not no cow, bro. Why you drinking cow milk, bro? I don't do it like that. So. I ain't gonna lie. I just, I just drank some cow milk early. That's why I'm giving me some almond milk. I can't keep doing this shit. Almond oh, wrong stuff. Kev, what you at? He doing number two. Nah, Kev stay around the corner for me. I'm pulling up to his crib. We doing walk fives now? For the axle for some sugar. Axle for some sugar, some milk. Kev. Kev, I'm gonna knock on your door, ask you for some sugar and milk. Kev. 
Now he gotta get his mic together. Yeah, I was gonna say he got his headphones and his mic on. Kev. Yo. Did you use a wet wipe? Oh yeah, I'm light. Yeah, I did everything. <sighs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> I feel like a free man. Right now. But nah, uh, y'all about to shut down. We about to go ahead and move over to the Dazzle Diva stuff. You know what I'm saying? Go to her life. So, I'm, I'm following I feel, I feel you, Kev. Um, uh-huh. um, well, you already know. Um, inbox me when you get back on so I know where I'm hopping up at. All right. Yeah. You, are they y'all friends? You and Dazzle? Yeah, I know, I know. I get like a thousand um invites oh, from y'all. I got you. I got you. All right, y'all. Yeah, I feel you. We about to go crash. In. All right, all right, yeah. everybody, stay blessed, stay peaced out. Let's go. Let's go. What the heck? Why the fingers so crooked? <laughs> all right, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, fair. We about to go to Dazzle, so we about to switch over to there. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll follow behind. I'm not here to protect your little feelings. Oh, yeah, I just because we all need some healing. I'm here to protect you from long term misery. So that can be all left back in history. <laughs> I'm out, y'all. <laughs>